The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high-quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons, and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Hi, I'm Jo, and I have the pleasure of demonstrating for That's Crafty. That's Crafty are a family-run business that started online in 2005. I hope I can inspire you by bringing along my experience together with the That's Crafty products. So make sure you don't miss the That's Crafty shows. Good morning, we are starting the day with quilting antics and it's a bit of a best of, best of 2021. Now what we're going to start with is this fabulous pattern book, so best bags of 2021 and there's some absolutely beautiful designs. Uh, there's a huge saving on this as well. Can I just point this out? £41 saving. Uh, it's £23.99. So, I mean, just look at this bag on the front. That's just one of them. That's just beautiful. I've got the sample, actually. I'm just going to pop this down for a second because this is the sample for this one. Isn't that amazing? I love that. So that is just one of the things that you can make. Um, now, we have got the fabric pack for this particular one. One moment. I'm just going to nip under here. So, um, details at the bottom of the screen. That's beautiful because you've got your, your black, your red. I mean, they're some of my favourite, favourite colours. Uh, and then you've also got a beautiful piece of a silver for the logo on there. Uh, and then you've got the uh, lovely uh, braided rope. So, good morning, Anthea. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Um, so, yeah, talk us through this fabulous book and how are we getting this most amazing saving? Right, so, the, the top price, yeah. it's genuine, uh -huh. because if you buy patterns from me, they're £6.50 each. Got you. But what I do when I come here is I give you loads of patterns and uh -huh. we kind of just standard standardize the price this yeah. is at the moment these books are exclusive to the craft store amazing and it's just a way of kind of working together it's you and me working together to get the best amazing yeah. so there you go so like Anthea said that's a genuine discount. You are getting this pattern book for £23.99. I think we should have a look, don't you think? Absolutely. So what was the inspiration, by the way, from the one on the, on the well, front? Well, my daughter Gemma yeah. uh, has emigrated to Australia. Has she? She has, yeah. When she's was got, that? Uh, 
nearly to just before COVID, oh so I haven't gosh. seen her for. Uh, oh, oh, no. Hopefully, February they're opening I hope the you've borders. Been zooming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, well, it's great actually, because um, coming down last night, she was just getting up, <laughs> so we're having a chat. <laughs> oh, that's nice. But anyway, so, so you know this at home, like kids, they move out, they move on, and what happens? Mum gets stuck with everything that didn't make the Indeed, grade. Indeed, yes. And one of the things that was left was a little bag. Yeah. And the inspiration for Gemma's bag, because Gemma cool. came from that bag, it's, it's in the kind of the mountain of detritus that I was left with. <laughs> Well, I have to say, it's a beautiful, beautiful bag. Thank you. I'll nip it the in original again. looked nothing like it, but we used it for the, just the inspiration to yeah. um, make it fit with when we had our trip to China. Oh, it's wonderful. Now, I think you need to see at home what else we've got here. And in fact, if I go straight to the centre, now these are all of the projects. Isn't that wonderful? So I can see we've got um, a uh, crane wall hanging on that's here. right so uh, how that, why that's come about is because you've got the little zip bag which has got a crane on the applique pack does mm -hmm. the cranes on the zip case yep. and the wall hanging right so I thought well let's just put it in so you've actually got 10 designs in there oh well, that is yeah. good <laughs> so bear with me while I just pop this down I'll try and leave this open because then I can bring out the stay. I can bring out the um, the samples and the kits. So this is that beautiful crane wall hanging. Isn't that stunning? Look at that. It is and really, really simple. So if you look, there's only about three colours on the cranes. Uh, you've got the tiny bit of red on the head, but apart from that, the, the, the more or less black and white. I think they put a grey beak on. Yeah. Um, so if you're appliquing, it's just really whack, whack. Whack, whack. Yeah, it, it, it's <laughs> whack, whack. Yeah. <laughs> and the rest is done with stitch. Oh. So you can just, like, copy the lines, trace them on whatever with your heat-removable pens and just follow your lines and get these amazing um, cranes. I mean, the, Sue illustrated those, and hasn't she just captured them perfectly? She has, they do indeed. this little love dance to the red crown cranes. Oh. And Love that dance. is, it's like the little, you know, the little court, courting dance and, uh, you know, we learnt loads. We had our virtual trip around the world this year. Yeah. We only got to six, right. six places. That's all we managed well, to get to. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'd love to have gone to six places this year and last year. <laughs> Vir virtually, of course. Yeah. But do you know the amount of stuff we learnt? It was, it was really, it was like proper sightseeing. <laughs> oh, we loved it. Gorgeous. So, yeah, the Red Crown Cranes, yeah. um, they were from the, the trip to Japan. Wonderful. Now, um, we do have the applique kit for this one if you want it. That's at the bottom of the screen for £20.99. Okay, so moving on, we also have, where, where is it, where is it? It's over here. Shall I bring this in? There we go. We've got the kit, I believe, have I got the right one for this That's one? That's correct, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we just did it as like a cosmetics case, soap bag, whatever you wanted to use it for. So you can line it with something that's going to be waterproof, or you can just have it as a normal thing. You could put a little strap on there if you wanted. Anything you want to do. Yeah. You know, just, I don't, I, I don't know about you, Alex, but I like nice things. It's like we all like nice station, don't we? We do, yes. and, and as a crafter, I like nice things to put my nice things in. <laughs> <laughs> and so this is kind of just an extension of that, having yeah. it at home, enjoying using it. Beautiful. And then there's another one. Now this book might flop. Oh, it's not. Okay. There's another one. Here we go. So what's the inspiration behind that this? That was one? our trip to Egypt. Okay. It was indeed. So that is a scarab beetle. Now, actually, on the drawing, I've uh, written down why it's the colours that it is. Okay. So it's all about the Nile and the, the, the land and the the sun and the whole thing. So, uh, so yeah, I've given you that little bit of knowledge in, in the book. But That's good. It, so it's just a classic bag design, but we've just changed it slightly by putting that big... What would you call it an amulet on the front? I think, it, I think that's the right word. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we just we just loved it. I mean, it's a bit of glitz, isn't it? I mean, it you, is you a could, bit of glitz. You could now have believe, that. As a, sorry, I believe we've got. Sorry, it's so it's so difficult this far away. Sometimes <laughs> I believe we've got the kit for this one as well. Yeah, we've got um, the the applique pack for the the, 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 lawn, the scarab beetle. That's it. And the scarab beetle, it's really symbolic of of life in Egypt. And I think I've written about that in the book too. <laughs> Excellent. I love it because you're going to get a 
bit of history and then the enjoyment of making all of these fabulous items. Well, for anybody who doesn't know, I'm a little bit geeky mm -hmm. and I do like a little bit of fact and a bit of science and yes. all that. I love all that. So I just, I really enjoyed that part of the journey and mm -hmm. I just wanted to share that too. I think if you know something, you understand why it's this and that. And, yes. and you can find beauty in that knowledge, can't you? You can. Yeah. I love that. So if you do want the applique pack for the scarab beetle um, that's at the bottom of the screen for 13.99 beautiful fabrics there now coming back to our pattern book what else haven't we seen oh we've got this fabulous bag look at we're the mice how yeah. cute is this so that one only came out recently um, and the inspiration for that our jean um, we were asking her what she'd what she'd use and she's a crocheter is our jean okay and when she's got her balls uh, of wool and they're jumping all over the place. Yeah. She wanted a bucket to put them in. And if you look inside, there's little D-rings. So you would thread your wool through yep. the D-rings. So simple. And then and you can knit or crochet and your wool is just going to stay there and it's just going to feed up to where you're working. That's very clever. So, um, very so clever. And then we just thought we'd have a bit of a giggle. So we've got the mice there. They've wrapped the cat up in wool and they're pulling. It's a little bit Tom and Jerry, isn't it? <laughs> a little bit, but do you know what? I think the cat is still enjoying himself or herself. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So we just wanted to have some fun there. And that, um, the divide between the green and the pink, it's a huge pocket going all the way around the outside. Oh. Really, really easy to make because you make it flat. Yeah. And you, um, you, you know, you put your stitch up to divide your pockets, which you okay. can change according to what you, you want. Mm -hmm. um, and then once you've finished dividing your pockets, then you make it into a circle. It's really, really easy. Amazing. Right, we're still going here. So remember, these are the patterns, or these are the samples, shall we um, say, that you're going to make from this pattern booklet. We have more at the back. We have got our flamingo bag. Yeah, and I think um, there's a ring binder in that. I think that's what I put in, because I wanted people to know that it's uh, a good size, you know, if you're oh, studying. See. Um, I mean, obviously, it's not going to take like your full <coughs> nine nine lessons worth of stuff, but um, it does fit a, a ring binder, mm -hmm. so it's a proper satchel for a satchel purpose. I reckon you could fit some computers in there. Well, I think you could. To. I think you could. Yeah, definitely. Laptops. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, you'd need to make sure that your strap is is really well fixed if you're going to put something as valuable, you know, if it's heavy. You'd need to really make sure that. Okay. Um, but that, that's down to your sewing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That, but I love the flamingos. We're still going here. So that's another bag you can make. And this one with the elephant. Oh, that was our trip to India. Amazing. Yeah. So that's the Hathi bag. Because um, in India, Hathi is elephant. Oh, is that what it's called? Oh, yeah. Part of, part of the journey, part of the... And these kits on the front... Um, you can use, you don't have to use that for exactly that. Yeah. You know, so if we've cut you a kit and we've said it's for the red crown cranes, you've got enough for the cranes. Yeah. But if you wanted to use it for a different one, I'm not guaranteeing that your amounts are uh, whatever, but mm -hmm. there's no reason why you can't use one kit for another another job. You know, we've, we've given you the, the, the little bits of tweed, the, the really hard to source stuff. Yeah you know in in like little workable amounts amazing i love that it's got the tassels on the end as well i really like that we're still going still going have a look here i think it tells you how to Thank make the tassels in the book <laughs> as well because they are really really easy to make a tassels that's cool i really like them i'm still going dancey i'm still going <laughs> i feel like challenge amateur at the moment hang on here we go here's another one so ah uh, we're going to brighton or oh, that's where i'm going anyway uh, look, look at the bigger yeah. beach house <laughs> so a uh, nice big beach bag yeah. or if you go into classes it would fit loads of stuff in there mm. so either or so it's like a big oval shaped bag um, yeah. you know opens out and it's got a nice drawstring in the top as that one has it oh yeah Look, look, look. So if you are, for instance, going to the beach and yeah. you want to keep private things private, really easy drawstring to make that. That is, I like that. I've not seen a bag like that. Mm. Ah, there you go. Uh, I'm still going. I've got one more. Okay. And we've used in a lot of these. It might be worth mentioning because I know it's on the website. We've used the bosal in our form and that's the thing that allows these bags to stand up on their own. So if you're using the bosal, 
you know, the in our form. Your bags aren't going to flop when you put them down. Now this one, yeah. uh, this is a fairly new bag. Oops, we've lost the beach bag. Darn, <laughs> I was trying so hard. <laughs> it all adds to the fun, Alex. <laughs> so um, back to classes. So um, this is a good bag for going to class. You get heaps in there. You've got pockets all over the place. You can add more pockets if you want to. And it's got that subject matter on, hasn't it? Yeah. You know, when you're going back to class and you want to brag, now, don't forget Ooh, that pockets. although we've brought you these applique packs, which, you know, are great to use, all our projects do work in any fabric. So don't think, oh, I don't like wool, so I can't buy their patterns. Got you. Still go for it and just use the fabric of your choice. Right. It works absolutely as well. But uh, I like bringing the applique packs because if you do mix and match like your cottons and your tweeds, uh -huh. it really gives you a, a 3D effect. You know, it, you're... A, uh, a plique like jumps off the page if you will because you've got that combination of, of um, fabrics there I like that so just to reiterate then so we've seen all the samples that uh -huh. you're gonna make at home you've got the pattern book there is an amazing discount of a whopping 41 pounds so it's full instructions for everything, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you've got the instructions for the whole lot. So you've ten projects in there. Yeah. And uh, you've, you've got all sorts. I mean, the, the bag that you just held up there yeah. has got a zip top in it. It does, yeah. Now, there's no reason why you can't take, for instance, the, the instructions for the zip Mm -hmm. and put it in the one with the elephant on. Right, which I've there's got. No, because the, we've, we've kind of done it so that everything works with everything else so your scarab beetle you could put on the little black and red Gemma's bag if you wanted to cool you could put the elephant on the scarab bag you can you can mix and match and you can do whatever you want and once you start doing that your number of projects then it's infinite it just you know it is. It, or if you just like making bags and you don't want to decorate them just make a bag amazing because you've got in here you know, these books it's kind of twofold yeah so you've got a set of making up instructions mm -hmm. and then you've got a whole set of beautiful decoration got you so if you like doing one element or the other yeah you've kind of got two chunks if you will right so you know just mix and match put them with loads of other projects everything excellent right then so for all of those projects in this pattern book you're going to have loads of fun $23.99, a whopping £41 saving. Your item number is 395502. Right, here is the website because we've got some fabric packs, applique packs for uh, some of the patterns. There you go. So you can make Gemma's bag um, fabric pack. You've got that there. You've got the scarab beetle. Uh, you've also got the crane applique fabric. And the perfect fabric, I didn't show you that one, but it is there. Is that for our lovely kitty bag? Yeah, yeah. And that one, you've got about, I can't remember, is it about five different fabrics that kind of are reminiscent of, of different cats? So all the packs are slightly different, but they're all, you know, on the, on the same theme. Um, and it's great. So if you've got other projects that have got cats, and not just cats, any animal that, that, that you think that kind of colourway might apply to, um, this is great small pieces to just get you going and get that kind of, you know, I mean, grey tabbies. I love a grey tabby cat. Oh, <laughs> and that fabric at the front is spot on, isn't it? It is. It's per. Yeah. Sorry. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. perfect. Stop myself. <laughs> so if you want that fabric pack, that's 19.99. Lovely, so I'm going to pop this. Now, we're moving on to a... Sorry, lovely. Uh, I'm <laughs> talking to a director. I'm like, skipping around. Right, so we're moving on to another pattern booklet. So, Serendipity. What made you call it that? Because this is the one where the best of's from our virtual trip around the world. And Serendipity, as we all know, it's not the destination. It's the journey, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. So this was about our journey um, to, to the places we visited. And so I, I took um, some of the projects from each one that we've done, um, varying uh, skill levels. Although I've got to say that none of them are massively difficult. But you've got... Um, your sashiko from Japan, you've got Chinese lanterns which are up on the wall behind you, you've got the um, the exploding box, the hexagonal box, um, which I never checked if the pin cushion's standing up, so I hope we don't get too much of a surprise. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> never thought to look inside. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's have a look. But you've, you've all sorts, you've ever, you know, all sorts of projects. So anyway, Amazing. I'll we're surrounded explore. by them. Let's explore then. So. Let's, I'm going to work my way this way. Yeah. So we've got our lovely elephant bag here. Oh, and look, it's got a lotus flower. It has indeed, yeah. <laughs> now, it hasn't travelled down very well. It's got a bit bashed. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> don't you worry. It's all good. So really, really easy. Remember I said with the, um, the one with the cat on that you make it while it's flat? Yeah. So this is the same thing. You make the, the sides of the bag flat okay um and the zip i think i used two zips on there yeah and at the back, you did yeah i've used some fabric as like a hinge and that covers all you know all kind of the house the housekeeping <laughs> yeah. Co covers all that area keeps it nice and tidy um and we just decorated it and we just had lots of fun um and i've actually given you uh, i think three different design options for the okay. bag so you've got the elephants yeah it was called the bangra bag because we were going to put bangra dancers round it oh that's a Thinking, nice idea you know like the um the uh, the original um when, you know the, the film things you know when you flick through the paper oh yeah you know, oh what, I know what, what you you're call saying. it i've lost my words i don't know yeah. what the official but we name all, is but we all know what i'm on about and that was the original idea was that we were gonna you know, kind of put dancers around making it look like if you'd spun it really fast I which you wouldn't do you that the yeah. dancers would look like they were dancing anyway in the end oh here's the different ones in the end we ran out of time so we just stuck some elephants on but i have given you um five dancers you've yeah. got the elephants that we use yeah. and a peacock oh, oh amazing. so um so you can you know so when we say you've got um 10 designs in there you actually have got you know extra <laughs> absolutely <laughs> because it just goes on and on and on i understand um now i love this with that beautiful egyptian cat on yeah cleopatra's needle case yeah so it's, i thought cleopatra's needle so <laughs> it, but it just kind of lent itself yeah if you like cats yeah. it's um it's just a simple little project and again the um the actual cat was made on um it's not an amulet when, you, when it's on an Egyptian thing, is it? Not a cartouche? Um, I've forgotten the oh, word. I'm so sorry. I'm we know what we're on about. Like yeah. a hieroglyphic kind of... You know, cart cartouche, I want to say. Let's say is that, that right? Then. Is that all right? right? Ring in and let me yeah, know what the word is. Answers on yeah. a postcard. <laughs> <laughs> on the back of a stamp. <laughs> yeah. But, I, do you know, I really like the simplicity of that. Mm -hmm. It just... It's appealing, isn't it? It is. And when you go to class and you've got your posh needle case there and you've yeah. had all your other posh bits and bobs, you'll feel a million dollars. You will. With your posh needles and your posh needle case and your posh bag. Amazing. <laughs> Loving that. Oh, wait, we do have a fabric um, or a plique pack, shall we say, for this one. Sorry, Alex, I'm having too much fun. I forgot about that. Oh, no, it's all right. <laughs> I'm just, just, trying to, just trying to bring them up um, as, as we go along because you've got that beautiful bit of gold in there and the blue. Yeah, so... Um, that one, we um, well, it was Sue's idea actually. Was the the beautiful um, lotus flower um, book cover, and the cat was made with what we had left out of that, mm -hmm. which is why it does both. Right. So um, yeah, we we just get as much as we can. Absolutely. Get as much bang for our book. I, I like that expression. <laughs> so this then will do the cat, but am I right in saying also the applique on this beautiful book? Yeah, now um, that leather thonging that's round it, just open it up and show everyone at home how it, how, it, how it opens. I love this. And of all the fancy projects, we, there's a bead at the front. If you unhook the bead, you can open the front cover up. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. So there's okay. like a flap on the front cover. Oh, that's that, really cool. Yeah, that that is classy, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, so we were thinking about, um, you know, like travellers of old, and I'm thinking, you know, kind of um, the the Agatha Christie, you know, the one where they're all in Egypt. What do you call it? That one. <laughs> I'm being tested you this morning. You need your brain cells this morning, Alex. <laughs> that one, anyway. Answers on the back of the stamp. Because I was thinking Orient Express, but it's <laughs> no, not it's that. No, it's not. On the Nile? That's the one. There, that That's one. That's the one. Right. So, like, you know, when you're thinking about those kind of explorers and they keep journals and how they, like, how that journal might look and bound up and flaps and all this yeah. kind of exotic stuff. And then Sue came up with that and I just thought it was just class. Stunning. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. And really, really easy to do. I mean, it looks it looks impressive, mm -hmm. um, but it's really, really easy. Now, what about this chap? Chuckles. Why is he called Chuckles? 
<laughs> because my friend uh, has an African grey parrot and she's called Chuckles. Oh. And Chuckles is a character. So, um, so I nicked her name. <laughs> I love that. Beautiful. We Double sided. So, yeah. again, really simple. Yeah. Um, and it's just fun. So anybody who's into the, you know, like birds in general, but particularly in African grey, mm -hmm. I think Sue has captured that one perfectly. Love it. And we do have an applique pack for chuckles. Here you go. We do. <laughs> um, and that is at the bottom of the screen, twenty four ninety nine. Look at all those beautiful fabrics. Marvellous. We're still going. Look. What about this cushion? Sashiko, okay. yeah. So um, Sue drew that one. Really, really easy to stitch. It's just running stitch. I mean, if you are a purist and you're into Japanese stuff and you want the correct fabrics and the correct threads and the correct stitches, then that's fine. Mm -hmm. But this is Quilting Antics version. Okay. Uh, and basically, we've done a nice design and we've done a running stitch. Right. And we've used a pearl A thread mm -hmm. and we've just used some nice wool uh, right. for the background. It's beautiful. So. Wool, you know, because we just wanted to enjoy the Japanese experience. Yeah. If you want to go the whole hog and do it, you know, with the correct stuff, that's entirely our choice. But we've just given you the design there. Cool. We're moving on. We've got um, our tiger here. Yeah, Siberian tiger. Oh, right. And I can't remember why, but it's a tigress. And there is a reason. And I can't, without looking in the book, remember what the reason is. But what I can do is, I've just um, said it before, I've given you left and right facing. So you can, where are we? Where are we? Can't find, oh, here we are, look. So you can do a pair if you oh, want to. Oh, how gorgeous is yeah. that? Now, what I suggested was um, colouring in the drawing before you start. So yeah. that you can see how your colours, um, you know, break. Yeah. So, uh, and it was really easy because you just basically did one piece of orange and then added everything else on the top. Uh, but I just loved it. And the Siberian tiger, yeah. you know, without any effort particularly, can be any other tiger, can't it? Could, it? Can yeah. It? Love that. I mean, look at his eyes. Yeah. So, um, I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit more fiddly, it's okay. that one. But not everybody's a beginner, and I know some of you do like a bit more of a challenge. Sure. Um, so, yes, yeah, she's, what she's done is she started with um, one colour, and then she's put all the next colour on top and mm -hmm. all the next colour on top of that. And the brown stripes on there, what she's done is um, put one piece of brown on, and from the back, we've got this kind of natty technique you've probably picked up where we're using the inner form yep. to do some really good um, applique simply. She's, she's stitched from the back and she's stitched on her drawn lines and then she's cut back to the stitching. Right. So she never stitched with tiny little pieces of fabric. Uh -huh. It was one larger piece that was cut back to the stitching. Very really easy. Oh, good. Still going. <laughs> So opposite end of the spectrum. So uh, when you need a lie down after you, after completing your tigers, left and right facing, right, simple cushion. So um, it's butter cushion, and butter is the word for the shape that we know as a paisley. Is it? Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah, you see. Yeah. Stick with me, kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. So butter. Yeah. Amazing. That's beautiful. There's more. So is this the exploding box? Yeah, I'm fairly, I'm fairly certain that her pincushion inside will have tumbled over, so uh, apologies. So we wanted that, so when we went to Russia for our virtual trip, uh, and we were thinking of all things Russian, and of course we all love Russian dolls, yeah. so we, we didn't have enough time in our lives to make Russian dolls. <gasps> yeah, I told you she's tumbled. Oh, it's all right. So, uh, <laughs> Isn't that cool? So, um, oh, one of the sides has fallen off, Alex. Oh, don't worry. Just don't, oh, oh, I see there. Don't, just don't worry about that. Double-sided sticky tape. Um, so don't forget that my stuff gets absolutely hammered because it's rammed in boxes, squeezed up with things that well, it shouldn't be squeezed up all. with. Well, this is the thing. Um, and then uh, brought, brought around and about. So, um, so, so, so my stuff does get hammered that your stuff probably won't. Oh, right. I love that. Do you know what it reminds me of? Yeah. Um, was it Trumpton or Camberwick Green where they started out with that uh, that musical box? Oh yeah. Are you too young for that? No, um, but I can't remember which one it was. I Again, I have another a feeling. answers on a postcard. Oh, Trumpton or Camberwick Green? I don't know. And there was that musical box on the top, and the sides came down. And as it's going round, 
It just reminds me of that. Is that the one with Dougal? No, that's Magic Roundabout. Oh, I was thinking that one. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Now, I've still got stuff under the counter. Are oh, we still right. going? We're still going. Still going. So this yeah. is part of the one of the China. patterns as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, um, going to China. When we went to China, you can't go to China without a Chinese dragon. Absolutely. So, uh, so this is our Chinese dragon with the flames coming out. Yeah. Just, it's great. I mean, it's just a big rainbow of wonderful colour and it fun is. and uh, great stuff. Beautiful. <laughs> wait, wait. We're going to Egypt now. I'm going under here. I'm like sat waiting for the surprise because I can't remember what's there. Oh yeah, Isis. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Um, she is. Yeah. So all the Egyptian gods and goddesses have all got an eye right. to um, depict them, and all uh, a symbol as well. So she's got the ankh and then the eye there. Amazing. Uh, that represent I Isis, and I think I've told you a little bit about Isis. You and, have. And who she is. And then last but not least, did you say the bunting as well? The bunting, yeah, the Chinese lantern bunting. So we're bunting. going back to China. We're so going back as to we China. all know, <laughs> uh, chi uh, Chinese lanterns are not uh, PC anymore. Sending them up and, and burning and leaving the rubbish. But right. you don't need to because, ta-da! There you go. You've got our Chinese lanterns there all ready. I mean, you can make that string of bunting as absolutely long as you want. And we've put it on a twisted cord. And right. I'll tell you how to make the twisted cord. Okay. But if you didn't want to do that... You, there's no reason why you can't buy a cord. Sure. We've told you how to make the tassels. Again, if you don't want to make tassels, yeah. but they're really simple. Once you've once you've got the knack of making tassels, you never buy one again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, you know you you can buy bits and, and put on that. So you just really make your your lantern shapes, and it's kind of nice just to have the shapes there ready done for you just to copy. Um, so uh, and to actually, Sue did the the lanterns and I was like oh Sue oh. compared to what we do oh that. do you know it was one of the best selling projects in the really? book it was amazing yes yeah. because we did all the fabric packs originally and it was the one that everybody was going for so I was like oh maybe Sue you've got a point there you were right <laughs> bless you now let's give you the details then so you've seen, you have got so many projects in this book again You've got a fantastic £41 saving. And as you said, Anthea, you know, if you were to buy these patterns individually, did you say £6.99? £6.50 from me. Individually. You can only get yeah. them from me or yeah. you. Uh, £6.50 each. Yeah. So you've got 10 projects in there. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. But then don't forget, you've got your extra drawings for a couple Absolutely. of things. So you've actually got more than 10. That's right. Um, but 10 patterns would cost you £65. Mm -hmm. It's a genuine saving. Lovely. So it's £23.99 for this pattern booklet. 689617. Now there's something else to show you and it's delicious. Tweed bundle. Um, you, I know you've got various different ones here, but you were saying that you're going to get a good kilo yes. of an assortment. So, so we sell it to you as a kilo, but we always weigh over a kilo. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, we uh, well, we weigh just over a kilo, and then we put all these peach pieces in. They're not all peach. Some are going to get um, there's green, there's yeah. lemon, there's the, you know all sorts. So we put all sorts in there, and there is some really good sized pieces in here. Now I'm not going to give you any guarantees of just what you get in, because we were trying to think about what you might use them for, and we have. We've had these with you before, and I know they were really successful. And arguably, I think these are better bundles mm -hmm. than the original ones that we first brought. Right. So um, I've stuck mainly, not exclusively, but mainly to what they call apparel weight tweed, which is um, clothing weight. Yeah. So it's a lighter weight, Alex, which means you get more for your money. There you because go. Because we're doing it by weight, aren't we? Like it. So um, do you want me to open this I one? I would love you to. Have a look. Just show so, all the pieces that yeah. are in there. So they're all different. Um, and, uh, you know, here we are. So this is, uh, is this a furnishing weight? I'm not sure. So you've got here... You know, I was trying to think about what would you use them for? Would you use these for um, for your applique? Would you use them for bag making? So you've got here, I mean, that's going to be over a long quarter. Now, let's just put this into context. A long quarter of tweed, I haven't got my ruler to hand at the minute, 
I'm sure that's more than 10 inches, which is a long quarter. I think so, yeah. A long quarter of tweed is 14 pounds. Right. right. So this bundle is costing you how much? Um, is it, uh, 49. For, yeah, 49 something. something. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's round it up to 50 quid. Okay. It's just under 50 quid, right? So that piece on its own is 14 pounds. Right. This piece on its own would be seven okay because yeah. this is wool this is abraham moon wool tweed it's top draw it's as good as you get so straight off in those two pieces yeah you've got 21 pounds wow okay right and look i've still got most of it to go right so once we get in i mean they're just huge some of these pieces Ooh, what's that? so um well it, it's wool um but i'm not sure just um it's just wool i'll say a lot of it's <laughs> apparel yeah yeah <laughs> Sometimes with the wools, the, the really fine ones, you're not actually sure that it's wool other than the fact that you knew you bought it as wool. It's, you know, it can be so fine. Here, oh, it's another big piece of furnishing weight is this mm -hmm. one. So, I mean, just think how many cushions you'd get. You know, let's fold this into quarters. So, you would get two, there's a pair of cushions there, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What's a tweed cushion? 50 quid? Probably. Yeah. So if you can manage that size, which you would, I mean, yeah. just, you know, if you're appliquating yeah. or putting a border on or whatever. So that's four thicknesses there. Wow. So, um, you know, it's a whacking great big piece of, of furnishing weight. And then we've got here, we just go down, we've got, um, this is an, excuse me, an apparel weight. So I've tried to do it where everybody's got, like, let's say, something green, something brown, something black, something grey, whatever. So I've tried to give you the biggest selection Absolutely. of, uh, of colours. Um, so again, you're going to get something good out of that. You might get a bag. You mm -hmm. might. Um, where are we? These lighter ones, I think, are, are decent sized pieces um, because they don't weigh a lot. So you're going to get a lot for your money. Absolutely. Um, oh, she says, <laughs> pulling out a small piece. No, but it's you amazing. You know, I, mean, I can see a lovely waistcoat in that one. They're whopping. They're absolutely whopping. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, you know, you've got all this stuff here. It, it just goes on. Um, do you need a drink of water? Are you all right? It would be nice, actually. I think let's, I've got a little let's bit pause, of fluff. Let's pause, because I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to be cheeky and I'm going to open this one. Oh, go on Is then. Is that all right? Yeah. And while you're opening it, I'm going to tell you, lots of people come to me and they want to do doll's clothes. Uh -huh. And these are perfect right. for your doll's clothes. And a lot of them have got the really small designs. Yep. Absolutely perfect. Brilliant. You, you, you have okay. a rest. Hang on a second. Right, so let's open this one. Now... 10% of the stock has already gone on these amazing fabric packs. Okay, so this is another assortment that we've got here. Look at this. This is beautiful, isn't it? The red and the black is really dramatic. I'm loving that. So you might get something like this, a lovely, beautiful piece. And as Anthea was saying, imagine individually what these would cost. So there's some more here. Hang on. There's your peachy bit. There you go. You've got that beautiful piece. I have to say, the quality, the weight of it is absolutely stunning. So we've got that bit. <laughs> Taz has just said top drawer. I like that. <laughs> it is indeed. We've got another bit. Now look at the size of that. Wow. Absolutely wow. So that's bigger than a quarter. Yeah. Way bigger. And your quarter is £14. Pounds. Wow, amazing. Look at that. It's beautiful, actually. Almost looks like a mirage. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. cool. More? There's more, there's more, there's more, there's more. This one's really soft. This is beautiful. One second. Let's open this one. Look at the size of this one. I'll just wear it as a scarf, to be quite honest. A well, do you know scarf. what? If you put some nice, like, let's say, Liberty fabric on the other side, spot on. Liberty. And uh, again, I mean, what you're paying for those kind of scarves? Yeah, you know, and any kind of not not just a liberty. If you put a poplin on, yeah. who's going to know that it's not a liberty? Absolutely, <laughs> who is going to know? So and then there's lots of people here do and... like the poplins, don't they? Particularly with the little ditzy flowers and yeah. things. Beautiful. Okay, we're still going. I'm still going. Let's give this one a go. I can tell this is going to be a huge piece here. Hang on. Look at this. Look at this. And again, it feels so beautiful. 
and the weight of the um, the weight of it, the quality of it is absolutely stunning. We're still going. We're still got. I've still got more. I've still got loads more. Hang on. So remember, this is a kilo and then some because Anthea has always been extremely generous. But look at this. Isn't it stunning? And I actually like the fact that contents will vary because I think like it's a really nice little surprise. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I don't think anybody was disappointed when uh, the when we've done them before. Yeah. So we've been kind of you know hanging on to certain bits all year, thinking we know what we'll do with that. Yeah. So it's a little Christmas present to you. Here's the last piece. But look, I mean seriously, this is so we've got mm -hmm. this one, we've got this one, we've got this one. This is all in the same pack. We've got this one. Wait, wait, wait. We've got this one. <sighs> I'm getting exhausted. We've got this one <laughs> <laughs> and this one, and it'll all come nicely wrapped, won't it, in that lovely oh, little yeah, piece yeah, of Yeah, you'll string. get it all, all like a little parcel. Yes. I just, I just love them. So Hazel was doing these yesterday, and she's going to be doing more today. Yes, yeah, sorry, and, I've just uh, opened them. <laughs> yeah. So, so if we sell out, we'll have to ring up and say, Hazel, can you do a few more? Oh, bless her, bless her. <laughs> now, we are, all, we are now 20% of the stock gone on these bundles. Uh, two payments of £24.50. Are we saving £48? Mm. That's incredible. Look at the Basically, it's half price for all of that beautiful fabric. Uh, 404139, please do check out your baskets. Here's, here's the website. Remember, you've got those beautiful pattern booklets. Um, best ofs, basically. You've also got some applique kits for some of the, uh, for some of the uh, pattern booklets. Uh, we've also got some more best of 2021s coming up uh, at 10 o'clock. Uh, it'll be uh, yeah, best of 2021 and also Ants Faves. I like that, Ants Faves. So we're teasing those. Now you're already shopping for these. You're already buying ahead for them. But as I said, do check out your baskets. Um, I don't want you to miss out on these beautiful fabrics and these fantastic pattern books. Right, Anthea, what would you like to do? Well, I'm looking at the time and thinking, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know really how much how far we're going to get, but um, I've got here chuckles. I mm -hmm. thought we'd have a little look at chuckles. Amazing. So I mentioned earlier on yeah. that um, that we use a lot of the bosal uh, in our form. So this is the stuff here, and that's what made chuckles. So um, you know makes her so that she stands up. Yes. So here we are. Um, so this is actually a demo that I started young ago and I thought well I'm just going to bring it because we can we can finish it off a bit so what I did to begin with um, well she's in here so you've got um, you've got your photograph to look at but you've also got you've got the drawings now you will need a left and a right drawing okay now, I've written in the instructions you've got your piece in order well there we go that's your piece in order so um, on my on my drawing here, when I've traced it, and I didn't use a light box or anything like that, I've just put this piece of calico on the drawing, mm -hmm. and I've traced her. So I just traced one, and I've numbered. So I've looked at my thing there, and I've numbered all the different pieces, and that's the order that you need to put them together in. So if I just turn this over, okay. So you can see that. Um, well, I can't because I want my specs on. <laughs> <laughs> so. You can see how, like, as you look at your bird, you need to put your wings on top of the body. So yeah. you need to piece, you know, you wouldn't start with the wings and think, oh, I'll get all the dark grey out of the way. Right. So you're going you're gonna to follow a number order um, so that you end up with a looking good. Um, now, I think all we've got to do on this side is, um, is the white. Where are we? Um, the white is is somewhere um, so we're not going to put the white on at this minute <laughs> but um, once you've done one chuckles you need to turn over and you need to do another chuckles on the other side yeah so what we're going to do is I'm, I'm sorry I'm gabbling because oh, no, I'm, like, for it. I'm, I'm like thinking of the time and thinking, <laughs> <"Don't worry." laughs> so, <laughs> so let me start doing the other side of chuckles and you'll catch up cool. so we've already drawn on this side we've already used that how we're going to do the second side? Mm -hmm. We're going to use this side as the template. 
Good idea. So, um, easy peasy. So let's get rid of the drawing. Let's put this over here. She says, then I'll be thinking, oh, I need to be drawing. <laughs> so, uh, right, let's bring in the sewing machine. So I've got the open toed foot on here. Um, okay. I'm just going to put in a white thread, which isn't perfect. But we'll see it, um, Yeah, I should have um, wound up a, a grey one, but anyway, this, this one will do. This one will do. So uh, I've got my brown thread in there because we've been making a brand new quilt to bring you in January. You've been making, been a, making a brand new quilt to bring you in January. Oh, fabulous. Scottish Highlands. Oh. Yeah, it's uh, it's looking good. It's uh, it's just starting to get, you know, exciting. When are you back in January? Um, I haven't got the dates confirmed oh, okay. yet, but I think, so I'm back with you on New Year's Eve. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I see you then. I love coming New Year's Eve. Yeah. Do you? I do, actually, yeah. Um, so here on New Year's Eve, and then I think it might be something like the 16th. It's not okay. confirmed. No worries. But the quilt will come at the end of January. Lovely. We've actually got different surprises for you before then. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New Year's surprise. Hey, we've been cracking on. Cracking on we have. So uh, let's get some scissors out. Right. Let's just uh, whack a lump for the beak. So what I want is, I'm going to do um, the opposite side of chuckles and I just want a piece that's, I mean I can use the whole thing if I want and then cut it back, but let's just, uh, let's just cut a, cut a chunk out. So I'm not really cutting precisely, so if you like just, you know, grabbing and whacking and all the rest of it that's fine now if i hold chuckles up to the light i can you probably can't pick it up um but if i put well i, I don't even need to hold it up to the light because i can just put that there and then what i'm going to do is from this side i'm going to sew on the lines oops in fact I've got brown in the top that's quite good actually because you can see that okay. so I wouldn't be using brown um, if I was at home I've got my stitch line from when I started chuckles when I did a in the first place Oops, something's not happy so uh, where are we? so all I'm gonna do is sew on my original stitch line mm -hmm. going round and I'm going to put the, de the beak detail in as I go. Oops. She's going to come together quite quickly. That's cool. And then keep on going round. There we go. And on this side, you can see we've got Chuckles' beak there that's just coming to. So get my little scissors. Yeah. And just cut that back I'm not too worried about the outside edge because I can cut all that back down at the end but I know that this is going to work in fact I will give it a trim I know this is going to work and the reason I know it's going to work is because I've used the one that works already right on the other side so that's piece number one cool chuckles is uh, thing and then as I look down I'm going to put this dark bit in down here so in fact for this one I'm going to leave it a bit longer so let's just whack that on there. You can put pins on to hold if you want to. It's like sewing by numbers, uh, really. Oh, it's even easier than that, Alex. Ah, oh, cool. Way easier, way easier. So uh, just double check that my fabric covers what I want it to cover. Okay. But how easy to just follow the lines. Yeah. So I'm following the stitch lines. Now on the good side that I'm sewing on you know I'm gonna have more more than one stitch line but as you hang it up in your window chances are you're gonna have one side that you favor anyway so if you if one side looks better than the other then that's the side that you should have facing you isn't it mm -hmm. but you know chuckles could can sit in your window and um, she can entertain the neighbors too or if you've always wanted a parrot and I'd, I'd love a parrot, but I'm, uh, yeah, uh, if you've always fancied a parrot, but you've never, never been able to do, that's it. Do you know, I used to go into a block of flats, oh, I, yeah. I won't tell you where, uh, through work, and um, the people in the bottom flat next to the lift yeah. had an African grey parrot. 
Did and it she say weird things? No, it said every conversation it heard from the lift. In the got the accents and everything. It was no perfect. Way. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And if you imagine, um, stood <laughs> outside some less salubrious flats, let's say, like that. <laughs> that bird could tell tales. Amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I want one now. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Sorry, Taz has just said in my ear the police brought it in for questioning. <laughs> well, I think they could have done because the thing is, it actually copied people's voices. You would have known who it was, who it was talking for. Gosh, that's amazing. I want one. Yeah, it said some rather choice things. Did that parrot? <laughs> we used to giggle when we went in. So right onto the tail. Just cover that tail area there. Stick it on. Yeah and under how quick is this coming together once yeah. you put the body on the main body part you're going to see that mm -hmm. she's virtually done there we go. Uh, round we go yep. give it a little bit of a wiggle around these lines here i'm not too worried if i'm not perfect if i don't go exactly on the line um, and if you're using a better thread than i'm using um, now you don't need to strictly stitch across that bit there because you're going to cover it up with your with your grey. But I will do. Mm -hmm. I will do because when I turn it over, I'll be like, oh, where do I cut? See, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking it's so nice that you're doing both sides. I was chatting yeah. about this yesterday. I don't like an unfinished backside, if you know what I mean. Uh, well, I know exactly <laughs> what you mean. And we did it first. We did a pair of lovebirds yeah. um, when we did the reunited stuff, um, and we just thought with the birds. Where would you put this project once you've, you know, once you've made it? Where are you going to put it? Uh, and we just thought, how nice to hang in a window. Now I am going at a great rate of knots. As I say, I'm conscious of the time. Um, so you at home, you're going to be spending a lot more time. But look, I'm just whacking. I'm literally just lifting that up, and you know, cutting, cutting in now, the outside edge at the end when you cut your bird out completely. You're going to use that stitching and cut near it, so you're going to tidy all this up, or any bits that you know are a bit knobbly bobbly. Um, so I've totally disregarded the branch. Where are we, what we're we doing next? Um, let's put let's put the grey body on. I think next. Okay. So we'll have a great big piece of grey. Now this is the original kit that I did when Chuckles first came out. Right. So I did the first half in the demo way back when so this is this is the second half of your demo so you can see that there's the stacks in here to get both sides of your chuckles there we go I'll stick that on there and uh, find somewhere nice to start and i'm just going to go around on the line so as i'm putting as i'm stitching round on the line here and you might go oh with the plique you need to underlap well, actually, from the other side, mm -hmm. when I cut back, I will be cutting back to just this side of my stitching. So that is going to give me what I need. It's going to give me that extra. So uh, it's just uh, whiz, whiz, whiz. Whiz, 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 and get round. So, um... And it's so easy just to follow the lines. Absolutely. You know, it, it's not. Um, you know. So I guess when you when you cut it out, you've just got to take care that you don't cut your stitches because you. Well, the sample. If you do, Alex, yeah. whack it under the machine and just sew over that bit again. Okay. I mean, I've just totally missed the line there coming round, but there we go. Stick that. I'm probably not going to get time to put her wings on, but we'll see how we go. So just lift that up, give it a whiz round, and you can see now as the beak comes visible and down here. Oops. So, um, so you're going to take a lot, lot more care than I've taken because you're not going to be um, governed by the clock. So she's she's emerging. So can you see her start to appear? So we've still got the two um, 
bits of wings to put on but you can see in what how many minutes mm. less than 10 minutes mm -hmm. she's um do you Come want me to carry on while you're oh, um, she's going to show the finished sample mm -hmm. actually because uh so chuckles are he or is she she oh she oh, well she okay. can be whatever you want but uh but the original chuckles is very much a girl there you go look at that it's so nice double-sided isn't it there we go so chuckles is in the serendipity booklet that we've popped on the screen as well as so many other projects 10 and then some 23.99 now just going to give a bit of a tease if that's all right to uh, your 10 o'clock show okay so we've got Ants Faves of 2021. Oh, that was so hard to pick those. And there. There we go. So you're going to be able to make uh, a pair of Egyptian cushions, Quackers wall hanging, Daisy Roots journal cover, Home Comforts wall hanging, Delphine character doll, Fast Track tree skirt, uh, Woodland stocking, Athena crossbody bag, and Nieces and Pieces. Yeah, <laughs> Mises to Pieces. Oh, Mises to Pieces, cutting mat bag. How cute is that? So that is coming up at uh, 10 o'clock, but it's a little tease for you. 23.99 for your pattern booklet. And you've got 41 pence saving. Uh, and then we've got Ants Faves. Are these from 2020? Yeah, so we just thought that, because um, Ants Faves from last year has never been brought back right so we just thought we would and that was why it why not yeah we would <laughs> that's cool look at that so in here we've got harvest bunting <laughs> now e up a up and away thank you Yorkshire like, airlines <laughs> a up and away <laughs> you can't do it without doing the other uh, lantern jack character doll skatey sue character doll meal for one panda cushion Fluttering Leaves Wreath, Presents Are Coming 3D Boxes, Cow Bag. Okay, you're going to have to do the next one. Owled Mother. Uh, oh, uh, what is it? Owled Mother and Cushion. Old Mother N. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And then Bonus Mug Rug Designs. We've, we've got to bring a bit of Yorkshire dust down, haven't we? <laughs> Test you. So funny. So right, in Brighton, so you're a proper southerner, aren't right? you? Yeah. Don't stand a chance, poor Alex. <laughs> uh, Twenty-three ninety-nine for that one. Again, another big saving. Three seven one, two eight eight, and then finally, <coughs> we've got best of twenty twenty-one. Full stop, really. This one. Yeah. Best of twenty twenty-one. Let's open this up. And in this one, you've got your chasing cats and dogs doorstop, potting shed cushion, storm at sea wall hanging, Dave the gargoyle, a Christmas tree advent calendar, sunset zoo bag, orange sewing roll, elephant cushion, and lion cushion. And that again is twenty three ninety nine with a forty one pound saving. Eight two eight two five two. Saying earlier about the kit, um, you, you buy a kit for something and then it can do for something else. Yes. So. In this hour, we've got Kitty in the middle. Right. In the next hour, we've got Chasing Cats and Dogs. Amazing. It's the same applique fabric. Ah. So if you bought for that, it's basically the yeah. same one. Yeah. So, you you know, you might get more than one project out. Um, you know, it's just how, how we do it. And it kind of, I'm really conscious that I want people at home to get the absolute most out of everything that we do. Um, you know, because I've been skinned and uh, you, you want... You want the best you can, don't you? You want to, you know, get the most that you can and uh, get it for the best price you can. Cool. So, um, Thank right. you very much, Anthea. Have we done? We're done. Oh, I was just getting ready for the next bit. Oh. <laughs> we can carry on in the next uh, 10 o'clock if you want with Leone. But, um, <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, bless you. And I should just say, the star of the show, very quickly, has been these bundles. Really? Wow. Yeah. Everybody has been loving these. Remember, that's a kilo and then some, because Anthe is very generous. <laughs> Two payments of 24, £24.50. This is basically half price. 
Lovely. We'll see you at 10. Okie dokie. Thank you. Excellent. All right, as always, don't go anywhere. We've got more coming up after this short break. We've got card making magic essentials. Where did I get the magic from? Well, it's magic anyway. And after that, journaling <laughs> with That's Crafty. See you in a bit. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp Limited. We're well known in the industry for designing and manufacturing top quality award-winning craft products. As with all craft projects, you need a good starting place, a great stamp, a top quality stencil, and in recent times, we've developed the Groovy Parchment Art System so that your line art is perfect on parchment. Each groovy plate is precision etched and by simply getting in the groove with a stylus, you can easily transfer great designs onto parchment. Groovy is a modular system. The plates complement each other and work beautifully together. They are packed with elements and allow you to build your own original artwork. Whether you're a novice or a traditional parcher, you will love these plates. And for me personally, having beautiful line art is what motivated me to want to learn traditional parchment skills. So why not get in the groove with us? Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures, and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. Hello and welcome. Um, it is so lovely to have your company. I got told off there because I was chunnering on. Um, I was chunnering on because our Julie is in the wings. And we always have a chunner. We always, it's um, yes. lovely to have your company again. And well, Geoff, because I'm having, well, I had last night's show and mm. two more shows to I know. I love this range because it, it is a huge range. But not only is it huge that you get a lot, but there's so many things you can do with this Absolutely. collection, isn't there? Yeah, and, and you know, when you, when you get um, a dies or stamps or any new craft tool, you, it, there's, there's really kind of a, a bonding or a learning period where, mm. where you, you know, you kind of, you do the basics and then your brain kicks in and you think, oh, I can do that, and I can do that. So we're actually really just um, touching the tip of the iceberg, as, as, as the saying goes with it. So, so uh, hopefully as you watch, you'll get ideas in your head and you'll, you'll be able to try different things when you get your your um, your dies at home as well yeah, because absolutely. there is so much yeah. it really is and we've and not actually got that much time to yeah. really show it even i know it's a one, one day, day special, special. there still isn't yeah. 
yeah, yeah. even a one day special isn't enough <laughs> um now we're going to break it down you can get the full collection which has a humongous saving but we'll give you different options first of all so the first option is your one day special i'm going to hold these up and show these for you so we can talk them through uh, because your packaging is dead important your packaging does actually give you ideas on how to use the dies so your first one this beautiful oval die when i spin that round it gives you this lovely little rocker card oh hello if you love these papers we've got those papers on the show so i mean we were chatting about that last night it looks like for me it looks like a hat we had um spaceship you're definitely a spaceship you had an egg yeah yeah so i mean the the wonderful thing about the packaging is it not only shows you how the card is meant to kind of fold because obviously that's the important part of it but they haven't decorated it for you yeah so so in doing that then then it means that i mean liz has made some wonderful samples for me thank you liz she's oh, in the building yeah um, she's in the building with some lovely so, papers as well yeah yeah so but what it means is with the blank packaging whatever you like they're not kind of colouring your uh, perception of yeah. what it's what you need to put on it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I know Sometimes exactly what you finished mean. samples, you know, like if you don't like dogs, you might not buy it yeah. because you've seen a sample with the dog on it. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So the the packaging is very clever. Yeah, it is very clever, very inspirational yes. and very clever. Yeah. Now that was your first one. That's the others. You can get these separately if you want. Obviously the bundles, um, the better way to go. The next one. Now again, this is really interesting. I love it because if I got looked at that I wouldn't I absolutely have a clue where to start <laughs> and that's why that is so good yeah the packaging is so good because that is absolutely going to give you an idea where you're going to go and what you're going to do and it does make again it makes a really interesting card and so you've, you've got you've all either, those elements yeah, so you've even got you see these strips either side of the the central yeah, panel these little you've ones. either e even got the dies to cut that central oh, little yeah, bit and they could have yeah. left that one out yeah yeah you know but they haven't so so it's attention to detail yeah I mean, every single die, you've got so many dies within have, there. Yeah, and don't forget, you've still got useful mats and layers in there as well. Yeah, yeah because look, you've got all the, of those these. Those big rectangles, you've got those, those mats and there. layers on those. They are amazing value for money. Yeah. So that's the second one. These are all part of your one day special. Uh, remember, you can get them separate. We have got the big bundles. So you've got loads of shopping opportunities. The next one. Now, this one, again, look at that. You'd look at that and go, you what? <laughs> <laughs> you what? And then you look at that and go, wow. Yeah. I mean, that just looks like it's going pow, doesn't it? You wouldn't it? want to do this with your measuring and your scoreboard yeah. and your craft knife, would you? You no. just wouldn't. No. <laughs> and you wouldn't be able to cut that edge. Because that edge is so it's cool. It's really cool, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And you wouldn't get that precision and the crispness that you... I mean, we're so lucky nowadays having dyes to do the work for yeah. us. Absolutely. I mean, they're beautiful. They are at really Absolutely stunning. And do watch stunning. out for the stencils because they are absolutely these useful. are both the stencil aren't they yeah, yeah, um, yeah that we have got on the show which just happens to be that one sneaky yeah. peek um and we will show you those in a few moments time of course so if you want that one you've got that die obviously at the bottom if you did want to get hold of that one absolutely beautiful the last one within your one day special and again this is incredible because this gives you again tons and tons of dies Again, you look at that and go, <laughs> yep. Um, and then you look at that. And this is just beautiful because these are kind of suspended, but they move as well. Yeah. I mean, they do look super effective. Just have a look at that and that opens up. Isn't that beautiful? And I love them because they give you so many panels to decorate. Yes. There's yeah. so many opportunities with them. But and they're, not, they're not huge. I mean, they could have done it so yeah. that it, 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 was, it cut out of an A4 sheet. But it isn't. It cuts out of an A5 sheet, which means that you can, once folded, you can pop it into a little A6 envelope. Amazing. All yeah. of the dies that you've got within the, the, the one day special have got different edges to them. So yes. you've got a wavy edge, you've got a torn edge, you've got a decal edge, you know, they're yeah. all different. And it, I mean, they could have just done them all the same. Yeah. yeah. Couldn't I they? love that because it does, yeah. it, it allows you more choice as well. Now, that's your one day special. For that one day special, you're saving. £12, um, £79.96, 
you've also got your flexi so you can get hold of this whole collection at 39 pounds 98 pence first payment and of course you know what you're paying on your second one now these are going to be sent out for you on the 23rd so i'm afraid they're not going to get to you in time um to to give to father christmas however um if it's your christmas money and you know you've got christmas money coming you can say you know that christmas money i want this please uh five zero six two zero two <laughs> is your item number that's your first book Bundle. The second bundle is the one along the bottom now. This is where prices get interesting because this is going to tell you you've got a £10 saving. It's actually more than that because each one of these dies is worth, I think, is it £29 or £26.99? £24.99, nearly close. So you've got a £24.99 and that is with a £4.50 saving. Those savings have been carried forward. Um, so that's one to four nine to nine. That's already with the savings. The die in it, the die alone should be. I think it is twenty five. Was it? Did we say it right? Is it twenty nine forty nine? Is it? Yeah, I yeah. think it's meant to be twenty nine ninety nine for the die independently before that saving at the bottom. So that die should be twenty nine ninety nine. Um, however, in this, when we get to bundle, you're paying sixteen quid. But anyway. At the minute, at the minute, so your full saving on this is £28 when it's carried forward. Let me take you through these because these are ridiculous in a good way. Mm. Um, you're getting so much in here. I mean, this is one that our Julia um, showed on the first show uh, last night. So if you missed that, please watch it on Catch Up. The amount of dies, the amount of possibilities. It's going to allow you to create this beautiful little journal. And I mean, these are stunning. Brilliant if you're making to sell, brilliant for photographed yeah. albums. I mean, they, they are fabulous. Yeah, and I mean, it, it's square. We, we like a little square card, don't we? So mm. all of these journal pages can be little cards if you want them to be. You don't have to make the journal. Yeah. Um, but making the journal is, is lots of fun. Look, you've got those little edges you can see on the top, so you can actually change the, the actual um, um, outside cover so that it's got you know a, sh a shaped edge. You can change yeah. the pages on the inside. You can make little pockets that have got decorative edges on them. Yeah, and don't forget, you can mix and match with the other journal dies that are in yeah. the bundle as well. You've got little um, window flaps on a circle and on a square there. You've yeah, got an that, envelope that, that you can can make it the, it the yeah it's endless what you can do yeah. with them it, it is incredible you are getting so many dies um in each and every set that is beautiful honestly watch it last night because it was such a good show and julie runs through all the different dies um and then you can get these home and just play mm -hmm. now the next one that we've got this is beautiful because this again gives you a huge amount of dies yeah and you can see with this one what it's actually doing is giving you this beautiful sort of long um that tall slim um beautiful journal but obviously then it's got all of these goodies yeah so, so you know you've got your little pockets you've got yeah. your little tags They've got the little, um, you've got your little corner pockets as well. There's yes. tons in there. There's tons in there. You've got your different size, like you say, different size tags. You, with this one, you can make two different types of journal. It's a single uh, signature j journal. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you make your cover and you can, you can either make um, blank pages to go in, so full size blank pages, or you can put up to three um, smaller um, uh, journal pages in. So uh, we'll show you. This is the one that I'm going to do as my oh, second fabulous. demo in this hour. So it'll all become apparent when Yay! we do it. I love seeing them demonstrated because that's when they come to life. Because yeah. looking at them like this, it's just, oof, there's a lot of dice, but I don't know what they do. Mm. So when we see them demonstrated, it just all, it all makes sense. Yeah. Now, this one, again, really interesting. So you've got that beautiful, tall, slim um, journal there. And again, with this one, you've got your, your, little, um, tags. your little tags and your little pockets yeah. that match. Yeah. You've also got decorative edges, so you can change, um, say, the square die that's in there. You can change it so it's got a decorative edge. You can ch change the largest Oops. tag, so that's got a decorative edge. This one, you create um, um, just... Um, 
like single page covers if you like yeah and then it's got the 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 binding that goes around the outside that glues to the front cover and then glues to the back cover so ah, it's slightly see. different in its makeup and it makes a two signature album this one cool oh i love these um okay so that's your two signature album um and then last but by no means least um and again this one in its own right that is um your little wraparound one yeah so yeah. it's got your journal and then this little bit it wraps <clears throat> sorry frog in my throat that wraps around um yeah. the front of your journal but there's all sorts going on in here mm. and again this one you need to play yes. because you look at that die and go what on earth is that yeah so that's what like a care? gusset pocket i did do, do run through that one in the eight o'clock show last night amazing uh, with richard i am going to try and actually uh, just put a basic one of those together in between hours so you can see what it looks like properly cool. um, but yeah there's not quite so many individual elements because it's a it's a, it's a the bigger elements within it yeah but you've yeah. got your words there you've got art journal and you've got a love this life as well oh fabulous and then you've also got that sort of crystal um, shaped die at the bottom there yeah. um, that's that's kind of just the mechanisms to make any size gusseted pocket that you want amazing so you could two of those and what and cut whatever size piece of card you want to and just put one of those either side See, that's cool not just for this you'll be using that in all the journals that you make yeah. for card yeah. making for, yeah or, so or if you're given things. a gift but it's a little bit bigger than to fit into a flat envelope you yeah. can actually use it like that yeah honestly these are genius they're so clever okay <clears throat> so that collection you should be paying remember 29.99 for each one of those dies they've all got an individual discount those individual discounts have been carried forward and then an extra 10 pounds have been taken off that price so it means you are saving 28 pounds and your flexi so your first flex it 44 pounds and 98 pence for that bundle remember all of these are in the big bundle and the big bundle saving is ridiculous in fact i think the total saving is 80 odd quid isn't it on the bigger i think it is when everything yeah, freedom members. Mm, means you're getting something like that for free. Anyway, um, talk about that later. Sort your alphabets. <laughs> I love these. Top ones, well cool. Because what you have got, if I spin this round for you, what you have got are, can you see the little tabs on the side? They've all got little circles, die cuts in them, which means you can actually uh, thread these all String up to so look yeah. the little banners. Yeah. They're well cool. Yeah. And all the letters will fit onto the little flag die at the bottom. That's so um, good. And then you've also got a pennant, and uh, you've also got a little flag die with a, a heart that you can, um, it, which embosses. So obviously you, you run that through, cut it, and then uh, you can ink through, and you've got a little heart going on. That's beautiful. I love that. Absolutely love that. Really cool set of dies and different again. Yeah, yeah. They're so ingenious. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence is all you're paying for that one. Two, three, eight, three, zero, six. And then last but by no means least, the chunky alphabet. And I do like this because it is super chunky. Uh, you've got your two dies. You've got your outside, and then you've got your inside. And I, it's a really cool font as well, it is isn't it? Yeah, it re really is. So, so the the kind of insides of the letters, so like your D, your B, your Q, your your, your O, that that blocky. Yeah. Uh, rather than having the detail cut out, and that means that you can you could put stencil detail in there you could have a little photograph in there yeah. it's just really cool it's just something different isn't it you yes. know other rather than just have an alphabet you absolutely know. no i really like that it really maximize your papers okay that is two zero two three nine one seven three pound however it's already busy the big one the big one now you're getting everything. You have got so many dies in this collection. It's over 200 dies in this collection. You have got the one day special. You've got all those beautiful journals. You've got both sets of alphabets. Your saving is £25. It absolutely isn't. Be a Freedom member. Freedom members, honestly, if you're not a Freedom member, you are definitely throwing money away because you are making a huge saving. Before all the other prices have been rounded up, um, you're saving £42.99, pence, but you're not because you've got all those other savings carried forward, which means as a Freedom member, it's £89.49. pence. Now, now, that second set was 80 odd quid wasn't it so essentially it's like getting something like that for nothing quite frankly 50p yeah 50p <laughs> um 
It is such an incredible collection. Um, and honestly, that is something that will keep you busy for years. <laughs> You'll never get out your craft room again. Uh, now, three payments, £53.97. We don't charge you any interest on this. Already a quarter of the stock has gone. Please, please check your baskets out on this. Remember, these are brand new dyes, really cool dyes and ingenious. The amount of things you can do with them are just sensational. 055406. Now, we've also got for you the stencils, and these have also been super, super busy. And I'm going to take you through the ones that we've got. So the first one is this beautiful floral, and this is so gorgeous. I'll just hold them up because it's easy. Um, and you've got that beautiful flower. Now, what you've got with that, that lovely floral but with that you can use a full thing or of course you could cut them out it's lovely for scene building isn't it yeah yeah i mean i can i i, I said last night i can see my fairy hugs yeah in, in here you know you can pop sure. a little fairy at the bottom or sitting yeah. on some of the flowers it is just a beautiful and they are a5 stencils i don't think you realize when you see them on the telly that they could be a6 they could be any yeah. size really couldn't they yeah absolutely. but they are a5 so they're not small and they do look, I mean, that on the yeah. card that Julia did last night looks absolutely sensational. Um, you've then got the beautiful swan. And with the swan, of course, you've got the two swans, so you could take one of the swans out if you wanted. You've got that beautiful um, heart border at the bottom and then the heart border at the top. And that one's got the uncut border, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah, so you can make that at the bottom bit as deep as you want to. But it's shaped, yeah. you know, it just doesn't you know, stop in the middle or something. It's lovely. Shape. I really, really like that. Very pretty indeed. Um, the next one that we've got, and this is my favourite. I love that one. Mm. It's just that beautiful ray of sunshine. And I adore what they've done with the clouds because that yes. allows you to build up the clouds, yes. doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah, it's re they're really, really clever. Yeah. I'd be tempted to snip that top one off. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I get, um, so I'd use it as a separate sense altogether, you rather could than do, keeping yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'd be getting my scissors on that. Um, but <laughs> I love that. I think that looks absolutely beautiful. And then last but by no means least, you've got the borders. Now the borders, they're so handy, mm. aren't they? Yeah, yeah. And again, with those, you can either do uh, just continuous, beautiful for backgrounds, and I'll show you the card. Because that's this actually is the borders, yeah. isn't it? That's the borders in the background. Yeah, yeah that looks really good. Yeah. And then the gorgeous flower. Um, okay, now, if you want this collection, <laughs> strong, strong collection. But it's your price. £16.96 for all of those. I mean, that is such an amazing price. Um, and obviously, with something like this, you are, sorry, the, the light is really bugging me. Uh, you are able to use these again and again. They are stencils. They are a tool. Uh, 295311 is your item number. Now, the beautiful papers. Um, already busy for these. And we didn't show these live last night, me and our Julia. So it's nice to see these. Now, I'll run through the papers. What you have got for you is, and I'll shift that to one side so I can show you. So look at these. These are lovely quality as well, they Julia. Are, yeah. so, 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 so. Studio Light scrapbook pa uh, papers are really lovely. And they do give you um, a key on the bottom of one of the sides as well as to what um, colour palette uh, they're yeah. with. Yes. Um, so that helps as well. So they're all double sided, which is always a bit of a problem as to which one to choose. But look, focal That's point. Beautiful. So you don't have to have that a focal point. You can just cut it into yeah. four and make four six by six cards if you are a card maker. Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, I they're... like the fact that there's two sides because it does yeah. mean that, that, you know, if you are making kind of um, cards that, uh, you know, uh, that, that fold over or, or you, um, you know, when you roll the edge of you, your card yeah. as well, you can yeah. see something interesting. Uh, the doggies oh, are just look. so cute, aren't look they? Look at the doggies. <laughs> and actually, if you're careful with this, you have to be dead careful, but if you cut those out, then it goes to about there. Yeah. So you can still get Use in. The other one, you might yeah. chop your sleigh off, but you can still get in. So if you're careful, you can do some, um, you, you know, a little bit of fussy cutting there. I love that. I mean, oh my gosh, doesn't that just look lovely? Yeah. It's so dreamy. I really like these, but, but are you ready for this? 
Boom! Look at all of the dogs! That's well cute. But they are really easy to cut out because a studio light always put a, a white border around their fussy cut sheets. Yeah. Uh, so even though they're not die cut, which are, obviously they wouldn't do that because you want, might want to use the other side. Yeah. Um, you can actually uh, easily fussy cut them out. I love that. That is well cute. I love that you've got on that paper as well. I love that you've got like the bunny rabbit and then just loads of dogs. <laughs> and it's almost quite random, but <laughs> fabulous. Uh, love that. I love that yeah yeah <laughs> the one in the hearts brilliant absolutely <laughs> that's what you need isn't it christmas dogs in hats and bunny rabbits i mean that is the happiest thing ever um nine pounds and 99 pence only um uh, sorry only nine pounds 99 pence you are making a three pound saving um you're getting six sheets in total 297711 your item number and now i really like these uh your beautiful pads and these have got such a gorgeous colour tone. Um, our favourite, I think, is the white one. The white fades, yeah. Look at that, look at that. It fades into white. It looks really cool, doesn't it? Yeah, and they are double-sided, so you've got a different colour on the back, a different uh, shade on Perhaps the back. I'm sure you like that. That's probably easier, sorry. So that's going to be easier, because then you can see the yeah. both sides. I won't show you every single page. But I really like these. Yeah, and the, the ones are right at the very back are more like a burst rather than um, a, a fade. Yeah. Which, so they're quite interesting oh, when you get these. to the back. I'm getting there. Yeah, but aren't they? They're yeah. lovely, aren't yeah. they? They really are beautiful. And the colour palette is absolutely yeah. exquisite. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we like those a lot. Um, if you want to get that one, now that's your first one. Um, that's your faded white gradients. Um, the next one that we've got is your pastel gradients. And with your pastel ones, you can see here, really nice soft tones there. Um, and again, beautiful. They're more subtle with the fade on yes. that one. Yeah, but I like that where you've got mm. your different colour palette in. Mm. That looks really effective, doesn't it? Yeah. It is more subtle, but really, really pretty. Yep, love, love, love those. Um, so that's your pastel. We've also got for you um, the floral colours. So with your beautiful floors, oh, look at that. Mm. For nice and bright. These are just gorgeous. So they're your floral colours. And they're all double sided. They will, yeah, they will take your inks really well. So, Wonderful. I mean, like last night I inked onto them. So, that, absolutely fine. Beautiful. So, obviously, multi purpose. And then, last but by no means least, your gorgeous pastels. And you can see with these ones, again, softer colour tones, but you have got that, that lovely solid colour with these. But yeah, lovely colours. Um, oh, and yeah, I've got some gradients as well. It's interesting, actually, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, now then, only £11 and £48. You're choosing for two of those. So pick your favourites. Um, me and our Julie would absolutely be going for the white one. Yes, definitely. That's our favourite. I'd probably go for the white fades and the florals. They, they would be my two yeah. choice ones. Yeah. I think I go to for two white fades. I really, really, really <laughs> like them. And mind you, I don't know, I like the pasta one. Anyway, um, <laughs> 11 pounds and 48 pence. 341207 is your item number. Right, absolutely enough of me. Let's get to our Julia. Uh, check the website. That's where you'll see everything. Now, last night, I know the single dies were really busy. So if you do want any of the dies, if you know, it is the Christmas. So if, um, if you need to go for single ones rather than bundles, then please, you know you've got that option. Uh, so please do have a little perusal at those uh, and do remember you have got savings as well um, even on some of the single ones so it's a really good um, a really good way to go uh, the, the biggie though the main collection that is really busy this morning so if you do want to get hold of that um, and making that huge saving please be part of freedom you do make such a big saving as a freedom member and of course you're not paying for postage either dead easy to join freedom you can go onto the website um, I've forgotten all the details which is oh triple eight triple eight and it's only 797 for the year no it isn't for the month I'm absolutely lying for the month um, I know right if you want to join freedom um, and obviously you don't pay postage within um, with any of your orders for that month either um, now then enough Enough. Over to you. Right. <laughs> 25 I past eight. Right. Hey. 25 past eight. It's 25 past eight. <sighs>
Get you. I know, you were doing all that talking, Julie. I know. <laughs> it probably is my fault. Right, so we're going to look teasing. at this um, rocker the die, um, and we're going to make a, a quick card with this, hopefully quick, um, so we can do the journal as well. So, um, obviously, when you cut it out, you've got that main die, and this main die is going to give you your card blank, and it does come out of an A5 piece. I would, as always, I would suggest that you just reinforce this score line here with your, your scoring tool and a um, scoreboard. So when you fold it, you've got you've got this kind of space, kind of what's it called? What's it called? Space space space, space machine space rocket thing. Space just as a thing. Space thing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> spaceship. Uh, that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> oh, where's my brain? Oh, it's with mine. I oh, know. Then we've got all the mats. They're hibernating, then we, then, we, then we've got the two uh, kind of mats and layers. Obviously, it's up to you. You don't have to use both of them. You can just use the outer one. So you could just um, decorate that. You don't. You know, if you want to use, have a larger piece, you don't have to do that. But if you use both of them. Yeah, that looks nice. Then, then you know, you've got stitch detail oh, going like on egg. in there. It does look like an egg, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, if you'd have done that yellow. Yeah, so yeah. it is up to you as to where you don't have to decorate the back one if you don't want to. Yeah. Um, but I have already cut one and glued one, so we will put one on. So we're going to actually decorate the pieces. Beautiful. So we've got the base part here. Is that in your um, gradiated paper yes, as well? Yes, it is. This Beautiful. is the, I think this is the pastels one. Amazing. Uh, Taz was seeing a egg within a piece of melon. Okay. Yes, okay, I get that. that that's quite <laughs> random, but I do get that, Taz. Thought I'd share that for you, Taz. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're just going to do a little bit of inking. So you can see the swans don't quite fit absolutely perfectly on here. Let's see if I can line them up a little bit. Don't so chop the reds even. off. Don't chop the I'm not going to chop the reds <laughs> off, but they'll lose a little bit of their um, yeah. tail feathers. <laughs> so we're going to go with a little bit of yellow, and we can be quite precise, and we can do their uh, beaks in oh, yellow. Lovely. Okay. Then um, we'll, we'll take uh, a pink. And these are the inks as well. That um, These are the studio light yeah. inks. Yeah. yeah. It's quite yeah. amazing. Yeah. They were really well priced as well when they came out. I think that's why they shot out. So we're just going to... Oh. Um, oh, made a little bit of a mess of that one. It's all right. It'll Start just off the blend. page. It'll blend. Yeah. So you can see that the papers take the inks really well. Yeah. And we'll just ink our little swans. And the lovely inks are those. Yeah, the, the, the each set had um, three chalks and one metallic in it. Right, um, okay, nice. So, yeah, and there were different, um, obviously different kind of collections of pinks and greens and all sorts. Hopefully we might be able to get them back on again at some point. Um, I'm not sure what the stock levels are like. So when you move that out of the way, oh, then you've got... Perfect. Doesn't that look pretty? Doesn't it look pretty? Yes, yeah, so yeah, so, beautiful. So, and then along the bottom, I thought we'd actually pull in, we can either pull in some of these hearts here, or we can actually bring in some of these. Oh yeah, that looks so nice. So let's have some of these, just to decorate the bottom. It's such, I really like this, well all the stencils, because you can, I think with all of them, you can just pull out so many different yeah. little elements, oh, can't you? That moved. <laughs> d d d we got d an, oh, oh, in the head then. Did we? Me and Julia don't tape down. Most no. sure. Why would I do that? It's harder because obviously it's it's a it's a little sh it's a funny shape, so it's harder to um, hang on to it. <laughs> and it's moving again, little little tinker. <laughs> this is proving in it. It's like this is exactly what I do. You know, it's it's like one of them ideas. You say, I oh, know, oh, I'll do that. I'll do that. And because yeah. you, you don't do it at home, you think, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. Uh, we're it'd just, be right. It'd be right in the it'd end. Be right. Just be more random. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to have a few there. <laughs> Very early. We're absolutely blaming the time of day. Yeah, yeah. I don't for, like this time of day. You know, this time of day isn't the time of day for stencils. No, it's this this time of day is the, is the time of day for kind of being in bed still. And, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I've done and it we again. all agree. Oh. At least you haven't sworn yet, though. I think I'm quite impressed. <laughs> I don't often do that. 
Not swear. No, I do listen to my son when he's playing. I do learn new words actually when he's playing <laughs> his games. Is he really good at introducing you to to a completely new vocab? Yeah, he really. Yeah, since I've been living with him, yeah, definitely. And is it like, oh, be Jesus, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll come in and he'll say something and he'll, and he'll accidentally swear and he'll say, sorry, Mum, I said, I've heard words <laughs> from you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we can now put our slightly inked base piece on here. Beautiful. You know, you've got a hint of it. Yeah, that's pretty. But they are really, I mean, you, you, they're really quick and easy uh, cards to do. Yeah. This one in particular, because there's not a lot of sections. Some of the others have got more sections. Um, and so sometimes, you know, actually live on air, it's a little bit different, difficult to stick them all down in front of you. Brilliant. Um, but uh, this one is, is, you know, if you need a quick card yeah. and something different, this is, this is the one. This is the one. And Obviously, like Liz has done, you could cut it out of uh, some pattern papers, of Christmas or not Christmas, whichever you want. Yeah. And that makes it even quicker because you're not stenciling. And your pattern papers are going to look absolutely yes. tremendous Yeah, and this. you can use up um, scraps and things because you can actually be selective as to where you actually um, uh, cut. And like with the oval, um, you could, uh, you know, spotlight uh, some of the dogs. I mean, Liz has, has cut hers out, but you could actually, you know, choose a spotlight where you want yeah. to go. Yeah, yeah. So now we've got the little stitched oval. Beautiful. And this is going to go in the centre with our loved up swans because we are heading towards valentine's day aren't we you That's know i gorgeous. know we're not at christmas yet but as card makers <laughs> oh, we're, hold on. we're already thinking about valentine's day oh, aren't we gee. i um, know but we are we are and actually i mean the the swans it could be valentine's it could be christmas to your loved one couldn't it it could be i mean you could i mean obviously it's going to be a bit late but you know <laughs> Right. Next year. <laughs> Next year. Yeah. I was. Yeah, I was. I don't know if I said to you last night, but some people, um, because they're in the Christmas spirit, they still make cards. You know, mm. after Christmas I and think in it's January. The best time. It's the best time to make Christmas cards. It is Christmas. Because you're, you're actually inspired. You're not you're, inspired in June no. to make Christmas <laughs> not, cards. No, it's normally July when it's when we're yeah. in a heat wave, but isn't it? But it feels weird. Whereas, actually, if you start making them... I mean, I'm, I do not talk from experience. No. I obviously don't make any Christmas cards. <laughs> but, I mean... You it, do if you have to demonstrate them, though, don't oh, yeah, you? Yeah, I'll yeah. demonstrate making them, but in real life. <laughs> so <laughs> this I is, like my art journals. This is the alphabet, That's or one well of them, the chunky alphabet. You can see I've already stuck some of these down. So, But we can actually pop, if I can get hold of it, and if it'll stay in one place, we could actually pop a little heart on a string, maybe. Let's see. Down oh, there. that's cute. And it fits perfectly. And it fits perfectly if it doesn't move. I really <laughs> that alphabet is fab. And that alphabet, talking to me, good old art journals, which I absolutely adore, that would be so good in the art journals. Yeah. I tell you what, though, I mean, the, when I look at these cards, I mean, just the, the layers of that die, if I wasn't making that into a card, and if I was just using the mats and layers, that would look so cool on a page. Yeah, it would. It would yeah. look really good. Like the full thing, the full circle. It yes. look beautiful. You know when it's opened up, that on a page would look amazing. Yeah, because you can you could actually just secure the back and have that so that that actually might be a bit difficult. Well, if you open it up, open card, look, that on a page, just the mats and layers would look gorgeous. That would work, yeah, It absolutely. would look really good. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Because it, I like the um, the surround of the circle. I think that looks really cool. Yeah. But I'm thinking we, um, some of my da stamps, you know, because we've got the art inspiration stamps, the... Yes. Um, Runs, uh, what's it called? Well, no, it's not them I'm thinking of. It's our Emily's. Oh, okay. And oh, the, uh, uh, the Earth ones. Yes. Ink and Earth would look tremendous on that. I, I love that. You know, in our crafty life, because you do, you look at something and you, you see other things on it, don't you? Yeah. You know how you'll use it. So we're just putting the word love around the bottom here. Just a bit funky. Using love. the studio light glue. Might not be completely symmetrical. Did I put it? I didn't put it. Oh, I did. I think I did have put any glue on there. Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Hooray. There we go. 
Oh, Julia, I love that. Love it. Doesn't want to sit on my uh, crash sheet, oh, of course. Yeah. They never do. That's it. Yes. That is absolutely fabulous. Thank you so much, Julia. <laughs> yeah, absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Right, recap time. Um, and then I promise I'm going to be quick because we'll get back to our Julia okay. for a demo. But first things first, one day special. So your one day special, you're getting all four sets of dice. But remember, with this, you are getting a huge amount of dice, 54 dice in total. You're making a £12 saving. For this collection alone, you've got so many mats and layers. Um, but the lovely thing is, it's that dimension that this is bringing you. Um, now, you have got your flexi, 39 pence and 98 pence today. You know exactly what you're paying the next one. We don't charge you any interest. They're going to be sent out for, for you from the 23rd. 506202. That's your one-day special. We've then got that amazing journal collection. I love these. It, honestly, when you get these home and you start playing with them, then you'll really, really learn what these dies can do. The dies, the tools, these are going to last forever if you look after them and you remember where you stored them. Um, it's the kind of die set that you'll be able to create so many different looks. If you make to sell, these are magnificent. But for gift ideas, you know, whether they're going to be photographed journals, whether they are going to be art journals, whether you're going to be creating your own planners, these are absolutely gorgeous. Um, you're on diaries and the saving is massive. Now it says £10. Obviously you've got savings carried forward so it's actually £28 saving. Your first payment £44.98. Um, 940922 and then you've got the alphabets. The first one is really cool. You just want to play with it, don't you? And make like little buns. I mean you could put these on everything. You know what I mean? Like if you did for next year with Christmas you could literally make a little happy Christmas and hang it on the tree with these. Do you know what I mean? You, there's very little you need to do to make this look good. Oh, you literally just die cutting it and then just stringing them up and hanging them. It'll look amazing. You'll have like names on shelves. You'll have um, obviously the beautiful for cards. But yeah, I, I just, oh, that is cool. If you do want that set, it's only 14 99 And then the last set is the one that we've just seen Julia using. And this is that big chunky one, which I am a massive fan, on, uh, fan of. They look fantastic. And when you see the mat and layer as well, brilliant, really cool set. And for a £19.99, it's a bargain. 202391. However, it is the big collection that has been the busiest, the big collection that people are going for this morning. And it's a big collection where you're getting a huge saving. Please be a Freedom member. Honestly, you are making a massive saving, 42.99 if you're a Freedom member. That's your saving. However, you've got things carried forward. You've got a £12 saving from this one. You've got a £28 saving from this one. You've got a saving from your alphabets. It means your total savings carried forward and your extra saving um, comes to £89.40. Nine pounds, sorry. Me has decided not to work. Um, that means today you're only paying £161.91. We know that is still a considered purchase. It has been brought down for, uh, for you into three easy payments. That's £53.97. 055406. That's your item number. Do not miss out on this. It's so cool. Have we got pictures? Are they not ready yet? They're not ready yet, but we're, right, um, Emma, Emma, we're on it. We're sorting those pictures out. We will get to show you before the hour uh, because I've spotted a few of them and they look well cool. So we are going to get to show you them, Emma, and thank you ever so much. Anybody else who's, um, you know, made something, these are brand, brand new as well. Was, Emma's, Emma's on the day too. Ah, that's how Emma's got them. I'm like, how's she done it? <laughs> um, but, but, oh, thank you ever so much, Emma. Yeah, can't wait to see them. Um, right, please check the website out, because obviously we've got the beautiful stencils, which you cannot miss out on. We've also got the papers, we've got the pads. Everything's available for you um, at some incredible prices. Those stencils, the prices 
are sensational. So don't miss out on those £16.96 for those stencils. It is such a good deal. 295311 is your item number if you are wanting to go for those. Um, and again, yeah, just unmissable. 295311, your item number. Right, our lovely Julia. Right, I'm faffing Over around to with you. all 15 my bits. Minutes. Oh, I'm so looking forward all to bits. this. All my bits. Right, okay. So we're dealing with this uh, huge die set here. That is huge. So remember, this is almost um, thirty pounds to buy um, yeah. individually. So um, for sixteen pound and ten p in the big bundle, that's ridiculous. Bargain! It is such a bargain. bargain. So there's a huge amount of dies in here. So breaking it down. Break it down. So we've got um, this outer die here, and uh, we've got this uh individual die here now that's cool so actually you can decide where you want the spine so it doesn't have to be central does it not um it doesn't have to be it's easier that if it is right but you okay. know the rules are there to be broken you'll see that get that out of the way you see here there's a little nick just there ah okay yeah and there's cool. a little one down here as well and that means that it obviously it line obviously we would put it face down but you can line it up perfect there like that so you know where it's going to go amazing there is another one here which is slightly different um, which you can also use if you want to or you can use it in pages but you can see that the holes are in a different place yeah, yeah. so that means that you can make different types of journals if you want to I love that okay yeah uh, but I've used this one here okay, because okay. that means we've got one two three sections amazing which will all become okay. uh, um, clear so that's your cover Okay. Right. Always put them back on your sheet. And your cover, you've cut that out of heavyweight card this as well. Is, this is this um, is sentimentally yours. Um, um, double-sided craft card, which is 350 GSM. Amazing. You can use the leather effect um, uh, pieces that are also on the show. Yeah. So that's yep. the cover. Now, actually, they'd look really quite fabulous. They would, they? but I don't have any, so um, oh, that's why I have we'll give you these. these. <laughs> um, you have got. <laughs> Pinch one each out of these. Uh, you've only got two sheets, but I'd have one sure. Um, so they see the leather effect. There is a four leather. Um, and you have got within here, you're choosing any three. Yeah, these was, would look, ooh, these would look absolutely amazing on your covers, actually. Um, really, really effective. So obviously, you've got all them different choices. Oh, oh, she says. Um, check those out on the website. Only 11 99 for any three of those. You get two sheets per pack back to Julia right so so you've got choices with this particular uh, die set so um, this is the next one down so remember we cut the biggest one uh, out for the cover if you take the next one down then you can make yourself some blank pages again right. you pop the the middle bit in and to, to so you can bind it in cool. so if you wanted to you could just create it's only a single signature one this one yeah. but you could cut loads of those and you can make yourself a little tall slim notebook art journal whatever you want to cool. okay yeah so that's one way of using it yes or you can do something different Mm. Because what we have in here is we have um, these cool dies here. So we've got this one and we've also got this one. Okay. So you can see here that these have got holes in them. Yes. And those holes marry up with the holes that are in your cover. Oh, so they do perfectly. So they do perfectly. And you can see that you've got a straight edge and you've got um, kind of a postage stamp edge yeah. with a little uh, lip on it. So if you cut some of those out, and you have got your mats and layers as well, so you've got you've got smaller ones as well. Oh, how cool. Um, you, if you cut those out, then you get a cover. Yeah. Which is scored there. So these are almost like mini books in the book. Mini books in the book. Oh, and there's your, there's your little one again for your page. Oh. And then you could cut those out there like that. And then they will fit in here like so that's so, so cool so you've got a little book folding and you can have the plain one in here and you can have perhaps another one of those in there okay that's so, so you've got good. lots of little books 
within your big book. Oh, I love that. It's really cool, isn't it? Yeah, so, that's really so clever. So obviously then you take your baker's twine and you just sew, sew each one in yeah. individually. That, yeah. that, that should be quite straightforward. But you've also got um, your dies to kind of decorate the outsides of these as well. So, I mean, just as an idea, you could take one of your fades. Uh, so this is one of the white fades. And Beautiful. this isn't a die. This is just um, measured and just trimmed slightly smaller. Yeah. Okay, so you can actually you could actually do that. You could take one of your um, little flappy bits here. Gorgeous. And you could pop that on the front if you wanted to. You've got, um, I know it's a little bit awkward because I'm only holding it because it's quicker for me to show everything like yeah. this. Yeah. Then you've got your mats and layers within here. You've got a postage stamp. Oh, and these all come in as well, don't they? Yeah, they I? all come in as well. You've got, I'm not, I, I, when all of the demonstrations that you'll see me do with the journals, I'm only using one set. Yeah. I'm yeah. not mixing and matching because obviously then a whole new world yes. opens up. And that's it. I mean, as soon as you start mixing and matching, yeah. it becomes humongous. So we could have that like that, and that then that, cool. would, that, that could open like yeah, that. Yeah. You've also got within here, you've got these three little dies like so and they create like little um ah. th they could be like little flaps if you like so you could actually i don't know have have one of those so like little tab like little tab Will it be a so reinforcer could... as well are there for it, your reinforcers on your pages it could be i suppose it could be let's have a look where's the page uh, no not really on this one to be honest what about around outside the on the red uh, no because they're not um they're not shaped, are they? They're, they're, oh, of course. they're folded, it's not got so a thing on they're its more side. to be tabs. So you, right. could, you could have, perhaps, have one like that. So it's on there if you wanted oh, and to. Then so obviously, you can put a little bit of ribbon through the tab. Get if you it. wanted to, yeah. Oh, that yeah. looks so effective. Yeah. So, so you could do that on the front. Um, you've also got. Um, so perhaps have a couple of those. You've also got this little kind of. Um, book plate yes whichever way you want to actually have it because it's got three holes in it that's well you've, cool you've got the little word inspire which oh. you do have the little eye as well but i've got that in the little bag so you've got that amazing um you've also got this like little um thing here that you could actually i don't know stamp on yeah. or whatever um so you've got those. Also, you've got these little pockets. So you could perhaps put one of these on the inside. So these are um, these funny shaped things. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you've got mat and layer for each one. There's two sizes. So uh, again, because this is card, again, this is sentimental to yours card, so this is 270 GSM. Do reinforce it with uh, a bone folder and a score a scoreboard so that then becomes a pocket so you could have that on the inside and then you've got like I say you've got your mat and layer for it so that can then go like so you've That's got well some cool. tags and so the tags fit in the pocket and the tags will fit in your pocket amazing you've also got um, so can you see that that is is an oval oh yes so it's not your normal uh, oh, rings. Yes. So you've also got oval rings oh, they've just thought of to everything. go on there as well. And it's things like that, those finishing touches that make them look so professional. You've also got a smaller tag, which has got a smaller, and you've got a smaller pocket as well. So, so well you've got... Cute. Yeah, you've got these little tiny ones here. Obviously, I'm going to put this in a different place. But... Um, so the little tag is going to fit in there or you could do mat and layer onto the other one and you've got the smaller ring to go over to go on that as yeah, well yeah well um, cool. so what else have you got on here we've got the, done the stars got the we've also got a heart which i didn't actually cut how rude how rude i know i know so we've also got a heart as well so so we could cut that as well so Beautiful. there's there's that is amazing Absolutely, that's just I that's love. just the one. You can imagine. I mean, yeah. I, I will stick this together at some point. So you can imagine it's like a little flick flack kind yeah. of book. Um, it's so cool. I love that you get the books in the book. Yeah, yeah. But you could so use these cool. separately because what you could have these outside of the the binder because that in itself is a, a, its own little book. Yes. So you can actually yeah. just stitch that in. I mean, remember if you just if you're just using Baker's twine or whatever, uh, you just snip it out and you can add more pages or take more. Pages 
pages and change them but you can make yourself a little tiny mini journal yes and you've got the two shapes because you've got your, your little postage stamp one and you've got um that one uh, the yeah. plain one as well so and don't forget if you were mixing and matching you can go to your other journals and use some of the different edges that you've got yeah. in your other journals yes of as, course so you know so it, 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 it's not just with this one you're not just getting a tall slim line journal yeah. you're getting yeah. the, the tall slim journal you're getting the one where you could just do plain pages you've yeah. got your mini ones that you can put in there all the mini ones that you can use outside and then you've got all the decorative elements and yeah. the tags and everything and when you, you start separate. mixing it with all the other ones yeah. as well it, so it's, it's just, just huge yeah huge and this is why it's so important to, to be able to break it down and see those different elements because honestly and this is why it takes Julie rather a long time to do the die cutting in preparation for this because <laughs> there's a lot of die cutting to do um, I definitely go for this okay now if you wanted to go for that die set alone you could 24 pounds and 99 pence you're already saving four pounds and 50 pence and um, five nine eight eight five seven is your item number however if you want it in the set of four now these are all really clever dies. If you're so impressed by what Julie's just showing you with that one die, wait till you see the others as well. Literally every single one of those die sets is really cleverly designed. Every single one will give you a humongous amount of dies. And the wonderful thing about these, they'll merge together. So you'll be able to mix and match them, which means every single one will give you so many possibilities. Now you're saving £10. You've also got the savings carry for us. You are saving £28. Um, and your flexi means uh, today you're only paying £44.98 to get those delivered to your door. 940922 is your item number or the big one the big one is going to give you everything it's going to give you a one day special it's going to give you those incredible journal dies it's going to give you the wonderful alphabet dies but it's going to give you a massive saving um be a freedom member i'm not even telling you the price if you're not a freedom member because it's just it just makes sense to be a freedom member 42.99 is your saving you've got a huge saving carried forward which means your actual saving is 89 pounds and 49 pence obviously you've still got that flexi as well so three flexes 53.97 that's for our wonderful freedom members 055406 now emma those pictures um right so our emma now this is the square journal um that you've got in that journal collection and she's used i love it because she's used the corner pieces and um, they almost look like the little pockets that you put your your photographs in don't they absolutely gorgeous so we presume that must be the cover and um, so that's the first one we've also got oh that's one of the cards that's lovely and that's using the papers and how different does it look depending what colors you use on the panels yeah, yeah, it utterly yeah. changes it doesn't it yeah 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 yeah, utterly yeah. Changes it. but it's totally up to you isn't it that's yeah. the thing and i love the way the the edges really stand out as well yeah you yeah. know so that's your second one that's your beautiful card Oh, that's pretty. That's the stencil. That's the stencil, yeah, yeah, and gone around the edge with a white pen. That looks really effective. Yeah, that's absolutely gorgeous. So obviously that's your one day special. That's your one day special folded up. Yeah, that looks really pretty. Very pretty. Um, we've also got that our lovely Emma's been building. Now that's back to the square journal. And what she's done, she's used those. You know, um, Julia said about the dies to create the beautiful fancy pages. That's what she's used there. She's created the envelope. You get that in there. Wonderful things inside. You get those dies in there. Yeah. Those dies are ace, aren't they? Are they are really cool, yeah. And wonderful things inside, not just things. <laughs> and then the <laughs> final one from our lovely Emma. Oh, beautiful. Because they're the so pocket that's using, dies. Yeah, that's using the, the sort of um, the, the kind of corner piece as, yeah. as, the, as the moon. But she's actually changed the edges as well. Yeah. that one with the edge of dye in there. That looks really effective. And that's ju she's just, uh, on the, the journal, again, she's just used those that are in that square journal. Yeah, that's really clever. You've even got the butterfly in that square journal. Yeah. They're all in that square journal. Emma thank you so much really really appreciate that that is um, amazing um, now we have had a quick question from the call center hello gang um, what size so with these um, dies yes. would you need an A4 die cutting no. machine would you not no not even with the journal ones no wow no because they all they, uh, uh, hmm. 
actually with the tall ones you will need with the with the tall one you probably will let's have a look um no that's a5 isn't it no that should go on the a5 Wow. Should go on the A5, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Because obviously you've got more space on an A4 machine because you, yeah. you can cut more things. But no, it should go on the A5. Amazing. That's amazing. I love that because, again, it means if you've if that's a machine you've got, you can go mm -hmm. for it. But they make things that look bigger. They do, absolutely. And yeah. I think that's why it's hard to get your head yeah. around there. Because yeah. it does look, I think because they are, like, when you see the dimension of the card, it, even though like that isn't a huge card, but because it's got so much going on, you feel that it needs a bigger yeah. die cutting machine. Actually, no, I'm thinking this one, the wrap around one, that will need an A4. Right, so one of them does need yeah, an A4. Yeah, the wrap around. In, in, none of the one day special ones need a, need an A4. Yeah, but the uh, wrap around journal will need an A4. Excellent. Okay, um, that's brilliant. Um, so that's your question. Thank you very much. If you've ever got questions, it's live. Email in. Um, now, um, our Julia is back at 12 o'clock, yes. so please make sure you tune in with me. Yes. Yay! I got another hour with Julia. <laughs> um, so please make sure you tune in. Um, <clears throat> what we show... <clears throat> sorry. What are you showing them at 12, uh, uh, well, Julia? We've got one more journal to go through, Good. and uh, we've got another card to go through. I do want to do a quick technique with the stencils, though, so, so we might do that straight off. So I um, need to talk really quick, because you've got three demos. Okay. Potentially. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to be so quick. Well, just at don't talk to me, then it's my fault. <laughs> it's not your fault. It's my fault. It's all together. <laughs> um, right, <laughs> twelve o'clock. We'll be there, but don't go anywhere because the wonderful Liz is up next. Thanks, Julia. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh, journaling with that's crafting and some beautiful papers over there and stunning finished samples. We've then got closing antics and then album making with Oscar. Oh, with Heartfelt, sorry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Julie and I'm Paula and together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you the viewers so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today.
Hello, good morning. Now, I'm very, very happy to be working with Liz again. Hi, Liz. Hi, Alice. Good morning. We're bright right. and early, aren't we? We are. We are. We're, and we're actually perky as well, we're, which is yeah. uh, surprising. <laughs> we are raring to go. We are. Now, I'd like you to tell everybody, and myself, of course, okay. how you got into making these journaling templates. Okay, What's, well, yeah. I've been journaling for a very, very long time and making my own books. Mm -hmm. um, and then two years ago, maybe last year, I started working with That's Crafty on the design team. Wonderful. And then earlier this year, Laura from That's Crafty said, Liz, will mm -hmm. you please design me some templates for journals? Yeah. So I said, oh, yes, please. So it all started back earlier in the year um, where template set one came out. Right. And then they were so successful. So thank you for people buying mm -hmm. them. Um, we're now on to step four. <gasps> set four? Set four. Amazing. Yeah. So I'm surrounded by some beautiful samples with what these templates yes, can do. Yes, yes. Should we have a little look? So like, yeah, let's lovely. And I just up. want to say thank you to Shelley, Brian, Rachel and Jill from the design team because they've absolutely smashed it out of the park with their samples. Uh, so that's like a little... It's a little gift card holder, but it fits, you know, your little gift cards that you get from um, the department stores or yeah. game shops yeah. or things like that. It actually fits one of those little credit card things. Amazing. Um, so it's just a nice way of hanging a little present and it, you oh, can, it's got a little hole at the top so you can actually hang it from the tree. Oh, amazing. Um, yeah. But they also fit tea bags and... Oh. Coffee that's sachets cute. and chocolate sachets yeah. as well. So if you've got a tea lover, that's quite nice as well as a little gift. That's amazing. I'm just going to pop this back down again then. I didn't want to pull it open, but I'll have a little fiddle oh, later. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. I didn't want to rip that. Um, and then... Now, this one yes. is a This Way, That Way journal. So the idea is um, it opens one way, and I've stitched some pages in. Amazing. And then if you get to the back and turn it round... Turn it round? <gasps> Oh, it's like another book. Oh, and amazing. it opens oh, that way. Oh, yeah. So it, it yeah. That way. yeah. Oh, how cool is this? Yeah. And I've used some of my stamps as well to right. embellish the front. But it's called a This Way, That Way. So it's like a long concertina. It's amazing. So both ways. Yeah. Oh, I really like that. That is so. I'm just going to play it with it. Fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's <laughs> fine. Just stroke it and play with it. And the papers are lovely as well that we've used. Amazing. This one? This one is a, it's like a, a concertina pull-out journal, okay. um, and it has pockets as well. Um, Ooh, it just, it's just beautiful. So it pulls right out. Way. But Look what we that. can also do is just ha have it fixed into the spine, so it's like a book itself, so it doesn't have to pull out. Yeah. There's options of both, really. Amazing. And with that one, for the first time, I've actually done matching boxes for the two sizes of that concertina. Right. You can make boxes to match. Amazing. It's still box. going. Yeah. Wait, wait. There's a little... Look. Oh, and that's like a little matchbook box, um, a little concertina, but I've actually stitched it i made a little needle book with it that's beautiful and i've just lined it and i've used my stamps to put the hinges on yeah i love that and a little create yeah and and just use some um just some nice fabric paint just yeah. to to fill it in it's beautiful still going hang on then let's open so this that's one. the little mini concertina um, and what jill's done with that one which is beautiful she's done it in the other direction so rather than it pull out the side she's done it so it pulls out the top does. How look fabulous at, is that? I'm loving all of these. Look at that. So they're all flip flappy because that's what I'm known for. My flip, flip flaps. flaps. But it's more of a concertina Christmas really this time. Love it. I think I've got one more here. Oh no, I've got two more. Yeah, so that's the box for yep. the large size concertina. And you've popped, popped that lovely little gift card. And there. she's got that little gift card in it. Yeah. Um, and she's made a beautiful card with that. So it doesn't have to have the album in it. You can actually use it as a gift box in its own right. Absolutely. Love that. And then last but not least, here we go. Here's another sample. But they've just been brilliant. The samples how? that the team have done. Way. How, how lovely is that? Flip that. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> uh, right then, so if you would like these wonderful journal templates, Twenty-four ninety-nine. There's so much that you can do with these, um, and we'd love to see if anybody's got, you know, part one, part yeah, two, yeah, yeah. Et Please do send po photographs in. That yeah, would be yeah, amazing. Yeah. Send yeah. them to studio at thecraftstore dot com. Eight four three zero two eight is your item number, and you're getting 
so many templates. I think it's about there. fifteen in this set. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and it's just you just need a pencil. Yeah. A ruler, a pair of scissors. Yeah. Sorted. Bit of glue. Amazing. Yeah. So in away. a nutshell, in a nutshell, tell me what you can make. So you can make a little matchbook concertina. Yep. You can make a little. Um, gift card holder, you can make two sizes of concertina mm -hmm. and then you can make the this way, that way um, double fold concertina. Excellent. And the two boxes. Excellent. See, there's a lot you can do with these um, these templates and it's just 24 943 is your item number. Next then, we've got some stamps. Now, under one item number, we've got two options. Here we go. Now, who's drawn these? I've drawn those. Hey. And it's my handwriting as well, yeah. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. Yeah. But yeah, it's my dad's handwriting. I take after my dad, not my mum for handwriting. It's definitely my dad. <laughs> he always Jeez. writes my name in full, Elizabeth Wheeler. Oh, well, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's gorgeous. So um, here's our first one then. So we've got bake ingredients, starter, mains, puddings, recipes, desserts, cook method, and then... Uh, you can see, I like the fact we've got a nice little banner as well, just on this one. That one, it's like a tea tray you can actually oh, use it for as well. Yeah, it idea. was like a, 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 a header for your book, mm -hmm. but um, it could be a tea tray. Amazing. And then there's, um, we've got like a nice little mixing bowl, and there's an apron, and there's flour. So that one is your first one, and that is fourteen ninety nine. Obviously, you've got inspiration on the packet. Shall I just whiz this in, just just so you can see the size of the stamps? There you go. So that's that one. They're a nice size stamp, a nice side wording as well for, yes, for they all are. of your different journals, and they'll all mix and match with my other sets of templates mm -hmm. as well. Yep. So everything will mix and match together with the different ones. Good. So that is your first one at fourteen ninety nine five five five. 137 and then under the same item number this makes me smile a hinge and bracket yes yeah. i love we were trying to think that. of names for it mm -hmm. so there was all sorts but we, we finally decided on hinge and brackets i'm yeah. liking it um and you can see you've got like the corners there uh, again you've got lots of um words art belief friendship create laugh happy you do have nice writing oh thank you yeah, you really thank do you. mine is uh, you can't read mine and then i'm just gonna wing this in again there you go, so that you can see. Oh, I like that this book belongs to as well. I know. I just wanted to do that because there's all, all these times like I gift quite a lot of my books mm. and it's just nice to put on the inside cover Yeah. so that you can send it out as a gift. Beautiful. Right Thank then, you. again, 14 99 same item number on screen. Okay, now we... Oh, 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 sorry. Before we... Is this all right? Because this is oh, such Shelley's a nice one. Oh, Shelley's done that one. It is absolutely amazing. It's just a little... Uh, the hook and loop Velcro fastening. So it just pulls open that one at the front. Okay. But oh. how amazing is that? Oh, she's done brilliantly. It's just amazing. She's used the stamps to do the background paper. Yeah. She's just recipes. put a little... Everyone's got a little booklet, booklet in it for recipes. Yeah. Oh, my it's word. just gorgeous, and the colourways are just lovely. Mm. Imagine getting that as a present for Christmas. I know, gosh, I'd be so delighted because you know somebody's put real care and attention yeah. into yeah, it as well. Yeah. That's beautiful. I just wanted to show that. Right then, so we've got an accessories pack. Um, so what do we get in this? So the then? accessories pack, there is a sheet of Tyvek. So I'm going to show you how to use the Tyvek. It's like um. It's like a, a shredded plastic type things, and they use it in the construction industry and okay. for postal envelopes. So I've never heard of it. It doesn't, it doesn't tear, so it cuts really easily, but it's like a really, really strong film type right. thing. Yeah. Um, and you use it for the side of your hinges. It, pro it protects oh. it for when you're folding backwards and forwards with yeah. your books. It stops it from cracking and things. That's interesting. So the sheet of Tyvek, okay. there's a sheet of tea bag paper. Right. So the actual paper that tea bags are made from. Oh. So if you can imagine how much hot water is poured on tea bags, yeah. it's quite a sturdy paper. So you can really abuse it in a nice way with your paints and with your heat gun. Yeah. So I'm going to be using that as well in oh. the second demo. Oh, wait. To yeah. See this. We've yeah. got elastic, we've got the hook and loop fasteners, which are those, that's what they call the, the little velcro y yeah. or hook and loopy thingies, <laughs> yeah. the fasteners, the dibby dob dabs. Um, and we've got some string as well. 
well. So I think there's two metres of the black and white elastic mm -hmm. and a metre of the string. Right. I know that because I've caught quite a lot of Oh, you've been, <laughs> been doing all the hard work. I've been cutting them up. Um, so I think that's in the accessory packs, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. 12 99 then, 882908 is your item number. Okay, have a look on the website for everything else that we've got on the show. Um, and then we're going to hand over to you in just a second. But I want to point out that we've also got some lovely paper collections. So this one is called Rays of Sunshine. Or you can go for, ooh, Ominous Marshes. Craft O'Clock come up with the best names for paper collections. Yeah. But Ominous Marshes, it's like dark and gothic mm. and it's beautiful. There's owls in them and moons and there's cats in them. So, yeah, so you get your, your 8 by 8 your 6 by 6 your 12 by 12 and then there's also chipboard right. and two, they're like a um, journal collection, so some are cut apart okay. and some you can make your own little mini journal oh. as well, so it's a really good collection and the weight of the paper is, is really thick, Excellent. so really sturdy for your projects, yeah. Lovely. Right, well, without further ado, I'm intrigued. What are you going to start with? Okay, please? so I'm going to start with um, one of the small concertina ones. So this, um, the way I've done them, each of the templates um, has a number attached to it, um, just so that you know which is which. And I've also made sure that there's a little hole at the top, just so that you can put it on a book ring. So all of my template sets, I have them hanging up in my craft room on a little book ring, just so I can get them to get to them quite easily. So they're all numbered, um, and this particular set has three sets for your journal itself. So we've got a cover, we've got the inner pages with an accessory pocket, and these are also the little tags that go in it. Yeah. But for this time as well, I've also done a box template, which I'll show you how to put together in a minute. It's just one template for your lid and your base. Um, so I will go through that in a second. So what I've started with is my 4A template, which is my cover. Now, what you need to do if you just want one that wraps round, that you, you're not using your tie vac or you're not using mount board, just use any sort of heavyweight card and all you do is put your template, I always put it to the corner and at the bottom so I'm not having to do extra cutting. Just draw around your template with a pencil, draw in your score line mm -hmm. and for the cover of this one I'm going to do this twice just to show you how to put the cover together for the for the basic um, cover. Mm -hmm. But for the one I'm actually putting together, I'm going to use the tie back on it. So all I've done, draw around that. If you want to use a paper trimmer, use a paper trimmer. Um, I'm not that bothered about it being very, very straight. If it helps, stick your tongue out. <laughs> I do that, that all the time. That makes it easier. Say my friend, I'm going to say hello to Julie. She's back in the uh, back in the room. Um, she's decoupaging some bottles at the minute. But oh, I was laughing at her yesterday. And she's like, pull the tongue out, and she's cutting out her napkins. Oh bless! So that's it. Okay. Then with your scoring tool and a ruler, just score down those two lines. Yep. And then either with double-sided sticky tape or with wet glue. All I'm going to do is stick these two hinge spines here together on top of each other. So I've just put a little bit of glue on the inside of one. And then making sure it goes in the opposite direction, I'm just going to stick that together and that effectively is your cover for your first concertina book. Yeah. Yep. And by sticking it on top of each other, um, it just gives it a little bit of strength as well. So that's how um, the original design is for putting your cover together. Mm -hmm. But what I've actually done is where that hinge is there, where the spine is, I've actually done it on mount board and I've cut that off. Right. And I'm only using one. So this is where your Tyvac paper comes in. So if you can hear, 
but it's quite a strong it's paper and it, it won't tear yeah. so they use it for airmail letters and that but they actually it's line um they line buildings with it as well wow. it's like an insulation i've never heard yeah. of this it's like the secret in crafting that's oh. now out oh, so yeah, tie, out yeah, bag, tie yeah. that paper yeah I um, wonder where the name comes from. It's an interesting think, name. Yeah, it, I, I can't even remember how to spell it sometimes. Um, but it is a really, really useful paper. With this, I will use double-sided sticky tape. Um, so all I'm going to do is put a couple of lengths on my spine. Mm -hmm. And then just a length to the left and to the right of my cover pieces. Any type of mount board. This is just like the inners, you know, from photo frames. Yeah. I go sometimes to my local framers, and it's the middle bits that they cut out that they don't need. So oh, the scraps, they're right. just like the scraps from the inside. Okay. Because otherwise they'll just bin them. That's just, um, which is a real shame. Yeah. So um, it's always worth checking if you have got a little local um, picture frame or something mm -hmm. like that. Take the backing off. And then a strip down that side. And what I tend to do is leave about um, an eighth of an inch, two eighths of an inch, one, two, three, four, five, six, eighth of an inch. Yeah. Something like that to leave a, a little bit of a gusset because you. Yeah. you want your book to be able to fold backwards and forwards. Yeah. And Makes then sense. the same for the other side. But it makes a nice sturdy cover this so any of my templates where it's got like a little uh, a spine that you can uh, score down uh -huh. you can do this technique with it right um, cut it down um, to use for the Tyvek bit of tape on that side mm -hmm. I've cut all my fingernails so that's rubbish as well <laughs> don't be worried typical isn't it <laughs> You need to get you a pokey tool then. Oh, oh I've got one there, but oh. I'm a bit dangerous with them, to be <laughs> honest. So again, so just that's that just little yeah, a little bit. Yeah. And then that just then folds that's up. Perfect, so that's your then. cover. That's yeah. your cover then. I always say as well when I'm using Tyvek, I always put the Tyvek so that it's on the outside, mm -hmm. because if you're putting anything on the inside of your hinges there. Um, the problem is it might get too bulky and right. it might start pulling away from that spine. So I always make sure my Tyvek is on the outside. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's my cover. And I've got some nice patterned paper that I can stick on the front. And I've got black on the inside of this. I could have painted it, mm -hmm. I could have put paper on it. But I'm going to leave that black for now. Um, bear in mind with the pages going in you don't need to really put pattern paper on this bit just make sure you've got some coverage on the edges because there's going to be some paper stuck over the top of that bit so i'll just do the front cover because i've got one of my stamps that i've used as well so i'm using the six by six paper pad and it will just fit the front page and part of that spine and i'll do the same for the back page so i'm not wasting any of my paper absolutely so a nice good spread of glue use your finger which collection are you using so this one is the ominous marshes yeah, you're yes going for ominous that one. marshes nice. yes and there's little owls and mushrooms and it and they're both double sided as well yeah that's great um so there's there's so much choice in what papers you want to use with this mm. And do cut them. I know they're just too nice sometimes to cut into, but use them. They're so lovely to use. They're a really thick, mm. more of a card weight rather than a paper weight. I was going to say, these. I can even hear it while you were yeah, cutting. Yeah, nice and weighty. So that's for the back. But really quick, you know, if you want to make a quick journal for somebody, um, these are really nice quick makes. Just cut that off. Now I just need to be careful just while that glue's um, setting mm -hmm. is just be careful when you're folding that spine over because obviously I don't want that, that card to move. So I'm just very gently, gently, mm -hmm. um, gently, gently, Glynis. She calls me gently, gently on Facebook. <laughs> 
Is she watching? She'll be watching. Hello. Yeah. But she always calls me gently, gently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so gently, gently fold your spine over okay. um, and let that set. So while that's setting, I'm going to do the inside pages. So this is your 4B template. Okay. So what that has again is a little spine there. And that's so you can create your concertina. There's the page as well, and then there's an accessory pocket. It's up to you if you want to put the pocket on or not, and I've done both, so it'll show you how I've done it. So for the first page, I've drawn around the template, but I don't actually need my pocket because that's going to be stuck on my inside back cover. So I'm going to do that now. Okay. So a little bit of glue, and this size template will fit, you know, your mini portrait pictures from your those instant cameras yeah oh yeah they will fit that size okay. and the other size the big one will fit a six by four photograph brilliant yeah so i've done it so that you will get maximum use out of it so i've stuck this flat and then it's up to you how many pages you put in i've done six mm -hmm. so i've got my little spine there that folds up and then this is your pocket you just fold those tabs in, a yep. little bit of glue, top and bottom, fold that over, and that creates your ah, little pocket. Right. Yep. Yep. So what I'm actually going to do with this one is stick it directly on top of this line here. Mm -hmm. So I've drawn my line in as a reference point, but now I'm actually going to put my little album together. So that sits, and if you can see, Put the glue on the back sure. and my flap is folding towards me and that will sit directly on the top. So there's different ways of doing it. You could do it so that that flap goes behind mm -hmm. but this way it sort of comes out a lot further, your album. Right. So that's the first one. The second one, I'm actually going to cut the pocket off. So the option is always there for you, mm -hmm. but then you could always use that. I was going to say, can and just, keep it? Yeah, you can keep it and use it on something else. Yeah, perfect. So this time, folding my flap towards me, a little bit of glue on the back, and this time I'm sticking this on the top of my pocket like that, if you can see. Mm -hmm. So already I have a little bit of a concertina going on. Excellent. So again... Fold that back, uh -huh. fold my pockets forward. So you can get onto a bit of a roll then. So you just, yeah, I mean, get everything cut out. Yes. Um, and then cut your pattern papers out. So I only ever need to loot a little bit of pattern paper in there because obviously I'm not going right across. Mm -hmm. So I only need a little bit that will just fit in this bit here. Mm -hmm. So work out how many pockets you're going to use, work out how much paper you need and then put it all together afterwards. So again, remember to alternate where you're putting your flaps. Flip so flap. Flip flaps, <laughs> fold it forward, yep. little bit of glue on the back, but don't worry if you stick it the wrong way round, because mm. it'll still come out. Yes, good. So then that one sticks to the end of that. So that is the principle. Wonderful. So if you can see, yep. And you can just keep on going to the width of your spine. Mm -hmm. So I'll carry on with this in a second, but I'm just going to show you now. <gasps> I knew I'd do that. What? What? Put it upside down. Oh, it doesn't matter. But it doesn't don't matter worry. because I'm going to do it that way instead. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Yes, yeah, so I mean mushrooms are hanging down, but that's, that's all right. fine. I I'm quite not even, like that. Not even a bit bothered. That means they're very spooky mushrooms. Oh yeah, but it's fine because I'm going to cover it. So what I've got here. Uh, from my hinge and bracket stamp set. Oh, gorgeous. So I've cut out, I've stamped first the frame, yeah. and then I've stamped over the top with the friendship. I've just used a little bit of distress ink to colour that in. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of glue attached to that. So that will go on the front. So these are really nice, you know, the little friendship books, and you put little quotes and little yeah. gifts, you know, even yeah. tea bags in them as well. I know I've got a thing for tea bags I at think the minute. That's all right. But I'm just thinking like Christmas time, just the nice handmade gifts, because I was saying to Alex, I'm going to make all my Christmas presents you are, this year. Indeed. Um, 
Yeah, so Rachel, if you're watching, don't watch this bit. Oh, OK. <laughs> Close your eyes, Rachel. Because you're going to get this one. So they're my little... Um, my little brackets. You've you've cut them out and coloured them beautifully. Thank they, you. they look like printed yeah. cards yeah, stuck yeah. ephemera, yeah. No, I've um yep, yeah, just ink and then a little bit of the distressing. That looks amazing. And they're really nice as well mm. if you've got um embossing powder. You know, something like a a bronze or a copper embossing powder, they really yes. pop out like proper um door mm. what's it called is it like door husbandry or door oh, what what's it called door i actually don't know door to door you know what i mean the accessories like you locks and your yeah. hinges and i your, don't know if there's a name for it i didn't know that what are they called but they're like, they're like fashioned on the little door panels you know okay. the old-fashioned yeah. um medieval door which i love plates and that. Yeah. yeah um please email in if you know the name <coughs> yeah, I'm thinking like animal husbandry. Mm. That's like the management of animals, isn't oh, it? I remember right. that. So maybe it is door yeah. husbandry. Because that Jonathan Swift mm -hmm. wrote it, didn't he? Because he wrote Gulliver's Travels and that. Mm -hmm. But he wrote a book about animal husbandry as well, apparently. I, I did not know this either. Hey, I I'll tell that you what. Trivia with Liz. I, I, I'm, I'm going to stick just... with you because I'm, I'm learning a lot. Well, it's because cool. we went to a quiz night on Tuesday <coughs> night. Oh, I love quizzes. I'm my, terrible. my friend, my sister and me. And yeah. we were just... Because usually we're clueless, but we came second. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Second out of five. It was only five teams. Doesn't matter. But one of them was the picture round, which is always my favourite round. And there was this oh. lady on it, and we were like, it, my sister goes, Kathy Bates. Well, it's not her. So it's this different actress. It's somebody else. So she's naming all these actresses. It's not her. It's not her. It's not her. It was Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple. And we just. It came to us. My right dad at the end. said I looked like her when I was little because oh, my hair was curly, oh. and I had. Little chubby cheeks, yeah. yeah. So yes, it was uh, quiz night, and we did very well. Uh -huh. Well done. That's so cool. any type of uh, trivia, I'm your person for it. So there we go. And these little flowers and things are from the paper kit from oh. the cut apart sheets. So everything matches as well. So that uh, again from the paper kit of from the... the ominous marshes. I love the way you yeah. say that. That's so cool. <laughs> ominous marshes. So a really lovely. You can see that. Mm. I've got it the right way. Sorry, I'm sorry if you can run. Oh no, it's all right. There you go. <laughs> so. And then that pulls out. I'll decorate that, put little things in. But that is one of the little books. That is fabulous. Lovely. Thank you. So I've got the cover to do. So if you need to do anything, I'll get the Indeed. cover thing ready. Yep. Thank you. If you're just joining us, right, these are the templates here. The journal, journal it, part four template set. And you are able to make so many different things. So first one, I'm going to just gather them all here so I can pick them up nicely. Here we go. Look at this beautiful journal that you can do. So I'm going to open it up. And of course, you've got all your pockets and everything. Don't forget the papers because they've all been decorated in those. So you've got loads of pockets and tags. And then, ta-da, it pulls out beautifully, doesn't it? Isn't that amazing? It's so lovely. It's so well decorated. And she used all sorts of the different accessories from that kit. Love that. And then we've got this one, and this one instead will go this away. And there's our owl. Da -da -da. That's amazing. Just so clever. Love that. And so the other things that you can make, look at this with the fabric. Isn't that pretty? Love that. And love the hinges as well. Little needle case. That's so cute. Still going. Got this one. Let's open this up. So it's going to help you. So you're not having to think about it, really. All the measurements are done That's for you. It. So you, yeah, you literally just draw draw around it with a sharp pencil, yep. um, and then just cut it out. And there are instructions and little pictures on the instruction sheets in the pack. Yeah. Um, so it will, you know, it will help you make a start with them. Um, I also do some YouTube videos on that's crafty YouTube site. Oh, good stuff. Um, of putting it together. Um, I love this is both ways, this one. This one's my favourite because it's like a little discovery. It, well, it is because you think you get to one part and then it... Oh, 
Ooh, yeah. that's the other side. Amazing. So I always say, Liz, you know, there's nothing wrong with the scoreboard. It has its place, but sometimes you haven't got time to think about your measurements and everything else. So that's why I like things like templates. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. even if you want a really nice crisp line, do use your scoreboard to line it up and Absolutely. then just, you know, to score down the lines. Yeah. That's fine. But you've already got your pencil mark as a reference That's point. It. Yeah. Like it. Uh, right, so £24.99 and pence for all of these templates. You've got about 15 of the templates there. Uh, item number is 843028. Then we've got the stamps. Now, they're both under the same item number. So we've got What's Cooking. Hang on, let's get this one. We've got What's Cooking. Here we are. And you've got the um, oven gloves. You've got the mixing bowl. There's the flour. I love the colours you've done on the packaging. Yeah, yeah, just nice and bright. Now, that one that's above the flour, it is like a little lock, but it looks like a potato masher as well. So you could use it above, above the flour. Or a, or a grater. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is a little lock with the, you know, with a little keyhole in yeah. it, but that's you could use it as a kitchen accessory as well. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, I like, like that. potato peeler or something. So that's your cooking set, um, and that is fourteen ninety nine. And then under the same item number, you've got the hinges. And if you are just joining us, all those sentiments that are on there, Liz's fantastic handwriting. Yes, I've mm. written all those. Yeah. Art, believe, friendship, create, laugh, happy. I really wish I had your writing. <laughs> handwriting. Really do. Um, let's just wing in the actual stamps. Hinges and bracket, love that. Let's bring those in just so that you can see. Marvellous. Uh, 14 99 for either option. Triple five one three seven is your item number. Then, right, let me see if I get this right then. So, in your accessories kit, you get the Tyvek. You get the, or Tyvek. 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 Yeah. You get the, don't tell me, uh, tea, tea bag paper. And then you get your black and white elastic. And then you also get a nice uh, set of hook and loop. And some string. And some string. And some string. And elastic? And elastic. Oh, cool. And some string. Realize. The string might not be there because oh, um, no, I, I sent it separately because ah, I'm still worry. cutting it. But I'll put it there <laughs> for after. I've got a load of it. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be a little bonus for you when you get it. Uh, so that's 12 99 for your accessories pack. And it does. It all works perfectly with your templates for when you are making your journals. 882908. Now, what we haven't shown you yet, or you've had a little sneak peek of one of the options, uh, but we've got some fabulous paper kits. You've got 12 by 12s, 8 by 8s, 6 by 6s. Uh, you've got some lovely, like, I'm going to call them ephemera sheets. Yes. yes, yeah. And I love these because these pop out like the little the um, chipboards. The chipboards are, are, are lovely because you've got little frames in there and yeah. some of my sentiments will fit within those frames as uh, well. Oh, I love that. I love the colours. It's very vintage -y. Yeah, yeah. So I'll have a little flick through. I've got, just to give you a flavour, because I'm not, this has been set beautifully. I don't want to wreck that. Um, <laughs> so here we are. We've got some beautiful papers, double-sided. Oh, and you can really, you're right, it's, yeah, you can, yeah. it's very good um, weight, yeah. isn't it? And you can use every part of it as well, even the front cover, you can use the back of it and use the panels that are on the front cover which shows you a little colour swatch of all the, the different papers. I would use them as little tags. It's beautiful, it's very shabby shape, it's lovely. It? It's lovely that one. Yeah. Oh, I like the, the wood panel. I love stuff like that. I like that because it, it also goes with my recipes, <gasps> my recipe ones, because it's got like the yeah. um, patisserie one, the French oh, wording on that here. one. Yeah. Let's turn that around. There you go. Um, so that, oh, and we've got, again, so many beautiful samples sent in. Oh, okay, look. There we go. Using these papers and, of course, your templates. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Um, and also the hook and loop from the accessories pack. And then you've got some little tags that pull out. They're just lovely. So Shelley, Jill, Rachel and Brian, thank you so much for all the samples. Oh, brilliant. lovely. Are you on again today, Liz? I'm on at two. Excellent. I'm at two okay. this afternoon, yeah. Because I want to make sure we see as many samples as possible. Did I show you? No, I haven't shown you this one. Look at this. Oh, let's 
put it the right way. That would help Alex. Oh, this is she's. Who's done Shelley, this? Is that one. Shelley. It's fabulous. And she's used like a bit of packaging. Yes, yeah. So a bit corrugated card packaging. Oh my gosh! Look at all of the. Oi, sorry. Look at all of these pages. I don't want to. I don't want to. They're a bit this. like a magician's card trick. They aren't are. They? Aren't they? Do. <laughs> They're amazing. I'll put that back properly in a second. <laughs> Hang on. That's it. It is. It's uh, yeah. Lottie's just said it's hard. It's hard when you're doing that in the air. <laughs> um, but if you want this paper pack, oh, well, paper kit. Let's call it that. It's called Rays of Sunshine, and it's thirty three ninety nine zero four eight 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 one. And then the next one, and this is the one that Liz was using, is the ominous marshes. Ominous marshes. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> and so again, what you've got is your twelve by twelve, eight by eight, six by six. You've got all of these fabulous sheets to cut up. You get a lot of sheets with the ephemera on, don't you? Yes, yes, you do. You get yeah, a lot. Yeah. Um, in fact, I'm going to pick these ones up and have a flick through these. And yeah. there's still more down there. They're lovely. So, you, I mean, this is the first time I've seen the uh, cut-apart sheets like that because usually it's just the journaling pack. Um, but, but these are lovely as the accessories. Oh, I love the cats, the black cats. It's lovely, isn't it? The yeah. ravens. And the moon as well. It's yeah, yeah, I like all of those. Oh, these are really good. I wonder if they're crystals. Oh, I think so. Oh, I love the cats out there. Beautiful. Let's flick that around. So you've got so many elements that you're going to be able to cut yeah, out. Yeah, and they're double-sided. Yeah. So, and it's the same picture on the back. So it actually gives you... On the back of it, a reference for cutting round. If you want a little bit of a border, oh. it gives you that white border around it. There you go. Yeah. So if you if you're a bit stuck with your fuzzy cutting, that they yes. call it, it does give you a reference. But I just call it cutting, cutting, because it's just cutting. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and then you've also got the trying not to wreck everything. The pack shot. Oh, I think at the top, so this is um, the chipboard, I think there's a witch's hat up here, or a sorting hat, or whatever you want to call it. Look at all of that. Isn't that fab? Love the colours. The colours are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, really rich. And then um, let's show some samples here, but you get an idea, because this will show the papers as well. Yeah. Here we go. So that one's a Jill one, that one, it's beautiful. Yeah, and all of those. There's the owl on the front, wise owl. Got a nice little gift box with the raven on. Um, and that's the card that she's made to fit inside the box. Oh, How lovely is that? It's beautiful. Marvellous. So again, £33.99. You're getting ever such a lot for your money there. 048881. And then we've also got some rice paper. We'll have a little flick through this one. So this is going to go with um, your ominous marshes. Yes, yeah, and you can use that for a front cover or for some of your pocket pages. So there's some uh, rice paper and there's also tracing paper in that kit. Rice paper and tracing paper, brilliant. Yeah. Look at that. Because it's oh, quite yeah, nice, thick tracing paper. paper as well, so I would use that as pages as well. Good idea. Or even fit it inside, you know, the frames on the chipboard. Uh -huh. Use it behind it as well, so you've got like a little bit of a a, a tracing paper frame. So yes. you, yeah, love that idea. Good stuff. And that again, brilliant value. That is only eleven pounds and forty nine pence. Eight zero zero seven two five is your item number. Here's the website then, and have a little look at what we've got. Um, do feel free to ask any questions or. Uh, if you've got any of Liz's previous templates uh, and you've been making any of your beautiful designs, we would love to see what you've been making. Send it into uh, studio at thecraftstore.com. Also, we've got some essentials on there. Now, Liz has been using the That's Crafty glue, fabulous glue, if you want to go for that. Um, and then, of course, if you want to become a Freedom member, you won't pay your postage, which is jolly marvellous. <laughs> Right. Okay, back to here. Yes, so please. what I have got here are two sheets of cards. So all I have done is drawn round the outline. I've not drawn any score lines or anything. So it's really important this for your boxes is not to cut anything different straight away. Just literally draw around the template as it is. Miss all the score lines and notches out. So you should have two pieces of the same size card. 
So if it's easier in pencil, just put a B and an L so you know one's the lid, one's the base. So to start with, I'm going to do the lid. So on this template, which is 4D, um, I'll just put it on that so you can see it. On the side there, there's a little notch. Yep. And on the top, there's a little notch. That indicates that they're the score lines for your lid. Yeah. Because okay. obviously on your lid, you usually have like your thumb notches to help lift uh, it off. Yeah, yeah. it's oh, so handy. Yeah. I can't bear it when you can't when get trying into to, a Yeah, box. so that's what they're for. But they're also in, to indicate that this is your lid score line. So very important, only use those two score lines for your lid. Ignore the ones on the right. So I'm just going to mark in that line and that line. And then I'm going to just draw in all my little score lines there and put my little notches in because mm -hmm. they're just going to be my line up guides yep. and then very important flip it and turn it upside down so that now my notches are on the right and at the bottom because I need to make sure I'm scoring those lines. Right. Yep, so I'll do that again. So first two lines I need are these on the left and the top. Oops, I need to flip that up so it's got my notches at the top. Mm -hmm. So I've got those two lines there. Yep. Flip it over okay. and across right so your score lines are at the bottom and the right for that notch so i can put my notch down there and draw those score lines in and what it does each of the score lines gives it a slightly different perceptive on the um mm. on the on the base of it so it just moves the measurement slightly so one will fit inside Ooh. the other also liz i should just mention because you do get good instructions here as well yeah and i've so, drawn little yeah. pictures as well to try and sort of show you how to do it so for the base it's exactly the same apart from now we're scoring the lines that don't have the notches yeah so i'm scoring the one on the right and the one on the bottom flip it down flip it over and then again I'm scoring the left and the top so what that should do is give you two different score lines yeah. so with your notches I'm just going to cut a little line to where those lines intersect mm -hmm. so four little notches on both my lid and my base. Okay, nice and easy. And then this is where your mum's pegs come in handy. Oh, right. So I'm going to fold those score lines forward towards me. And I've not got my mum's pegs, I've got my sewing clips. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah. That's all right. So I've got those. I'm going to turn those notches towards each other and pop a little bit of glue and I would use wet glue rather than double-sided tape just because of that permanency with your hold on boxes because sometimes in the heat double-sided tape can come away yeah so just in a little circle now I'm just going to clip okay. either with a peg or paper clip or something like that lovely those four corners um, we do actually have the glue that that you're using. Liz. Yeah, it's the that's crafty glue. It's a really yeah. nice tacky glue, really strong adhesive. I use it for practically everything, really. And um, you're getting one 125 mil and one 50 mil. There you go. So again, just fold around those score lines, and the notches are there to help you line up when you sort of score it across. Yeah. Fold your flaps down and then all the way round mm -hmm. and again just clip that. So by the time you've clipped that one your lid should have been done. There we go. It's quite quick actually isn't it? it yeah. 
my, my mum used to be my box makers when I used to do markets and I used to put all my journals in boxes yeah and my mum used to be the the box maker oh. and she'd have like about six or seven piled up with like all that. pegs on Amazing. them yeah so I'm just going to use that little notch line there that okay. I've drawn just to pop that in. are you doing any markets this year I'm doing a retro one on Sunday Ooh. in Lancaster near where I live. Yeah. yeah, so it's a retro, so it's not really a Christmas one this time. It's just a little retro one, and they're teaching you how to do line dancing or some sort of retro -y dancing as well. So. Oh my gosh, I'd love to go. It'd be fabulous. Mm. So that's that's my base done, okay. and that's my lid. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it will fit perfectly because I've done the measurements for you so that will go in there and there we have a lid in the base that you can then decorate yep. and that will fit nicely inside it's like it's been measured for you <laughs> funnily enough that yeah oh, fabulous I reckon we could probably squeeze another one yeah. in Shall okay I, I'll just do a little recap yeah, but I'm ready. Whenever you are, I'm okay. ready, ready to go. But we'll just give you the details of the um, template, sorry, journal templates. And you're going to be able to make, um, can you remind me again what they're called? Okay, matchbook, yep. concertina. Yep. We've got a this way, that way concertina. We've got two sizes of pull-out concertinas with matching boxes. And then we've got a little gift card holder or tea bag holder. Perfect. Yes. Lovely. So for all of those um, templates, just twenty four ninety nine. So there's about fifteen there. Um, really high quality mylar, three hundred and fifty micron there. Yeah. Chosen like the word mylar. Mylar. I like it. I it's like a nice tactile name, yeah. mylar. I never used to know what it was until about two years yeah. ago. <laughs> Never used to know. I was just like, well, I don't know what this is. I don't know what they're, what they're, what they're made of, but it's my love. My love. 24 99 then, 843028. Okay, okay. it just reminds you. me of that Skylark. Can you remember that cartoony thing? All aboard the Skylark. And it reminds me of my love. Oh, I see. Do you know, was it Nitty Nora and that. Um, the, the captain on that boat and she was always knitting things for the crew she don't remember it was cartoon about no 30 odd years ago yeah. okay so this is now the this way that way album so i've got one a which is my cover mm -hmm. and you need to cut two of those now this time i'm actually going to use some wrapping paper for the cover so i've got some paper down here which comes in packaging that you might get this time of year although you should shop local yeah um, so just brown wrapping paper give it a good old scrunchy scrunch when I do workshops I like doing that I get them all to do that because it, it gets out your frustration yes take scrunch it, out. it up yeah so I'm going to glue that to that wrapping paper okay you're intrigued now, aren't you? I, I actually am, yes. <laughs> and again, this is a really quick book to put together. And I use these ones for birthday books. Um, so I do pages so that there's six pages on one side for the first half of the year. And then the back pages of the second half of the year. Right. So you can write your birthday lists on for whose birthday it is and when. That's a lovely idea. Yeah. I always, no birthdays, but I, I'm absolutely hopeless at sending birthday cards out. All my family know. And Christmas cards, I've not, I've not made one yet, but people get them for New Year. Because um, I'm just so useless at getting things ready in time. Do you know, it's interesting, isn't it? Because it says so many crafters, and this is myself included, because I do class myself as one now, that um, as much as we do so much crafting, birthday and Christmas cards just don't oh, come into it. It's, it's just rubbish. And it's not like I don't think about people. So, you know, I think they just realise now that... I mean, I remember my mums and my dads and my husbands. Yeah. That's, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. I get a reminder off the vets when the cat needs its flu jab, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a birthday. Absolutely. Okay, so yeah. I've got some really lovely crunchy paper on the outside. And for this, I'm just going to use some brown uh, multi-surface paint that's on the website as well. And I'm not going to use very much. 
and I'm going to water a little bit of it down as well so it's more of a stain mm -hmm. than a colour and what it will do it just starts to pick up some of those cracks if you can see in that crunchy oh I like that do you like that yeah so this is a really easy way of making a leather look book love that a leather look book <laughs> So I've not used very much at all of that paint. No. I'm going to give it a quick blast of my heat gun to dry it. Sure. And then I'm going to do the inside pages and that's how quick this book will be. I love that le faux leather look. It's just so cool. Oh, it's lovely. And then what I sometimes do, um, once it's all dry, yeah. I will use a tiny bit of wax. Um, oh, over the top, you know, like a gilding wax. Yeah, I was just thinking or, that. Or if you've got a gold paint or something like that, dry brush over the top of it, just so you're picking up those cracks and folds in it. Um, Liz, while you're heating that, can I tell you, you've had loads of lovely well-wishing oh, emails. Oh, thank you. Oh. So, thank you to Sharon, Lisa, Sue, Shelley, Jane, Tracy, Rachel oh, and th Brian. Thank you so oh. much. Oh. <laughs> thank you. No, that's lovely. Thank you. That's really nice. And can I just say a quick hello to my mum and my dad and Steve? Because uh, my dad's been a bit under the weather, so thanks, Dad, for being lovely. Um. Yeah, and I've got some of your tea stain papers, so I might use them later. <laughs> he does my papers for me. He has a, a washing line, he pegs them up outside. Does he? Yeah, yeah. He does them all, all my tea stain papers. So yeah. it's a real family affair. Oh, then. yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So there we go. So I've got that as my cover. If mm -hmm. there's any little bits of glue that you've missed, just make sure that's stuck down. Mm -hmm. And then what I'm going to do just before I start my pages, I'm just going to wipe that dirty bit up with my old t shirt. I'm going to use some of this acrylic wax. Now, this really does make it look leathery. It's a really lovely thing. I don't know if I've seen this. Is this oh, from That's Crafty as yeah, well? Yeah, it is just like beautiful nectar. Ooh, but that's don't a drink it. Yes, yeah, it's a lovely description don't, though. But if you can see, it gives like a, a wax finish. So, you know those wax uh, wraps you can use for sandwiches and things yeah. like that? or a beeswax coat, uh -huh. it gives that wax effect, so really does make it feel leathery. Does it dry relatively quickly? It dries really to... quickly, okay. yes. Yeah. So I'm just going to put it to one side and it will be dry. You can use a heat gun and it, it, it's quite funny when you see it dry with a heat gun because it sort of goes matte and then goes glossy again. It's, right. it's While it dries, it's, yeah. It is a beautiful product, so Ooh. if you've never used it, no, particularly for journal covers, um, it is a, it's absolutely gorgeous to use. Nice. Um, Twelve so pounds you can see, and ninety-eight pence for those. Oh, they yeah, look really cool. Yeah. So I'm going to put that to one side, and I'm going to get the inside pages now. Just so you know, you've got four minutes. Okay. Very quick, isn't it? Okay. So for my inner pages, right. these are one B. Um, there are two pages to each and then there's a little tab on the end and this is what helps create that concertina. Now I'm pressing hard with my pencil because I want it to go through for the crease line because mm. I've got four layers of um, paper here. So I'm, I'm being a bit naughty and doing them all in one go for speed. No, if you can do it. So brilliant. I've used the 8x8 eight eight, and this time I'm using the beautiful florally ones. Right which are very nice. So then I have got eight double-sided pages. Okay, so all you need to do is just fold those crease lines mm -hmm. and then you concertina them together. So score that, score that. So the first one that will stick inside my cover so depending on which one you want to stick down first is the way you have your paper up yep so i'm going to stick mine like that and then i'm going to attach my next page so it's like that so you've got mountains and valleys all the way along mm -hmm. and all you do a little bit of glue along that 
Now, in the template set, you've also got a set of templates that will do your inner pages as well. So right. you can stitch them in. So you can put pages within pages. I like the idea of stitching. Yeah, but what I would say is stitch them in before you actually attach them to your book. Mm -hmm. um, only that it gets a little bit unwieldy trying to go backwards and forwards when you've got like a big massive concertina. Mm -hmm. So stitch your pages in first. Decide which way up you want your pages to go um, and then you stick your inside pages in. So you can use a sewing machine, you can hand stitch, you can even staple them in. Um, whichever way you want to use elastic on them. So for now, mm -hmm. I'm just going to cut one of them. So I've just got the single sheet because this is going to be my birthday book. Wonderful. So I've cut four out, but I actually only need seven pages. Okay. So that will then attach to that flap. Oh. And then very quickly, I, I will say, attach. A minute and a half. I will Sorry, attach. <laughs> it's fine. I will attach it to my cover. So that's practically dry. Wow, that's fascinating. Yeah, it's good. So I'm just going to turn it on there so I don't stick it to the page. Okay, so I've got my concertina there. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put glue on the back of there and stick that to the inside. And obviously I'd go around it first sure. just to edge it. Yeah. And then this page here will stick to this page here Perfect. and I'm lining it up so that I've got my front and back covers straight I'll just shift that out of the way so Ooh. that what I've got then if Perfect. I turn it round oh, amazing timing six on that side yep. And six on that side. Boom! That's fantastic. I've oh, so enjoyed your Yay, demos. Lovely. Thank you. Now I need to tell you at home that forty percent, no fifty. Apologies, fifty percent. So half the stock has now gone of Liz's set four journal it template set, um, and you're getting about fifteen of those templates and you'll be able to make so many different things you'll see more samples at two o'clock with Liz but it's 24.99 but half the stock has now gone thank you thank Liz. you Alex thank you always a pleasure see, see you, you in at a bit two. yeah lovely marvelous right grab yourself a quick cup of tea or coffee if that's your thing and we'll see you right after this short break Next, we are back with Anthea for Quilting Antics. Then later, album making with the fabulous Nikki, who I've not seen for a while. <laughs> and later, card making essentials, one day special. Did you know you can watch the Craft Store 24 hours a day, seven days a week, using the Craft Store app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Craft Store app, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, Follow the on-screen instructions to connect it to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do this, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type the Craft Store into the search bar and this will take you to the Craft Store app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select the apps from the menu that appears. Scroll to the Craft Store app and then press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Our products are all hand drawn, that makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. Make sure you tune in for the Dolly Dimples shows and have some fun.
Join us here at the Craft Store for the Big Save event starting Friday the 17th of December at 6pm and will continue for the rest of December. Every day existing customers will be given a £5 account credit to spend against their first purchase of £30 or more. So don't miss out. Make your savings even bigger with the Big Save from Friday the 17th of December at 6pm. Hello and welcome. Sorry, I'm banging on about feeling a bit warm. It's literally, I'll tell you the story. Literally, I'm fine. I put my jumper on, a little bit cold, a little bit cold. As soon as the menu started, the, the count comes in for the little show openers, I go, oh, I'm a bit warm. Right, greatly honest. And now you're going to take your jumper off. Ridiculous. Anyway, that's, that's, that's me and my jumper. Um, I am the Earl. Are you being a contrary Mary this morning? <laughs> It's just, it's just <laughs> a ridiculous. It's in my head. It's in my head. No, my head goes, oh, you're getting warm it. now. Yeah. It's in my head. You better take either your boots off or your jumper. It's going to be one or other. Obviously, it's in my head. It's OK, <laughs> the boots are safe. I'll just go a bit lower. Um, anyway, our lovely Anthea. It's Hello. great to see you. Um, I adore your products. I know you're on at 7 a.m. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it were a great show. But this year we've got different focuses, haven't totally we? Totally different, yeah. So mm. this show today is best ofs. So cool. if you've seen our stuff, seen our books, yeah. and you thought, oh, I like that, but I only like that one project in that book, yeah. hopefully all that one project we've now put together and you've got nice. best ofs. So hopefully... I'm up the right alley. <laughs> but we've got three bites of the cherry here. So, Amazing. Yeah, three, yeah. Di three different best ofs. <laughs> exactly. I, I tell you what, they are proper best ofs. And they're, for starters, they're massive books as well, aren't they? They are. So because we've had, you know, like I've got every month to pick from up to December. So I've tried to give you 10 projects in each book. Beautiful. Um, so, you know, it, it might be nine like thingy ones and then your 10th one could be a twist on something but yeah whatever it is you know I've, I've tried to give you 10 which means I mean the price is amazing I mean you're saving four to one pounds anyway and that's 20... genuine that eh? that's genuine because each really set, I've just cut right across you there Leone because our patterns are six pounds fifty each yeah so if you've got ten that's sixty five pounds yeah 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 so that's genuine and these books at the moment are still exclusive to you oh can't get them anywhere no, else. Not at, even from me. At the moment. Um, and when we look through the books, obviously you've got all the patterns, all the applique patterns ready for you to, to trace good or to whatever. Go, reversed as necessary. Yep, done. Amazing. Oh, I love that. That is really pretty. And of course, full instructions as well. Yep, full instructions. Amazing. Um, shall we look through? Shall we look through? Are you ready? This is my favourite bit, starting over yonder, come on over Tess. So what we've got for starters, now we have got beautiful bundles um, of fabric on the show. They are stunning, they were super, super busy. So get ahead, so if there's something you're loving, um, have a little look at them because you might get cool ways. So let's start. So first of all, we've got the beautiful cushion. Um, I absolutely adore this because things like this, they are incredible gift ideas as well. Well, aren't oh, they? perfect. So that one's called the potting shed. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, why why is it that a wheelbarrow and some wellies are like so lovely? But they just <laughs> but I mean, they when I look at that, I remember being and you have these memories too. Being in my grandma's potting shed yeah. and yeah. like that feeling of warmth and yes. like love and yeah. being with your grandma. <laughs> yeah. For me, for me, it's uh, when I was a kid. It was my dad. Yeah. Because my daddy, um, he let me have a little patch at garden, that was mine. Oh. And it's like, it's funny, isn't it? Like, proper sheds, they have a yeah. really good smell as well. 
it's just they do. such they a do. good smell and like oh yeah all this stuff it's so earthy obviously yeah. but yeah it's so natural get the mud under your nails yeah but do you know what uh, when we were planning this the, the set that that came out of and it was called the potting shed that yeah. set and we put that blush pink with it and the the kind of um I'm going to call it green at the top, but it isn't yeah. strictly, is it? And it just gave it a feminine twist. Yes, yes. All of a sudden, it yeah. wasn't your dad's shed. Yeah, it yeah. was your cushion with yes. your dad's love. Yeah, you that's know, a lovely idea. It just idea. put it all together. But you, you're absolutely bob on. If you're looking for a, a, a gift idea, yeah. um, you know, if you've got a gardening person, male yeah. or female, you, that would be spot on. You just, yeah. you know, tweak your background colour according Absolutely. to whoever. Yeah. Perfect. I love that. I mm. think that is ace. And obviously, you know, the, the beautiful fabrics that you bring us, they just look... Got, we were saying this. You know, we could literally spend an hour, well, me and Anthea absolutely could, we could literally spend an hour just opening the fabrics and going, oh, <laughs> we'd be very happy. <laughs> we'd be uh, very happy. Bundles, yeah, we'd be very happy. They're <laughs> gorgeous. Contents may vary, but they are a mega bundle, and every single one of them, the contents are ridiculously beautiful. Uh, 48 pounds and 99 pence sat at the bottom of your screen there, 404139. Now, next, look at that one. I mean, that is absolutely beautiful gorgeous and look at the baby i know so this is when we went to africa earlier this year virtually of course and uh, and the lions yeah so I, I i don't know what it is about that cushion but i just love it yeah um, yeah and it goes with the one next to it which is the same design we've done different color up to give you like a, a bit of a you know another idea yes but i don't know it's such a simple construction uh, but that double border just gives yeah. it a little so panache, good. doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, it really does. I mean, it frames it exquisitely. Yeah. And I love the way that your, your line's coming out of the frame as well. We've I think that looks really that cool. Bit, yeah, uh, in this last year, 18 months or so, you know, we've, we've kind of broken the, the, the boundaries, if you will, the borders, the you boundaries, rebel. whatever, yeah. just to play with it and see what happens. Yeah. And uh, it, it's quite exciting, really, when you start breaking the yeah. rules. Yeah, it's this, isn't it? Yeah, love it. Bit of rule breaking. Love it. Um, Learned it from you, actually. <laughs> Yeah, I can absolutely take that box. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So that's your lovely lines. Remember, you're getting all of these patterns within that one book. Incredible price, incredible patterns. Next, we've got for you. And I love it because you've got, it's your different ideas, different finished projects. Mm. So obviously, the applique is different on all the projects. But it's the actual project. So you've got your cushions. You've then got your wonderful doorstop. Proper, hold on, I need to put this down, now, otherwise I can't one, actually lift it. <laughs> Leona, you know I said some of the patterns have got a twist. Yes. That one's dogs, but in the book you've also got drawings for cats. Ah, fabulous. So you can go either way. Amazing. And also in the last hour, I'm not sure whether it's on the thing for this hour, there is um, there's the perfect... Um, fabrics oh P yes 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 are perfect amazing and that's what the applique has done from so oh. if you want to go for the appliques and what we've done we've used um i think you've got them on the shelf by your knees um we, we've Is kind of gone for, gone for some fabrics that look this yeah one? that's the one oh, that these are perfect quite, yeah they, they can be like cat effect you know tabby cat or yes. dog or whatever um so uh, so we like these oh. we keep bringing them out of the grate aren't oh they? these are well nice Oh, Anthea. The proper tabby cats. Oh, they are beautiful. Look at that. Only 19 pence and 99 pence. Absolutely exquisite. I'm saying tabby cats, but we've used them for dogs. Yeah. And it just, yeah. you know, that patternation just works for your applique. Your patternation. Um, a good word. Yes. Um, these are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, they feel so good yeah. as well. Fabrics and you do vary in, in that set, but they're all a variation on the same theme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely stunning. Really, really stunning. Now, if you do want this collection, um, obviously, as Anthea said, uh, will vary, but it's uh, the same theme cracking on there. Um, only £19.99. 761 
and you can see on your dogs so whether you're using from the pattern whether you're using your lovely dogs or your cats you can see just how good they look i really like this because i love seeing the little dogs all chasing the ball and it's sort of spinning round and yeah in it that is ace and like you we, we, it's a doorstop, that's what it's been yeah. made as. But actually, I use stuff like this at home for decoration. Yeah. And yeah. they look great on a table. Yes. You know, yeah. they look fabulous. Or paperweights. Yes. You know, because nowadays we do have a lot of paper that we're shuffling around, yeah. don't we? Especially yeah. those crafters. <laughs> that is absolutely gorgeous. Love, love, love that. Um, that is all part of this one big booklet. Next, we've got for you. And look at this. This is well pretty. So you've got your little mices there. And again, I mean, look at that project. Not just the applique, but that is such a cool project. It is. I've loved, we've, we've done this sewing roll two or three times. Now, this time we've changed it. So I've got mine here that I bring every time when I come. Amazing. Yeah, and we've just changed this end because I'm using it. We've gone, oh, what'll make it better? Well, I know what'll make it better. I want this bit to lift up instead of being somewhere to slip things in. Ah. So we've changed all that end. But actually, um, after this show, I think I'm going to swap and have that as well. Oh, are you new. having this one yeah, instead yeah, I'm now? I'm going to upgrade. Oh, <laughs> <Move on. laughs> get you. You're going to nick the but, sample. But that's the thing. We actually use what we make. Yes, yes, um, yes. You know. Yeah. You make sure it's actually um, yeah. stuff you want, stuff that you exactly, need. Exactly, exactly. And we were saying earlier on, as a crafter, you know, you like nice things. And not only do you like to use nice things, you like nice things to keep your nice yes. things in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, if you can make a sewing roll for yourself, yeah. that, it's like That's just lovely. therapy for you, isn't it? Yeah. And that's it, isn't it? We just want nice things. Yeah, you don't and care really about making for anybody else. You just want to make a nice I holder for yourself. Yeah, for myself, thank you very much. Oh, I've made another one. Oh, it's mine. It's for me, that. Um, you can that have is, my old one. Yeah, yeah, I'll just give that away. Um, that is lovely. So, you've got your sewing roll. So, so far, our beautiful cushions, your sewing roll, uh, the beautiful doorstop, it doesn't finish there. And remember, you have got tweaks as well because the dogs can be cats if you prefer i'm going to put my coffee down there so nothing ends up nasty <laughs> uh, we've also got for you and look at this that is lovely uh, your beautiful advent calendar and you've got all lovely little pockets in it that is so gorgeous it is thing is with this as well our anthea um you've got on there you've got loads of lovely little animals so you literally could be taking the applique if you're not making the whole thing you're literally going to take the applique for the the owls for the beautiful um uh squirrel i was trying to remember what that were called but you're going to take them and use them for the projects yeah, aren't you do you know what if you're um, if you're a card maker but i'm thinking fabric you know yeah. using on your cards now you could take those glue them onto some card and you've got a little christmas tree card with you know, an owl, a squirrel, whatever, yeah. whatever. Um, just perfect. Yeah. Oh, or you I can love have that. A, just a hanging. You don't need the pockets. Yeah. If you don't want to. Yeah. And if you take off the numbers and the pockets, you can still have it up in June. Yeah. You know, yeah. it doesn't have to be for Christmas. No, it absolutely does. I really like that. That is so, so beautiful. And you can change um, the colours as well if you, you know, because you've got the pattern. It's up yes. to you what you put with it. Yeah, I and I mean you could always sew little flowers on it and stuff as well. Oh, so if you don't want seasons, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was saying earlier, I mean we do sell. We've got on here today some of the applique bits. Yes. But all our designs will work as well with cotton as they will with tweed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, every pocket. Is, so is even though you from. use the very posh, beautiful <laughs> tweed, does well, that, it have that's to our, be like unique thing, isn't it? But. But I understand that, you know, it is expensive, so yeah. for some people it's out of your reach. For yeah. other people, you just might not like it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. it's fine. Use it, use it with your polycottons, your poplins, your, yeah. your craft cottons, your silk, your whatever. Yeah. You, you know, velvets, it's going to work. Whatever. Yeah. It, just make it your own. And it looks gorgeous. Oh, Gorgeous. Yes. Oh. Next. Is this Dave? Dave. Dave. <laughs> right, Dave. <laughs> Uh, right, I couldn't think right, what Dave. to call him. I was trying to think of a gargoyle name. <laughs> I, I need a name for this boy. Right, right Dave. Dave. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, I mean, you can think of your own gargoyle names. I'm sure that his face will remind you of somebody. <laughs> Email in. <laughs>
<laughs> email in. Who does this right job? Yeah, we, we do have someone who works here um, called Chris Webster. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little oh, tinker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you? And she, she's like, I can't believe you said it. Chris, I've never was. noticed his tusks before. <laughs> <laughs> he hides them well. Um, it is, I, well, no, because this is really cute. Um, but this is lovely, actually. <laughs> See what I did there? Um, this is just so, a lot, uh, this is fabulous. It is, it is. Absolutely fabulous. I've never seen um, a fabulous tweed cargo before in my well, life. Well, yeah. And I feel that I need on in my yeah. life. In actual fact, Michaela corrected me. We can't call him a gargoyle because he's not a water spout. A what? He's oh, not, it's no, only water he's a, spouts, gargoyles. Yeah, he's a grotesque. Oh. But I said, well, gargoyle works better on me contents list. <laughs> <laughs> gargoyle. Is that what they're the... meant to be called? A grotesque? Yeah, but I could have had him spending a penny. He'd have been a water spout then, wouldn't he? He could have. I mean, just position the hands a bit differently. <laughs> um, so, really, it's meant to be called a grotesque. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, we know it all. Oh, you know, what a yeah. shame. Yeah. Feels a bit, it sounds a bit awful, doesn't it? But there's something quite fabulous about that word, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Grotesque. Yeah. Grotesque. 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 Look at him. Look at him. Look at him looking under his eyes at you. He is surprisingly easy to make. Easy? Yeah. He doesn't look it. No, I because mean, the, what you do, the... Leone, you have the body, you, you have two sides and your seams up the middle, so you make the head and body yeah. and then all the limbs you make separately and add on. Yeah. Even yeah. the eyes and are just added on. So he's actually quite easy to make. I love it. Sorry, mm. I'm playing with him now. Because when you when you put, when you make him go down, it just looks really proper drunk. I mean, even he'll be like, hello. I look a surprise but, that way. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but when, when I make him like that, he's like, what are you looking at? Doesn't it? He looks well grumpy. I think he's fabulous. He's been sat on the shelf at home for ages, and I just love him. Oh. He, so he had to make it into the best of. So. Oh, you've got a nice shelf. Don't worry. Look, even his little doors. Oh my gosh! Look at his little toes. <laughs> I think she's coloured him in with marker pen, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, they're so cool. Look, yeah, he's got nails. <laughs> oh, yeah, his little fingers. Oh, they're brilliant. Oh, you could have fun with that. Even that on its own, you could colour them in different colours. And I think with that as well, once you've got the basic shape in your pattern, yeah. Yeah. you could do that in pink and just yes. slightly alter the face. Yeah. And you've got something that a little girl would love. Absolutely. You know? um, yeah. I mean, a little girl might love that one, but yeah. she'd love a pink one more. Girl, you know I what I mean? Um, yeah. I don't think there's any reason why you can't... You know, it's a mythical character, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. got wings, it's got horns, it's got big ears, it's got, you know, it can be a look dragon, it can be whatever you yeah, want. absolutely. Mm. Um, and that's it, you can, that's the lovely thing about these, it becomes yeah. yours. Yeah. Literally. And I think once you've made one as well, you would quite easily have the confidence to change the, the shape of the limbs, for yes. instance, or yeah. alter the wings a little bit, alter the ears a little bit. Yeah. I, I think once you've done it once, you would have that, confidence yeah, to, to tweak it couldn't yeah. you i love him that's dave not dave <laughs> um now that's obviously the pattern that is in the book remember we are looking at that fantastic book uh, with so many incredible patterns it's so so cool isn't it um, however if you want the fabric pack to make our dave and um, then we've got it here i'd love saying it because obviously my old dog were called dave weren't he it's best name ever um so you have got um a lovely bit of velvet there um are they for his little tusks his oh eyes, no, his eyes. his eyes. Yeah. And then you've got, look, so you've got all oh, your beautiful, oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And then look, a massive piece of tweed uh, for his body. That is a lovely, lovely fabric pack. Only £29.99. It is a huge piece because actually that is a really, it's a bit, it's a substantial project. It's a good chunk, isn't it? It is, yeah. Mm. It's chunky as our Dave. Um, now, if you do want to get hold of the fabric pack for our Dave, um, that is 063238. Obviously, if you do want the pattern for Dave, is it in the book the best of with that incredible saving? Only £23.99 for this. And you are getting so much inspiration. Um, and obviously, we haven't even finished yet. I love this. Have a little look at this. That is beautiful. 
Yeah, so Michaela designed and made that one. And what I love about Michaela's designs is, so if you were thinking seaside, you yeah. might be thinking buckets and spades. Yes. But no, Michaela thinks about a storm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's just wired up in a very different way. And that is really easy to make. So yeah. in the first hour, I was um, fiddling about with a, a parrot. Yeah, yeah. that sounds wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> African grey parrot. I mean, it's exactly the same technique as used in the parrot to do that. Right. Really easy. You're just drawing, tracing it onto calico and then sewing on your lines. Amazing. It's really, really easy. It and, looks so cool. Well, it is. And the reason that stands up is we've used the bosal in our form. Yeah. And we love the in our form because in fabric, where else could you make something of that shape and yeah. expect it to hold its shape? Yes. Because, yes. you know, on wadding, it would just be flopping all over. Yeah. So we love that because yeah. it just gives you, you know, you can have that shape of a wall hanging. Yeah, yeah, and it would look yeah. so good, wouldn't or it? Equally, that would be the centre of a block. Yeah. It can be, you know, the centre of a Bag. cushion. Yeah. It can be whatever you want. Yeah, and, and I think, yeah, something like that can literally go on anything. As a wall hanging, it just looks beautiful. If you do want your bosal, um, which is what's giving it that rigidity, um, you have got, it's half a metre by 58 inches there, um, and it's only 10.99, 647380. That is beautiful. Then it's the range of different ideas that you're getting. Next, that has to be, oh, look at that. That bag is it's adorable. Sweet. So we were thinking about, Beautiful. you know, if you've got a few balls of wool, whatever, you're crafting stuff. I mean, if you want to take it out and go shopping with it, that's, you know, you yeah. can do that as well. But if you just want to um, store a few things, and we've used the in our form on that one as well. Ah, uh, yes. So again, that's what gives it that rigidity. Yeah. I'm just going to, I'm opening it because I want to just really that side Really simple to out. make that one, believe it or not. Is it? Yeah. I tell you what, oh my gosh, it's amazing. The inner form really does give it the, that, that proper well, rigidity. It's just opened up what we can do yeah. as crafters at home. It's really given us like a whole new, um, new thing to do. And you're looking at the bag there and it's decorated on the front with the sunbonnet sue which is really simple very very simple landscape but if you take any of our designs they will go on yeah. the front yeah yeah easy peasy not dave dave ain't gonna go no not dave maybe dave's face Dave might go inside for a little kick. Yeah, he would. <laughs> yeah, where some people have the little bags with little dogs, you have Dave with his head poking out. Like, what's in your bag, mate? It's a, it's a grotesque. <laughs> to be honest, we did look at doing some bags like that. They may, they may come back at some point. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Yeah. You never know. Um, oh, I need to tell you, um, Dave's fabric pack is now limited stock. So if you do want um, to make our Dave or something very similar, look at him watching you. Um, Twenty nine ninety nine. It is limited stock for the fabric pack. If you do want to get hold of that, zero six three two three is your item number. All right, Dave. All right, mate. Um, the bag is all part of the. That is beautiful can you imagine how much you will pay in a shop for something like that you'd pay a fortune that looks absolutely gorgeous gorgeous and this is another reason you need that tweed bundle as well now last but by no means least in this fantastic collection um oh and look at that the cushion with the elephants so you've got the two little elephants including the gorgeous little baby and that goes obviously it goes perfectly with um, the wonderful lion cushion. Oh, and look at the little face. That is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I mean, you don't have to have a lion and a, an elef an elephant. You could have two lions or two elephant cushions. Yeah. You know, yeah. you can do what you want, but make them face each other. Do one yes. one way around. Then the friends. Yeah. And we do like friends. Yeah, I think that's a lovely idea. Even if they idea. look like they're going to eat each other, yeah. <laughs> lions and elephants. But <laughs> yeah, maybe you know, not that. If you've got an affinity with elephants, then yeah. I think this is beautiful, and is, especially with the baby there. It's yeah. just, again, it, it's a story of love, isn't it? Yes, yes. Absolutely. Mummy looking after baby. Stunning. Um, okay. 
now the price you are getting all of those patterns um, remember this is a proper deal you should be paying about was it 650 per pattern yeah. normally 650 per pattern um, and something like this it's not just the the sort of patterns you're seeing it's the little extras as well you're getting all the instructions you do get the photographs as well um, in the center there and of course you do get those applique um, there we go patterns as well so everything's in there ready for you to go it's such a comprehensive book this is the best of 2021. <gasps> it's coming to the end of 2021. Um, okay, if you do want to get hold of that, you are saving uh, 41 pounds. That is a massive saving. Do not miss out on that because obviously it's something like that. Um, it, well, it is a, a bit of a one-off. And remember, at the moment, um, you can only get that here. So you do need to be checking out your baskets. Um, 8282 is your item number. Uh, now, we have been chatting on... Oh, my lovely cushion. I tell you what, it didn't want to stay there in the first place. I'll pop it there for now. We will come back to that. Um, now... Well, you were already shopping ahead for this. It was busy in the last hour. Oh, our Anthea. These are oh, cracking, well, aren't they? They're all right, can I aren't even they? open it? Of course you can. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm a good fertile. Oh, I like these. Yeah. Now, our Anthea. So, um, it's going to be a one kilogram bundle. Yeah. So that's going to be, that's that's obviously the weight. So contents are going to vary. Yep. But, but of course, oh, sorry, I'm faffing. And again, massive so saving. I've done it. This is kind of like my version of a sale. Yeah. Because yeah. we don't do these very often because we have to have the, the quantity yes. to do them. Yeah. Um, but when we do them, we are making it worth your while. That and the other one is out of the brand new collection. Wow. Yeah. So they um, are beautiful. hardly anybody will have that. Amazing. And if you open them out, that's double sided, I think. It is. It's Look like at reversible, that. yeah. So arguably, you know, oh. well, which side's better? I can't even argue. Okay. They're exactly <laughs> the same. I mean, look at that. The quality is there yeah. both sides. Just a reverse uh, colourway, isn't it? Wow. Wow. I mean, every single piece. Yeah. And now, this is the thing. I mean, literally, every single piece is yeah. just luxurious. Now, every bundle is different. Now, we've just oohed and aahed at those Ooh. reversible pieces. I yes. do know that was the only piece of those so whoever gets that the one it will just be one person really Every bundle is different um but they are a genuine cracker yeah, because yeah. you've got you've got your kilo um you know your full prices yeah. should be 97 pound wow. because you do have that meterage in there yeah 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 and it is i mean the the quality is exquisite. I mean, if you were making that beautiful bag, you know, when I look at these, I mean, that would look amazing. And the yeah. thing is, when you make pieces, you know, when you don't use just one um, colour, like, for instance, for instance, I'm going to pick this up. This is in the other... Um, this is in our Anthea's faves. But when you look at something like that, I mean, the fabric that you've used there, you could easily use um, maybe this one for your base, but then change the colour of the owls. Yeah. Or, I mean, look at that green. Hold on, where was that green? Look at that green. The owls will look amazing on that. Definitely, definitely. They would. So uh, what I did the other day is, because we had, we had like, heaps of this stuff to kind of process so i like put it all into piles so we had a black and gray pile a green yeah. pile a blue pile blah 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 blah. and then we've gone along and we've gone one 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 off each pile Perfect. so you've got that variety of yeah. colors now mainly in here the, there is furnishing stuff in here but it's mainly apparel weight now the good thing for you about that is it weighs lighter than the furnishing weight oh, right. which means okay. for a kilo you get more meters. You get more for your yeah. money. So you, you <clears throat> are getting quite a lot in here. Yeah. Um, yeah. And some good sized pieces. I'm not yes. going to promise you you're going to get a skirt length because I think you'd be disappointed. But if you're into no, making your, um, your, your um, clothes for your dolls and your yes, teddies yes, and, yes. and all this business, perfect. Because what you do have is a lot of the smaller designs so they're absolutely perfect and i do get asked a fair amount if we do things for doll making and yeah. there's a certain rabbit as well that does the the rounds who's that 
Luna Lapan. I'm always getting asked for clothes oh, for that really? one. Always, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, I'm so um, blind. It's like, what? Well, yeah. well, <laughs> I was being, oh. I was being discreet there. <laughs> Can't be discreet with me. Fail. It's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, what rabbit? <laughs> anyway, well, it's a very good one. It's a very good one. But I am always getting asked. Yeah. If yeah. I do the stuff for the clothes. This is perfect. They're amazing. Because you can, you know, you can put your, your doll, your rabbit, your what, your teddies, yeah. in a tweed suit. Oh, how fabulous. <laughs> Give a little flat cap. Definitely. Oh, my definitely. gosh. And, of, and the feel. I mean, what is that tweed? That is... It's all wool. It's... Every the, that is so it, soft, yeah. and that has got such a drape on it. Yes, yeah, so every amazing. ounce of it has been bought as wool, wow. so it is wool, but it's from lots of different collections. So you might yeah. have lamb's wool, you might have Shetland, it might have a bit of cashmere in. Yes, yeah. you know this is our version of a sale. It's this all is our like, as ends, close as you're going to get. We've saved them all up, and this is what we do with them. We amazing. bring them here in a mega bundle. Oh, do you know? Right, contents are going to vary, but I tell you what, they're just luxurious. And it is ace, because, yeah, when you look at some of the gorgeous projects, I mean, I was talking about the bag, but when you look at, say, and I'm going to pick another one of the projects up, this is from our Anthea's Faves. See, when you look at your beautiful... Now, I don't think a Christmas stocking should just be for Christmas, because I'm not being funny. If you have something that beautiful, you just take the holly off. It looks gorgeous. You know what I mean? You put, I don't know, pop puree in there so it smells lovely. Or you just keep it so it's got your, you know, your bath bombs in it. Well, you could just change the shape from a boot if you if you didn't like the idea of a stocking. Yeah. But why can't you make it heart shape? Yeah. If you're going to fill it full of like your lavender and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely beautiful. A whip put bunny some, on. Put some stitching on. Yeah. Put, you know, take any of our appliques yes. and put them on. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. You know, I mean, all you'd need if you wanted to draft that pattern yourself is a piece of paper and a pencil. Yeah, yeah. And you might say, well, I can't draw. Well, you don't have to. Yes. All you need to do is draw a circle or a heart or something like that and take our applique and make it fit. So yeah. draw your shape big enough yeah. to take. So if you want that bunny, for instance, yeah. as long as you drew a heart or a circle or a something big enough for that bunny to fit on, yeah, it's gonna you work. could then... Yeah. yeah. And when you look at the fabrics, because I'm looking at these fabrics thinking, OK, mm. what would I love? I mean, obviously, that one would make a beautiful main body of it, which means your applique sits wonderfully. And then, literally, you could take any of these fabrics and put them, I mean, on the top, that top, wouldn't that look just yeah. gorgeous? Now, all the bundles and will it have changes it. Yeah, all the bundles have got one of those uh, pastels in. All the ones I've got Lovely. here. Oh, got show us one of yours. <laughs> These show. have all got the peach because um, <laughs> they're still wrapping them today and <laughs> they'd only done the peach ones. Oh. So some have got lilac, some have got lemon, some have got like mint green. Yeah. You know, they've all, they've, I've put it, it's only a small piece, but there's a piece in, in every bundle. Amazing. Um, Let's see one do. of your bundles. Ooh, Go ooh, on. Ooh, ooh. Do, you do you want, want another one? Super do you want another busy? one to win our at as oh, well? Yeah, do I. I? Catch whoops. Oui, there we I've go. got it. I'll wrap um, this one up. Right. I love this. Oh, that one's in a double knot. I can't have that one. I'll have this one instead. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> I, do you know, isn't it funny? Oh, this is in a double knot too. Never How to make us happy. Yeah. Just give us a well, bundle of fabric and Bob's your uncle. But that's it. I mean, let, let's let's do it as, as you're going to do it. So mm. the first thing you must do with your bundle of fabric when you get your kilo, the first thing is take it out of the mailbag and then for the first two years, just stroke it. <laughs> right. That's your first two At years. At least two but, years. Well, it could be five. It could go on for five. <laughs> just stroke it. That's Ooh, all we've you all need been to there. do. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then after a few years, you could just open it. Hey, look at that. If I fold that bit in half, look. Yeah. Um, do you know what that reminds me of? What does that remind you of? I'll tell you what that reminds me of, because I know who does small cushions. You know oh, our yeah. Julia, who's just come home to us? Yeah. She does lovely small cushions on wool, doesn't she? Oh, fantastic. That would yes, do one of and hers. that would look absolutely Spot gorgeous. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, you, any of our appliques would go on there. But yeah. you've got a lovely small cushion there. That's, that's double-sided. And it right? feels, that yeah. feels divine. Yeah. Now, this one, ooh, this one, ooh, this one feels good. nice too. Look at the drape on that. That is right. delicious. Now then, I think for um, waistcoats for teddies. Oh my gosh, waistcoats for teddies. Obviously. Waistcoats, waistcoats for Dave. <laughs> 
Dave, mate. Dave. Hold on, I'm off. And How see, is making see. me a waistcoat, Dave? Dave, <laughs> Dave, do you want a waistcoat? He's like, yeah, 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 mate. Yeah. Hey, Paula can sew. Maybe you should Paola. text some home Paola. for Paula. going to have yeah. to sew yeah. Dave yeah. and then make him a waistcoat. <laughs> Are you up for that, Dave? Yeah, yeah. It's not very expressive. It's just like, yeah, yeah, I always got, yeah. I've got to say, though, you've got Dave there. Dave. If, um, if Skatey Sue was saying the same thing... Hold on, Skatey Sue. Let me get Skatey Sue. She's Bear here with. at this end. How, how would Skatey Sue say it? Oh. Hello. There we go. Hello. So oh, how would yes, Anton please. Jack say it? Who? Who? That chap oh. next to Skatey Sue. Oh, oh. He'd be like, hello. There you go. Right, my point is, every single one has got their own voice. Yeah, they and, have. And we all knew what that voice was going to be first. <laughs> yeah, they all, they all have to, don't they? Oh, look, look, look. I tell you what, as well, they all need the... Well, she... I don't know if she'd want a waistcoat. She's rather fabulous. Sorry, I know I'm sort of skipping between one and the other. Because now I've gone back to Anthea's favourites. But I think this is a nice thing. Because as we see the different colours, as we see the different... Yeah. Uh, patterns then you see the different projects it's like oh yeah you know like we lovely um skatey well, so you've got delphine in your hand there oh is this delphine that's delphine right hello delphine how about Hi. the blue mermaid oh yeah because mermaids come in more than green yeah you know, absolutely and she would be perfect yes. in the blue um, did i see one of the oh that one oh that's quite similar to her actually it's a bit lighter oh. That would work perfectly, oh, that wouldn't would it? Look I mean, gorgeous. Coral. What says under the sea like a yeah. little bit of coral? Absolutely but, you know, beautiful. These are good pieces. You That's can do massive. something. I've tried, you know, to make it if we've cut pieces in half, whatever. Well, we, we, I'll be honest. Yeah. We, we were in a quandary. Yes. Right, because when I started, I got all these fabrics. And I weighed them, and it was just over two kilos. Yeah. So I rang our Katie in the back room, and I said, Katie, do we want big pieces, yeah, yeah, or do yeah. we want more small pieces? Yeah. She says we'll go more small. Yeah, I, so, I'm agreeing. Yeah. So mm. what I've done, like here, is we've cut this in half, so you get two different fabrics. Yeah. But I've tried to make it as much as I can, so that you can get a yeah. cushion. Yeah. or a side of a bag. So you're going to get a decent yeah. project out yeah. of that. D uh, definitely, you know, because yeah. I do think we like a square better than yeah. a strip at times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strips are good for handles, yeah. straps. Yeah, yeah, yeah all so, the scraps. So where we can, that's what we've tried to do. Not exclusively, yeah. you know, because this is, you know, it, it's a kilo of of tweed, of, of yeah, you know, a posh it, stuff. It, posh um, stuff. Do you know what? We've had a fabulous email uh, oh, go on. from Julie. Julie has um, bought one of these last time it was on, yeah. and she has made a gorgeous little dog the poshest dog coats ever. Let's have a look. Uh, we want photographs of that. Uh, we need. Oh, thank you so much, but we want photos. We want to see your dogs. If it's anything like mine, the dog's coat is gonna just be. Oh my dogs. But but if, honestly, I'd love photos. That sounds beautiful. D yes, animal. Oh yeah. my gosh. But do you know? Amazing. Again. I do get asked about animal, um, you know, like dog coats and stuff. Yeah. Now, if I was paying full price, £55 a metre mm, mm, for mm. the tweeds, yeah. I would be a little bit reluctant Me. to, like, yeah. you know, because I know mine, if we're in a field and there's smelly stuff on it, we're like a roll. You yeah, know? mine do too. Smell so. me, mum, I'm lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, I found something <laughs> a bit decayed. I'm rolling that. Yeah, mine do too. Yeah, one rolls in it, one eats it. Yeah, yeah. mine do too. <laughs> Mine but too. with the price of this, yeah, you could justify it, yeah, because yeah. you've actually got, you know, one for each month of the winter. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And you could justify it. Yeah, I, I, I definitely. And mm. they look good. And yeah. people, I'm not being funny, but they absolutely do yeah. pay good money for the dog coats. What you can get if you want to do the dog coats or something like that, you can get. It's a faux leather trim. You know, like bias yes, tape yes. you would buy. And it just comes and it's about an inch wide, maybe an inch and a half, I'm not sure. And if you put that on the edge, oh my gosh, you know, look you'd amazing. look like one of the posh shops, yeah. wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, 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 you would. You'd look well, like you got it from I've the Stanford, darling. I've seen these, uh, these throws with the leather trim and they're like 250 quid each. Yes, yes, yes. And what yes, have you got, yes. a metre square? Well, with this, I can cut six inch squares. Yeah. I can join them together. Yeah. I can put some faux leather round. Yeah. 
and it's for look amazing. 50 quid I might even get two if I'm lucky yeah, yeah. you know yeah. and these in shop I've seen them 250 yeah. pound we have, we have our homework to do you see at times yes yes yes, yes. <laughs> well it makes sense I mean when yeah. you look at how much material I've just opened that up I mean that was a massive massive piece of material if you're literally if you just stitch these together and do the full trim they're gonna look amazing okay 48 pounds we need to show you that other book because we've only got about 20 minutes left of the show um if you do want to get hold of these now content's going to fair it i tell you what you're going to get you're going to get something beautiful beautiful we don't limit it to one per person you are going to get different bundles um you've even got a flexi as well with this so please maximize that flexi honestly do not miss out on those um this is is this i presume this is anthea's last show before the christmas so make sure you get those in your basket check that basket out four zero four one three nine is your item number now next and i'm really looking forward to this next one so <laughs> just for that uh, but we've got next anthea's faves of 2021 now what we've got in here again a wonderful collection you've seen a sneaky peek of some of them uh, that we've got in here but there's more now as ever um you've got a wonderful and it shows you on the back there all the different patterns again a proper saving a four to one pound saving because all of these independently uh, would be six pound fifty yep. independently and again you're getting your full instructions you're getting all your patterns in there for your applique you get your colored photographs to inspire you um, but obviously you've got loads and loads of fantastic ideas let me take you through because I love seeing what's been made um, I'm gonna go first of all to this one because it's behind me I love that it's great isn't it's it? beautiful and it, you know it's like beautiful. when we normally do stockings we are normally thinking of small children yeah and yeah. we're thinking father Christmas we're thinking Rudolph we're thinking snowmen yeah 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 and this is my children have grown up or I never had children in the first place I don't yes. really like children yes I want something grown up yeah and put a small box of something expensive in yeah. it absolutely yeah. it's beautiful <laughs> see that, you wouldn't I mean that that is the most beautiful wrapping for a gorgeous gorgeous absolutely. present yeah. that I mean that in your home decorating at Christmas literally just for decoration purposes is absolutely beautiful it looks so yeah. classy no, definitely um and in the other book we have the nature's christmas you could take any yeah. of the animals off there yes stick them on your printer and you've got a function on your printer or your next door neighbor's printer yeah, to enlarge drawings <laughs> yeah. for your own use that's fine by me so yeah. put them on make them a bit bigger whatever and put them on your stockings yeah. make a whole row yeah and we're all into oh, our log burners and our mantelpieces oh, now aren't we you know animals. don't put them too close to the fire though. yeah yeah don't do that <laughs> oh beautiful has yeah. that got your balls all stuffing as well um i think it might have on one side yeah yes yes yeah. it has well remembered yeah it is just one side yeah, to um, give it that so shape we'll sue made that one and she put the the in our foot bosal in our form on the front yeah so that she had the design nice and tight yes but she didn't put it on the back because if you want to put something in that's an odd shape yeah yeah she yes. thought it would just give you that you yeah. know that little safety net at Good the back thinking. without upset in the front oh, that's so cool that's i had to go that first because gorgeous you've then got now this is a lovely idea um beautiful for and also i mean we've been looking at all them pieces for all your scraps, scraps. now this is why i love your your packs because you any you saw any of them together they look good when you when you're talking tweed you don't have to try with your colors so if you're not that great at picking colors if you're working with tweed don't worry because the fabric yeah. does the talking for you and it's all uh, well, usually blended with more than one color yeah yeah so you can yes. put really wacky colors together yeah and they just work yeah. and, and i think how did that happen yeah. but it does it works and it makes you look good it does it's like boom man nailed it Ooh, I, did that. <laughs> I did that that's my color my my color thingy um i love this because i love that it's a proper walking boot it's yes. a proper chunky good boot absolutely I have got boots yeah boots yeah. that were made for walking yeah. i like that now uh, you know we were on before about going out of the borders yes Can you see the back of that boot is yeah. just over the border yeah so if you wanted to do a smaller book 
you yes. could have that still on there with a frame and just have it over yeah. the border. Uh, the flowers would be really easy to alter or just do a different colour. Yeah. Yellow would be a primrose, wouldn't it? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So it's, and a, it's a fairly generic... Yeah, we, uh, sorry, I'm, no, I'm pointing, right. I'm doing the, the pointing. Um, the, the packs that we've got, that beautiful sort of peach in the flowers would look yeah, super pretty. Definitely, definitely lovely. Well, any of the other um, pastels that you yeah. get as well would be, yeah, yeah, would yeah. be fantastic because different times of year, yeah. you know. It's um, going to work. And, and I don't know about you, but we've all got that person in the family, they're a walker. Yeah. I mean, crafters, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, we're yeah, not brought yeah. across the beam for nothing. Yeah. You know? <laughs> we're not walkers. <laughs> do, but we've all got bit. that, that yeah. relation, that friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who goes up big hills when the weather's all rotten. And says, yeah. put a good film on. <laughs> what do you buy them or what do you make them? Yeah. Well, a walking boot thing. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have to be a book cover. Yeah. You can switch it onto anything. Tell you what, that would be know. ace for my mum. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, my mum and stepdad, they walk yeah. here, there and everywhere. And she loves making a note and a diary of where yeah. they've been. That would be beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. But how about then? That boot on the crossbody bag with the owls oh, on. Oh, yeah. This is a crossbody yeah, bag, yeah, isn't it? It would fit on there, wouldn't it? Yeah. So when you're yomping up the hills, oh. you can just have your mobile phone and your keys in there. Yeah. And your dog poo bags, babes. Well, I weren't going to say that. I've been posh. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. go there. But, you know... That's do you know lovely. what I use my crossbody bag for? What do you use well, it for, our well, well, I can't really remember, but when we <laughs> used to go on holidays, <laughs> your passports When you stuff, used to yeah. go on holidays, your passports one of them. And stuff, spot on in them crossbody, you get yeah. to you wherever, out yeah. you come. Oh, man, that perfect. is such a good idea, because there's mm. nothing worse than rummaging. Because obviously yeah. you have to check 30 times that you've still got your yeah, passport. Yeah. But even likewise, though... you could put um, any design on there, you know, yeah. put a... a Beachside picnic, you know, whatever yes. picture oh, on, sunshine. Yeah. yeah. You, you know, could have a some... ticket. In fact, do you know what? With your card crafting, you know, the uh, luggage labels you do. Oh, yeah. How about a luggage label on the front? That would look really cool. Oh, yeah. You could keep altering it. The more places you went, the more luggage labels. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, like I love that. that. I think that is such a beautiful, yeah. beautiful bag. Obviously, um, the the handle, you can adjust that so it's the right size. I love that front pocket. I think that is absolutely beautiful and really handy. Really gorgeous bag, all lined and stunning. So that is your third project in here. Sorry, I'm making a right mess, Anna. We're nearly there. I mean, we've only got 50 minutes left of the show, maybe less. Maybe 12, 10, 10 minutes left of the show. Or, oh, I think we broke our record. I think we're getting there, huh? <laughs> hey, do you know, we've had a fertile. <laughs> <laughs> we've done I mean, all right. We've done all right. We've done all right. Done There's right. lots. Of, but we've been through all this earlier in the year. So now yes. it's putting together favourite things. Yeah. And then just seeing what we've got. Because there's a lot. Yes, you know, you've you been so busy. When you look Ooh. at your year's work, it's like, wow, all the patterns that you've done in a year. Do you know what? I did a list and I couldn't remember some of them. And this year I've written 22 new books. Good grief. I know. New books. <laughs> new books. And each book 22. has got about 10 patterns in there. Yeah. Good grief, that's a lot of pattern. Well, I'd, I had to have a lie down after I'd worked that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to take myself for a lie down. That hurts. For the fizzy pop. <laughs> <laughs> just, just the realisation I've done all that. I'm going to have a lie. I've been for like three days. Going, I've written 22 books this year. I deserve a day off. Ten minutes Never off. Never mind, Sue's got steam coming out of the sewing machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sue's there going, you what, mate? <laughs> and Hazel's just joined us again after oh. a big long gap and she's like, oh, I don't know where to start. You've done that. <laughs> I've, got another, I've got another ten patterns coming your way, love. Here. Here's the start. Sorry, we will get through the next nine minutes and show you the rest of them, I promise. So, um, and I remember doing all your travel ones. You yeah. were around the world, weren't yeah. you? Now, there's another one, um, a partner to that by your knees. There is. Mm. Bear with. I'll pop yeah. that one so there. So, we had a little trip oh. to uh, yeah. Egypt, virtually, of course. Of course. Earlier this year. And uh, and this, I was going to just put one of oh. these cushions in, and then I was like, no, you can't. No, you, you can't. can't. They have to be together. One. Definitely. I'd have had them facing each other. Yeah, me too. Because then they look like they haven't fallen out. <laughs> yeah, <But. laughs> they've fallen out, man. They've fallen out. They're having a right. It's like, oh, will you, will you stop it with you your know fault? What? It's you. Like, it's, 
left yeah. um no you pinched the last slice of bread so i couldn't have toast this morning well That's if it were one. our house he's left his tools in front room again <laughs> 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 on carpet <laughs> tools tools on carpet on the new street <laughs> oh my God. on the new suite eight minutes yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah but, have got your two cushions all the applique kit beautiful absolutely beautiful eight minutes mm. oh look at that color yeah eight so they're, you know pro proper greek gods then and it does tell you in the book a little bit about them as well you did a little bit of history yeah, didn't did you a, yeah loved Aye. it uh, oh it was you actually did the show i think it was the, yeah because yeah the the color scheme came from carry on cleo do you remember yes i do <laughs> because you didn't know your, your color scheme so you went and watched carry on cleo yeah because for some inspiration carry on cleo <laughs> was filmed because they'd used the set from the Elizabeth Taylor Cleopatra, yeah. the big epic film, yeah. that they never used the set, so the carry-on team moved <laughs> <laughs> So that's why that one is the best one yeah, yeah. for the best sets, sets, because it ever. weren't theirs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where the colour palette came from, I exactly. remember. Exactly, yeah, yeah. I forgot that, I you that week. <laughs> But me that. Um, <laughs> now, these little beauties. Are these little well, they're in boxes? The, yeah, but they belong to the next book. So they're not in this book? No, no, no. I brought back the faves of Jeez. last year and they're in that one. Right, okay. So the faves of last year, if you do want that one, that is there. Right yeah. quick. Um, because, again, you have got tons in this. See, when Anthea writes a book, Anthea writes a book. I mean, look at that. The content's amazing. Ah, okay. So, so the little one that we were seeing earlier on as well. Skirty oh, the little Sue. Skirty yeah. Sue is in there as well. Okay. Lantern Jack, the pumpkin. And our lovely Jack. And I'll tell you what's one of my favourites out there. Is yeah. behind you. Can you see the bunting? The bunting is beautiful. Yeah. Is that, so that's in the favourites from... That's in last from, year's, yeah. That yeah, is I love that bunting. Shall I move my head? And do you know it's on wired string, which I think makes it even nicer. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah. It's just I flawless love wired that. string. That is stunning. Um, so that one is from your other favourites book. That's from last, last year's. So Amazing. last year it was just called Ant's Faves. Yeah. This year it's Ant's Faves 2021. <laughs> and I nearly put 2020 on the old book, but then I thought, no, because if you've got it and now I've put a date on, you'll it think might it's a different you, one. So I've just left it as is. Yeah, yeah. So that one is going to give you the beautiful bunting as well. If you do want to get that again, this is an incredible price incredible price 23.99 so many beautiful beautiful projects the bag the bag with a with a fantastic <laughs> island cattle i mean ridiculously gorgeous um right how much time have we got six minutes where's the tree skirting because i need to show uh, this oh um, yeah that's it oh i love that do you know i've so been beautiful. dying to put that around my tree but i thought one of the dogs is going to put his monkey paw, monkey yeah, paw on the velvet your old so, spun will stick so the tools today, on it but no, seriously, after today, that is going round my tree. Oh, look so at we this. actually use what we make. This is stunning. Yeah. Stunning. Which one's this one in? Is this last so, uh, year or this, this year? Is, this it, is my faves from this year. So um, oh. let me just check. Yeah, it's um, Amp's faves of 2021, that one's that in. That is sensational. So we, um, I had this idea that... You know when people do the tree skirt, well not the tree skirt, and they put the little train track round the bottom of the tree on yes. all the cotton wool? Yeah. And I just have this idea that we do this. But so, um, so, so Sue sewed that, I can't take any responsibility. Oh. She actually drew it as well, she's done an alright wow. job, hasn't she really? She's don't done tell a, her I said that she's though. She's done a decent she's, job. Don't, don't tell her I said that. We're not going to tell her, she's not watching. <laughs> she's she's not bad, she's sewing. not bad. But, um, so anyway, we did this scene. And we live in Settle, and that is Settle Station. Um, obviously, you can change the word because railway yeah. um, oh. buildings nationally all yeah. look, look alike, don't they? Put yeah, your they own, do. Put your own station name on there. Oh, but we did settled, like a little though. journey through the mountains, through the hills, through the village, and all the rest of it without the train. 
and it looked oh. fabulous. And oh. I'm like, no, it's got to have a train, but it looks great. No, it needs to have a train. You could do it with yeah. or without. And it's going to look amazing. It'll look amazing. Oh, I adore that. That yeah. is beautiful. Um, and again, I mean, oh, it's just a shame it has to only come out and at Christmas. Really we easy. need to... Well, actually, it doesn't, because if you didn't put a hole in the middle, yeah, you've yeah. got a circular tablecloth. Oh, my gosh, it'd look amazing. So, uh, yeah, and I've thought of this before. Let me get the pattern piece. Let me f I bet I can't find it. And we uh, need to talk about mice before we run out of time. Oh, right, I tell you what, I'll, I'll be over here doing... You well, look I found it, actually. In, oh, she it's found here. it. She found yeah, it. Yeah. So this pattern piece, because we did it in quarters, yeah. instead of cutting it off there, if you fetched it all the way up to a point, you yes. would be able to do... A this full was done circle. in quarters, this. A full circular tablecloth. Amazing. That would look absolutely sensational. It would look great it? on them garden tables, wouldn't oh, it? yeah. Oh, that Only would Only in the sunny weather. And you would not allow anyone to put the drink on it. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like, don't touch it, but mate. again, if you put it on a garden table, you've got your parasol coming up through yeah. the middle. Yes, yeah, so, yes, so, yeah, you need your all. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. I love that. Right, we need to talk about mice. So the mice are also in this book as well. This is amazing. So a huge bag. It's a huge oh, yes, bag. About that. Yeah, it's my cutting mat bag. I'm using that. I am actually using that. Oh, I still my. haven't sewn the press stud on the on the back, <laughs> but I am actually using that for my uh, We're cutting, cutting mat. mat. And my ruler goes in the pocket at the back. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you've got a little just pocket. in case we'd got round to demoing. <laughs> oh, that. Of course. Look, look, look. Massive pocket. And that. Um, uh oh. I've literally destroyed it. That is amazing. And That's those a... mice, now I know this isn't a mice, it's a mouse, it's a rabbit. But um, I could live in this. We, we've started doing our applique in a slightly different way. And uh, these mice are all done this way. And we're making them on calico and then cutting them out. Ah. So we've got a finished thing just to pop on. Amazing. Now, um, We've got a new project coming out in January, which will explore this further. Ooh. So I won't go into it too much now, wait till next year. But yeah, if you make them separately and pop them on, you just have to sew around the outsides and that's it. So like you've got a little one there, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, so you tr your usual method of applique, but if you do it on a piece of calico, you can do all your sewing <gasps> and then cut it out. So you're not turning a big piece of work yeah you're just yeah. working on a small piece Amazing. and once it's finished and you've done all your little embroidery stitches and what have you put it on your project and just sew around the outside job Fabulous. done boom. boom amazing some more coming up in the january yes about indeed that. yep yep um, we're actually nearly out of time how much time have we got <laughs> a minute and 20 seconds i knew i should have put my sewing machine do you want to do a demo <laughs> <laughs> maybe out of time Maybe out of time for that. Um, now then, oh, I love it. Um, I know I'm going to try and rebuild. I'm not going to try and rebuild the set. I'm just going to put that back up. Right, you've got so many choices. You've got the faves. Remember, you've got three of your gorgeous faves books. I don't know where I've put my other one. I'm being like, grommet. Or, or and, and don't forget your fantastic, humongous bundles. Do not miss out on any of these prices. The prices are fantastic. The quality is amazing. And Andy, honestly, is so busy when it comes to these patterns. The patterns are incredible. Is this your last show before the Christmas? Before Christmas, but I'm back on New Year's Eve. Oh, fantastic. Mm. And we've got something special lined up. Oh, wonderful party. Yes. I think I'm in New Year's Eve. Oh, it might be me and thee again. It might then. be me and thee, kid. Ooh, that'll be good. Boom. Yeah, I do love indeed. your shows. <laughs> I, I just get to squidge everything. It's just fabulous. Um, thank you ever so much, Andy. Have a really nice Christmas. And the same to you. And we look forward to seeing you. New Year's. Bring it in. New Year's we are, Andy. See you then, then. <laughs> thank you ever so much, thank our you. Everyone, please check your baskets out. Don't miss out on these prices and this quality material. Yay! Coming up next, we are album making with Heartfelt Creations. That looks gorgeous over there. And we've then got card making essentials with Thingy. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years.
Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, design of papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. We aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Hi, I'm Jo and I have the pleasure of demonstrating for That's Crafty. That's Crafty are a family run business that started online in 2005. I hope I can inspire you by bringing along my experience together with the That's Crafty products. So make sure you don't miss the That's Crafty shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Good morning. Right then, we are in for a treat. Good morning, Nikki. Good morning. How are you? I'm um, good. Long time no see, it feels. It does feel it, but I'm sure we worked together a few months ago. Probably. I don't think it's that long ago. Well, just we were just saying, where's the year gone? I know. I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. I, I, but I'll tell you what, we've got something fabulous for you. On the show, we've got a 12 by 12 and an 8 by 8 album. If you buy either of those, you're going to get this free gift with purchase and it is worth 17.99 and it's beautiful it is isn't it? and this is what we were saying when did this come out and i think it was around march april time right. so it is a newish collection it's one of 2021 collections you've got 24 double sided sheets and you've got all the die cuts in there so if you did go for this back um earlier in the year mm -hmm. this is great because you're going to be able to use this mm -hmm. i love this along with that collection oh, so yes Oh, they're Huge. gorgeous. They are absolutely stunning. Let's keep going. So, as we always say, double sided and they are glorious. I love the purples and the greens. Yeah, it's really bright. This is going to be really nice to work for. You know, let's get Christmas out of the way and New Year and then yeah. we can start thinking spring. about the spring and the <laughs> summer. And, you know, it's going to work so well with what we're bringing today yes. as well. Love it. So this is your gift with purchase. I think I've pretty much gone through all of it now. It's worth seventeen ninety nine. You're not paying for that. You just need to buy the twelve by twelve or the eight by eight Insta albums. So we are looking at the uh, twelve by twelve Insta album first. Uh, we're already busy for these. What's an Insta album? Right. So an Insta album is basically what it says. Okay. It is a mini album. Having said that, this one is actually not a mini album. Uh, really, it's, it's, it's twelve by twelve. You've got um you've got um sort of like pages in there where you're going to be able to do full 12 by 12 layouts mm -hmm. you've got pockets in there it's you've beautiful. got pull out bits in there as you can see you can use this with any of the heartfelt paper pads yes or any paper pad i will say as well mm -hmm. um this one i think was the butterfly medley that we released gosh about 
six years ago, I mm -hmm. think. Um, but yeah, it's going to work really well. You're going to be able to use all the elements from that paper pad. You know the tags and the parts yes. that we always say are the most fun bits? Mm -hmm. Well, these are going to work really, really well with your Insta album. So this is 12 by 12 in total. Mm -hmm. However, that's just when it's closed. Right. Because when we actually open it up, it is like huge. And we so, are going to do that now. Shall we? Do we you want are. to? Shall I pass you this one? Yes. Yeah, so this is a finished Ooh, one. Amazing. It's actually one that I did for my mum's Mother's Day. Oh. Going back a few years ago. And I asked to borrow it again so that I can show everyone and it's upside down. There we go. So basically, what you are going to get is the basic design mm. of it. So you're going to get the crafts um, sort of blank mini album. Okay. So so as you can see, you've got all these flaps and things that you're going to be able to pull out. They yeah. are all ready done for you. It has the sizes on each part. That's so amazing. you know exactly how much you need to cut your papers. Wow. It just keeps going. Should we keep going? Yeah. Ready? I think it's are amazing. We, are we going to, am, am I going to reach over here? Can we actually get me over here? Ah, oh, Webster's on it. Look, oh, look at that. <laughs> and then, these are one of my favourites. Look at this. So this is just going to open up. You're going to be able to put your photos. You are going to get these strips as well. Oh, I like film strips. So you will get your film strips in there. And then the bottom one is going to open up like that. And then you can hit, can you hear? Mm -hmm. I've put magnets in there. Okay. Now to place those magnets, you have actually got the placement. So before you put your album together, you put all your magnets in place. And then it just all fits together. As I say, you can um, use it for photographs. You could use it for um, sort of like maybe you've had a holiday this year. Yeah. If um, you've been lucky enough to um, have one. And then it just all fits together. Oh, that way. And then all the way down. And then it sort of like falls together in place. Like that. Bring that one down. That one over the top. There's so much to this. It's incredible. It is. Apps, as I say, I'm not sure how much it sort of measures yeah. from one end to the other, but it is huge. Look and at that. Then so it still flips all the measurements done for you. Your craft is there, and you just line it with your favourite, favourite papers. With your favourite papers, as I say, everything has your measurements on, so you Brilliant. don't have to sort of work it out. It's all done for you. The placements for the magnets are there as well. Oh. As you can see, there is a magnet on there, obviously, oh, because yeah. the other dies have <laughs> got on there. And then that is just going to click in place like that, and you can create something like this at home. That is just beautiful. <gasps> I'm sorely tempted by this. They are <clears> really. <throat> do you know, some people have actually put off about making albums because they think, oh, I've got to measure it, I've got mm. to make the pages. But this is done for you. Brilliant. It's, it, this is great. Even if you're a beginner crafter, uh -huh. you are going to be able to create something like this. Oh, I'm yeah. liking it. So it's £29.99. You've got £10 off and you're getting that paper kit that I showed you that's worth £17.99 and you're not paying for that. 272895 is the item number. Now, we've also got an 8x8 eight eight, uh, and this is how it will come to you. Uh, and it's, again, it's got all the measurements on as well. Yes, it has. Yes. Yeah. So, as I say, this is just a slightly smaller, well, not slightly smaller, it's an 8x8. Eight eight. I still wouldn't say this is a mini album. No. Exactly the same concept, and we will go through one in a second, so you can have a look mm -hmm. at how this one looks. It all depends on, I mean, to be perfectly honest, I would be going for both. I mean, there's a great saving on both of them. Mm -hmm. um, so, what I'll do is I will show you one that's got all the measurements on so if you're sitting there thinking yeah but Nick has been crafting for years Nicky knows exactly what she's doing it is all done for wow. you so obviously so this clever. one is slightly smaller but it still opens up really big okay yeah so these placements here that you can see that are numbered mm -hmm. these are where you're going to put your magnets so you've got obviously your positive mm. and your negative yeah so you know exactly where they are going to go you've got your measurements for oh, that one goes under there as I say it does all fall into place so you've got your measurements on here you've got it in inches and you have it in centimeters mm -hmm. and you are going to open it up you can add your pockets in here, you can add your decorative dies, which we do have on the show today. 
um, and it's just never ending because basically you are just going to be able to create absolutely real happy memories I think and you're gonna have real yeah. fun making it as well love that because I said what heartfelt have done is they've taken all the hard work out mm. for us they're crafters so they know exactly what we want and they have just put these together like that that one comes down there and then you've got that pocket there and then so if I just show you one if I can find one so basically this one isn't quite finished but you can see if I just open that up and I've got some in there because we're going to use this for the demo mm -hmm. how you're going to be able to decorate it I love this because there's no way my brain <laughs> would be able to measure I and do all those no, folds I actually did a class way way back so I'm going back probably about 12 years ago yeah it was a two-day class and I still didn't get it finished oh, and we did you. everything yeah from scratch uh -huh. this one you could easily do you know Mm, probably a day, day and a half, and you'd get yep. it finished. Nice, lovely. So, sixteen ninety nine. If you want to go for the eight by eight, you've got a five pound saving. And remember, you're going to get that paper pad worth seventeen ninety nine. That's a bonus. That's incredible, isn't it? So. Uh, 637693 is your item number. Now we've also got some dies, some wonderful decorative dies for you. Uh, here they go. First off, we have got our, our pocket frame and accent dies collection. You've got 20 dies in total. Now it is on FlexiBite, two payments of £27.98. You're saving a whopping £24. Again, so this is a real good value show. Um, now that's better than getting one of these die sets for free. They're normally 19.99, but you've got a 24 pound saving. 0.98486. Then there's another pocket collection. So obviously these are going to go great with your albums. Uh, here we've got our decorative pocket dies. 22 die set, uh, 22 dies, but you've got the four die sets. Uh, again, you're saving 24 pounds. You can spread the cost. Two payments of 27.98. 265637. Now we've also got some more papers for you. I'm just going to move that forward. So we're starting off with the Wild Rose collection, which is here. And it does have those wonderful rosy tones. It's gorgeous. You've got your toppers, card blanks, obviously your 12 by 12. Um, they're all 12 by 12 by 12, but your scrapbook pages. Um, you can cut them down make them into little journaling cards to pop into the pockets in your uh, journals that you're doing or your insta journals uh, you've got the house down there can you see that's so beautiful come on Alex let's do that oh and I love these if you do have the dies from the wild rose collection they'll cut these perfectly because you might want to top up these are your consumables you might have already used up the paper pad that came with the kit um, but this is a stunning collection beautiful greens and pinks in here and quite a rich pink I would say so there we go that's your wild rose collection and that 1499 again the paper collections are normally 1799 excellent uh, your item number here is 315118 <clears throat> are we doing climbing clematis just coming up I'm just sorting myself out right there we go um, now here we've got some fabulous purples and lavenders and lilacs. This one is gorgeous, Alex. And this <coughs> one, I can't, I've, I've lost track of time. When did we launch this? This was this summer. So right. again, 2021 paper pad. Um, again, if you did purchase it when you bought the full collection, it's always handy mm -hmm. to have another paper pad because it is a consumable. Yeah. Especially if you're looking at the albums and you're thinking, right. Um, you know, I'd probably say for the 12 by 12 album, you'd probably need a paper pad and a half. It depends okay. on how you use the design. Sure. But you've got all the elements in there for your card making, your scrapbooking, your mini albums. Mm. You've got the elements in there that do coordinate with your dies. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't got time to stamp and die cut, you've got them there ready to go. Really pretty, pretty images. Yeah, beautiful. You've got your flowers there as well. So maybe you didn't go for that full collection. Yeah. But maybe we have got the dies on the website. So mm -hmm. you can go for the paper pad. Yeah. Go for the dies that coordinate with it. 
You ready to go? Excellent. That's again fourteen ninety nine. Item number is uh, seven six three one six two, and then the final one that I've got here is the floral shop. Here we go. Floral, floral shop I've, collection. This, this one is a twenty twenty right. collection. I think it was roughly around this time that we launched it. Mm -hmm. This has got beautiful colours and co completely different to what we just looked at. Absolutely. It's kind of like muted, it's kind of soft denim colours in there. Mm. You've got all your elements again to one um, die cut out. So just head on to the website if you didn't get the dies. Wow. Because you could have the matching dies there. You've got that gorgeous urn there, which is the focal point yeah. throughout the whole paper pad. Mm. And then look at that at the side. Love that. Beautiful. So again... This is on a fabulous deal of $14.99. You'll get 24 double sided sheets, remember. 499927 is your item number. Okay, shall we head over to you then, Nikki? Right, so I'm trying to do it as best I can so that you can actually see what I'm working on. So I'm working on the centre page of the 12 by 12. Now, the real nice thing about. Oh, doing your mini albums is you can mix and match your papers so when I started this which was about a year ago I used um, one of the owl collections but it works really really well with other paper collections so the paper collection that I'm going for is the climbing clematis and I'm going to start with the center now I've already put two magnets in there and then it's telling me that I've got magnets here. Now, mine don't have numbers on. Okay. Yours will be numbered so you know exactly where those dies, um, so, sorry, those magnets need to go. So basically, and I haven't got my double-sided tape up here, so let me just go down, and I haven't got any there either. Right, okay, it's going to be magnetless. <laughs> so I can pop that one on there, and then I know that in here... It's got where the other magnet goes, just here. Mm -hmm. So I'd pop that on there, that would go there, and that would click on. Yeah. Now, we do have <coughs> some magnets on the show. I don't know why I haven't got my double-sided tape. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we have got some magnets on the show. So, basically, once you've got your magnets on there, so I haven't got mine on there, which is a, such a shame because... It does actually make your album, but it's not kind of like, uh, oh my goodness, I can't do it, I don't have any magnets. So what I'm going to do is on that main bit... I think we're, we're going to try and get you some double-sided tape, Nikki. Really? Oh, yeah. that would be amazing. Thank you. So I'm only going to add my glue around the edge of that paper. Okay, so this is one of the Heartfelt's 12 by 12. All I've done is cut the top off where it's got the, um, the name of the collection. Mm -hmm. Brilliant, thank you. So I've got my double-sided tape now, if I can work it. Hang on. Oh, I don't know what, where it's gone. And it's not working. Oh, there we go. Got some there. So I'm going for the bigger magnets on this, but you can use smaller ones. So what I'm going to do is just make sure I get that the right way around. So that one is going to go on there. And then I'm going to pop some more tape on that one. Just make sure that I do it the right way. So that is going to go there. And then that will... Can you see how now that closes? Excellent. And yep. now I've got glue all over that because I've got my paper down there. Okay. Right, so that is going to go in the centre. Now you have got a really nice border around the edge. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're looking at this and you're thinking, but I'm not keen on craft. I want... Would have preferred it a different colour. You can use some inks or some sort of like, I don't know, um, some acrylic paints or something and just colour around the edge and paint around the edge of all your pages sure. and then you can colour that up. Okay, so what you want to do is just make sure that that is totally flat because I haven't added, if you add glue here, one of my mistakes was I went down as I normally would put my paper on and obviously you've got your magnets in there and mm. I just felt that it wasn't sitting <coughs> correct. And I just remembered I haven't put the magnet on that one. Right, hang on. So I'm going to use some smaller magnets on this because I haven't got any larger ones left. So this one will go just here. Oh, that magnet's just gone. <laughs> Where's it gone? There we go. I've got glue all over my fingers now. So right, let me move them magnets out of the way. So that one is going to go down there. And then I just need to find the right one. 
and put that the right way. So that one, right, so now I can glue that back down. That will be fine. But as you can see, so just keep making sure all that edge is down securely. Then add that magnet. Oh, actually, I have got the magnet there, so that's fine. So we'll put that one there for a second. So the next part is to actually do your, my pockets. If I was doing this from home, what I would actually do is I would go through my paper pad. Mm -hmm. I would have a look to see which are my main elements, so my 12 by 12s. I would then put my 12 by 12s to one side, and then I would go through my pockets. And before I stick anything down, I would have them all cut out so I can kind of work out the best way to do it. So obviously that is going to open that way. Sure. So I want that sitting facing me. And then the inside one, which is this one, I think I kind of did it. So that's on the outside. So then all you need to do is just glue these down. As I say, you have got your measurements on there. Mm -hmm. There's no sort of, you don't need a tape measure or anything or your ruler. It's all done for you. So nice. just add plenty of glue. Just make sure you do get round all the edges. Um, just, just while you're that gluing down. that then, Nikki, um, just to reiterate that your free paper pad worth $17.99, you'll only get it if you buy the Insta albums 12x12 or 8x8. So just to reiterate, it's not, it's not going to come with everything else on the show. So not with the dies, etc. Um, but only with your albums. Lovely. So mm -hmm. then I decided that one was going to go there. So again, I want the actual um, images of the paper pad facing me. And then again, just go all the way around the edge. And then just give a bit of a squiggle to make sure that's going to stick down. Mm -hmm. And then that one will go there. Beautiful. And then just work your way around so I've got that one so we're going to a bit more lilac this time so I'll just pop that there for a second mm -hmm. and do exactly the same and then the next thing let's make or oh, which way to actually which mm -hmm. way choices, now this choices. is the thing when you've got your double-sided paper pad I'm actually going to go with this one the more the more lilac one okay I'm not sure which is the right way up. It has got a script on there as well. So again, just have a close look at your paper pad. Okay, um, so. Now, just a stock update then, quite a big one. Uh, the 8x8, 60% of the stock has gone. So it's your 8x8 Craft Insta album, 1699, uh, £5 saving, 637693. Now the 12x12 Insta album, a quarter of the stock of that has gone. It's a really cool concept. I've not seen it before. Um, now, with the 12 by 12, you're getting a £10 saving and, of course, your free paper pad. It's 29.99272895 is your item number. So I'm going to just glue them down. So now I can kind of decide what I'm going to do. Am I going to put pockets on it? Am I just going to put some? Um, spaces so I can just add my photos. Mm -hmm. Now, didn't quite get that around the edge. So that'll be fine. Okay, so on this one, um, I haven't cut that yet, so that's not too bad. That's fine, I can do that. Now I've got some more paper here somewhere. So we'll have to see what we've got here. To see what I'm going to put in the centre. One, two. I don't know whether I've got one for the centre there, to be honest. That would be fine. I think I'm going to use that one. So, again, this is from the Clematis, but you've got that cottage on there as well. Now, what you can do is we've got all those dies on the show. Okay, so I'm going to take one from the Regal Pocket Accents. Mm -hmm. With this one, you've got six dies in total. And basically, this is your pocket die, but then you've got different dies that you can create different pockets with. Okay, so I'm going to go with this one and we're going to pop that through the die cutting machine. But what I want to do is actually have the pocket within my paper. 
Okay, so I'm not gluing this down just yet. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to just, magnets are a nightmare. <laughs> magnets and dies don't go. So I've got to decide: am I going to put my pocket that way or that way? Okay, so I think I'm actually going to go this way. So I'm going to tape that down just about there. So I'm going to pop that through the die cutting machine first. Okay. Okay, so with these, they will fit through um, your A4 die cutting machines, but a lot of the, the dies on the show are really decorative. Mm -hmm. So I would probably say um, an A4 for some of the larger ones that are very decorative, so that you can actually turn them around. So that has now created a pocket oh. in my paper. Okay, so what I want to do is just pop that down. Now, what I've got to remember is I don't want glue here because that's actually going to be my pocket. So I'm just literally going to add some glue around the edge. All the way around. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> go for a really good quality glue. Yeah. Purely because this is an album. It isn't like a card and it's going to just sit on the shelf. You are going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, you are going to be kind of well opening and shutting it, it and opening it, yeah. shutting it, looking at the photos. I'm just going to add a bit of glue under there, actually. It's going to bug me. Okay. So just give that a nice bit of pressure just to make sure that fits. And then we're going to come to the pocket. So mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is take that die that I just used. So that's the two dies. I'm going to take some, <coughs> excuse me, white cardstock. And this is around, I think, 300 GSM? Yeah. It needs to be quite sturdy. Okay, so then we're going to pop that on there and then make sure, because I'm going to have my die coming this way, make sure that one is the right way round. Mm -hmm. And just make sure you tape that down. And then just pop that through your die cutting machine. Oh, it's actually moved. Just make sure it hasn't moved. That's fine. Cool. And then just pop that through. They uh, all coordinate together. So all the dies that we have on the show mm -hmm. have got kind of like that same lattice style. Mm. So they will all mix and match. I'm going to go through quite a few times. So I think, I don't know what I've done before. And then that is just going to just come out of that die just a little bit easier, look. So it's just going to pull. Then obviously you're going to get left with those bits, but you can just knock those out or use your pokey tool. And then just use your pokey tool just to get all those little bits of leftover bits from your die. And there you have that's beautiful that pocket. I really like that. And then so then we'll open that up. And then right, so now I want to glue this down. So that is now going to fit over that pocket. Right. Okay. So I will don't glue obviously around that bit. This part I'm going to have glued down. So just leave a little bit of there. You can use your spray glue as well if you have some because it is um, quite decorative. And that's just literally going to match up there. And then, if I just go through my paper pad, so I just grab this one. So I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, right, I can make a tag with that. So normally I would actually use my paper trimmer, but just for now, so I can show you how that pocket works. You've also got your tags at the back of that paper pad. Mm -hmm. I know, they're so full, aren't they? So they're paper kits, as you like to describe them. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like this piece here, yep. you think, well, what's that? But you can stamp your sentiment on there. Absolutely. But just to show you how that pocket works, because obviously you can put photographs on here, you can put a photograph on the back. Mm. That will then just slide in to that pocket. Oh, it's so pretty. OK, what you have to remember is that it slides down enough, mm -hmm. so you might need to cut it slightly, because obviously that needs to close. Right. And that is just 
a little bit that we've just done Amazing. on our... So this is the 12 by 12? Yes, indeed. So that one's going to fit in there, which I think. Oh, it's come off now. The magnet's come off. That's how strong these magnets are. Yeah, but as yeah. I say, there are some... I don't think they are... I think, are they cool cats? That we've got they on are the indeed the magnets website and then obviously that now I've got to choose a design that's going to go on that part mm -hmm. and then obviously that middle bit that we will do in a second cool thank you very much thank right you. we've got on screen for you at 9.99 those magnets now the 12 by 12 is proving very very busy indeed we are having a very busy show 29.99 with a 10 pound saving you're also going to be getting with this that uh, paper pad worth $17.99 that you're not paying for. Item number is 272895 and a quarter of the stock of the 12x12 12 12 is gone. Then we've got our 8x8. See, the thing is, all the measurements have been done for you, all the different flaps and then you just decorate it and it tells you what size you need to cut your papers as well which I just think is brilliant so you don't have to think about it uh, $16.99 now this one is becoming the star of the show 70% of the stock has gone uh, 637693 is your item number please do check out your basket it's very very busy quick flick through your gift with purchase so you're only going to get this with your 12 by 12 or your 8 by 8 it won't come with anything else if you buy off the show it's just a little treat for the insta albums so what you're going to get is the floral butterfly collection it's beautiful because you have got tags you've got lovely toppers oops sorry there we go um, you've got your scrapbooking sheets and don't be afraid to cut these up. I know we always talk about that. I mean, just look at those butterflies. I think that's one of my favourite pages. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, this is my favourite page. Isn't that stunning? So that is your gift with purchase worth $17.99. You're not paying for Okay. We do have other paper pads. Just bring them over. First one is the Wild Rose. Now, these are normally $17.99. You've got a £3 saving. We've taken it down to £14.99. You might be running low. You might have bought this collection already and you've only got a few scraps left. So why not top up and then you can keep using them. I mean, I think these are absolutely perfect for your albums. You've got the little cottage on there. There we go. Ah, yes, you've got the flowers that you can die cut if you got the dies previously. And we've got this page stunning designs absolutely stunning so that's your wild rose 14.99 315 118 then we've got the climbing clematis lovely colors as well uh, now you're getting two of each design it's double sided that's nice that you get two of each because you know it's a really hard decision if you've only got, got one of each of your double sided because it's like oh no which side do I use but don't worry you've got the two there we go. So you've got the lovely little bird houses in here, the clematis, um, the ones that you can die cut should you wish. There we go, back to the start. But again, that's 14 763162 And then the last one that we have is your floral shop collection. And in this, you've got rich denim blues and really lovely, almost bordering on burgundy red oh that's nice you can cut those up as well a time to dream celebrating life together be uh, finding beauty in the simple things nice one moment let's turn these around again this is 14.99 you've got that three pound saving and your item number is 499927 lovely Right, Nikki, where are you up to? Right, so we're now working on the 8x8. Now, again, this is another album that I started, and I've actually used Burst of Spring, okay? But it works really, really well with the Floral Butterfly, okay? So, obviously, it's double-sided. So, what I've done here is I've cut out the 6x8 pages 
So I'm just now looking, because I obviously did this a few days ago, so I need to know which one's going with which. So cause, because I've got my purple there, and I've already made a start on the album with the burst of spring, that works really well. So what I need to do is add my magnet. So obviously if I was at home, I would add all my magnets first, but obviously for show purposes, I am doing it sort of separate. So then I need to add that really nice gorgeous purple so again right around the edge make sure you catch around the edge there and then I will just put a little bit in the center there and then that's going to go in there so I know that is going to fit absolutely perfectly mm. within now if you want a bigger border all you need to do is just literally just cut them slightly smaller than they actually say on the the front so this was six by eight so that's that one and then I've got this one so what I'm doing now is putting it together seeing how it opens up seeing how I want that to match up so I'm going to go with this one so obviously I'm cutting up those 12 by 12s but what you want to do is get your paper pad get all of your patterned papers so put all the ones that have got all your um, your matting la layers and your six by sixes put them to one side mm -hmm. and then just go for all the patterned ones yeah and then go through your album and see where they are going to fit best so I've kind of work that really well because that's got that butterfly border down there so it's definitely worth going through your paper bag seeing okay. exactly what you've got but I would actually say probably not this one so much but I would probably definitely say for the 12 by 12 I would go for yeah maybe two paper pads okay well you can get the floral butterfly another one and are they still oh we can still buy them yeah so right, okay. if you buy let's say the 8x8 which by the way is li approaching limited stock you will get a free floral butterfly but if you wanted another one like you're suggesting would be really good then that's at the bottom of the screen because then you'll definitely fill your um, insta albums instantly instantly yeah, yeah. Of instantly course, I don't know I'm on it this morning aren't I <laughs> so right so I've also gone through my paper pad and we've got that sheet um, that's got all these nice elements on there so these are great to make your little mini cards with but they're also really nice to use in your album so what I'm going to do is because you could actually put a photograph in there so it just gives so if you're giving this as a present mm. it's just going to give the recipient a really good sort of like idea on where they can add their photos but also you could make one so say maybe it was for a wedding present an anniversary Ooh, lovely yeah you could add the photos because with social media these days it's actually quite easy to get hold of um, photographs isn't it because we can get them off of people's social media yeah so you as long as we're allowed actually yeah well <laughs> you kind of get permission obviously and it would be a special person let's face it you just wouldn't just do it for <laughs> anybody on social media would you <laughs> so yeah so then you can add your photos I'm shutting up right so now right now the thing is which one do I go for so I need it to fit here I'm going to go with this one so this is from your decorative pocket accents sure you've got six dies in here in total okay this one actually has the kind of the the mouth should I say yeah, yeah I don't know, I whether, I don't know that. What, whether that is the right way of describing it but mm. that's how I'm going to describe it so I, I'm doing them in white again but you could do them in craft you could do them in cream depending on what paper pad you go for mm -hmm. I would probably say if you go if you like the look of the floral shop that would work really well with creams and um, maybe craft but you can kind of do a mix as you you can see on this one here mm -hmm. I've done some in purple and then what I've done here so that is just one of the oval dies from Hartfell oh, yeah. and I've just done that and then obviously the recipient can add their photograph yeah. in there so just pop that through your die cutting machine and I always kind of put them long ways if I can 
and then I'll do that just a couple of times and two times should be enough so I am just going to check and it is but I am actually going to turn it over okay and I'm going to pop it through twice more and that's purely so that when I actually come to take that die out it's just going to actually fall off that die so yes it did have a mouth there it is look there's the the mouth there mm -hmm. so just give it a little tap and then take your pokey tool and you'll see you've got all the little holes there so if you're new to crafting and you're wondering what the holes are for you've got lots of release holes so that when we take that out it's just going to peel away mm -hmm. and then you have got lots of little bits in here so you are just going to poke those all out just go along just make sure they are all out mm -hmm. so the fun bit is well it's all fun actually making it but kind of working out what you're going to put where Absolutely. how are you how are you going to decorate it and i'm just doing the basics but then i can go ahead i can add lace to it i can add mm. pearls to it i can add um ribbons to it you can add your flowers to it as well i just need to let everybody know the eight by eight has now sold out we didn't even get to take it limited it went that quickly wow mm -hmm. yeah that's gone quick it right, has gone so really quick i'm going to um, put that tune in at three oh. we're going to try our best to get some more but for this but for this um hour we can't uh, it's because we need to make some phone calls to basically America, don't we? Basically, yeah, and they're, f they're in Indiana, so they're, I think, are we winter now? So I think they're six years behind. Six years? Uh, not six <laughs> years. <laughs> <laughs> that would take a long time to get here. Yeah. Six, so, six so hours. There you go. So yeah. we kind of need them to wake up. You know, so bear with us, but make sure you tune into the um, three o'clock show. We do still have the 12 by 12, um, 10 pounds off. It's 29.99. And again, to reiterate, if you buy the 12 by 12, you'll get the floral butterfly collection paper pad for free. That's worth 17.99. We are 40% of the stock gone, though, of the 12 by 12. Ooh, busy. Wow. We are busy. Yes. But I think it's, we haven't had these on. I did one. It was in lockdown. See, so I miss, must have missed that one. You missed that one. Yeah. And then we launched them the year before. So, yeah, I'm not actually sure if we've got any more stock because I'm sure I was told once they've gone, they've gone. Okay. And that was including the paper pads as well. Oh, right. And the dies. But I'm not 100% sure because I've got some more shows coming up and I do get confused. Mm. As in six years behind. <laughs> so that's how that pocket works there. Really sweet and really pretty. But if you wanted, you can add another one just as a decorative one so it kind of coordinates with that bottom part. Oh, yeah. So you could pop one there. I actually will do that. Let's go for it. And then where that slit is... Mm you could just add a row of pearls along there yeah that's nice and it would just do it but it kind of just then matches in with that bottom bit so they're not just you know just look at them and think yeah they're pockets they are decorative dies as well you can use these with your card making as well just as like decorative elements there we go that'll stick down that's it so that's that page mm -hmm. done. Excellent. It looks okay. Beautiful. Have we got time to do another one? Yeah, right. 15 minutes. Yeah. So now on to this one. So these are eight by eight. Okay, so it's clearly states, or it doesn't because I've covered it up, it, that it's eight by eight. So again, with this one, what I've done is because the paper pads all kind of mix and match, to be honest, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what page you get you know you've got purples on there so you know it's going to match with the purple one but it all depends on what you're actually going to to do um i think that might be too purple so what i'm going i'm, I'm going to stick with that lime green mm -hmm. i will add some magnets just here but again yours will be numbered i'm just kind of what they call it in the trade winging it okay because 
I've got these ones here. So what I am actually going to do is just check and make sure. So I've got a magnet space there. Yeah. So I'm going to work out where that's going to go, which is that one. So I need to take another magnet, if I can get it off. They're really, really tight. They're strong, aren't they? Very. Hang on. There we go. So make sure that's that way. So that needs to go that way. So Ooh. I'll just leave that on there for a second. Um, if you do want the magnets, they're at the bottom of the screen, 9 99 and I think they're nearly 60% of the stock gone. 839360, it's a very, very busy show. So again, now what I want to think about is before I glue that down, do I want to put a pocket within there? Okay, so I'm thinking, let's have a look to see what we've got. Mm -hmm. And it isn't all about pockets as well. We have got yes. some other decorative dies on, on the show, and I'm hoping that this one's going to fit there. But I don't want to cover that butterfly up, you see, so this is actually going to work really well. So I am going to do it within my paper pad. I'm going to bring it just over slightly. So I'm going to take that one. So I've got one sort of light that's got a scalloped edge with it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pop that down there. Just make sure there is enough room for that one. And then just tape that down. Now I'm taking quite a bit of that stickiness off because I don't want it to rip my paper. This is where you will need a lot. I took too much sticky off. <laughs> Doing well, aren't I? Oh, it's sticking to the magnet. Now it's on the magnet. There we go. That'll do. Just take a little bit of sticky off. Don't do quite as much as what I did. And that's going to lift up. There we go. All right. Okay. So I just want to make sure that that is straight. Else that would bug me as well. And then, yes, you are going to need a 12 by 12. Um, sorry, a... What size what what are, are they? A4. A4? Yeah. 12 by 8, I think they are, aren't they? So I just need to take that through once. Oh, good. Okay, right. We have good news. The 8x8s, we can get some. They have answered our call. Have they already? Yes, oh, amazing. Oh, I was wrong then, so they do have more. <laughs> <laughs> they do have more. Uh, grab them while, they, while you can. It's going to be um, dispatched from Monday from the state. So uh, it's 16.99 again. Item number is 637.693. And don't forget your lovely bonus paper pad, and it's a really pretty one, where 17.99 that you're not paying with, with either your 8x8 or your 12x12 Insta album. It is a really pretty paper pad. It's one of my favourites, actually. <clears throat> so because I put my pocket within the pocket, you don't want any glue down yeah. that bottom part. Yeah. So I've just gone round the edges. And then that is going to sit absolutely perfectly mm -hmm. within there. And then just make sure you get all those edges down. If you really are good with your tape pens or your double-sided tape, you could use double-sided tape for mm -hmm. that. So then I want to die cut my die so this one is the adorn pocket accent set okay and you've got five dies in total on there so basically what you've got is you've got the scalloped die and then you've got what else have we got on there a larger scallop mm -hmm. and then you've got um like a zigzag effect so you can yeah. choose which one you want I think there is actually one more, but I haven't got it with me. So now I just need to take that same die that I created that pocket with. I'm going to make sure I do put it the right way. And then I'm going to pop that in there. And then just take that down. Make sure you take that down well. This one, as I say, is quite decorative. So I am going to take it through my die cutting machine several times. So that will just go through. This one, I might actually turn it as well, yeah, just so it to gets make all those sure points. it gets all those pieces. So I couldn't find my A4 plate, so I'm using the smaller one, so I'm probably going to struggle. But I'm going to take a look, and yeah, it's cut 
perfectly, but if I want it just to actually fall out, it's just easier just to go through a couple more times, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And then I know that when I take it out, then that is literally going to fall out of that die. Just give it a little bit of a helping hand. Mm. Now, the only thing is you have got a lot of little bits in there. So what I'm going to do is just move away from the tape and just give it a bit of a flick. And most of them will actually come out. Some Good. of them are quite tiny. So you will need to just poke them out. So I'm not going to stand here and poke them all out. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. And then I'll do that in between my shows. So I didn't. I did that with the wrong way round, you see. So I will cut another. Actually, I might have one. Have we got one that's done the right way? Yes. Oh, <laughs> saved. I can glue it down, actually, because I've actually taken all the bits out. So I'm saved. So you can have it either way. Mm -hmm. You just need to make sure. And I'm sure there's people at home thinking, Nikki, you've done that wrong. And they were shouting at the telly. Yeah, but we've but, all done it. All but it's only it. a piece of card, and I yeah. can use it on another one. You can. So just around the edge there, just catch enough bits just to keep that down on there. And there you have another pocket. So they don't have to be central. Mm -hmm. Work with your papers, because obviously if you're putting pretty decorative paper on, you don't want to be covering mm. certain elements in that paper. And then you've got your pocket. So let's just find something so I can just show you how that works. You have actually got some lovely colours in here. You've got a really nice denim blue, which doesn't go with this page, but just to show you, that's where you can put one of your tags or mm. photographs. And then you could have a little element down here. You can yeah. maybe write um, a little um, bit about what's on the photograph. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And that's my middle page. That's gorgeous. And I, I love those decorative dies. I think they are fab. absolutely gorgeous. As I say, more than just your pocket dies because yeah. you can use these on your card making. Amazing. Okay. Right. So your eight by eight. Thank goodness we've managed to get it back in stock. Um, but we do also have the 12 by 12 as well. Here it is. 12 by 12 is 29.99 with a 10 pound saving and a free paper pad worth 17.99 272895 is the item number right so i'm just taking my loose pieces out that i've got okay. ready to decorate Oops. and we'll show you how big this is I'm it's just, so good just before that i will just glue that down there because that just doesn't want to stick right are we ready yeah right so at the moment you're looking at that and you're thinking mm, okay that's a nice size but let, let's start opening it up. These are all my pages that I've got ready. As I say, it is nice to go through, have all your pages ready. Mm. Put that there. But then it opens up even more. Look at all okay. that. Yeah. There's my spaces to put my magnets. Uh -huh. Yours will be numbered, yes. so it will be. It will help you a lot, lot more. I think mine was one of the first ones, and this is what Heartfelt do. They brought brought these out. Yeah. And then they went one step further because they thought, right, we're making these. Mm. We would like them numbered because right. we're finding it difficult to, to know where the magnets and which way round they go. So they've created them now with magnets. And then you've got the centre one there. Mm. And this Brilliant. one actually comes down all Oops. the way. All the way. I mean, that is a really good size, it, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. Gosh. Okay. And then the other way... So, as I say, it all kind of folds in. You've got that other one there. So, you've got your six by sixes. So, the paper pads have your mat and layers in there. And these work really well for this size. Because what you've got is you're going to cut that. That will fit perfectly. Mm -hmm. Then you can pop a photograph in there or some other element there. So, that one's... Nope, I was right because it just kind of fell. Yeah. And then there's that middle part. Okay, and that will go like that, and then that's the front. So when it all closes together, you've got that flap there, you've got your magnet there that's going to fit on this one, and that's going to close. 
and then even down to the side bit you are going to be able to decorate there and on the back as well because there's even measurements on the spine as there well, is there? all the measurements are there one and a half inches by eight inches or it's in centimeters as well it's very cool but it, this one is a manageable one if you're very very new to crafting and you're mm -hmm. thinking don't really want to tackle the 12 by 12 even yep. though i'd probably go for one each yeah um, <laughs> at this price um yeah i'd say the eight by eight is really easy to go with nice okay. um, right then the paper pad this is the one that you're not paying for the floral butterfly collection it's worth $17.99, but I must stress, you'll only get this if you buy the 12x12 or the 8x8 Insta album. Um, if you're buying anything else off the show, you won't get this. There we go. Look at that. That's my favourite page, that one. Loving this. Beautiful. The colours are so bright and vivid, especially on the butterflies. I mean, look at that page. That is just glorious. It's like a fabulous wallpaper. And then there are those toppers. Got all of those elements as well. Beautiful. You've got your card bases. This is a stunning collection. There you go. If you wanted another one of these, you'll find them on the website as well. Because if you want to fully decorate your um, 12 by 12, you might need two of them. Oh yes, can we see? I love this. This is a finished one, so isn't it? This one, one is it? absolutely completely finished. Yeah. And if my mum's watching, she's probably going to think, Nikki, you borrowed that 18 months ago and I still haven't got it back. <laughs> but I'm glad I didn't give her it back. But this is completely finished. As you can mm. see, I've decorated it with pearls. And lots and lots of pearls in here. Mm. Use lots of other dyes as well from Heartfelt. They've got lots of cut matte create dyes. Mm -hmm. As I say, you can use some of the dyes. I think this one is from the decorative pocket accents and you can use it just as an edge yeah so I've actually put that on that middle piece so this was already this was here yeah I've just added that um, what, what do we call these what negatives the photo, oh, photograph uh, negatives and you could things? say that it could know. be a film strip film strip can I ask whatever you, a question? you want to call does it come with the, you know, it's got like acetate in the front or it did doesn't. you put that I in? I added the okay, acetate, just, just yes. I added the acetate on there okay and then that's just going to lift up and even on there look if you look I've added some elements there so you can put photographs on there as well nice and then we're just going to continue now this is the fun bit wow it's stunning so you've got lots of different pockets that mm -hmm. I've added yeah different ways as I say there is different ways that you can actually use your pockets all of the dies that you are seeing on here are on the show as well mm -hmm. you've got corners in there it just finishes it off but you can also where I have as well you can use it and you can put little tickets in there mm, as well I love that center this is one of those presents that you can make somebody or make yourself yeah and you're just gonna have fun just opening it up and going through oh my it. goodness but, look I mean at that. just look at that decorative dies on the top so yeah. I use that as sort of like a pulley out bit mm -hmm. I think for this one I did use I did go through two full paper pads because because it was a present yeah. I wanted it really to sort of like all coordinate mm. together these are the ones that we did earlier so if you remember we did the top one didn't we yeah but if you think about all the other dies that you may have you can use those. We've got corner dies there as well. But that's how you can finish it off mm -hmm. using your cut mat create dies <laughs> as well, because that's where your photographs are going to be. Then I've added another one of those brilliant film strips. It is just it's just ever en never ending. I know a little bit. And it. then you're just going to bring that across. That's just going to fit there. Take that one up. Bring that down and then pop that down perfect timing and I have got the magnet in there yep. and it all finished honestly you are going to have so much fun creating these I really like that thank you so much thank Nikki you. thanks I'm so pleased we managed to get the 8x8 so do make sure you're joining us at uh, 3 o'clock um, but do check out your baskets because they are absolutely fantastic Insta albums. So you don't have to think about it. All the measurements have been done. Right, more coming after this.
We've got card making essentials with Studio Light after the break. Uh, then later, sewing with White Gecko, and after that, journaling with That's Crafty. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orange Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orland Create shows. Hi, I'm Emma. I work with Cricut to help you get the best out of your machines. Cricut is a range of tools, machines and accessories that allow you to work with hundreds of materials. On the shows, I hope I can inspire you with ideas to help you become your creative best with Cricut. So make sure you don't miss the Cricut shows. Shopping online with the Craft Store has just got easier with PayPal's Pay in 3 plan. Spread the cost of your basket, whether there is one item or many, with three interest-free payments. Simply choose Pay in 3 at checkout and pay for purchases between £30 and £2,000 over three equal instalments for the next three months. No fees and no interest. Spread the cost of your shopping with PayPal's Pay in 3 plan at the Craft Store. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque, and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Join us for our journey into everything creative and messy, and see what you can create with our stamps. Hello and welcome. Um, it is lovely to have your company. I have got another one day special hour. I've loved every single one day special hours. A, because I love working with our Julia Oggs. Uh, <laughs> but, um, and I know Julia is going to be the same. I think because you've got so much mm -hmm. in this collection and seeing the dies come to life, because when you look at them on the packaging, even though they've got incredible photographs, it's still like, oh, how does that work? I know. So actually making them come to life, I love it. Yeah. It's ace. Yeah, they re it is a tremendous collection. It really is. And there's, we, we, we're not, like I say, we haven't got enough time to actually yeah. explore the true potential of them. That's where you guys are really lucky at home, because obviously when you get yes. yours, especially if you get them in between Christmas and New Year, and uh, you know, you're off work, you can have a really good playtime. Yeah, yeah, it, I'm quite jealous. Mm. I, I, I must admit, in life now, I would love, you know, like just a little bit of time, maybe yes. a, you know, a nice little few weeks to literally have no other jobs and just to, to play. just play. Mm. I, I do get a it's like, oh, that must be so good, especially with this. Mm. I mean, oh my gosh, you have got so many choices. Obviously, the bigger has been the, the one that's been going the, the quickest, but we will break it down um, because you have got lots and lots of options. And I love this because there's something for literally every price point. So whatever your pocket, there's something for you. Like, for instance, this is your one-day special. You can get all of those independently, individually. So if you want to, you can just get one die set today. 
there you've got that choice for the full collection however for your one day special sorry just your one day special um you're saving 12 pounds there 79 pounds and 96 pence i'm going to quickly run through the dies i'm going to do this quicker because i know julie has got three uh, demos prepped and it's the demos that really bring this to life uh, so first of all you've got your gorgeous circle one now these dies are amazing so you've got i'll probably turn it that way so you can see it, all the dies and you've got a lot of dies in there on the die set this one it's there at the bottom for you on the back of the packaging they are going to show you the actual design so that's what you can do with this and it is a really cool design because you've got those wonderful circles that are just doesn't that look lovely and it all folds up so it'll just fit into your little envelope how cool is that but it just when it's actually unfolded they look so beautiful that's the papers we've got gorgeous christmasy papers on the show we've also got some beautiful stencils i mean that stencil does look absolutely amazing so cracking stencil is that one i'm just rummaging sorry and that is that their stencil there you go um now that's your first die um obviously each pack you've got multiple dies that's the first one that's going to give you a circle the next one i promise i will whip through these um because if you've seen every show it's like win all the honor get on to julia um <laughs> the next one and this is well cool because it's that dimension and again i love that I love this, Julie, because that has got a proper 3D element yeah, to it, hasn't right. it? It plays with your brain, it doesn't does. it? It does. <laughs> Messes with your head. Yeah, it's like some of those 3D um, uh, street art that you see on uh, on social media, you know, that, yeah. that, you know, it's flat, but you think you know, you've got to walk along it. But it's going to work yeah. with your papers and it's going to work with your stencils as well. It's stunning. Absolutely yeah. stunning. And different. I mean, they've given us different edges. They've given us all these dyes to create all those layers. And I was saying in the first hour even if you're not making cards look now if you were using all these mats and layers in one of your art journal pages that would look so cool you would, so it? you did yeah mm. if you did a really nice inky um background then die cut it like this and then put it onto a black page seriously that would look so good so even if you're you're not card making with him you've got so many reasons to get hold of this so that one if you want that one on its own 1696 that's all you're paying for that oh no lion um if you do sorry that's the gorgeous stencils if you wanted this one on its todd um it's zooming along the bottom 22.99 for that one 992087 all part of your one day special of course next uh we have got for you and again oh i don't know i put the cuff oh yes i do um this is absolutely gorgeous your beautiful rectangle and i love the edges on this as well it looks cool and again it's and again you've got a really nice main focal point to put your your beautiful papers to put your stamp designs to put your toppers i mean this is the thing isn't it they have been really well designed they really have and, and i really like the fact that they're all cut from an a5 piece of card yeah and so when they fold they're roughly an a6 yeah uh, or slightly smaller some of them um so they're going to fit in your little tiny envelopes but that you know they're not scary to decorate when you're dealing with small spaces yeah all your little tiny uh, intricate um, kind of off cuts from from your you know your your, your papers are gonna yes. fit on there yeah I mean literally your off cuts look at these yeah. little bits here yeah um, so if you did want that one on its own again that's there sat at the bottom there um, and that is your rectangle last but by no means least in your one day special you have got this one and this one you see I think again just cut and put on your your page would look amazing this is the ovals so it gives you a really beautiful rocker card Way. but yeah when it's like that so we've had um a hat we've had um spaceships we've had a melon with an egg in it that was has <laughs> that was has oh oh um yeah prefer that one's nicer um melon with an avocado in that's our kim that's a bit posh that's posh oh <laughs> our kim so posh but I love it because, so vegan, amazing, have a cuddle, and she's even done a sentiment for it, Kim, you're on fire. 
up, Ray? Get you, mate. Have a cuddle. Amazing. Um, but see, see, if you were like this one, okay, if you were just using the dies for a page, how good would that be? Just flat on a page. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful mm. dies. And obviously, you can create some lovely little rockers. Um, now, if you just wanted this one, your oval, have a cuddle. Uh, 22 genius. £22.99 pounds for just that one alone. However, all of these dies, multiple dies, multiple different ways you can use them. That is your one day special. You are saving £12. Of course, you've got to flex it on your one day special, um, which means today, 39 98 They're going to be sent out from the, uh, the 23rd of December. Um, so, obviously, not in time for Christmas, but in time for January. Yay! New year, new cards. Uh, 506202. Now, the next bundle, this bundle is serious. I mean, you have got so many dies in this, but this allows you to create so many different um, fantastic, not cards, but you could create cards, but these are works of art. These are your journals. I mean, your first one, again, you get multiple dies. This is a wraparound. You have got photographs on the back. You've also got links, so you've got little video tutorials as well, because it is one of these, isn't it, when you look at these dies. Um, or oh, Julia, you look at them and go, what? Mm, yeah. and, but it's when you get to play, but also having a little bit of help and assistance. I love this. It really does help. And obviously watch the shows back. This is well course. This is the first one. This is a wraparound. Yes, this is a wraparound. Oh. Uh, we had a look at this yesterday. All I've done is just put it together very simply. So, so there's nothing complicated about that. So you've got the little thing there yeah, yeah. to put your, your different. So Signatures obviously in. you can put your different sections in there. Yeah. You've also got in this die set, You've got your beautiful little envelope there. You've got your gorgeous little pocket. You've got your sentiments. Um, you've got, obviously, um, the cover. You've then got the die so you can create your, your wonderful pages. Yeah. What are they called again? Signatures. Signatures, that's it. So you've got your dies to create the signatures. I mean, and then, obviously, you've got that beautiful wraparound. I love that. That is absolutely cracking. So, in this one, mm. you know our gusset die? Yeah, it's the envelope. Ah! So, oh, I get it. So that that's your little envelope that's there. That's the envelope, yeah. That's your yeah. envelope. And there's little mats and layers to stick on the front as well, which I haven't done there, Amazing. actually. And we haven't, have you used that one, the funny little diamond uh, one? I just explained how to use it. I haven't right. actually glued anything down so with that it that one, so you've got even more than that's shown here. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just, just put one together so you can see what it looked yeah. like. Oh, I love it. I love it. It just looks so professional. See, these are ace. That's your first one. Okay, now, 24 99 for that that's already with a discount it should be 29 pounds and 99 pence obviously if you've got your bundle you've got a huge saving so that's your first one um again really amazing prices the next one that we've got and this is just exquisite again look how many dies you're getting so this this is clever we so look at this one in this hour yay hopefully yeah, because we haven't looked at this one yet, no, have we? No, that's oh, the last good. one to do. So this is this hour. And again, it's got so many dies. I'm not going to go through it. I, Julia's going to go through yeah, this I'll one. Go through it. Check this one out. 24.99. That's at the bottom there. That's another journal one for you. Um, the next one that we've got, and this is amazing. You showed us this in the last hour, and I this did. is so cool. Yes. Yeah, it is cool. I love the fact that you can you can create. It's a single single signature uh, die set. Yeah. So, uh, but you can create one. You can just put pages in it. Or you can do like a, a flip flap kind of book where you've got um, multiple little mini albums in it, which is what I've done. For, for the, I've just put together what I explained before. So that's got, uh, I put flaps on the outside and then I put the mini albums on the inside look, as well. Look. So when you open it up, you've got your little pocket with the tags, um, you've got one of your little banners there, and then all of these, because the way you actually bind it, so you've got your three binding that yes. if you want, you've got options. Yes. But because of that, it allows you, and you've got all these dies. And those are mini albums, Look. so you could actually have those outside Look. of the actual album if you wanted Look to. Look little mini albums. Yeah. So three little mini albums. You've even got these beautiful little tabs as well. Honestly, 
That is gorgeous. I know, it's really That's cool, isn't so it? That's so cool. It's, I will be 100% honest with you, the journal dies do take you a while to cut. Yeah, they really yeah, do. Yeah. Um, the wraparound's the quickest one, um, but uh, they're so worth so it. So worth it. So, so worth, worth it. it. Yeah. And if you've got an A4 machine, obviously you're cutting multiple dies you are, at a time. You are. Thanks for mentioning that, actually, only because we had a me a, a, an email in the last hour, and it was only until after we'd finished that I realised uh, what the true answer was. Somebody uh. was asking if you need an A4 machine for the dies that are on the show. Yeah. And the answer is actually categorically no. The only uh, die that doesn't fit through on one pass is your wraparound outer dies. Yeah. Uh, but all you need to do is pass it through once and then uh, move the die down onto your A5 oh. plate and turn it round and pop it through. So you can do it, um, but uh, you just got to do it. Uh, uh, just Think around it. it, yeah. Yeah, yeah think about yeah. it. So I apologise if I've misled you in the previous hour, but no, you don't need an A4 machine. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Um, okay, so if you wanted that one, that's that one. But then the last one that you've got is the um, the little square one. And Julie did demonstrate this in the very first hour in the lawn shower. Um, and this is another absolute beauty. Mm. Um, you've got so many layers. When you work with these, um, when you've got the full collection and you can mix and match your dyes, honestly, you have got so many incredible possibilities beautiful if you want that one on its own the details are there uh 24.99 that is with the saving remember should be more than that okay that bundle if you just wanted that bundle it's telling you you've got a 10 pound saving savings have been carried forward you've got a 28 pound saving you've also got a flexi so at the moment to get hold of that collection all you need to pay is 44.98 you know exactly what you're paying the month after um, however, these are all in the big bundle, so just bear with. 940922, we've then got the two alphabets. The first one, super cool. Um, you've got these little tabs, so it allows you to uh, thread all these together, so you're making little banners. I love these. I think it's such a good idea. Really, really beautiful. So that's your first alphabet. Now, you're saving £3.50 on that one. £14.99, 238306. You've then got your chunky alphabet, and this is so cool. It's really funky, is this one. Um, and because you've got really nice chunky letters, it really allows you to see your papers or whatever you're using these with. And of course, with this one, what you've got, because you can see that outer die, so it'll create that wonderful matting layer for you. Now, you've got a three pound saving on that one, 19.99. So, 202391, so, the biggie, the biggie. The whole collection, over 200 dies here. Um, you have got an incredible saving. All those savings, so the 12 pounds, the three pounds, the three pounds 50, the 28 pounds, that's all been carried forward. And then, and then Freedom members, you've got an extra discount. So that means it's telling you non-Freedom members, you're saving 25 pounds, but it's telling Freedom members, you're saving even more than that. But then you get an extra saving added onto it. So Freedom members, you are actually saving, I do believe it's £89 for this collection. It's £89.49. Now, I know we're showing normal price. Do not buy this as a normal. Be a Freedom member. Because Freedom members look at that saving, plus obviously the extras. Honestly, it costs you money if you're not a Freedom uh, member to get hold of this. And no postage. You can just join for a month um, just to make that massive saving. Now, it is incredible. Obviously, with this, you've got your uh, flexi as well. So today, fifty-three ninety-seven to get the whole collection delivered to your door. You know exactly what you're paying the month after the month after. You don't pay interest, and you've got everything. Zero five five. Four zero six. Now, so much you can do with it, but it is the demonstrations that inspire us. Um, Art Julia. Now, um, are you playing with stencils? We're just going to have a quickie. Yeah, Gorgeous. just do a little quickie with the stencils because I thought we'd do it because otherwise we you're not going to get do it done, are you? No. Yeah. No, you're not going to get to play it with the so, little stencils. So uh, I've just taken, taken the, uh, one of the border stencils and I've just got a strip. And this is just regular watercolour card. It's not fancy watercolour card. It's just the regular 
kind of cold pressed stuff Beautiful. Uh, and uh, we do have some um, mediums from Studio Light on the show and this is the structure paste um, from uh, Studio Light Amazing. and it's quite a gritty um, structure paste which you, you'll you'll hear as, as I spread it through. I kind of like that. I yes, like that. I, oh yes you can. Yeah. You oh can. I like a gritty structure paste. Yeah and it's um, it dries really quickly as well obviously it depends on how big the holes are in your stencil. Yep. Always the same kind of rules apply. So we're just putting some through the stencil there. Marvellous. You've been good and taped it. I have. On, on this occasion I have <laughs> because I don't want a little bit of the, the stencils next to it yes. uh, to come through. Yeah, I only, a I only border. take borders, that's all. Beautiful. Then what we're going to do um, is take some indigo blue luscious powders and to, to colour it because that, we're dealing with flowers here yeah. and the colours I'm di I've got are cherry lips and I've got a uh, green apple. Green apple's quite a new one. Beautiful. And I'm just going to take a soft brush and we're going to just pick out, if I can see them, the flowers and sprinkle some of this on. What happens is that the, the luscious powders, when they actually touch the um, the wet liquid uh, yeah. or the wet uh, paste they'll actually bind to it because there is actually a binding a agent in the powders yeah, yeah. and okay. they're going to bind to it um, obviously be a bit more careful than me <laughs> <laughs> no, um, if you do want the paste um, we have them on the show have we yeah oh, apparently I can say no oh well they're in the box they're in the box maybe as you're checking your baskets out so have a little look, see, as you're tricking your baskets out, mm. we're going to have a little nose. So, um, so I'm just putting the pink on there, then we're going to move to the green to do the leafy area. Beautiful. And these, are, these borders are great. This length is a great size to add to the wraparound um, oh, yes. um, yeah. uh, journal. Yeah, of course. So I've just add some green in here. I love this. Um, remember that border stencil? I mean, it is such a gorgeous, gorgeous stencil. You've got multiple um, different designs on it as well. So we do a Leonian a little bit in a minute. Oh, which is why I wanted to do it while you, on your last <laughs> show, so you'd be proud of me. Oh, I'm always <laughs> proud. I always do it when I do my Facebook lives. I say, right, we're going to pull a Leone now. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! I haven't been pulled in years. <laughs> Sounds worse than it was meant to. <laughs> <laughs> right, so if we pull this away, oh, that looks so pretty. Then you can see that that's going to be that's going to set down and yeah. that's going to be really pretty. Then there's oh, one, I like that. There's one that's dry here, just in slightly different colours. Amazing. Okay, so that's a nice little border to add to your side of your card or to your journal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then pulling a Leone means <laughs> that we've got to use the waist. <laughs> so I like the I appear in your Facebook lives. <laughs> So we just give it a little mist with water. Amazing. And pop it on another strip. And then if you're careful, if you take a stencil brush, well, if you just you can just go over where the flower head is itself. Oh, yeah. And then you'll get the pink coming through in those Oh, you're being a lot neater than me. Yeah, you I know. Say. It's only on this one, though, because we've got the separation between the greens yeah. and the reds. No, that really works. And I tell you what, I am very proud because this is the thing, isn't it? You still, you're going to get a beautiful extra print. Yeah, and it, it, it's almost nicer than the first one, to be honest. You know, you say that quite a lot, don't you? And um, and it really does work yeah. really, yeah. really nicely. But look, I mean, look at that. That's yeah. lovely. Isn't it? Yeah. See, this it's more is... muted. It's more pastel. Yeah. I mean, you can even probably get another print off yes, of it I as well. Yes, I bet you could. Yeah. I'm I not love going that. To, but I love yeah, that. Yeah. So, and another one that's see another one that's dry there. Yeah. As well. But they're just. It's just a really nice way of using your borders yes. with your structure paste and some, perhaps something else you've got in your stash. Yeah. I love that. Thank you, Julia. There is something else. Can I show, just quickly show you something else? Yeah. Okay. So. Again, using one of the borders, so let's just take this while it's still dirty, but put this back. This one has already got structure paste on it, okay. and this is the um, the one that's in the middle. Ah, so what yes. we can do is we can, that's all dry, Yeah. we can take our stencil and we can take some of our uh, inks and go in the kind of, kind of the same colour way, Lovely. and we can then 
because we've already got the structure in it we can just ink over the top and add colour to what we've put our structure paste on Amazing. with and and it just it gives you a little bit of dimension but colour as well but yes. it does mean that you can be very precise yeah. as to where you actually put and if your you colour put it again. on a brush it's not going to because your structure paste has got quite a bit of teeth to it it's, yeah. it's gritty so if you used a, a foam sponge it would end up tearing it wouldn't it eventually uh, the sponge yeah yeah, yeah but yeah. the brush will glide over that these these uh, craft artist um, uh, brushes from crafts too are really good yeah. especially the tiny one for getting into um, the little areas yeah perfect um, so oh that's lovely isn't it yeah and that's just your structure paste and then the inking over the top that's really really pretty yeah i mean obviously yeah. you can just do it flat if you wanted to but it's just nice to get a bit yeah. of texture going on it really is that looks so effective thank you that's Julia. All right. um, i'm going to remind you about them stencils um the price is ridiculous um you're getting four stencils these are a5 stencils so really good size as well now first of all you have got those beautiful flowers this one's my favorite i do love that i mean it could could just be background you know I love that you've got your little grassy border there as well but you could be cutting these out using them as gorgeous toppers really really beautiful stencil so that's your first one that's your gorgeous florals you've then got it really does look lovely like that uh, yeah white flowers black card and you could do that you see with texture paste you've then got your beautiful little swans and um, at the moment the friends they love each other if they've fallen out you could do them soon. <laughs> <laughs> if they've really fallen out they could be swimming off in different directions um, you've then got the beautiful hearts at the top hearts at the bottom all of these you can use independently and then at the bottom of that stencil you've got can you see how it's not a solid line at the bottom so it allows you to use it in different ways which I love now my favorite is absolutely this one the ray of sunshine oh I like that oh a little ray of sunshine in your life did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Oh, thank you. It's you, Julia. <laughs> the of sunshine. No, it's you, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is so nice because you've got your ray of sunshine, you've got your clouds, and I do love the clouds because look at that, how cute is that? And obviously on the stencil, see, I was saying I'd be tempted to chop this one so I'd be using that one in you know the that side and that side and then anyway you know what I mean but I love that I love that that is really really pretty favorite favorite um do you know what 40% of the stock has gone I'm surprised they're even here at all but 40% of the stock has gone because the pricing is ridiculous now when you look at this one look at all the different borders that you've got obviously it's easy to do a continuation with these but you've got so much design you can obviously create a wonderful background with these as well um, now it's saving five pounds on these ones only 16 pounds and 96 pence absolute bargain 295311 is your item number now check the website out on the website you will see everything but you'll also see it's been done kim got it sorted um so as you're checking out your baskets it'll go hey would you like some nice gritty texture paste and you'll go oh yes please are there domes at the top is that one of the domes yeah domes oh yeah. i love them they're really they, popular don't always they look yeah. good yeah hey get your domes well we've got them they look amazing oh look and you can get the stencils oh. individually as well you can obviously we're not the, not with the saving but yeah uh, and that works so in the bundle they work out at four pounds and 25 pence oh so it is a good bargain actually when you get the bundle uh, but yeah all available you've got choices 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 uh, so do have a look at the website um and uh, as you're checking your baskets out uh, please remember you complete now we've only got this hour and one more hour and then that is it we're done for our live shows um, it is a time limited offer uh, you do need to be checking out your baskets it's one of those um, that I would not miss out on because of that price zero five five four zero six is your item number for that one um, and again please be a freedom member Forget not being a freedom member. I'm not even telling you what you're saving or what you're paying if you're not a freedom member because forget about it. Because that is a way that you're going to make your biggest saving. Um, and there you go. See, 42.99. Oh, no, it isn't. Because uh, you've got all those prices rolled over. It's over 89 quid that you're saving. Ridiculous. Um, 055. 
406 is your item number. Right then. The favourite bit. Right, we're going, oh, to, we're going, so to, do, we're going to do next. card now. Yes. Uh, so we're, we haven't looked at uh, this one uh, yet. So we're going to do one of these. Beautiful. Um, if I were you, I would definitely put magnetic sheet on and keep your packaging because yeah. you've got the prompt. You know, if you forget how to use it or if this is one of the ones you don't get around to using immediately, you know what to do with yes, it. Yes, that is such a good thing. Such tip. a good thing to do. Mm. So, obviously, as always, the outside die is the one that's going to cut your shaped card blank. Yeah. And uh, you've got a mixture of score lines and uh, you've got the, the cut lines that go across there, across there and obviously all the way around the edge super and, and your fancy edge your fancy edge yeah and and it's really good that all the edges on all of the the, the new uh, concept cards are all uh, different edges which which makes it more interesting because you know studio likes to have done them all the same but they haven't they've done them differently yeah and uh, as I've been saying before this is um, actually 270 GSM it's some of the sentiments for yours card it's the racing green mm, um, so just reinforce uh, on your thick card your um, score lines uh, with the scoreboard and um, uh, scoring tool, I would suggest you do that. And then look at your picture and figure out which way it's going to fold. Obviously, this one can fold, you know, you can play with it and have bits yeah. going in and out, whichever you want. But if you want to follow the picture, that's how it's going to go. Amazing. Okay, cool. Okay. Right, so I've done a bit of gluing ahead of time because it does take a while. So obviously your next layers, and it's up to you really, so you can just use this outer layer and use that as your decorative paper. You don't yeah. have to have all three layer layers if you don't want to. Yeah. But obviously you're going to go down a size each time you cut, so it's up to you what you do. But you've got um, three layers, including the back one, for each section. Beautiful. Except for these little bit pieces here. Yeah, that's be pushing uh, a lot. So dinky, they're yeah. so dinky. So let's get those particular ones glued on first. Amazing. Uh, I've used some emerald pool, I think it's called, from Sentimentally Yours, uh, to coordinate. So these are really quite small. Yeah, so they are diddy, aren't they? They are really di I mean, they could have, you can leave them off. I th in fact, I thought I was going to have to because I'd lost one. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, it's there if you want yeah. to. And uh, Liz has done um, some decorative papers uh, with her one that she's done for me. Um, and um, I don't know if we've still got the pictures that uh, Emma oh, uh, yes. did from the, that she sent in the previous hour. And she sent them in last it. night as well. Um, so, so that's lovely. So do have a look on social media. There's a group called um, Studio Light Creative Community. And um, uh, some of them you'll find are in Dutch. Uh, yeah. uh, but you can always just on Facebook, just click, um, you know, see translation. And you'll see um, all the explanations. There are uh, quite often Facebook Lives that are in the community website as well. Janini does some. Um, so, you know, that's a really good place to go, yeah, as well as the YouTube stuff. channel. So there's plenty of inspiration, and obviously yeah. this particular set of shows is going to be available for 60 days uh, on Rewind on the craft store. So, you know, when you get your dies, you're not on your own. You're going to be able to know what to do with them. So I've used Christmas papers. Beautiful. Uh, uh, the right? the papers. Yeah, yeah. This is the one with the doggies on it. Oh. The, the three doggies sitting together. We love those yeah. papers. Yeah. So you can see I've just done my mats and layers, and I've used oh. the decorative edges on the papers as well. They look really beautiful um, on the, this kind of shaped area. And I love those papers. I yes, tell you what, I do. I'll They're such you... good quality, the papers. They, they really are. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a quick well you glue it. Yeah, that's fine. But I will be quick, I will get no, back to fine. Julia, I promise, because I know you want to see the layers. Um so the papers, very, very briefly. These are all double sided, you're getting six papers. Um they're really nice quality. You've got lots of gorgeous little embellishments. And I love that okay, it's gonna be next Christmas or it's going to be your photographs for this year that you want a scrapbook or, yep. of course, make into your journal. So definitely don't think you have to use them next year. I do love, I know, aren't they beautiful? I'm like, wait, 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 Kim, because look. Look at this. 
I love the video you posted of your little doggy oh. whose reindeer has ended up oh. underneath the chin. She, she were wearing, <laughs> instead she were wearing a little bow tie. <laughs> this is oh, so funny. That one is. That way. <laughs> These are just gorgeous. They're just gorgeous. And then look. And then this one, I love this one, because look, you've got dogs and rabbits. Happy Christmas, dogs and rabbits. I love that. I just think that is absolutely glorious. Um, all double-sided, of course. Really, really nice quality. If you want those, just £9.99, £9 your price. Uh, 297711. Kim's well happy now. Made a day, that. Cheeky little corgi on a paper. It's because you're posh. Does she like corgis? She likes corgi. Oh. She's got a lab. I mean, you know, yeah, you're a fabulous Labrador. <laughs> and what sort of Labrador is it? He's a, a, an eaty one. <laughs> no, is he chocolate or golden? No, he's black, or... isn't he? It? Oh, it's black. It's a black lab. All oh, right. Is he yellow? Is he a golden lab? Why did I decide he was a black lab? That's funny. I properly had it in my head. No, go a golden lab. A friend of mine um, does some work with the Dogs for Good, and she so she uh, has Labradors for couple of years while she trains them and then they go oh. off yeah oh it's lovely i had babysat um a, a lab once that he were meant to be a dog for the blind but he failed oh because he, he smiled too much at other dogs <laughs> but he was he smiled he showed his teeth quite a lot at other dogs <laughs> so he failed oh bless um, him yeah, you right. smelled all the dogs. So you can take your time a little bit more to make sure everything's lined up properly, but you can see already that once the papers are on, it just really kind of That's um, it really fits. Yeah. And of course, we're going to bring in the doggies. Yay, the corgis! So we're going to oh, bring oh, in a couple. We're going to bring in a Leone style dog and, and obviously yeah. a, a Kim style dog now. Yeah. Uh, now we know that. Yeah. And these are the all doggies. fussy cut from that one uh, paper. And Studio Light give you like a, a white border around the areas to fussy cut. Excellent. Um, so um, let's just make sure that that's not going to go over the edge too much. Um, and so it makes it means that you've not got to worry about cutting them out. Yeah. It makes it easier. Obviously, they're not die cut because you might want to use the other side. Yes. Um, so it does give you the option. I like the little white board around it. Looks yeah. really nice. It like a little sticker. It makes it kind of pop, especially yeah. on dark they background. They just look so cute. Don't they? Oh, they're adorable. And what I've done is I've taken um, the alphabet that's got uh, the, oh. the pennants on. Yay, my favourite. Uh, and the flags and things. So uh, so we're taking the flags and you can see that we've got L-O-V-E because these little... little um, Doggies. doggies love each other so oh. we can overlap them so that the, so that the l and the o are perhaps joined and the v and the e are perhaps joined like Amazing. that okay oh, cute so obviously you can run saucy. some um um baker's twine or something through it um if you've got a bigger area you can actually have everything joined together yeah. but we're, we're going across two panels and we've got to make sure that it still folds so we're doing the l and the o together and then the other two letters yeah they separately. look really good yeah oh love it <laughs> see that just makes the happiest guys two happy dogs yeah i knew you'd like this oh, yeah. i knew you'd like this we're fans <laughs> definitely. Our, our Kim is definitely mega fan of this as well. We have many do dog stories between us, don't we, our Kim? Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, eat, yeah, mainly eating things in one variety or another. That's what dogs do. Oh, dog so there we just. go, so to a dog lover, or if you're doing charity cards, that is um, so then that's a really cool one to do. Oh, I do. Yeah, I love that. That makes me happy. Um, and it's such a good dye. Yeah, I mean, it is. all those layers, they, they're so easy to actually do because the dyes are there. And it's Thank pleasurable. Yes. Because it's easy. Yes, yes, yes. Because the yes. dye does all the work for yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. It looks amazing. Yeah, and, and don't forget that, you know, like, both with your card making dyes and, and your, your other dyes that you've got, your journal dyes, everything is a tool. Mm. Your stencils, they're a tool. So you've got them forever. Yeah. So you can make hundreds if you want to. Yeah. And they'll all be different. Yeah. And you can make to sell as well. Absolutely. And they look yeah. different. Yeah. 
Um, thank you so much, Julie. Right, that main collection. You've actually got 249 dice in that main collection. You've got a huge saving. Um, the lovely thing about this, for me, what I adore about this is they're all different, but you can really get stuck into this collection. Do you know what I mean? You're going to get these home, and obviously what I would do, first of all, is cut every single die within its um, collection, within its pack, if you will. Um, talking of dogs. But then, mix it up so get to grips with what it's meant to be but then do your thing with it so start changing it start um, swapping the dies around start obviously cutting them out to gorgeous decorative papers oh man there's so many configurations that you're going to come up with with these absolutely beautiful yeah i just do all black and white first i'd actually do scrap card first you know the card that you don't really like that you've got in a bundle that'd be what i do first just to get the grips of it so i get rid of card i don't like and then go for it honestly this will give you years of crafting not not hours we're talking years because it's always going to look different and because you will use them in different ways. I love the journals, obviously. You know, I just think they are genius. But the cards, I think, are gorgeous because you're not just using them for card making. They are beautiful layers that, again, you can use within your journals. And the alphabets, there is. ace. Now, if you do want to go for this, you're saving £42.99 Freedom members. The saving that's carried forward adds up to £89. It is huge. And then, of course, you've got your Flexi as well. So... Your first payment uh, for a Freedom member is 53.97. You know exactly what you're paying thereafter. Um, obviously, you do need to be waiting until the 23rd. That's when they're going to get sent out for you. But it's going to make a brilliant gift for um, January, isn't it? Get into doing loads of gorgeous decorative cards and amazing journals. That price is sensational. Let me just remind you what you're going to get. So, you're getting that gorgeous little rocker card. Do, 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 do. which does look absolutely beautiful um, you've also got obviously dimension so those cards are going to give you dimension that's um, the design that our Julie has just done you've got loads of different elements um, that you can decorate so all these different panels that you can decorate and they do look really really cool I love the different not just the, the way they've designed it but I love all these different edges that they give you I think they're so so clever I mean, this, look at that. That is just so beautiful, and it's different. Given a card like that, it's, it's interesting to create because you've got different surface areas to actually create, but it looks different. So if you're making cards, and you're just getting a bit bored of doing kind of the same, eh? this is ace because it just mixes it up for you. But if you're selling your cards, it gives you something different on your stall. And then, of course... The journals, these are my favourite. I love these. You've got your little car, the little... Now, that is basically the little uh, cover for your journal, but it depends how you want to use it. You've got the Inspire there. You've got the little tags and the pockets. You've then got all these little separate books, and you can even put the pages in your separate books. You could use that for your three separate books, or you could just have one um, one page, no, not one page, one thingy, signature, thank you. That word will not stick in my head. And I've done so many bookmaking shows. Uh, you could just have one signature in there. The choice is yours. Write it in the book, Leone. Um, that's one of the dies. Let me just show you oh, the wraparound. I mean, look at this. It's absolutely genius. And they look so good. They feel professional as well. You've got, obviously, the ability there to put your two signatures in that you can see. And then, obviously, you can put as many pages as you want in there. You can decorate it in so many different ways. And then that beautiful wraparound is just going to give you the perfect finishing touches. Um, all of those and so many more within this huge collection. 055406 is your item number. Um, and what was that, I love the Kim? Could you cut the leatherette? Yeah, especially with the covers. Like the cover, we should have pinched you some leather leatherette. Shall we borrow you a sheet, our lovely Julia, for the last hour? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It'd be yeah. rude not to. It'd be rude not to. 
will borrow you one, never to be replaced. So what you've got in here, you've got two sheets of leatherette. Now the choice of colour is yours. Um, you're choosing any three of these. And yeah, for the covers for your journals, these are going to look absolutely amazing. Oh, any of them, but the wrapper end would look delicious. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool. And it gives it a really different feel as well. Um, stunning and definitely, it will definitely cook. A cook? Cut. Um, don't try and cook them. 574-635 is your item number. You've got two sheets in there. So, uh, yeah, do check them out on the website and you'll be able to see all the different colours. 11 99 Now, <clears throat> Uh, stencils very quickly and then we'll get back to our lovely Julia um, because we got another journal um, you've got all four stencils for £16.96 remember when you're checking out your baskets if you want an individual one and that's all you want for today you can do that you've got that option but your biggest saving the £5 saving is with the bundle the beautiful you've got loads of elements that you can pick out and obviously you don't just need to use them with your inks you can be using them with your texture paste etc etc 295311 is your item number um have a look at everything on the website and when you're checking out your baskets do look at all the other goodies that we've got that you can add to that basket as well but we've got about 15 minutes so i'm absolutely going back to you are julia looking forward to this right okay so this is the the last journal that we haven't looked at yet i will uh, revisit the uh, square journal in the four o'clock show in case you missed it last night um, marvelous but um so we're doing this one and uh, this one um, gives you a uh, two signature um, journal because you've got um, the, the sort of uh, the binding here if the outside bit if you like so that indicates that you've got a double ah, um, so, okay. so looking at the covers so we're going, we're going to do it slightly different this one the cut this is this is one of the cover uh, pieces so this is the largest of your your dies but if you're making tall slim line di um, cards that's a matte and layer for that yeah and then course. you've got your smaller piece there as well so um you know it, it kind of works really well so anyway the largest one is your cover so you want two of those right. and then if you want to do a matte and layer you can actually cut one of those so I've cut the orange card out of the smaller one and the uh, bigger one out of the craft because I like craft card as my um, mm. my covers and they look good don't they, they? do look look good look and for once I'm going to actually stick this down so that I can actually explain further to you amazing um, so I've already stuck the back and again I'm using sentiment to yours card this one is mandarin burst I believe so do have a look on the brand shop and uh, Phil's got a one day special tomorrow so um, there will be a card on Ooh, there then fab. it's lovely quality card stuff it as well, is isn't it? yeah I do use it all the time I'm having to buy some myself this time <laughs> because I can't keep on asking Phil to give them <laughs> to me for other shows it's a little bit rude isn't it so uh, I don't know I'm saying they're sentimental to yours so maybe I will ask him for some yeah, more cards said every time love don't you worry about that <laughs> <laughs> ah Phil <laughs> right so make sure that's nice and glued right so uh, we've got various squares um, within the set as well, so we've got a couple of those, so we can pop those, because I want to just do my front cover and then I can show you how it binds together, Amazing. Um, just in case I don't get things in the right place. So we've got uh, a, a piece of craft card that's going onto my um, chocolate bliss card with two squares. And you can also change the edges of these if you want to, and I have got one that I've already done, by using this this outer die here oh, will yeah. change the um, the finish I on think that they're there. really clever. And they are actually, I don't know if you can tell there, they're wonky. Oh, so, yeah. So they're not even. They are like a hand-drawn um, um, scallop. Amazing. Which is, uh, it kind of fits in with the yeah. art journal theme, doesn't it? Yeah. Because um, if they were perfect, it wouldn't be that it was art, really, would it? No, I like that. Yep. I like the wonky egg. Yep. So we're going to put another one of these down here in the corner, like so, just with a little border. 
you've got several size tags you've got three different size tags and each tag has got uh, a little mat and layer to it as well Aww. which is really cute I so I love that you've even got to your tiny mat and layers yeah yeah you got yeah it, it kind of follows on um, uh, I did a one day special where we had four different shapes of tag dies they were tall slim tag dies and there was something like nine different sizes wow. but each one had a mat and layer yeah. and uh, they're just wonderful dies yeah. um, I, I'm not sure whether we've got any left of those but uh, I do love those it looks professional though doesn't it your mat and layer always looks yeah. it always looks professional then of course a we've, little eyelet. <laughs> we've got the little rings as well which 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 will fit on there like so and we can put one of those on the front too and then we will get to Mr. all the nitty gritty in a little while. I'm, I'm noticing Mr. Phil Martin's little uh, pliers there as well, not pliers. You tweezers. Know, tweezers. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So okay. we're giving him, a, giving him a mention. So we've also got um, we've got this little panel die here, um. and we've got that says your own. So I've cut that together and you can see I've got this here. So again, you can read it. Aww. So I quite like that. So, I mean, you could, yeah. you, if you put it on the orange, you can see the orange through. Or if you wanted to, you could put some other words in there. And of course, yeah. you've got all the fallouts. But I love um, the, it's a really cool little quirky um, it, font, It's the isn't negative, it? isn't it? And it's very, yeah, it's a very, very, very quirky. So we can have your own there it all makes sense in a minute i'm not just putting your own on there your <laughs> you own could do. we've got create and we've got magic so create your own magic oh, we're going to have on the front amazing so this is all from this sex once again i'm not dipping into lots of different yeah. sets yeah i'm only using this one so if your budget will only buy you one journal die yeah then you can absolutely do this because you've got the dies in here. I mean, literally, you've got within one die set, you've got so many dies. And every single die set allows you to create different looks, it doesn't does, it? It does, absolutely. I've got the eye, but I'll do the eye um, at some other point. Yeah, with a pen. Yeah, I have. No, I have got it. I have got oh, it. Oh, I've kept it. Yeah, I've kept not. it. <laughs> no, I've learned through bitter experience. Let's just clean that glue up. I just put a little bit of glitter glue instead. <laughs> So, so now I'm going to actually put my, cover, my, my spine on. So you can see, um, again, it cuts out a very kind of jaggedy, um, uh, non-uniform scallop, yeah. which is cool. And um, so you, you, okay. I've just reinforced the score line there and there, and you can see where your signatures are going to fit. Yeah. And I've put some red liner tape on here. This is where it all goes horribly wrong. <laughs> Strong <laughs> tip. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to just put a little bit of glue on here as well, just to um, act yeah. as insurance. The thing is with this as well, because you're using these, like your books, you do want to make sure they, they hold properly, because you use these a lot, theoretically. You do, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to just put that into the fold. Right. And fold that over, like so. So this is why I wanted to decorate the front before I did anything with it I because see. obviously it's coming over the edge a little bit. That looks really cute. Okay. Yeah. And then you can do the same thing on the back and put your back piece in. So that um is there a score line in the middle of those two as well? There is. It's where the um it's where the, the die is, you see, there in the centre, there is one. Right. And it, it's just to indicate where your signatures are going to sit. So one signature is going to sit there and one's going to sit there. Oh, I get you, So you don't need to score that right. one. So don't make that one pronounced. No, you don't need to. Is. No, no, that's right. Okay, so again, we're going to put a little bit of glue Wonderful. just here just to make sure that it's all set and then we're going to butt this one up let's try and see if i can do this right it's not as easy to do this one because of the fold yeah i get it that's it okay. boom just like so okay. so you make i mean the box that's quite a deep um uh thingy <sighs> come on leone words um the spine yeah, quite a deep spine, so yeah you because can really it's fill them yeah so, yeah so signatures you can put in probably up to five or six pages depending on how thick yeah. the card was in there so I love that. um 
That, even before you've done anything now, that looks really nice, doesn't it? Doesn't it look professional? Yeah, it does. It absolutely. looks well professional. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, the, this this is, is, is a little bit more substantial to the sig sing single signature one. Yeah. So that one won't necessarily need uh, a tie to it. But, of course, you could still push it through there, uh, yeah. like I've done before. Um, so this particular die does not come with, and, and somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, doesn't come with a page die. Yeah. Okay. So for the for the pages, um, I've I've cut the piece six and a half inches by eight and five eighths. Okay. Okay. And then I've scored it at three and a quarter. Yeah. No, I haven't scored it. I've marked it at three and a quarter. Sorry. Right. And then we've taken this so I've put I'd put a pencil mark up there, a pencil mark up there and then I've popped this in. Ah and so then it's I've got cut the it. die so you can cut your own page if you, you want you, to. You can cut yeah so you, you cut yeah. whatever width you want to. Yeah. So so that's what I've done six and a half by eight and five eighths in inches because I don't do centimeters. Yeah. And and in the middle you line up that, that that kind of bit there and run it through and that's where your kind of signature binding bit goes. Get it. Yeah? Yeah. So you cut as many as you want to. I'm saying yeah. Yeah, I you cut as many as you want to. If you only if you only did one, you'd stitch one in there and one in there and that would make your, your book, okay? Perfect. If they were stitched. But of course we want to do a little bit of decorating because we've got a little bit of time left because we want to look at some of the other dies because there's quite a lot of dies. Now remember I said to you that you've got the square oh, die yes. in there. So here's the square die, but yeah. there's the mat and that's cutting with this little um, jaggedy edge oh, one. So, cute. so that will give you a mat and layer and then you can if you want to put you can bring in the word create or again if you've got the bundle you can use whatever you want yeah, to. Yeah, one so, of the other ones. Yeah. That with your tags, really sweet. with your tags, the biggest tag you can do the same kind of thing with, because the biggest tag can, you can use the smaller of these. Amazing. So that's not the larger one; it's the smaller. So that's going to. And remember, you can mix and match across yeah. all your other dies as well, and you've yeah. got several layers. So you've got your tag there because of the hole and because you've cut that. You know, you could, you won't. If you're going to put your mat and layer on, you're not going to get all of it, but yeah. that's fine. Yeah. And then you've got the tag I used oh. on the front, and you've got a tiny little tag as well. Itty bitty, itty Look bitty little, little tag baby there. Tag. Yeah, little baby tag. That's so you've cute. You've also got pockets. So We've this got this pockets. This die here is a pocket. Oh, I so, love it. And again, you'll be able to use that on all of them. On all of them, yeah. So obviously, again, reinforce the edges. And then again, again you can pop that on there. And then you've got your um, inner square for the, uh, well, it's like a little rectangle to go on there. But again, you could bring in, uh, perhaps not that one, you could bring in this one and change one of the edges yeah. if you wanted to. Yeah. Or go to one of the other journals with one of the other edges and do that. You could you've, put a pocket on a pocket. You've got a, you've got a smaller pocket here. Oh, yeah. that's cute. A little pocket there. Um, you've also got a teeny, weeny, weeny, weeny pocket. Oh. Look at the size of that little pocket. Oh, that but is... that little pocket no, will take that little, little tag. tag. Oh, that, that's no, things like that. That's, Boom. That's just beyond yeah. cute, yeah, isn't it's it? It's just... That's it. It's like cute. <laughs> that is so cool. It is so cool. You've also got this um, this uh, long banner die here, but obviously oh, that yeah. you know you can you can either use that if you wanted to along the side if you wanted to change the orientation of your, your album. Yeah, yeah. But on the the samples um, that are on here. You can see that what they've done is they've just cut it down uh, yes. and cut the your own into yeah. it. So so they've taken that like that and they've popped that in there and they've just chopped it down a bit. Yeah. So that now would say your own in there. That's amazing. Uh, and obviously you've got your, your little reinforcers to go in there. Um, I think that's it. I think that's everything you've that's in there. Lot. There's a lot of dies. There's a lot of dies in there. I mean, look, obviously quite a bit of space on this one is taken up by your pages and your yeah. um, your binding die here. That's amazing. Um, but yeah, it, uh, yeah. Thank absolutely you. Absolutely amazing. Julia, that is so cool. Okay. 
Okay. Um, you one day special. If you want your one day special, I'll do this quick. We've only got a minute or so. Um, you one day special, you're getting all four dies. You're saving £12. 506202. Your next one is going to give you journals. Sorry, I'm doing this really quick. Your next one is giving you journals. Remember, that is what you've just sent. Oh, my word. If I were going for any, it'd be that sale selection. I love these. Um, you're actually saving £28 there. 940922. You can get your alphabet separately. However, however, the bigot, the bigot is the one. Um, this is where you're making a humongous saving. You're getting over 200 dies in this. It is a huge set. And these are tools. These are going to last. And it's not just the, the fact that these will last. It's the fact that the creativity that they give you, the inspiration that they give you, and the way they can all mix and match to give you so many different looks. Um, really fun to do. Just take your time, do loads of die cutting, loads of assembly, and create something really, really cool. Now, it says obviously you're saving £25. Oh, no, you're not. If you are part of our freedom, you are saving £89.49. pence. Pen need to make pounds. Um, of course, you're splitting that payment over three months, £53.97. 055406. Do not miss out on this. It is cool. Anyone thinking of going for this, or Julia? We've only got, how much time have we got? One minute. One minute. Why have you loved playing with this, hard, Julia? It's just, it's just the, the combinations. And you can see that I've only dealt with one particular die yeah. set at a time. Yeah. If I start cutting and mixing and matching, and uh, it, it, the potential's wonderful. And also, of course, if you've already got Studio Light Journal dies, these are going to work with those. Amazing. These are going to work in your card making. It's going to work in your happy planners. It's going to yeah. work in absolutely anything that you've already got. Yeah, I like that because it's just adding to as opposed yes. to taking over a collection it just makes you're not going to put them in a cupboard more. and not use them yeah. you are going to absolutely use them yeah yeah make sure you do um, <laughs> thank you our lovely julia uh, julia's only got one more hour with you with this fantastic one day special make sure you tune in because obviously every hour is so inspirational and really shows you how to use the dies thank you julia Hello. see you later love uh, happy christmas i think thank you. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, I think. <laughs> I didn't mean I think Happy Christmas. I meant that I don't know if I'm going to see Julia before Christmas. That's why Happy Christmas. So I'm with White Gecko, then journaling with That's Grabby, and then album making with Heartfelt Creation. Stay tuned. I will see you later at 7. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons, and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Have you heard of freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selective Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away, or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888, and join Freedom today. 
Hi, I'm Julie. And I'm Paula. And together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship, after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. afternoon right we're in for a treat this hour spot of sewing we've got some absolutely beautiful fabrics uh, I'm with Sarah hi Sarah hello how are you lovely I am good we're working you hard though yes we are aren't we? <laughs> bless you a little bit now, I'm gonna get straight in here this is already selling you have found it it is your magic seam wand and it is going to go if you didn't get it because the last time we were on together this went in minutes it did yeah it was the one day special that i did That's a couple it. of weeks ago mm. and um, yeah we had we had a very small amount but they went and i managed to get a few more and they went and yeah and i was like i managed to get a few more so let's bring them on <laughs> brilliant but half the stock has gone and once they're gone they are gone please if you missed out Pop this in your basket and check out now because that's it. We can't get any more today. No, no, no. no, no. Certainly not until the new year anyway. Right. So, so just for anybody who doesn't know what this is, why do we need it? Uh, so it's a really, really handy little tool. It's a solid hardwood pressing tool, mm -hmm. um, which is great, particularly if you're using, um, if you're doing like could you go stuff. Yes. Where you're going straight onto wadding. It means that you can um, sort of press your seams without stretching your wadding. Um, you can also pop it against your iron to get right. a little bit of heat. So if you've got a bit of a stubborn fabric, it doesn't want to press uh -huh. you can hold it it won't burn because of it's solid hardwood hold it against and just use it on the fabric and it's amazing it's a lovely little tool really handy right it's getting really busy <laughs> 70 percent of the stock has gone thank you for describing right. that um i tell you what this is a, a lovely stocking filler as well yeah yeah it really it's is. one of those little things if you want to buy for a crafter or yeah. quilter yeah pop it in the basket nice 14.99 then but it's going to go very quickly it's 041922 We'll let you know when it sells out, because it's going to. <laughs> right, now, also, this is probably going to go as well, because we've got our fabulous layer cake. Yeah. Uh, it's Moda. It is indeed. Yeah. And it's beautiful. And it also comes with um, uh, the pattern that you can see here. Should we have a little flick through? There we go. I'm going to pick these up. Bear with me. Ooh. There mm -hmm. we go. Uh, so what what sort of prints are we expecting here? Oh, it's it's this has genuinely been one of my favourite sort of nursery ranges yeah. in the last couple of years. It's called Little Ducklings. Right. It's by Moda. Um, it's a usual Moda, a wonderful quality as yes. it always is. But it's just the most lovely neutral. It would be suitable for boy or girl. Yeah. You know. Um, and the, the little ducks with like the mummy duck and daddy duck and baby duck on it yeah. are just delicious. They're so, so cute. Um, I think if you've got, you know, a new baby or if, frankly, I quite like it myself. Yeah, <laughs> Because, you, you know, it's not too baby-like that yeah. it's not going to last if you make it for, for a newborn or something. Um, you know, they, you've got some lovely sort of generic prints in there. You've you got some nice spots um, and all in there as well. Um, little feathers. Yeah. But it's a stunning colour range. I, yeah, genuinely one of my favourites over the last couple of years. Beautiful. Now, can we talk about this pattern? Because the title is, um, I'm going to have to ask our lovely <laughs> Harry to do that, is the Hot Flush HRT Quilt Pattern. Yeah, so HRT stands for Half, re half Rectangle Triangles. Right. So like with um, Half Square Triangles, when we pattern right, we sh shorten it down to HST. Yeah. So a Half Rectangle Triangle, which is really hard to say, yeah. gets shortened to HRT. <laughs> um, so when I said, oh, I'm going to, it's an HRT quilt, somebody, I can't remember if it was now, it was a customer, it was like, oh, you've got hot flushes and everything. So it became the hot flush quilt. <laughs> <laughs> I just really think that's fun. I love that. Right, 35 99 for your layer cake. For anybody who's new to sewing, how many um, pieces of fabric do we get? Uh, so you've got 42 Brilliant. 10 inch squares in Thank the layer you. cake, just under four meters of fabric. Oh, right, there's some blues and yellows that we didn't see. Apologies, I didn't go far enough. 
Hang on. Here are the yellows just coming in. Oh, that's nice. Beautiful. Like you said, I mean, that's a good generic one. It is. Yeah, very yeah. much so. And it's a, it's not like an in-your-face yellow as well. It's no. that really sort of soft buttercup. Charming. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, look, here we go. Here are the blues just coming into play. Oh, the little ducks. Mm. Can you see them there? Yeah. That's so pretty. Little ducks. And there you go. You've got some of the blueprints. So it's a really lovely range. They all work together beautifully, they do. don't they? Yeah, really, really nicely. There we go. Sorry, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> right. Then uh, the next one that we have. Oh, do we have news? We have news. <laughs> It's gone, sold out. It's gone Thank already. You, though. Yeah, we knew it would. Like I said, yeah. we found it before the show launched. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we didn't even we didn't even give it a pack shot because it's just like no, it's going to go. So <laughs> there it is. Right, moving on then. Let's have a look. We've got our jelly roll mode it again it is yeah yeah Amazing. so it's the same as the layer cake but this is the jelly roll yeah so it's all the same prints um all the same designs but instead of being your 10 inch squares yeah it's your jelly roll so it's 42 to 44 inches long okay by two and a half inches wide there you go i just i love these <laughs> you just can't help but touch oh yeah, them. yeah. I, that swirl that color swirl yeah. is just like yeah I, I don't like opening them no. <laughs> it's like a beautiful stick of rock that's what it is yeah. uh and now pattern you have got the scrappy heart log cabin quilt yes that's a, like a little bonus isn't yeah it? so um all of the um jelly rolls or strip rolls with their different names to different companies yes but they're all basically jelly rolls um they've all got a pattern with them but mm -hmm. i've added it because it's christmas yeah. we've added a little bonus pattern in so you're getting two patterns with any of the, nice. the jelly rolls so that one's your bonus one and the other one we've got here is the celtic cabin block pattern that's there so that normally um that normally comes with it but yeah nice little bonus fabulous now are we are we looking at uh, the pattern this pattern here where are we looking um oh, just behind me actually That's so it. this isn't done in the the little ducklings but this is the celtic cabin block got you. um it works really really well for very subtle patterns this block yeah um also how i'm saying that though it does look brilliant in really brights as well I bet. i've seen it made in boutiques and it looks really the block looks really great mm. but um it's a nice one if you've got gentle patterns too excellent there you go oh gosh Already, 20% of the jelly roll has gone. £35.99, uh, 670380. Sorry, the whole table moved then. <laughs> Did it? Right, we do need to get that fixed, actually. OK, so we'll just quickly do this one. Here we go. We have got... Uh, there we go. You're <laughs> woven. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, I find, you. I find the break. <laughs> You're doing the DIY It was bit. really loud. <laughs> Don't you worry, but we can't have it moving, so um, thank you for doing that. Okay, now, can we talk about, so this is Moda Ombre woven, now, dessert? Dessert roll. Not desert. I, yeah. I'm the same as I you. I kept saying desert. Yeah, I yeah, know, it's a dessert roll. Um, so it's like a jelly roll, but it's five inch wide strips instead of two and a half inch wide strips. Ooh. Um, and these are actually woven as well, so they're 100% cotton, mm. but instead of being like a quilting weight cotton, yeah. they are, um, they're a woven cotton, so they've got a much, um, much more of a drape to them, yeah. they're a slightly op more open weave than normal quilt and c quilting cotton, okay. um, but they're fantastic to wear. I'd not worked with them before, uh -huh. uh, and these came into the shop and I was like, oh, I'm going to have a quick play, yeah. um, and they're just really nice to work with. Absolutely. We made the little picnic blanket just behind you, just this really one. quickly, yeah. It's really nice because it look, it's, it's kind of got a a lovely texture or it looks like yeah, it's got a texture it to has it. yeah it's yeah. got it's got this really beautiful sort of open weave texture yeah um, the strips are, uh, are actually ombre as well so they start in one color ah. and go up to sort of a paler version of that color so yes. you can play around with them oh it's yes. good like I said I, I'd never heard of this one either no. so mm, nice something a bit new uh, 36.99 then 917091 next then so we've got some of our beautiful strips in, on here. Yeah. Uh, so, and these are beautiful batiks. Uh, so it's called Dot Great Batik Strip Roll. Uh, and again, you get the pattern. Let's have a little flick through these colours. They're fabulous, They're aren't gorgeous, they? yeah. I so love batiks. Yeah, it's, and, and the nice thing about a batik is you can use both sides as well, because you don't Indeed. really have a wrong and a right side. Yeah. Um, this is um, from Benetex, which is, um, again, a really lovely brand. It's 
the same two and a half inch strips, 42 in a, in a pack, mm, as, as the Moda Jelly Roll, they call them strip rolls. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but I absolutely love these fabrics. I think they're gorgeous. Mm. Um, we did bring them on a little while back and I, I managed to get a few more, so we've, we've brought them back for you. Thank you. They, um, they're just, the colours in them are so vibrant. They are. Um, and I love that polka dot, anything with a polka dot. Polka dot and stripes, I'm, yeah. I'm like, like both. You're sold. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Beautiful colours, as you can see. And, again, it's coming with some patterns. Let me, I, I feel like I have to be very delicate with them because they're so beautiful. You've got here the uh, duvet bolster. And then, again, you're going to get the uh, scrappy heart log cabin uh, quilt uh, pattern as a bonus. Yes, indeed, yeah. Oh, busy, busy. We are quarter of the stock gone. Uh, it's 36.99. is your item number. Then we've got a lovely little charm pack. And I'll try, uh, if I move it slightly, hopefully, up one side, because I don't want to take it off. I don't mind if you want to open it. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm not sure. going to. No, no, don't worry, don't worry. I can't move it. So we're just going to have to have a, have a little look through. It's too precious. Um, so how would you describe this charm pack? So I really like this one. It's, um, it's sort of like got a spring feel to it. it um, again, it's Moda with a charm pack. It's your five inch squares, um, but it's really bright and beautiful. There is, I think there's a cushion underneath made Oh, wonderful. With it. I'll get it in a the second. The pattern that comes with it, um, mm -hmm. you use the whole of the charm pack for the front of the cushion. Excellent. Um, okay. So you, you know it's going to all coordinate and everything. Okay. But yeah, I just really love, I love those bright corals against the sort of like turquoises and yellows. They mm. just, it really works. It's really yeah. lovely and spring-like. This is nice. I'm glad you did this because then we really can see you the fabrics. You can see all of them, yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. Oh yeah, it's really uplifting. Beautiful. At 12 dollars is your item number. Then we've got another set of absolutely gorgeous strips so these are your strip rolls again let's have a little flick through it's very rainbow like this it one. is yeah it should be a sarah jane show really instead of one of mine because oh. uh, she's the rainbow girl <laughs> oh, i love it beautiful again let me just move this back there we go uh, so this one is your fossil fern strip roll. I wonder why it's called that. Um, that's the range of that blender. Oh, is it? Um, yeah, so um, where like Moda have their grunge blender, yep. Macau have their linen texture or spray time. This is um, fossil fern is um, is Benetex's like oh. blender, um, and it's, uh, I really love the fact that they. They use so many colours. They do, in it. don't they? Yeah, you've got real splashes of lots of different colours, but they all go as well. Mm -hmm, nice. I'm still going. See, I like that ombre almost. Yeah. Like that one's really cool. And you've got purples, blues, lavender. Oh, look at those cute colours. Yeah. I like them. There you go. Now and then you'll get what looks almost like a leaf print, like a oh, fossil yes. in a, you know, um, sort of print in ah. there. Um, yeah. So it's it's got all sorts of. Uh, really unusual sort of little abstract elements to it. Nice. And what pattern do we get here? So uh, the small floor cushion pattern, you've got that one. And again, you'll get your little bonus of your scrappy heart. 36.99060625. Then we're moving on to Liberty. Yeah, a little bit of Liberty. Oh, <laughs> gotta have that. We've got three options here. Uh, so uh, it's a five piece fat quarter bundle. And let's have a little look through. So this is your spring option. Uh, it feels like it's got a nice weight to it. Yeah, so um, all of Liberty Cottons are, are printed onto 100% Lazenby cotton. Oh. And you can really feel the quality. You it's can. a really close weave. It sews beautifully. Um, but yeah, there's, there's almost a coolness to the cotton because it's such a lovely quality. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's almost cool to the touch. It's gorgeous. Excellent. So the first one you just saw was the spring. This one is the summer. Oh, look at all of those florals. Very happy. Oh, they all go together fantastically. Oh, I like that one. And then at the bottom here, we, I'll just pick this up. We've got the winter with the blues in the background. The nice thing is um, it, they're cool colours but it's still got an a, a uplift to it. Yes, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. So even though the blue makes it slightly cool, that like that top one you've got there, which has got the orange and the yeah. yellow in it, it's real got a punch as it well. It's lovely. Nice. Uh, 19 99 for any of those fat quarter bundles. <coughs> Our item number is 270073. Right, now this, I love this. <laughs> it's such good fun. This is the sample that you can make. So we're going around the world. It's brilliant. 
Um, so this is your um, makeover world map plate mat kit that I know that you said somebody in your family adores. Oh, my little grandson yeah. Jonah. Yeah, I, I um, he when we when we bought this on a few months back, um, I made the sample up, yeah. and yeah, he's completely had it and that's it and he plays you know I put it down on the floor for him he has all his bricks and his everything out on it so uh, yeah it's um it's been washed several times now that's amazing <laughs> all right I'm gonna open these out if I may yeah there we go so we get all of the animals there's so many on there you've got koalas you've got walruses giraffes tigers lobsters yeah <laughs> oct octopi uh, flamingos oh my gosh I think I think ba basically this is Noah's Ark. It is. It yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. So there's that fabric that you get. Do you know the sizes at all? Don't worry if you don't. Yeah. So you've got um, a half a meter of the two coordinating fabrics. So the one that you've got there with all yeah. the little animals on it. Yeah. You've also getting a red as well, which you know, you this can one. use to put another border on or your binding. You've got half a meter of that. Great. And I think the panel is 24 inches by 44 Brilliant. inches, if I remember. Thank you. No, don't worry. I just didn't want to put you on the spot. Uh, let's open this up. I think it's one of those really lovely things that you, you'll be able to like play I Spy and all with yeah. kids, you know, um, get them to guess where in the world it is. I think we, we played that with Adam, I think, when I brought it on last of course, time. Of we're, course, that Where in the happen. world are we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it's just a really, really cool panel. It's something that's going to grow with kids. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have to be a play mat. It could be a wall hanging. Yeah. You could add extra fabrics to it and make it into a quilt. Mm. You know, there's lots and lots of things that you could do with it. But I just love the fact that they've, Macau have been really clever and sort of chosen animals and things that come from that area of the world and it's I'm, just really really cool i'm just looking at like like we're, like if we're in the arctic there's polar bears um there's igloos um what else have we got there might be a, a little bit of stereotyping there because i think on ireland you've got um uh, guinness oh. and, <laughs> and on, on britain we've got um big ben and a cup of tea, <laughs> and tea. the teapot so <laughs> it's not just animals there are like little quirky things in there oh, i'm too. so gonna have a good old look at that a bit later i think this is wonderful really like that uh for this it's 22 pounds and 99 pence now special price because you have got a seven pound saving on this one sorry i know it looks messy i can never fold seven zero two six six nine is your item number now we've got some more fat quarters here um so really nice neutral colors yeah and again not to stereotype but um or monochrome colours, but I think this is great for gents as well as ladies. Yeah, definitely. Nice masculine feel, or it could have. Yes, def I mean, you could add like a real like hot pink and something in there if you were making for, for a lady, or mm -hmm. you know, my, or some gents, my, my boys love hot pink. Yeah, so. absolutely, that's what I was saying. <laughs> but I yeah, but you, you, could, you could add a real splash of colour into that, you know, or even maybe like one of the rainbow mm -hmm. Um, jelly rolls that we've oh, got yes. would be really really good these would work as lovely blenders mm -hmm. um, there is there's a white there's a white on white there two gray on grays and two mm -hmm. black on blacks but right. they're very unusual patterns on them as well well shall I so, open um, one out yeah. let's open it's let's quite open difficult to see it on camera sometimes it's, uh... Uh, again apologies Harry <laughs> <laughs> I always wreck the pack shots um, so have a little look at this there you go, that pattern. Hopefully you'll be able to see all right. Yep, like that. It's really interesting. Yeah, yeah you're so, so it's, right. Yeah, just, you've got like um, a lily on there, like a stylized yeah. lily on, mm -hmm. on two of them. Yeah. And then you've got sort of like geometric designs on the other. So, I mean, as quilters, we use white on whites and or you know, color on colors quite a lot as blenders. It yeah. adds another little element to your quilting rather than just using a plain solid. Um, so it's just uh, these are really nice because they're unusual. I mean, we all got those white and whites and blenders in our stashes. Uh, but when I saw these, I was like, oh, they're really different. They're a little bit different the patterns, yeah. um, and they're quite nice big ones as well, which we don't tend to get on on sort of you know white and whites and things. Yeah. So um, yeah, they're really good for like lining stuff as well. Good stuff. Okay, um, that is eighteen ninety nine for that fat quarter bundle. <coughs> Your item number is three six five six eight five. Now we do have a pattern pick and mix on the website. Here we go. So we've got loads of different patterns. For $14.99, you're picking any three. Let's have a little look down. Now, some you might recognize from the jelly rolls. Uh, I'm gonna to have to ask you, Charlotte, to read them out to me, can't see. <laughs> so we've got a dragonfly stepping stone quilt. 
wrap and weave quilt, shadow quilt, Celtic cabin, country heart cushion, braided bag is there, leafy pot holder. Anyway, there's loads. You're picking any, did we say three, I believe? Any three, good stuff. Okie dokie, so without further ado, what would you like to start with, Sarah? do the Celtic cabin um, block it's a really nice one that goes with the, the jelly roll but it's also in the pick and mix as well so if you've got jelly rolls at home that you you quite fancy having a play around with you know it's there that you can uh, grab it in the pick and mix okay um, it's been completely designed for two and a half inch strips perfect for the jellies if not cut out of your stash um, so it's made in four quarters it's very very simple to put together but it's one of those blocks again as a, with a lot of quilting Things look complicated, but when you break it down into little mm -hmm. elements, very, very simple to do. So I've cut part of them out ready already for you. And all we're going to do to start with is add a little background square. So I've got a two and a half, a four and a half, and a six and a half inch rectangle. And we're going to put a two and a half inch square in my background fabric on the end of each one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just going to pop them right sides together. And just very quickly whip down, and can chain piece these as well. Mm -hmm add these on yeah so there really is nothing more than a little bit of straight line quilting with these a straight line stitching rather there we go and add that one on so I've got a quarter inch foot on I find that easier when I'm chain piecing because you've got the little guide there yeah which is nice because you can kind of put those uh, fabrics up against it okay I'm just gonna clip those through just grab the little ironing board a second and we're just gonna press these out and you want to press them towards your background fabric. Okay, so we're just going to roll that out. So set your seam first of all. Okay. And then roll out. Okay, and then set your seam just to relax those stitches. And then there's the last one. Okay, like mm -hmm. that. Nice. Move that out of the way. There we go. And then we're going to put these pieces together. So I'm going to mm -hmm. keep them in order. Okay. So it doesn't matter which way round you do it, whether you start with like tallest down to on the left and go downwards or vice versa, really doesn't matter as long as you do each bit of the block the same way. Okay. So I'm going to keep it the same way as I've done the other bits. I'm going to, keep, I'm going to pop this one to this side. Mm -hmm. So right sides together. You haven't got any nesting of any seams or anything because your seams are all offset. Great stuff. So this makes it re really quick as well. So it's really beginner friendly too. Oh, good. You know, anybody, if you can sew, sew a straight line, or vaguely straight line, <laughs> you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to add that one on that side. Is it quarter of an inch? It is quarter of an yeah. inch, yeah. Yeah, we, we tend to always use quarter of an inch in, um, in Patrick and Quilton. Sure. Um, we're like dressmaking tends to be five eighths. Right. Um, I'm just going to finger press that one a second and then okay. I'm going to add this one onto this side. Do you do much dressmaking? I don't. My mum's a most amazing dressmaker. Really? I mean, she really is. I very occasionally dabble and mm -hmm. I've, I've made a few little, you know, dresses and bits and pieces, yeah. but not really. No, I'm, I'm definitely more of a Patrick girl than a right. dressmaker. I, haven't, I just haven't got the skills for dressmaking, to be honest. I'm sure I had if I had lots of practice, but I, yeah. I love the quilting. That's so, uh, fine. Yeah. But I did grow up around with my mum, mm -hmm. like, making amazing dance costumes and oh, all sorts. Oh, I love that. Yeah. yeah so, here we go. I'm just going to... And you're going to roll it out. So, just press that seam. And when you iron it, sorry, you want to iron it all one way. So, each of these seams are going the same way. So, I'm going to go... Just gently press that out. And then make sure that one's going the same way. Yeah. Press that one out like that. Okay. And there. And you're going to repeat. Oh, sorry. One other little step. Sure. You should have another little two and a half inch square. We're going to pop this on the end here. Right. And you're going to line it up along the bottom. Okay. So we've lined all these along the bottom. Mm -hmm. This one gets lined up here. So we're going to pop that over onto there like that. Mm -hmm. Add that. And then pop that back under the machine. And away we go again. Okay, so what was that? A couple of minutes and yeah. you've done a quarter of the block. So it's in, you know, once you've done all your cutting and prepping, I'm just going to finger press that one for now. Okay. You want to repeat that four times. Right. Okay. So I've done four pieces. Excellent. And we're going to put them together just by rotating each one. Okay. So they're all, you can see they're all in the same order, colour okay. order. And we're going to pop that one like that. Sure. We're going to rotate this one again. 
So it goes like that. So did you did you say this is the Celtic cabin? This is the Celtic cabin yep. block pattern with the. This is actually some of the little ducklings ah. fabrics yep. that um, it comes with. Lovely. Okay, so I'm going to pop it together like that. So we're going to sew this one to this one and this one to this one. Right. Okay. And it does look. Ver this pattern can look very very different depending on what colours you put together. Mm. Um, you can pin this if you want to. I, I tend not to. I'm naughty with my pinning. If I can get away without it, I do. <laughs> um, but it does look very different, the block, depending on, on what colours you put together. Right. Um, it's really nice for subtle blocks, uh, subtle sort of fabrics. Um, and you could do each block, you know, in the same sort of always starting with a, a lighter one at the, the uh, outside and working mm -hmm. through to dark. Nice. That gives another effect as well. Okay. And then I'm going to put this one to this one. Sure. Okay. So you're treating it just like a four patch at this point. Yeah. You just, you know, two top ones, two bottom ones, and then we're going to iron them and put it all together, and then just very quickly show you how to square it up that's because brilliant. Yeah, that's it's um, it's very little sewing with this block actually. It's a well, real quick. It's a real quick one. I'm watching, <laughs> going. I I could have a go at that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it looks w really complicated, but actually when you, I, and I, I'm a firm believer in that, I really am, that mm -hmm. quilting, anybody can have a go at quilting. Yep. Um, I would press it towards this larger piece, okay. just because you've got all those little seams there and it gives it a little bit more space. You've got less bulk being you know, pressed against itself. Right. So press it towards the larger one, like that. And I'm going to do the same for this one, press it towards this one, mm -hmm. again. Just gently. This is where you, if you manage to get one of those magic wands, it's perfect for this. You haven't got to keep moving your ironing board and stuff mm, yeah. because you can just, you know, run that magic wand, a little bit of not much pressure at all along your seam. Right. And it gives you a much, much crisper finish. Than Speaking of the magic wand, though, yeah. good timing. <gasps> oh, you must be psychic. <laughs> um, a few, literally a few, have bounced back. <gasps> Why didn't you check out your basket? You need this in your life. You do, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, uh, it does bounce out your basket after about, I forget how long it is, about 10 minutes. So you do need to check out, but there's literally about two or three left. 14.99 details on screen. Sorry oh, to interrupt. No, this. that's fine, lovely. Go grab them quick. Because <laughs> yeah. I genuinely won't be able to get any more over from June Taylor until the new year now. Okay. So, um, so once I've done those two, I'm going to put them together. And because I've ironed towards that larger one, mm -hmm. it means the seams are now in opposite directions, which means they'll nest nicely. So I'm going to flip that over, and I would actually use a pin at this point. Okay, so I'm going. To, what I mean by nesting is that the seams go in that way, yeah. and the seams go in that way, the opposite way, and you want to butt them up together so that they almost kind of click in. Right. You can actually feel them sort of like you know, butt against each other, um, and doing that gives you a nice neat point mm. in the centre. And not no, no, no bulk. Absolutely, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You get a lot less bulk that way as well. Lovely. So we're just going to whip down this side. Now one long seam, and that's the block completed. Apart from squaring it up, which I'm going to show you how to do now. So it comes out to be an 11 and three quarter inch block, which is slightly unusual size for a block because we tend to know, you know, we tend to do eight, ten, twelve, but this is an 11 and three quarter inch block. Okay. Um, Nearly there. Take that pin out. I'm going to give it one last little press. Like that. And it really doesn't matter which way you press it at this point. Yep. Okay, which is the way it goes. I'm just going to very gently press that out. Oh, and I should have put a pin there. We're, we're going to ignore that little wonky bit there. Don't worry. <laughs> well, the three foot rule. Won't see it from three foot away, so it doesn't, <laughs> so it do, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> there we go. So, what you want to do now, once you've got it to this point, is obviously it doesn't look very easy to join together because okay. you've got all these little scrappy bits. So you want to square it up. Now, there's a few little points, and I, it's fully explained in the pattern with this as well. But there are a few little points you want to look for. What you're looking for is where these little points here, these little squares, are going into that um, background fabric here and here, okay? And you want them to be a quarter inch away when we do the cut. Okay. So you're going to find your quarter inch line. Now I'm using this one, which has got a nice red line on it. There's my quarter inch line there. I want to line that up on those points. So you're going to move it around 
your ruler around mm -hmm. until that quarter inch is sat on those points. Yeah. And that way you've got that little seam allowance. So when you join this block to the next one, you don't lose your points of your block. Oh. Okay. So like that and get rid of all those little bits. They can go into scrap bucket for crumb quilting or something. And then we're going to turn yep. and we'll square up again. So again, I'm going to, this time I'm going to use one of my red lines on my ruler to line up against that bottom mm -hmm. edge that I've just cut before I then start looking for the quarter of an inch there, there and there and making sure. Now, if it's a, more than quarter of an inch, that's absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. You just need to make sure you've got at least a quarter of an inch. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to lose your points. So actually, that one just needs to come in a wee bit there. There we go. Drop off that side and turn. And we're just going to keep doing that round each of all four sides to square up your block. Mm -hmm like that no that really go. is a good top tip yeah it's just it's so easy you know just go all oh, right okay i need 11 and a half or 11 three quarter inch block and yeah. cut it out mm. but then you've got too much fabric one side right. not enough on the other and when you sew them together you then lose those lovely points and it you know it's one of those little things that you people get disappointed about that oh, i've lost yeah. my points right. you know <laughs> so um so it's just worth just taking that a little bit of extra time with squaring up Everybody hates it. Most quilters be like, oh, I hate her squaring up. It's mm -hmm. the bane of my life type thing. But again, just keeping an eye that everything's staying nice and square. Sure. I'll just move that over a weeny widgy bit. There we go there. Okay, got that in. And get rid of all those bits. I think I'm a thread catcher. And that's the block finish. Yay! Okay, so you would just then make as many blocks as you like mm -hmm. with that. So you've got this lovely sort of pinwheel effect yep. with it looks like these are sort of round and about, you know, sort of sat behind them, depending on how you play around with your colours, depending on what, you get all sorts of different optical illusions happening. Love it. Um, Thank you okay. very That's much. That's all right. Fab demo. Um, so we're going to come back with our layer cake. I'm going to try and do this a different way so that you can see more of the patterns. So I'm going to, I'm going to tip them forward. No fabric will be harmed <laughs> in the tipping of forward. But have a little look, because this is a really cute one. Cute little ducklings. There we go. And you've got some lovely, like I said, generic patterns on there. Really nice. Then we go into a bit of soft colour. It's all very gentle, this one. There you go. You've got your dots and spots. We've got our ducks there. Sorry, they're upside down, but there you go. And uh, that's a really nice one. I like that. A little bit autumnal. Ooh, oh, there's the, the, your dandelions floating through the air. I'm loving the yellows. Yeah, it's very nice. There's some more of the little duck ducks. Hang on, let's get that first one with the blue. Ah, so nice. We've got stripes in there. There's some more of the dots. Brilliant. There we go. Sorry, that looks a mess. Sorry, Harry. <laughs> okay, the pattern comes with it. So this is the Hot Flush HRT quilt pattern. So that will be with it as well. Um, <clears throat> right, uh, thirty-five pounds and ninety-nine pence. Item number is nine seven two zero eight seven. We are busy for your jelly roll. So that was Moda, and so is this beautiful jelly roll. It's the same patterns that we've just seen, but um, in your roll, is that it's just so nice. You've got to buy two of these: one that you just look at and stroke, and then one that you yeah <laughs> admire the jelly roll, uh, and then one that you use. The pattern that comes with this one is your Celtic cabin block. So that's the one that Sarah's just done. And as a little bonus, a little Christmas gift from Sarah, you're going to get your scrappy heart log cabin quilt pattern. 3599 <coughs> We'll nearly walk past that. Our Moda dessert roll is really cute. Um, what did you say the size was again? So they're five inches, so they're 42 inches long yep. by five inches wide. So, yeah, Brilliant. really useful. So you could cut them all in half and you've got a jelly roll, but sure. there are lots and lots of patterns out there for dessert. Uh, dessert, I'm saying. Yeah, it's dessert. Dessert, yeah, no, we're doubting <laughs> ourselves now. Dessert roll, not de dessert roll. <laughs> there are lots and lots of patterns out there designed just for those sizes. And, nice. Uh, yeah, it's just such an unusual fabric. It's, it's really is, cool. Isn't it? Love that. Uh, 36.99, item number is 917.091. Okay, then we're moving on to our jelly strips. Look at these colours. This is the dot grate batik strip roll. And again, it comes with 
the pattern and the bonus pattern. You've got deep greens, mints, blues, all shades of uh, blues. There you go. And let's just show you the second bit. Uh, look, we've got the oranges. They're so bright, beautiful. The reds, they really pack a punch. They're very dramatic, like a bit of drama. Um, plum and orange. That's cool. There we go. And the pattern that comes with this one, bear with me. Let me just pop these back nicely. We've got the duvet bolster pattern. And again, you've got the scrappy heart log cabin quilt pattern. 3699086864. Then we've got our charm pack. But what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll get the cushion for you. Uh, it's going to come with... I can't read backwards. Um, <laughs> thank you, Country Hearts Cushion Pattern. But look, this is a much better way for you to see the fabrics. Very bright, really nice and spring-like, um, and very, very colourful, aren't they? Wonderful. 12.99, 233715. Then we've got another strip roll. This one is your fossil fern. And again, it's so bright. You've literally got rainbow colours here. Um, and I'm liking that, you know, we've got... Wee! Everything's <laughs> falling oh. apart. Counters moving, things are falling today. <laughs> I know. I thought Harry had a spider on him earlier and I jumped. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you can see these. Or can you see them? I'm going to have to pick them up. All I'm going to do is apologise to Harry this hour. <laughs> That's going to go. Uh, I'll carry on this way. There we are, beautiful and bright. Let's pop these down. And I love this one. This top one's really cool, really funky. And then you've got your purples, your blues. Nice. Yeah, Charlotte's just said in my ear, it would be great to see a quilt done with this, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, mm. absolutely. I think it, you know, we have done quilts. Oh, we did a Bargello with that. And oh, yeah, right. it was amazing, actually. It looked really, really lovely done. Yeah, it, it got given away, unfortunately, though, oh, so I couldn't bring it? that all with me. And I actually forgot, Sarah Jane's going to kill me. I wow. forgot to get the... Um, the floor cushion that she did oh. in that jelly roll, which you get the pattern for it. So sorry, sir. <laughs> you get the pattern for it. She's done a done a floor cushion in it, and it looks amazing mm, um, in that rainbow. It looks really, really cool. Wonderful. Uh, and again, you'll get so you get that pattern and your scrappy heart pattern as your bonus. Thirty six ninety nine zero six zero six two five. Then we've got our fat quarters. You've got three options for your choices. This one is your spring. Lovely ditzy print there. Then we've got our florals. Then we go a little bit larger floral. Again, we're going to our ditzy prints. There you are. That's your spring. Summer is next. Like so. Oh, the pinks and reds are absolutely beautiful. And then the winter. See, this is a happy winter. It's not a dreary, horrible winter. No, definitely not. No, no. I, it's, um, I love, I really, really, that top one is one of my favourite of the cool. Liberty Rangers they've had recently. Nice. That blue with the, the orange and yellow is gorgeous. It <laughs> is. In fact, I'll open that one out so that you can see the size. There you go. Lovely blues there. Oops. And there you go. Oh, I love that pop of red that it's got. Let's open this one up. Well <laughs> In a moment. There you go. And like we were chatting earlier, these have a lovely weight to them, such good quality. Yeah, mm. yeah, they really are. I mean, they're printed, like I said, on the Lazenby cotton, which is such a high quality. It's gorgeous. Nice. OK, uh, so that is 19.99 for any of those options. Item number is 270073. Apologies about folding. I'll tell you what, <laughs> nobody will know. Right. <laughs> Oh, we've got news on the playmat. Limited stock. Oh. oh, can we? I feel like I want to do the weather or something. <laughs> <laughs> you need Let's, one of those little laser pointers. I do, don't I? <laughs> and over here we have a whale. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Oh, we've got sombreros and guitars, maracas. Um, down here we've got parrots and um, flamingos, a toucan, some flip flops. 
<laughs> I love we've got a submarine. And it is a yellow submarine. As it should be. As it should be. Aren't all, aren't all submarines yellow? Is that, not, is that not true? I don't know. Oh, I wish they were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, where are we going here? Oh, Australia, we've got a koala. There we go, and a kangaroo. Sydney Opera House, I think. And then, if we come back up here, we've got camels. <laughs> I've got accents going on in my ear right now for the different <laughs> countries. Um, it's just amazing. Look, there's the lucky cat. We've got Russian dolls. It's super cool. I love this fabric, but it is limited stock. So if you do want it, you need to be quick. Okay, so you've got, I think it's non-directional anyway. So um, you've got your panel. Did you say it's a half meter? Yeah, so you've got two half meters yeah. in there and then your panel. Lovely. So this one's the one that's got all of those animals on. This is the main panel of the map um, and then this is also your half meter yes half meter half of the meter, red yeah. and it's a lovely vibrant red isn't it yeah. it really packs a punch yeah definitely <gasps> i love this set 22.99 uh, seven pound saving 702.669 and finally we've got the fat quarters the monochrome which has different sorts of designs on there you've got two black two lovely light gray i'll, I'll go dove gray maybe yes yeah, um, it is. And then we've got the white, and the white also has the pattern on it as well. It's really so you might not be able to see it here, but tr on screen. But trust me, it's it's there. Yeah, it's so yeah. difficult, isn't it, to actually yeah. see the white on whites? But um, yeah. yeah, I just really like the patterns. It's they're they're, they're a little bit different, a little bit more unusual. They do. Um, Eighteen ninety nine three six five six eight five. Sarah, what are you up to next? Um, I thought because we've popped in a bonus pattern on, on several of the items of the Scrappy Heart. We'd have a little go at that. Um, it's a really nice little block. I've got a couple of um, finished ones here. Um, now, I've done them with um, a petite jelly roll on these blocks, um, and they are really, really vibrant, but they'd work for any, any jelly roll that you've got. Um, you could actually think about theme in them as well. So um, our lovely friend of ours, Leslie, um, when she made this one, she did like, she picked out all the reds and sort of oranges and did one block in that mm -hmm. and then moved to oranges and yellows in the next one. And sort okay. of like rainbow themed each block as well. But they'd also be really, it's a really good pattern if you've got lots of scraps there and you can cut lots of two and a half inch strips. So I thought I've, I've partially made the block, but I thought I'd go through exactly how we're going to put this block together because it's based on a log cabin with a couple of little alterations. Yeah. So um, I'm going to alter a few of the, the pieces. So normally with a log cabin, you start in the centre and you would work out adding, adding strips on. But we're going to do that, but we're going to alter a couple of them. So I've cut some little two and a half inch squares out of my background fabric and I'm going to just draw a line like that like we would with um if you're making half square triangles mm -hmm. something like that but this time we're actually going to sew on the line so we're going to pop this on like that and actually if i just grab the pattern a second for you you do need to when you're altering the blocks just make sure that you're doing them the right way so it, you have got lots and lots of graphics on there so right. you can see that some of them you've got going like that way and that way. Mm -hmm. Some are going this way, some are going that way. So just take note of which way your line's going. So this little piece here actually needs to be like that. Okay. I need to make sure that the line's going that way to create the heart shape. Okay. But you've got lots of graphics in the pattern, which, you know, just, just a little tip, keep an eye on where that is. Okay. I'm going to pop a, a little pin in there like that, and I'm actually going to stitch on the line with this one. Okay. Because we're going to make a little altered block. It's a bit like the, um, a snowballed block when you, uh, just alter alter the one edge mm -hmm. so that's going to eat that so let's just go a little bit further forward there we go and just stitch down that drawn line like that okay take the pin out and then we just want to take off this excess because yeah. this is going to fold back and alter that piece of fabric okay so we're mm -hmm. going to take off that bit of excess you can do it with scissors or just rotary cutter give yourself a small seam allowance and then we're gonna I'm just gonna finger press that one for now okay just to hold that out okay so you before you start actually putting the block together alter all the pieces you need to alter okay now I've made the bottom half half of the block here so I'm gonna make the, like the little top piece for you so I've got two two and a half inch squares we're gonna put those right sides together mm -hmm. although batiks luckily there are no right and wrong sides so we're gonna start by just sewing those together okay. 
exactly like that. And there we go. And press that one out. And I tend to always press the seam towards the fabric I've just put on. Right. So if this was on number one, I'd, I'd go towards number two. Okay. We're going to pop this one on the top like that. So I'll press towards number three. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pop that one across there. And I've seen I've seen this pattern done in so many different colours. You right. know, um, you could pull out. You know, if you are going to use your scraps, you know, maybe pull out all of your blues. You know, yeah. your navy is right the way through to your powder blues Ooh, and stuff, lovely. and do this, and, and it works. You can be completely a you know, rainbow and bright and beautiful. Mm. Um, it works with any two and a half inch strips. Good. You know, um, get that scrap bucket out that we've all got, yeah. <laughs> and cut as many as you can out of it. And then this is where I'm going to use the first one of my altered blocks okay. on the side like that. So that's going to go there. So it's working like a log cabin, but now and then you have to add an altered one in mm -hmm. to get that heart shape. So that one's going to go on like that. And we're going to sew that one down. So over we go. Oh, just while you do that. Yeah. Oh, our lovely map. Oh, is it's it gone? gone oh. But it's gone to a good home. <laughs> Excellent. So thank have fun with it. <laughs> and I have to say, our director, he's having a lovely time while you've been sewing, going, oh, there's a moose, there's this. <laughs> so, and you'll do the same, and your kids will do the same. Or it could just be for the big kids, because I would have it. Oh, it. it's fab, isn't it? It yeah. really is a lovely block. <laughs> there we go. So that's that little piece done. We're going to add a four and a half inch square onto the side mm. of it. So we're going to pop that onto the side. Again, this is all in the pattern. It's you know really nice and easy to follow. There's lots and lots of doing. If you're a visual learner like I am, yeah, you know, I like lots of pictures. So I do put a lot of graphics and pictures in our patterns. Because um, I get halfway through the words and then like, oh, I need to see what I'm doing. Oh, I'm so visual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So we're going to just again. I would give this a good press now. Okay. So we're just going to grab the board a second. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Getting all over the place. <laughs> throwing stuff about and give that a nice press okay just get that all nice and flat nice like that this then is going to be attached to the bottom half of the block which right. hopefully you can see i did almost identically so i started here and we worked round like a log cabin with the strips mm -hmm. but this last one was an altered one this is going to go on like that so we're gonna now i would normally straighten this up a little bit before i uh sew them together but I'm just going to go for it today okay, okay. so we're going to add that to there like that nice. and then another little line and then there's one last piece to put in but again just like the Celtic cabin block Ooh, why doesn't that want to work come on there we go got it <laughs> she was being lazy didn't want to go over the seam <laughs> there you go all the way down add that one in add those two together Flip that one out again and we'll just finger press that. The nice thing about batiks is you can finger press. And then the very last one, mm. which is the Ooh. this one here, is a long one. Again, I've altered it. That one's going to go on yeah. to make that heart shape. Now, you can make as many blocks as you want to yeah. add together for a quilt. And they are sort of like a, a wonky, off, you know, it looks like the heart's fallen over a little bit. <laughs> if you put leave them square like this. Right. Just, oh. Is he all right? Well, my machine is playing up a little bit. She's oh. not she's not happy for some reason. Come on. Here we go. I don't know what she's playing up Come at. Come on, machine, you've only got ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's uh, been well used over the last few uh, weeks for okay. Christmas presents and stuff. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> she's having to complain. <laughs> there we go. Right, so that's the block there. So you could put, you can see that sort of heart shape arriving. Okay. And you could put them together. Mm just like that absolutely side by side and you'd get your little hearts right however if you want it to be more look more like a heart yeah and look like that we can put it onto points have I got time to show yes, you how to put have. it onto points? I really yeah. want to see that cool okay so I'm going to take one of these now because of the size of the block I've cut 11 inch squares but you can do this with any block you can put any block on point yeah. and there's lots and lots of um, if you search engine and or google it there's lots and lots of tables out there which mm -hmm. will tell you exactly what size to cut for your set in triangles cool. so for this one you need 11 inch squares which I've cut in half okay like that and we're going to pop these opposite sides to start with right. so I'm going to fold it in half and just gently finger press that okay. like that okay and I'm going to do so I've just got a little crease there and do the same with the block now that happens to be that seam there which is nice and easy mm -hmm. and we're going to put these right sides together that little center line 
matching up with the centre line of the block. Okay. I'm going to pop a pin there so it doesn't move. You can see that you've got a little bit of excess either side. You, you want that for when you're, you're flipping out and then you can square it up easily, okay? Yeah. So we're going to stitch down a quarter of an inch if she plays nicely. Yeah. Play nicely. Right, I think I've got... Oh, I've got a little thread stuck. There oh, we go. That might be it. That might have been why she wasn't stitching properly. She Does was... she have a name? <laughs> no. <laughs> and I don't know why I call her a she. Probably because she plays up so much, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> but no, wouldn't, wouldn't be without right, how I do love my machine. Oh. <laughs> so, there we go. Some people do name their machines, yeah, so do. definitely. There we go. Making it work. <laughs> Give it a time. Get yep. it through there. There we go. Okay. So that's that first line done, like that. And you're gonna, we, I'll press that in a moment. And we're going to do exactly the same on this one. So again, we're going to find the centre line. So you're going to do the opposite sides first. Okay. Like that. And now I haven't got a seam to match this way. So let's just give it a little, little finger press like that. So okay. I've got a little line there to line up with. And line to line like that. Oh, we've had a question yeah. from Taz in the gallery. Okay. <laughs> in Andal. Um, he says, is there a, what did you say, Taz? <laughs> is there a reason you do opposite sides first? Uh, yeah, there is actually. Um, it's so that you've got excess fabric. So if you went round um, sort of clockwise, yeah. um, you can f it's very difficult, A, to find the centre, mm -hmm. and also... Um, you need this little sort of bit of excess fabric here in order to be able to sew across because I'm oh, going to put another yeah. line here. Right. So you end up with like Y seams happening. So okay. if you just do the opposite sides, it's a lot, lot easier. Good question, Mr. Taz. <laughs> we, had a, we had a long discussion about quilting earlier. He wanted Did to you? know what the, why, why different people were, uh, use different patterns for quilting and stuff. I so, don't uh, suppose he mentioned about making him a mermaid tail. Uh, <laughs> no, but I have... <laughs> I know someone who's got a very good mermaid tail you can borrow. There you go. <laughs> so. This is carrying on from yesterday. <laughs> uh, we had a Halloween, um, uh, yeah. little Halloween party and Sarah Jane came as a mermaid. Amazing. She had the most amazing mermaid tail. It was brilliant. <laughs> she looked fantastic. That's cool. Okay, so what you can do then is you're going to put those on and then you put the ones the other side, which I've now misplaced. There we go. Um, and I, I won't do it again because it is just a repeat of that. But sure. then you would pop that one on like that yep. and flip out right. like that. And then do this one this side. So when you turn it and it becomes a square again uh -huh. like that, your heart. So this uh, time you see you want to be able to sew over these triangles. That's you. why you do them opposites. Yes. But can you see now that heart has appeared oh, I definitely in do the centre. Yeah. yeah. And do it is the put them all on point. Mm -hmm. I just pop that one there like that for sure. you. Hopefully you can see that now. That heart is is the right way round rather That's than excellent. it being being wonky. Yeah. So it's all in the pattern on how to put on point. Actually, we've done it both versions, so you can have your your wonky hearts. Yes. Or there's full instructions there on how to put them on point and make them make them the right way up. <laughs> really liked that. Cool. That's cool. Should we have a little recap right for the, till the end? Okay, so, shall I do this one? Okay, right, so we've got our lovely layer cake with our little ducklings. Uh, so we've got our duckies. I'm going to do the same again because it's easier. <laughs> Charlotte's just said you can ruin it for one last time. <laughs> no, Harry will pop it back. Mm. Yeah, I'm making Harry our floor manager work today. That's all right. He's <laughs> coming home with me now. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said Harry was then. <laughs> oh, no, I've got enough boys. I don't need, I don't need another man in my house. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, and then you go through to the yellows. There we go. And the blues. That's beautiful. And the pattern with this one will be the Hot Flush HRT quilt pattern. 3599-972087. Then we've got our jelly roll. You've been really liking this. It's the same fabric your same patterns because uh, they're both moda they're beautiful oh just love them i could literally just stare at a shelf of them yeah. you know i bet you've got loads oh yeah we've got shelves of them yeah, yeah. <laughs> amazing now with this <coughs> jelly roll what you have got is the celtic cabin block pattern and as a little bonus here you go this is the this is the block that um that sarah just did so it's your scrappy heart there we are 3599 670 Moving on, we've got the 
dessert bowl. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it right at the end. No, it's because Charlotte was trying to catch me out. She went desert, and I was like, desert. <laughs> uh, I, I noticed, I noticed. Beautiful. Look at that rainbow of colours. I love this. It's gorgeous, isn't it? 36.99, Then we have got our charm pack. This is also Moda, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then normally it's the 15.95, but you've got a little bit of a Christmas deal on that one. We oh, good. Give you a little Christmas present on that one. <laughs> nice. Um, so you've got a three pound saving on this one, but look at those. This one's been extremely busy, actually. Look at that. Beautiful fabrics. You've got oranges running through there, blues through there. I'll go back in a minute. I'll go backwards in a second. There we go. And then I'll, I'll hold up the uh, cushion. That's the word. Mm -hmm. So, because I don't, I don't obviously want to take it apart. There you go. Yeah, and some more. Sorry, I've gone quiet because I'm concentrating on the uh, beautiful fabrics. Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? I love those corals that are in there. Yeah. I just think they're really, they're such a good colour really really good color particularly against the the turquoises yeah. it's not something you'd necessarily normally pick yeah but they, they work so so well against each other nice okay and then this one this is your cushion and that's the pattern that you're going to get so have a really good look at these fabrics there we are isn't that beautiful i mean you've got birds on there here are your florals Beautiful colours, like you said, the corals are amazing. <coughs> yeah, isn't that gorgeous? And I mean, you don't have to use the charm pack with that pattern. You've, you're yep. getting both. You know, but the pattern's there for inspiration. You might have other charm quilts, um, charm pa pack. Pa oh, can't speak. <laughs> charm pack quilt patterns. Right. I'll get my words out there at home, and it might be perfect for that. But you've yeah. got that cushion pattern there, just as a bit of inspo. Oh, and I think it's brilliant. I think it's absolutely brilliant. And you'll be able to make this size yeah, cushion. Yeah, absolutely. Apologies if I missed you saying that. With the um, the charm pack, it's beautiful. Right then, twelve ninety nine. Uh, you've got that little saving there as a little treat. Two three three seven one five. There you go. So, what will you be bringing back next week? Do you know yet? Um, yeah, so we've got some uh, spiral Bargello table runners um, in four new colourways. So, yeah. um, our very first show, which was two years ago, January, uh -huh. I, I bought the pattern or the kits on. Yeah. We haven't brought them on since. So, uh, I thought it's about time we brought them back with some brand new fabrics. Sounds good. Um, I've got a very naughty um, dinosaur panel. Oh, okay. Naughty dinosaurs. Bless um, you. And some beautiful like tree life the stuff as well. Nice. Oh, Thank yeah. you very much, That's Sarah. Right. Lovely as always. And I'll get to see you as well on the oh, Thursday. Lovely. So it's a week on Thursday. We so no, <laughs> yes. We'll, yes, sorry, we'll go back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, only me. Right, so we've got uh, journaling with that crafty. After that, album making with heartfelt creations, and later it's the final call. Did you know you can watch the Craft Store 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for free, using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player on Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Craft Store channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how you do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Craft Store app. Simply press your home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter the Craft Store into the search bar and this will take you to the Craft Store app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Scroll down to the Craft Store app and press the star button on your remote. You can use the arrow buttons to move the Craft Store to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it!
You can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your favourite TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Our products are all hand drawn, that makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. Make sure you tune in for the Dolly Dimple shows and have some fun. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. And hello, because it's my first hour this afternoon, and I have chosen a brilliant hour to get involved with at the craft store here. Of course, you saw Liz earlier on, but you can hear she's busy, busy cutting away. I was just can't help you. Paper trimming that I just couldn't stop. <laughs> couldn't stop myself. And oh. I love it because we know you so much for so many different styles of craft. Yes, and um, we see a little yeah. bit of that in some of the finished samples you'll see in a few moments. Yeah. But, but journaling and making albums and things like that—that's yeah. something that's very close to your heart. That's my passion. Yeah, yeah. I love. The, the smell and the touch of paper from an early age, doing those pen pal letters, you oh, know, gosh, abroad yeah. when I used to do them at school, yeah. and just the feel and texture of paper. So I've always been addicted to any type of stationery. Of um, so going into journal making was just a sort of a natural progression, really. I love it. Yeah. And of course, you get all sorts of different ideas and make your own little templates for different yes. projects. But yes. we've actually got a bundle of templates designed by you. Yes, that's that we've been right. Yeah. About. yeah. So this is set four now. So wow. the previous ones were different sizes of journals, different accessories like okay. pockets and tags. Mm -hmm. um, so this one is more of like a, a gift journal range. So they're okay. really nice little projects that anybody can do they can do with the kids but they're nice to give away as, as presents because there's some boxes as well involved gift ah, boxes but just nice, nice paper them. yeah little nice selections that you can use some of your scraps of paper on as well i love this because it could be um, a little gift voucher that you're hiding exactly, away yeah. in there so that one inside has got a little um a little card envelope Ooh, okay. and then well, Another little card there, I'm not for sure. greeting, but then um, I think that's to hold the, the thing together. It should just pop out the card at the side. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, right. yeah, oh. yeah, it should there pop out. Go. So you've got little tags and elements in there. But they fit, you know, the gift card sizes, like a oh, credit card the, size. The shops and things, yeah. 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 Nice idea. Love that. I've just gone and unraveled that thinking it all had to it's open up. It doesn't need to. That's not going to go on your Christmas tree this year now. Definitely hey. not. I'm <laughs> off the list now, totally. Love this little idea. Transferring those templates onto fabrics as yeah, well. Yeah, so it's like a little matchbook journal, but I've just used it in fabric and used some of my stamps to put the little hinges on the top. Beautiful, but please don't think they're all little tiny projects because the beauty of these is you've got your different sizes in there giving you the ability to showcase beautiful papers. And this is the thing that we need to do, isn't it? Showcase those gorgeous papers yeah. that we get hold of. Yeah, they're beautiful. So that one, um, I think Jill has done that one, and it's uh, the concertina it one. Love that idea. It's, it's lovely, and that's the um, ominous marshes collection. Well, we've got that these one. papers on the show, so yes, haven't we? Yeah. Little pockets as well, so all your little tags and elements can go in there as well. Um, another size for you as well, so there are all sorts of different sizes in here. I love this yeah, idea. Yeah, so the bigger size fits the 6x4 photograph, and then um, the smaller size of the pull-out fits your little um, instant camera ones. Ah, But clever. that one is a this way, that way. So you've opened it that way, yeah. and then turn it the other way. At the back, because there's, oh, there uh, there's two two fronts, two and fronts two backs. On there. Yeah. It's like magic, and all those little signatures you can um, insert yourself and put as many pages in there as you like. Yes, you can just keep adding to them. I yeah, love it. brilliant idea. Create and dream. Love it. Um, and of course, you mentioned boxes as well, because if you're giving them yes. as gifts, you might want to present them. Exactly. So the two concertina size books, 
the six by four and the one for the little um, instant camera ones they have matching boxes I love that and this is a beautiful I mean the box you're using loads of different scenarios not necessarily it's, just with the, it's just um, the beautiful, templates isn't but it? look at this so oh, thank you Rachel um, her samples arrived at about lunchtime so I was panicking so oh, they've just no. come so thank you so much oh, so we didn't see these no, earlier no no, no. Oh, right. So thank you to Rachel, to Jill, to Shelley and uh, Brian Oops. from the design team I love that. for doing them. These are brilliant. I love this idea, those little kinds of uh, um, uh, recipes that you've got yeah, in there. I'm they gonna, could I'm be gonna take family those heirlooms. Because they're proper recipes from, a, from her recipe Ooh, book. Oh, sticky toffee pudding. Yeah. Do like a bit of sticky toffee pudding. Absolutely brilliant idea. Now, if you like the look of the stamps as well, I'll be able to tell you about those in a few moments as well. And, of course, space is there for you to add those little recipes, those little ideas, those uh, little kind of uh, things that you pick up along the way. Sometimes when you're sat watching the TV yeah. and you'll, you'll see a show yeah. and they'll mention something, you need somewhere to keep a note exactly. of it. Exactly. Brilliant yeah. idea. Now, the stamps that we're just referring to, they are at the bottom of the screen. I will show you those in closer detail. But for the time being, if you are wanting your templates, of course, the beauty of templates is they go on and on and on. You can use them over and over again. So just look after them. Just be mindful of uh, keeping them together. That's the key thing. But saying that, they're all kind of indexed. Book ring. They've all got a, they've all got a hole in the top, okay. the top left, so you can put them on a book ring. Clever idea. Yeah. 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 It's sort of everything. It's brilliant. So if you're wanting yours, then please make sure you're taking advantage. They've been very, very popular already. So if you haven't got hold of them already, then you need to get involved as soon as you can because 60% of the stock is gone. So 843028. And don't forget, you can use them in loads of different scenarios. You can make and sell with these as well, which is nice if you wanted to make a base for somebody else to work with. But what about stamps? Well, these are going to be the way that you add personality. Now, if you're going down the route of the recipe book that we looked at a few moments ago, then you'll definitely need these stamps because they've got all those little elements elements there as you can see there some fabulous little words as well and this is your handwriting it's lovely yes, handwriting it is. it is the handwriting yeah very neat like thank it thank you you'll be able to read it if it was mine <laughs> to be honest um, now there's a good selection here as well of, of different stamps yes so we've got obviously your kitchen paraphernalia so you've got your little bowl and spoon your apron your oven glove that is like um it's a book plate but you can use it as a tea tray as yeah. well that oh, plate okay yeah um, the one that's above the flower looks like a potato masher but it's actually a lock because it's got a little keyhole in it but you could use it for some kitchen you know like a potato masher or a lemon it's, peeler or something like that. You use them in so many different ways don't yeah, you? Yeah. Now two different styles of stamps as you can see there one very much got your kind of ingredients your cooking theme with them the other one it's open for all opportunities to be honest. That hinge there? and brackets because mm. I wanted something that would go with anybody that's bought my earlier templates they're just accessories to put on the front of your journal, mm -hmm. so like your hinges, your little locks, um, and especially if you're using like embossing powder or I've used like um, metallic liners on mine yes, to, to yeah, make them the stand fabric, out yeah. and that on fabric. Um, and then with your sentiments as well, just something, just something nice to give us gifts as yeah, well. Very much. And of course, the thing is, if you're making to sell, things like stamps um, and your embossing powder is a very affordable way for you to add detail. If you're looking at adding things like metal brackets and things like that, obviously it's quite a costly affair. But here, stamped onto a little bit of black cardstock, you can see it gives that look, doesn't yeah, it, without yeah. the additional cost Just some gold. copper embossing powder on Beautiful. that one. Yeah. I love it. Another of those recipe books here. Um, I love these. Loads of different closures with these yeah, as well. Yeah, she's done that one. Oops, and the paper, she stamped all the um, papers with my stamp. So to make the background oh, papers no. and coloured them in, um, it's just a beautiful what album. That? that I love it. Oh, look at this! It's fabulous, isn't it? And every pocket, she's done a little booklet oh inside for recipes. Starters in there as well. Loads of different ideas. Again, all those stamps come into play. Love the way she's kind of done that colour coding it's as well throughout. Isn't it? Yeah, really thoughtful. Veggie mains in there as well. Love it. But All imagine gifting cards. that, oh, making brilliant. it and gifting it with the box. And your puddings. I probably need a few more pages for my puddings, to be fair. Well, you could have a set <laughs> of different ones, you see. That's a good point. Actually, you have to have a whole book a dedicated whole, yeah. to my puddings. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Now, if you like the idea of using your templates and adding those stamps in as well, of course you can do. But for the time being, the details on the stamps uh, are on your screen there, 555137, if you're liking to get hold of that. Um, incidentally, as well, I've moved this along because I've gone, these are the instructions that relate to the template. So please don't think you're left by yourself with regards to those. You've got full instructions, and you can see all the different stars with regards to those as well. So if you want in those, those will come with the templates. I'll put that back over there, and I'll remember to mention it when I'm next there. So, accessories. All those different bits and pieces for your clothes, Closures, 
all come together in this fabulous bundle a very very useful bundle to have and it means you haven't got to go looking for these elements exactly That's what I love they're, about all, yeah, they're all together yeah. Yeah. yeah so you've got your tyvek sheet which i use um for my spines when i'm making more sturdy books okay. with mount board i'll use that to actually attach the pieces of mount board together because mm -hmm. it doesn't rip Yes, so that's the danger stuff, yeah. when you're making your own. You're scared of it ripping. That's true. Um, yeah. So your Tyvek sheet. You've also got a sheet of tea stain, tea bag paper, which is the paper that they make tea bags from. Oh, now I've got to find that finished sample to share with you. What did I do with it? I will find it. Yeah, it's that little um, with the elastic fastener. Is that one? Oh no, where was it? It might should... be under the instructions. Oh no, it wasn't no. that one. Oh, I'll have a little rummage round. Sorry, I've made. Oh, I found it. Uh, yeah. I found it. I found so it right. Shelley's done this one. It is this just is brilliant. beautiful. See that that paper, that tea bag paper. It's just so useful because you can use it. You stamp on it. You can ink on it, but you can stitch it as well. This is an absolutely beautiful idea of how to use it. I mean, it's brilliant. It's just beautiful. That. I love that. All those fabulous little pockets, all stitched with a little button on there. And of course, somewhere for you to pop all sorts of uh, very, very durable um, means of crafting that one. Yes. Absolutely beautiful. Yes. So, thank you. And um, that's a really pretty little example there, as Shelley's showing you the elastic wrap around. Again, the template um, is from the templates at the bottom of your screen. But of course, the journal pack that we've got here, the accessory pack, gives you those components so then you can try them out. You don't have to go off and buy a huge pack of your Tyvek or your tea bag paper. You can give it a go and then obviously go and like, um, stock up and get more of these. Got your hook and loops there as well, perfect for your closures. And of course, you've got your little strings and elastics in there as well. So everything's self contained within this bundle. If you go with the templates or the stamps, I would certainly be adding these in 882908 that all important item number now if we jump onto the website it gives me a perfect opportunity to introduce you to two paper packs these are beautiful now you'll see um, at least working with these throughout two very different styles this particular one is a really pretty one it's made up of three paper pads and you're going to get your um, extras in there as well and you also got your cardboard die cuts now this one is a beautiful one as well the ominous marshy so it's got a deeper dark tone to it as well so if that's your style if you like those deeper darker colors and tones and things like your crows and uh, a little bit of the dark side maybe in that one then that was the one to go for but your rays of sunshine complete opposite very shabby chic um to be honest they both work well together we've got finished examples where they cross over as well tickets little clocks there as well and of course everything is there with an uncoated finish so you can change the color of those as you go if you want to as well that's three pounds and 99 pence for either of those two sets if you choose to go for them but do check out the rice papers as well these are incredibly useful to have and again they are designed to work alongside the paper packs we've just been looking at so again on us marshes as you can see there we um, have got a nice little uh, collection of um, tracing papers there as well so of course those are ones that you could cut up use as your pages as well gives a lot of interest and again you can stamp onto those as well absolutely oh look at those colors beautiful um, so yes anything in your basket you can check your basket out in one go and don't um, forget keep an eye on your post and packing it starts going up to that seven pounds threshold perhaps consider becoming a freedom member because of course you can save on that then but of course we get our templates home we check out those instructions but Liz is here to give us some little ideas and help along the way yeah just to put them together so what I'm going to use now is my little matchbook concertina one so what I've done I've just got a piece of thick cream card and all I do is just lay my template over the top and it gives you the score lines so literally pencil draw around and mark in those score lines okay um, and then if you wanted to cut it out first or score it first whichever is your preference I just use my big kitchen scissors I don't bother with a paper trimmer tongue out optional <laughs> now does it need to be a certain weight of cardstock at it, this stage? It, well it depends on um what you want to do with it but because it's going to have some inside pages to mm -hmm. it there's going to be some weight to hold it together anyway so even if you use flimsy paper for the for mm -hmm. the cover yeah. because you've got a concertina going on inside it gives it the weight to, okay. to hold it um and it's up to you if you wanted to use the papers from the paper pack they're quite a sturdy yes, weight yeah. anyway um, so it'll fit on an a4 sheet and then your inside pages very similar but they have the little tab on the end and that's where oh. you attach them to and again for the concertina in the instructions you need to draw around that three times 
and that will fit on an A4 sheet of paper again. Okay. So you're not wasting really much of your so much I, of your paper. I noticed you've got letter A on one of those and letter B on the other. So do they kind of go in, in that alphabetical order as you're using them? Yeah. So, well, okay. yes, yes. Cool. So they're all numbered, and then however many templates per project. Um, that's the the number that it's associated with it and the step-by-step okay. -step instructions will say which template to use so the letter is kind of the, the number of pieces yes so it, yeah the, the number is the actual the design number is the design and then and a the b and c so a you. is usually the cover piece b right. is usually um the inside bit of it yeah perfect so all i've done i've just scored those and what it does it gives you a little match box with a spine on it so I'm folding all those creases towards me okay so it's like that that's easy enough yeah really really easy mm -hmm. now if you wanted to on Shelley's sample that uh, Hayley showed you before she actually attached the elastic underneath this bit here so this little bit here where you've got two rectangles that should cover flap oh I think I found exactly where yeah, you're so talking that's the cover flap so if you whoops. want to put elastic as a covering there as your go. fastener put that on before you stick this flap down right so it's caught up in that yeah so it's caught up in that so I've doubled that over just to give it strength because you're going to be opening and closing this flap mm -hmm. it's double the strength gotcha. than the rest of it so all I'm going to do now because I'm not going to do any fancy fastening I'm going to just use the um, dobby dab dobs I called them early this morning because I, <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't remember what they were called. It's not a specific brand. It's not a, <laughs> yeah, dobby dab dobs. So. Don't go looking for that one. Yeah, no, no it's just yeah, hook website. and loop. The little what? hook and loop. That's yeah. it. What you can actually do is get hold of obviously adhesive packs that you can see. That's Crafty Do adhesive so well. And this particular one, you're getting two different um, kind of volumes in here. 125 mil as well as your 50 mil as well. So of course you've got your larger pot there and then you've got your smaller, um, which is brilliant. £13.99 being your price with those and of course don't forget your accessory pack because that will have the elastic in it so if you're wanting to do that wrap around that we were just talking about the bundle that's got um, all the different accessory elements in there has got that um, it's almost like a, um, a tube elastic it's round it's not a flat elastic um, but so yeah nice little bundle that one and you've got your hook and loop in there in a variety of different colors so really good value that at 12.99 yeah so all I'm doing now I've just gone around I've got a little bit of black gesso that it is on the website um, just to go around the edges before okay. I stick on my um, my scrapbook paper, so my decorative paper, and it'll just give it sort of a vintage edge to it. Oh, okay, good tip. So I'll do that on the outside. It just means you're not having to use as much paper anyway, because you can cut it right down then. Yes. So yeah. the bigger your border that you use in paint, the less paper you'll need. Ah, top tip. And if you do it on your spines as well, it means you don't have to put paper on your spines. Ah. So this is just the black gesso and again I'm not being very neat or tidy because it's going to be hidden and then I would do the same just on the inside. So I'll put that to one side to dry and then I've gone to use uh, a bit like Shelly, I'm going to use the tea, tea bag papers um, for the inner pages but before I start messing with them I'm just going to show you how to actually put the concertina together. So that's done. Pop that to one side. Lovely. Here's one I've done earlier. So this is from template 2B. Okay. Or not 2B. It is 2B. <laughs> it is 2B. Um, so this is how it looks. And it's got a little tag on the end there. Mm -hmm. That is the attachment for the next piece of concertina. And it also gives you the pull up bit if you wanted to have it loose so you can pull it right out right. of the. Of the uh, cover. So you imagine your mountain folds and your valley folds. Mm -hmm. Yep. So what I always start with, I start with like a tent. So if you think of it looking like a tent, okay, yeah, like that. I've put it down. I've got a flat sheet for all the spiders, and then I've got my tent. So that's <laughs> piece number one. Okay. So piece number two has to be attached to it. Well, it can't be another tent or else it won't work as a concertina. So this time it's like a little mountain that oh, I've climbed so over. so they kind of hook together. Yeah, right. so that's how it's put together. So if you always go with your flat sheet and a tent as you grab right. it as the bottom bit, you won't go far wrong when you stick it in your book. 
That's so a good way of thinking that of it. That attaches to that. Yeah, so a little camping trip. You need to put your <laughs> tent up first, and then you can climb your mountain. Because <laughs> <laughs> you always need to put the kettle on first, don't you, when you get there? Oh, it's the most important part of the trip. It is, and then book into a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't do camping. <laughs> so now I'm back in my tent again because I've been mountain walking and now I want to go to bed. So then I've got my tent, which is my my valley fold. I love the little story that we're going yeah. like we're well, going it on. Well, it just reminds you how to put things together, <laughs> doesn't it? So there we are. And you can put as many pages as you want together, but just bear in mind your spine of your hinge, that uh, the, like your the size cover, of your yeah. spine, is only going to be that deep right. so if you try and stuff it with too many pages yeah. um, it's not going to work unless you extend the okay. spine so That's you can always double up mindful of it yeah, yeah so just just remember that i think you've shown us how simple and easy these are um has been it's so many of you getting involved now lots of you placing your orders for these so much so that now over 70 percent of the stock has gone i think that's the thing sometimes when you look at the templates they're not that self-explanatory when you look at them but don't forget they are coupled up with the instructions and of course we've got lovely liz here as well taking us through these but you can see you've got your five different um template sets with regards to these one. actually is it five or four we've got four on five. the screen now. Yeah, you've okay. got five, so you've got your this way, that way, your matchbook, you've got two sizes of your concertina album, and then the last one is your gift tag one. Oh, it might be because of the two sizes, they're yeah, calling yeah, it yeah. one. Fair yeah. enough then. Yeah. Okie dokie. Well, the details are on your screen, so if you want to get involved, then you can get all of those. And of course, the beauty is you've got that fabulous hole in there, which means if you put your little ring binder with them, then you're not going to lose any of those elements. And even if they do kind of fall by the wayside, you can pick them up and you can see all the number fives will go together, all the number fours and so on will go together. And that means you're not going to lose anything. And then, of course, you've got the letters, which relate to the piece within that little series. And then you're creating all sorts of different projects, like the little matchbook that we're going to go back to in a few moments. But they're not all little tiny projects some of them are quite sizable as you go and of course there's loads of different ways you can put them together because of course you're getting the bases or those templates to get you started but then the decoration is purely down to you when it comes to decorating Liz I mean there's all sorts of different ideas you can come up with these oh absolutely because you don't necessarily need to have them as a concertina so you can actually just attach them directly to the back cover okay so that you can just sew them into the spine and then nice, they're a yeah. fixed page book then so if Lovely. you didn't want to have them sort of pulling out and you just want them nice and neat Ooh, what you do it too there? well i've just got some black multi-purpose surface paint in chestnut brown which is my favorite go-to color laura will tell you that i love that color <laughs> so i've watered it down and i've got my tea bag paper oh, okay. and i just want to stain it but rather than mess about do you know what i'm just gonna do <laughs> i'm just gonna go oh, like okay, that <laughs> because i just it's just quicker to mop it up <laughs> just to stain it and it tidies it as well so i am doing a little bit for, for tidying up for the um for the studio staff thank you it. very much now your multi-surface paint obviously if you're wanting to go for that particular one it's one of your three now you've got to choose any of these you can choose any three you like for 14.99 so if you wanted to do a different variation then you can do um, and of course it is what it says on the label there multi-surface you can use it in loads of different environments and if you want to use chestnut oh, brown it's like yeah. a real nice like a, it's like a stain it's just a beautiful and can you mix the colors as well so if you want to get variations and say if you wanted a lighter tone you could add in some of the white oh, no, abs absolutely and they oh, work okay. on so many different surfaces this this obviously because it's multi-surface paint it I says what it. it says on the tin really doesn't <laughs> it fabulous so yeah i'm just dabbing and spritzing just because i want a little bit of interest on these pages and you just think oh you're going to ruin that paper but if you think the amount of abuse a tea bag gets with all the hot water poured That's on it, true, yeah. um, it, and it, and you can stitch it, so it does go really well. And you think, oh Liz, that's just an absolute diabolical mess, but it won't be. <laughs> so I'm just going to heat it with my heat gun. Okay, okay. And I've actually drawn round the inner pages three times, so I have got all my lines on there so I can fold it up. Love it. And just if you're wondering um, about the tea bag paper, tea bag paper is included in your accessories, and that's what we saw in Shelley's little example. Um, obviously, a different way of working with them potentially to what Liz is doing. But you've got those little tea bag papers that you can add your colour to. Um, very, very durable, as Liz said. Think about the amount of times we're using these, dunking them, getting the hot water on them. Well, the paper is incredible, and this is the exact paper that you would be using to make, uh, make your little tea bags with. But here it's been stitched. You can see buttons going on these, all sorts of different pieces um, being created. 
it that you can then go on and add your little pockets well they've got little pockets in there put your little tags and things in and this is kind of the concertina look that we have seen being created with the example Liz is sharing with us touched on the fact that if you want your elastic wrap around then of course not only is that tea bag paper in the bundle for this project but your wrap around elastic is as well and you've got a couple of different colors in there so straight away if you've got your templates maybe if you've gone for the papers that we've got on the show you can be creating this the moment um, everything arrives so uh, if you want any accessories the details are on your screen at the bottom of your screen you've got your templates are you all dry there i am all dry so i'm just cutting down my three pieces and i'm just because of the way this has stained it i'm thinking for anyone that's got kids doing like a treasure map oh, and yeah. putting hiding little things you know food for <laughs> like a game for christmas and yes. that it would just be a really nice little little set because of the the vintage feel of it mm. and with some of the stamps as well with the little hinges and yes, locks yeah. and things now that's crafty um are all ready to go with these aren't they any of you placing Absolutely. their orders today they, they will go out. straight away yeah they'll get dispatched straight away yeah fabulous yeah They've, he's very good he's graham thank you graham and laura from that's crafty i know in the past i think joe's mentioned that they're, they're quite um fastidious about the way that they actually do it they Abs make sure that the, the orders come in and they go out in the same every, order yeah, so, yeah, yeah absolutely very important to them yeah i've been giving them a hand this time because i've been cutting some of the string in that because i've i've had some of the string so i've really uh, enjoyed it i love doing sort of that measuring and things putting it all and together in, yeah oh, look it. so all i'm doing now i'm just remembering my tent so i know it's a bit floppy because it's the tea stone papers but what i want to do is just attach my next sheet so this one so the next one is a mountain i'm guessing you could stitch these together you could than stitch them city, together yeah. yeah absolutely the same with that one just move it along you but i just, like I, I just love the things. feel of this paper yeah. it's a shame it's not feel a vision really because <laughs> um you would be able to sort of feel the the, the tech because it is like material really so i'll fold all that back up and there is a little space at the top for a hole punch okay. to go through. So I'm going to go back to my inner pages. Lovely. And then what I want to do, I just want to stick this to the inside of there. So again, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of this page. Mm -hmm. And attach that to there. There we go, and I can fold that back up properly. Oh, make sure your glue's dry as well. I was well. Saying, just so yes, yeah, so I'll fold that you? back up. Make sure your glue's nice and dry, and then just to show you how to put your hook and loop fastening on. Okay. So I'll let that dry. I'll put some inner side scrapbook paper. Ooh. on that That's one. That's a good choice. That works. Well. It's lovely, and hit that wooden one. If you were doing a magnet, from, you know? so magnet fastener as well, put that on before you put your scrapbook paper on underneath Sweet. it. Which sets them that would affect paper? This from, is from know? the Ray of Sunshine one. Ah, yes, okay. I've used that for this for this set. Wonderful. So I've got that. Fold that up, and I've got some nice paper to go on the front. So just because I've used that black paint first. It just means it gives it a really lovely border yes, around. Yeah. And also the pieces that you're using, I mean, they're not huge pieces. They're using no, all I've your just used, stuff, I've, yeah? yeah, I've just used one sheet of 6x6 six six for that. I've used the cover sheet and these are the inside. Oh, okay. These are the inside bits of the cover sheet. And I've still got little bits left. So I've still got that bit left off it. Little That's bits. It, don't throw anything yeah. away. So Keep the now, covers and everything. I'll get me Dibby Dob Dabs. So they, they come in black and white. I've got the white one there. And they self adhesive. Oh, right. Okay, even better. So all I'm going to do is pop that on the inside. It's fairly central. My glasses are a bit skew with at the minute. Okay. And then <laughs> always attach your, your opposite on it first. Don't oh, try and guess. Okay. So always position it on top first right and then make sure everything's straight and flat mm -hmm. and stick that down with a nice firm press so that it attaches and opens up 
and then that's Perfect. your your little ignore that bit because it's not okay. well, you're down. doing it quite but, speedy, yeah, so, so yeah, you just but there's to... your little pages Perfect. that you can start stamping on and decorating oh, brilliant idea. Um, yeah but just a really nice little little gift I and then it. you put your back page on there like that absolutely perfect there yeah. you go it could be a little notebook it could be well whatever you want it to be to absolutely. be honest absolutely um, and the beauty is because you've got the templates that when you've used it and you've filled it up say it could be a little shopping list or whatever you want it to be you go on and create more because the templates enable you to do that the beauty is as well there's no measuring involved you saw Liz just lay these down and drew around them put the little markings in there for the score lines and the fold lines you don't have to do any measuring so very quickly and easily you are going to be able to create some base projects um, that you go on and as you de decoration to you might be making quite a few of these keeping them in your stash and then as you get those wonderful papers home you start filling them up with all that gorgeous content beauty is you're going to get all of those templates for just 24 pounds and 99 pence and they're kind of one of the things that will be with you forever we've got some bits down the front can i bring one of these in just to show you because i know we haven't had a closer look at these they've been sat at the front looking very pretty but i like to go delving in there so uh, here you've got some fabulous ribbon that's kind of been colored to match the the theme Oh my Done. goodness. So, yeah. She couldn't stop making oh, it. She wow. couldn't stop putting things in it. That's a brilliant idea, the yeah. little tabs. Isn't that fabulous? Oh, a little envelope within an envelope, um, the folder, which is brilliant. I'm opening everything up here. How lovely is that? That is absolutely gorgeous. And of course, you've got that concertina fold going on, so of course, both sides. And again, it might be that you're using your tea bag paper in with this one. What a lovely idea, Rachel. That's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful, utilising some of those fabulous papers that we've got on the show. So another example of how you can work with that, I'll keep the other one for a little bit later on. But of course, if you get hold of this, you will have full instructions. So don't worry, you can go on and create in a whole host of different styles. But the more important thing is to get them because they've been very, very popular. 843028 um, if you're wanting to get hold of those. Don't forget, a couple of those, you've got different sizes in as well, but you are actually looking at five different projects in there if you incorporate the fact that there's two sizes, which is why so many of you got involved, and now 80% of the stock has gone. So, of course, I've stepped away from Liz. She's getting herself ready for her next demonstration. So if you want to get involved, if you want to place your order, now is the perfect time to do it because you're not missing anything. It's just me, waffling on as I do. So if you're wanting those, then eight. Four three zero two eight, but please be quick. Don't forget that we've got the stamps, we've got those gorgeous papers we've been to um, talking about. But I'm sure you'll have noticed the details changing on your screen as Liz is working through all these different projects. So, talking of projects, what's next? Okay, so this time I'm going to do the little gift card holder, which oh, okay, is yeah, yeah. It's the a one that I tried to undo that you, didn't need yeah, undoing. <laughs> you don't need to do that at all. So this one will fit the actual little gift card holder itself, the actual mechanism, will fit on a six by six uh, piece of paper pad. So, and these are really, really weighty. You can hear how weighty they yeah. are. So what you've got here, a set of lines down diagonally down the center and then towards, um, two thirds of the way across. So all I'm going to do with my pencil, I'm going to mark quite deep lines because obviously I'm doing it on my scrapbook paper. I'm using the ominous marshes for this one. Okay. So I just need to be able to see my pencil marks. Is it always a good idea to use a pencil rather than an embossing tool? Um, I find it easier because I do it hard enough. I don't need the embossing tool afterwards because ah, I've already creased it with the pencil. Okay. But if you've got a nice thin embossing tool, like a you know the Pergamano one type yes, ones, yeah. use that down the okay. centre. Fabulous. Do Thank not you. use your knife down them. Very yes. important. <laughs> okay. So what we've got here, um, I don't know if you can make it out. There's two two lines that just go about two thirds of the way across. We can indeed. Yeah. The idea of this is they get folded in towards the center like that so you just get folded in towards the center and then what you need to do then is just fold the other one so you've got that crease line already so there's three lines across the middle diagonally so if you just make sure you give everything a crease it's easier then to fold everything together okay so first one folds to the center Second one folds across. So what you're left with is a shape like that. Okay. And you've got those three lines that you've already creased. So what I want to do is fold it in half. And you think, oh, well, that's a bit rubbish because I've nowhere to put my little gift card. But that's your first score. And then the top one, you fold it back on itself. Okay. 
It's had a little bit of origami it going on. It is a little bit of origami. And you don't need any glue. So your first one's folded back. And then you fold your second one back. So what you're left with, I'll just fold that so my middle line's nice and creased, is a double pocket little gift tag holder. I love that. And then, and then... Sometimes you could use it almost like a little place setting as well, couldn't uh, you? Yeah, because yeah. it stands up. Yeah? Yeah, it'll stand up on its own anyway. Um, so I've got a little hole at the top of the template there, not only for you to put it on your book ring, but I've also doubled it up so you can line it up okay. on the top. Right. So you can cut a little hole out. So if you've got a hole punch, just punch your hole through oh, it. Okay. And then you can... You oh, can, you mean business with that hole punch. Oh, this is my big dobber. Yeah. <laughs> my big dobber. And then I've got a little bit of string or ribbon will do, anything like that. I just double it up, push the folded edge through, pull it together. And then if I loop it at the top, it just means you've got like a hanging gift Aww, holder as well, which is really sweet. But because you've got like a little gap in the middle there, for those of us that have card bags, if you make cards and sell them, yes. lots of people have little yeah. mini little plastic bags. If you put a little one in there and put the hole punch through it as well, you can put sweets in the middle bit of it Aww. and then your little gift card as well. Oh, that fabulous? I mean, we had suggestions in my year of advent calendars. I mean, they make fabulous oh, little decorations no, on absolutely. the tree. Absolutely. You could, you know, yeah. you could have a line of these up yeah. on your wall for your, for your advent calendars. So that's your little gift card holder. Lovely. Um, and it will fit tea bags. Oh. I've got to say sachets, they're not sachets, sachets. but I call them sachets, but sachets. sachets <laughs> or chocolate, you know the chocolate sachet, sachets, <laughs> sachet that. way. Um, so now 5B is your card, so in that okay. there's a little card, so if you didn't want to do the pocket and mm -hmm. just have it as a little gift card, it's got that, you just miss the oh, end off, okay, yeah. but if you draw around this, this is your little uh, gift card holder. Right. So it just personalises it for people as well, rather than it just be one of those like bog standard envelope yes. things that you can get. Yeah. You can just, you know, match everything together. Right. And obviously everything comes together, but equally so, if there's a little element, you might think, well, I'm making a card. I can put like a, a little pocket within a greeting card to Abs put the little um, absolutely. gift card in there. Absolutely. So they're all components. They don't necessarily have to be used together. I know you as crafters, you're so adaptable with different things that you think exactly. of. Exactly. That you use them in different yeah, ways. Yeah, Jill's done a box there with it. She's done, made a the card. Um, and then she's put, used the top of it. Uh, yeah, so she's yeah. used that for that. That's fabulous. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Again, you've got that depth there. A fabulous. I don't know if there's anything inside the box. It doesn't feel very weighty, so I don't no, know. No, she made a card to go in that one. Oh, you've already taken that one out? Yeah. Ah, oh, perfect. So well. it's up to you now which way you want your pocket to go. So depending on how you've cut your papers. So with this one, I'm going to put my pocket to the top, to the left of my card. So I've, I've scored round it, I've drawn round it. Make sure I've lined everything up with my folds. I should really use my scoring tool and a ruler, but I just guess it really. <laughs> there we go. So fold that back. And it's quite self-explanatory. You just literally fold in your folds and this little tab here folds up and that's the bit that gets stuck down. Now just for speed, I'm just going to use some double-sided sticky well, tape. We've just been doing a little bit of a comparison with the different pieces that we've got and I think it's a similar sort of width to the concertina that you've just been working with. It is, yeah. So you could yeah. kind of use that as a, an end to your concertina yes. and put a little pocket at the end yes. of it. Yes, yeah. Oh, I love yeah. it. They all, yeah, it all mixes and matches and I try to do them so that they go with the other set of templates that you've got so it doubles up what you can do with them as well yeah. everything matches together so that's my little card and it has a little little Perfect. pocket and then i've even given you the little sized shape so if you wanted to add a little greeting in it for your loved one to say 
you know, put a fiver on my electric, here's my card. <laughs> <laughs> Or receipts, or yeah, you uh, own you can it. Do, yeah, <laughs> anything like that. But but even if you haven't got those gift cards, having a couple of these in the pocket saying I owe you one car wash, or here's I'm going to make you a lovely dinner one night, you know something They're like nice that. Gift, gift promises, like, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. yeah. So that then just fits inside that pocket. Lovely. That closes up nicely, and that then fits inside. Your little um, gift holder. Oh, isn't that adorable? There you go. I love it's it. Really sweet, isn't it? it? Could almost be like a little mini book going in. There's so many different ideas going exactly, around in Exactly, because if you could, if you had a few of them, and I would put two holes there, string um, in the in the top, out the bottom, along the bottom, up the top. Uh huh and tie a knot you could do it as like a little hinged book you could indeed yeah that as well so lots of different ways of using Ooh, it yeah. your brains will be bursting with all the ideas mm. thank you liz I'm gonna, um so the templates themselves they're the key things that's where all the measurements been done so it's all well and good having these ideas of how to work with them but if you haven't got um kind of the the, the way that i don't i don't like working with maths i like to know that when i draw around the template it's the right size i don't have to think well that bit that's got to come to that bit i've got to fold it up so i've got to accommodate for that with these you don't have to all that accommodation has been done by Liz she's an expert when it comes to your little pockets and your little uh, kind of albums um, she added little notches there so you know exactly where you need to add your folds and different bits and pieces it's such a brilliant idea and even the indexing of these is fabulous you could just throw these all on the floor and you still know that all the pieces that have got number one go together and then you've got them in alphabetical order it's a brilliant way of working with these and of course you're going to get full instructions with these as well and of course that's crafty i've got these ready to dispatch to you so if you wanted to get hold of these and you want to be crafting between christmas and new year then these will be on their way to you straight away and you've got your five different projects now two of those are same size i'm um, sorry different sizes which is why we're saying four template sets because they're the same style just different sizes but theoretically you can make five different styles of projects there 24 pounds and 99 pence you've got the boxes that you're going to be able to create with these as well and of course it's always useful to have box templates there and then you go on and you start creating you start putting those different pockets in place those different pages and this is where you can really go to time because you've got all those fabulous different papers that you could potentially be getting on the show as well because we've got some gorgeous papers or maybe you've got papers in your stash that you're just looking at and you don't know what to use them on because you just don't want to chop them up and just use little tiny pieces you want something to showcase them well this is the perfect way for you to do so in your different sizes as well Eight, over 80 percent of the stock has gone now so that so those little concertina books that we saw with the first demonstration or whether it's your larger ideas that you're going to be working with then the beauty is you have got all of them there ready for you to utilize and don't forget lots of them work with your existing sizes of pages so things like your six by sixes so you're not we there's no waste in there Liz does not like waste. <laughs> no. She doesn't make things so you can waste elements. She makes sure that everything fits together perfectly. And that's why you can rest assured when you get your templates, you've got all the tools ready to go to create some absolute incredible pieces. So, details on your screen there, 843028. That will get you your templates. But don't forget, we've got things like stamps. We've got the accessory bundle as well everything is going to help you now let me explain to you the stamps that we've got there's two different sets on the same item number but it kind of depends on what your um, your plans are i suppose but to be honest i go for both of these so you've got your what's cooking set which of course you can see very much um, kind of ingredients and cooking themed some fabulous little sentiments there as you can see so you've got things like your starters your mains your puddings your desserts if you're posh um, and then you've course got your recipes you cook your method your ingredients you're making a fabulous little book here that is going to be some Something that um, it's going to be almost like an heirloom. We could have that um, passed on recipe, um, grandma's um, famous uh, recipe, and uh, that's often what happens, isn't it? So, or different um, tips. My auntie Jean used to have a fabulous technique for making Yorkshire puddings, but we've lost lost it somewhere along the way. Um, she hasn't kept a note of it. It hasn't been passed on, so that's it. We've only got the memories of them. But here, you could be making your own little notes, your own little recipes. Maybe getting the kids involved, giving them the opportunity to put. Recipes recipes together which could be interesting um, yeah 
could be baked beans and chocolate spread. Who knows what they can come up with. Um, all sorts of different um, little sections you could be making with these, keeping it colour-coded, as you can see with this one, but having loads of fun in the meantime and making the most incredible book. And again, this is something that you could be making and selling, so as somebody else is putting their recipes in there. It's a brilliant idea, isn't it? Love it. Shelley, adorable. Um, so again, you've got your two sets. Now, your other set is giving you all the components that give the illusion, potentially, of kind of like your metal embellishment. So things like the hinges, they're featuring within this set. So get your in, um, embossing powders out. Rather than using your metal um, embellishments, which of course can be quite costly, this gives you the opportunity to create your own. So it gives that illusion. So as you can see, like your little locks there, I think it's such a brilliant idea um, and it gives you the opportunity to add those embellishments in a very costly manner, um, costly, affordable manner should I say. Um, it's the opposite, isn't it? Don't say that Hayley, please. <laughs> You're the one, isn't it? <laughs> Yes, you want in your son. The details on your screen. They're very affordable. At uh, 14 pounds 99 pence, 555137. Uh, so you can see I'm only in one day this week. <laughs> um, so if you want to use stamps, please pop those into your basket. The accessories, though, please make sure you're getting hold of these because you've got everything that you need in there. So you've got your closures with your hook and loop. Okay, you can see you like your tones, you have darker tones in there as well. You've got your elastic in there, um, which is brilliant if you want to do those little wraparounds. And, of course, the papers. These are so important. You've got your tie back in there, perfect for those hinges to give them that durability. And, of course, that tea bag paper for all that fabulous effects that you were doing. They always saw Liz created earlier on. Brilliant idea. 882908. A brilliant little set. I would certainly add this in alongside those templates because they are kind of a key feature and it's just so easy to get all of those pieces together um, rather than having to go off and try and source them elsewhere. Now of course throughout all the demonstrations we've seen some beautiful papers being used and we've got a couple of different sets to share with you. Now these are beautiful. They're huge bundles and absolutely gorgeous. Two different styles with these as well. Kind of got your shabby chic look with your rays of sunshine. And you can see you've got your 12 by 12s in here. Double-sided papers. You've got your smaller 6 by 6s You've got your 8 by 8s with these as well. You've got your chipboard elements as well as all of your fabulous little pieces that you can cut out. There's absolutely loads in here. And you will have seen these being featured throughout many of the different projects. Gorgeous colours. Lots of different kind of colour themes within these as well. I mean, obviously yes, you've got things like yes. your pinks in there. But I'm noticing teals and all sorts of yeah, different colours yeah, coming yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, yeah really good for mixing and matching there's that wood effect that we saw and didn't notice it at the time but you can kind of see that you've got the the different levels of the tone in there as well little floral um, accents very very pretty and of course don't forget the templates some of them are designed to work with those six by six pages as well and because you've got that good base with regards to them these are perfect you've got additional little embellishments as well which you're going to be able to cut out and use oops trying to pick that up with one hand which hasn't quite worked as i planned but of course this gives you the ability to add your little embellishments things like your, your little clock faces your labels with these as well and of course having all the different papers including things like the 12 by 12s gives you the opportunity to create the base of your project as well um, and they just add that personality you only need a couple of these little elements and it really does change the difference of, of the look of everything and then of course the chipboard elements could be used as your closures if you're wanting to or just to add that little bit of depth on top of pieces as you work your way through if you fancy getting hold of this one the details are on your screen there's two Two different stars with this one so I think you possibly be tempted to get hold of both of them then you can spread the cost and then uh, you're gonna get both of them sent out at the same time so 048881 if you want in your rays of sunshine uh, and then of course you've got your second option which is your ominous marshes as well and um, you've got rice papers that will work with either of these as well that's the key thing of these but these two are on the same item number I believe aren't they the, the two papers Right, so rice paper, we've only got for the ominous marshes. So this is the other option of your paper bundle that we've just been talking about. But if you're wanting your rice papers, then the details are on your screen. Not only the rice papers, but you get your tracing papers as well. And at £11.49, pence, incredibly affordable. Very useful as well, because, of course, you can add and stamp to these and do all sorts of different wonderful things. Um, and uh, can you see that? Really good base of these. Nice to use with regards to your pages as well, these, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, and to be honest, what I would do with the um, the tracing paper is with your boxes, I would cut a smaller rectangle out on the lid 
and use the tracing paper to line the lid so it oh, looks so it's got like um, a light you know it's sort of inside inside yeah. it you yeah. know like you put cellophane or yes. acetate or something use the tracing paper nice idea because it just makes it a really nice different style of box lid and these beautiful absolutely gorgeous you can see vi vibrancy with regards to the depth of color on these obviously you've kind of got your deeper darker tones with some of those rice papers and of course you can see the colors um, and the, the fibers in there that's the key thing isn't it especially down at the bottom there really nice collection again all coming together for 11 pounds and 49 pence so naturally if you've gone for the paper bundle make sure you're getting hold of those as well details on your screen eight zero zero seven two five and of course the papers you want to know so at the bottom of your screen as well so we're going to head back over in your direction if that's okay Liz. we've yeah, got about no, eight minutes or so that's left. fine so what i'm going to do i'm going to redo the box just to show people who didn't watch this morning how to put the box together and just using some of the recipe from the uh, what's cooking stamp set so what I've done, I've just stamped out the little uh, book plate that also looks like a tea tray and I've just got recipes on my, um, on my stamp block and that will just sit inside that frame. So the best thing about um, clear stamps is that you can position them exactly where you need them. So that's centred onto that. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of my Distress Stain. Um, other than that, you could use a really good watered down, um, the multi-surface paint. But I just want a slight coverage just over that book plate, just to make it look a little bit more grungy and okay, aged. Yeah. So just go over it before you cut it out. And then I've also got my black distress oxide and I'm just going to go around the edges of my page that I've cut out which will go on the top of my box so this is from the ray of sunshine range this one so Lovely it's double-sided but I really like that one because it, it's just it's French and I just thinking with recipes and things like that so with the box template, you don't necessarily need to use it for a book. You could just store scraps of paper with your recipes on it, you know, because quite sure, a lot of yeah. us just have scraps yeah. of paper, don't we, rather than the... Yeah. Um, we kind of cut them out of magazines and all sorts. Absolutely. So it's quite a nice way of actually gathering those and keeping them in one place. But obviously, if you do your concertina, you can shove them in the pockets. That's true. So I'm just going to cut this out really quickly with me. Lovely. Little scissors. And of course, you popped recipes um, in the middle there, but of course, it could be a sentiment. And you're it using this. Could be, yeah, it could be anything. Yeah, it could be anything. And it will fit the words on the other stamp set. So they'll all mix and match. They'll mix and match my other journal templates, my other journal stamps that I've got. Love it. There we go. So that's just cut that out really quickly. I've already done my apron and my little um, my little oven mitt there. Oh, so I've got cute. those ready. And then what I've done, I'm such a dirty crafter, sorry. <laughs> what I've got there, <laughs> I'll put that stamp there so I don't lose it. So these are the box templates. So this is for the smaller box. Okay. So what you need to do to start with before you do anything other cutting, you literally draw around the outline, miss all the notches, miss all the little gaps. Okay. You just draw around it twice. So do you line it up with the edge of your card? So line it up right. with your edge of your card, yeah. So I'll do that on that one. Just draw around it miss all the notches out for now because i need two pieces of card that are exactly the same size okay so i'm going to cut that one out first and i'll just make sure that one's drawn round as well Fabulous. so don't cut anything off it. it they have to be the same size card now somebody might be tempted to kind of save a step there and think oh i'll, I'll put the template down and I'll, I'll cut round with my craft knife is that a good idea 
No, because you're going to spoil your mylar template and okay. you'll, you'll slip and it's That's dangerous. True. So yeah. don't be doing that. Don't, don't be doing that. You know, because take your time, enjoy what you're exactly. doing. Exactly. Don't be missing steps um, now. Lots of you are going to be enjoying these templates because we are rapidly approaching a situation where there's going to be limited stock. Ooh. We know it. So, uh, yes, if you're wanting Exciting. yours, it uh, might be your last opportunity to get a hold of these. We've not got another show with you today uh, with these, have we? No, Liz? no, no, no. No, back home then. After Is that it for Christmas or no, you're back, back next, next week? I'm back next week on oh, Tuesday, yes. Oh, lovely. Oh, I should see you Tuesday. Yes, the fabric. Then. Ooh. <laughs> fabric, yes. Um, so, yeah, just make sure that you do follow the steps. But I will be doing YouTube tutorials on that's crafty YouTube oh, okay, for this. Right. Um, and you can always follow me on Liz Wheeler Designs. Oh, that's Crafty Creatives on Facebook as well. So you can okay. always, always message me. I've had a few people say, I'm stuck with that bit. How do I do that bit? And that's fine. Just, you know, as long as I'm not eating my Sunday dinner, it's fine. You can oh, contact me. You. Okay, so I've got two the same size. Now, very important. You've got the 4D there. It says 4D. Okay, Make yeah. sure that is to the left when you do the first one because that is going to be your lid. Right. Okay, and you'll notice... There's a little notch to the side and at the top. Okay. That indicates it's your lid. Right. Right. So very, very important. Doing the notches, and I'm just doing the lines and the notches that are associated with these notches. So okay. they're like thumb notches. Yep. So all I'm doing is the top. Yep. Just doing the top mm -hmm. and the side. Got you. Then you have to flip it over right. and upside down okay. so then my notches are going to be on the right and the bottom and you'll look and you'll think well they don't line up they're not supposed to because I've measured them so there's two different sizes on either side right. because obviously your lid has to be slightly bigger than your base because oh, okay. it has to go over the top yeah. So this template will make it'll the make top the, and the base. It'll make the top and the base. So ah, you just need to make so sure. Than doubling up. Yeah. You don't need to. Yeah. Um, Liz, we've only got a couple of minutes left. I was that busy watching you. I wasn't paying attention to the clock. I do apologise. No, that's fine. So I'm just going to do the base. So exactly the same. I've got my 4D to the left. Mm -hmm. Line it up. Now this time I'm going to go to the right and the bottom. Okay. Turn it over upside down. And then the left and the top. Yep. And then you just cut your little lines where your notches have been. So a little notch there, little line there. I'm guessing when you get this home, you can kind of use the. We all have cardstock that we're not very keen on. Yeah. It's, it's orange for me. Oh, yeah. And then just put pattern paper just have over a, the yeah, top of it. Yeah, a little practice. Absolutely. I don't know what it is with orange. I, not so much now. I'm not too bad with it because I kind of changed the colour of it with ink pads and things like so that. So I'm but just yeah. folding those over now where my score lines are. Those little tabs fold towards you like that. Okay. A little bit of glue on all the little tabs at the bottom. Tab, 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 tab. <laughs> fold up, fold up. Cool. Clips are good for those. I've got, yeah, I've got them there. <laughs> all your mum's pegs that I have. A, yeah, my mum has pegs for boxes. She has special ones. My dad has pegs for his tea, tea stain papers <laughs> that he does. He has his own little tub of uh, Oh, I've of got this, pegs. Little, this little vision of you all crafting away together. Love oh, it. it's, yeah, well, we all live like on the set. We live next door and on the same street it's all very um, very lovely so yeah. that's that and then all I would do is put Beautiful. my little topping on there I've got my little and you made a box in your earlier show today. I have, yes. What, what time was that show, sorry, It Liz? was at 9 o'clock this morning. Oh, right now, Lisa, we can always go back and watch the, um, yeah. that so show that's, as well. Yeah, so that's how it looks when it's together. Beautiful. Yeah, so it just goes on there little bit of that on there and then of course you got your recipe book and then you've inside. got your little recipes inside it there I love we go. It. Liz thank you thank so you. much thank you I've enjoyed it if you've got anything in your basket you need to be checking your baskets out especially if it's the templates because they've gone green on your screen please do not miss out on these and don't forget Liz is back next week <laughs>
Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Shopping online with the Craft Store has just got easier with PayPal's Pay in 3 plan. Spread the cost of your basket, whether there is one item or many, with three interest-free payments. Simply choose Pay in 3 at checkout and pay for purchases between £30 and £2,000 over three equal instalments for the next three months. No fees and no interest. Spread the cost of your shopping with PayPal's Pay in 3 plan at the Craft Store. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. We aim to inspire you, to be educational, and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show, so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Join us here at the Craft Store for the Big Save event starting Friday the 17th of December at 6pm and will continue for the rest of December. Every day existing customers will be given a £5 account credit to spend against their first purchase of £30 or more. So don't miss out. Make your savings even bigger with the Big Save from Friday the 17th of December at 6pm. Good morning. Yes, I know it's not the morning, but I actually finished off last night and I've just woken up in the corner of the studio and gone, oh, what are we doing? Oh, it's three o'clock. Excellent. It is Heartfelt Creations. And I am with a lady who hasn't as yet had the delights of working with me. Nikki, hello, Nikki. I Nikki. haven't. They've kept, I've seen you over there. And yes. I think he was over there and the other day. And they've you away going, you don't, you don't want to don't don't work deal with him. him. Yeah, know, don't, don't work with him. Too late. This is it now. Is that, this it? We've got it. had to pull that plaster off at some point, didn't yeah. you? Um, uh -huh. Now, Heartfelt Creations, you, you've worked with them for quite a long time, haven't I you? I have. I think I've been with them for roughly around 10, 11 years. Wow. Okay. Been doing TV work for them probably about eight. Blimey, you're, a, so. you're an old showbiz lovey. So I am, yes. Yeah? Wow. Okay, so basically I just sort of walk off and just leave you to it. Just walk off and just leave me to it, yeah. Bye and then. then I just get um, make mistakes and, you know. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be right with you. What, now, what is it about Heartfelt Creations that you particularly right, like? Right, so that's a really strange one because mm. this is actually a completely different show to what we normally bring. Normally, mm. you will see me bring in stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with papers. Yeah. But on this show, we've actually got the Insta albums. Yes. So these are very, they're not very different for Heartfelt because we very often do bring really interesting and exciting things. But when we say Insta albums, this means that you are going to be able to create exactly what you are seeing here mm. using an album that is all done for you. And we okay. will go through it and I can explain in more depth using papers and decorative dyes. And the decorative dyes, most of them that you're seeing on there, I have on the show today. So normally you'd bring in stamps and all the rest of it and dyes, and, but this is... But basically, this is what you need to put those stamps and dies on. Yeah. This is like an yes. idea so, project. Yeah. So we kind of look at Heartfelt, and I'm normally demonstrating card making. Mm. Okay, but it isn't just about card making. Heartfelt Creations are about everything: mm. scrapbooking, mini album making, card making, home decor. And yes, so this is something a little bit different. We launched these. I think it was around. Trying to have a think. I'd have to think where I was living at the time. <laughs> back in the so, olden days. Do, do, do. Hey, it would have been about three years ago. Three years back, yeah. So then we bought them back last year yep. during lockdown. Yep. Sold out completely. Yep. And this morning we've already had a sellout 
on one of the albums that we've we got. We have, so. Psalm, Psalm Led to Believe, yeah, the, uh, is it the 12 by, oh, it's the 8 by 8 album, the eight sold by eight out, and it's back now on extended delivery. Yes, we have managed to get them back in stock. That's good news. But these aren't the kind of shows that I bring regularly, okay. so you might not see these for another six months, maybe even 12 months. So make the most the of it, why don't you? Make the most of it. Now, uh, th this album looks absolutely amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, we haven't actually got the um, 12 by 12 kind of as it would come packaged, but the, the gen I'll give you the general gist of it. That's the that's the 8 by 8 so you've got, you got an idea of what it's, it's going to look like. The, yeah, you're getting yeah. the blank canvas to yeah. be able to create that album. Now, with the 8 by 8 it is huge. Right. Shall I show you how huge it is? Okay. Or are on. we not ready to show you yet? Well, I'm, all, I'm always <laughs> ready. We not, we're, I, I we're, apparently, we're not ready, so we're I'm not, told. Apparently, we're not, I, was, I was ready, Nikki. <laughs> I was very ready for that. We were ready. Um, I'm just no, getting excited. I was getting excited as well. Let's have a little look at this 12 by 12 to start off with then, because this is your 12 by 12 album here. This is, a, this is an example of it uh, completed. What we've done here, though, is we've kind of pulled it all apart to show all the sort of gizmos and the bits and pieces yeah, so that you've you get got in there flaps in there, you've got pulley out bits in there, you've got, obviously because this is 12 by 12, you are going to get a lot of photographs in here. I mean, you could be using it, do you know, it isn't just, yes, okay, the 12 by 12 is probably a bit too big, but I'm kind yeah. of thinking, what about recipe book? You yes. know, something a little bit different, create a... Or a wedding book? Or a wedding I, book, you know, yes. I, I was just thinking, like, when you say album, I automatically think photo album, but al album yeah, could be anything. Yeah, you're thinking of the old-fashioned yeah. ones, though, where you get the plastic... Uh, exactly. I don't know. Yeah, the, the sheet and you put your photos are, in, yeah. you, you know the ones. 87, you flip them, come on, don't... Yeah. Uh, not that old. <laughs> you flip them through, but this is yeah. something a bit different. Right. Yeah. Okay, over 40% of the stock has gone on this. Mm -hmm. Now, I do have to point out that everything is on immediate dispatch in brackets from the US. So it is immediate dispatch, but just bear in mind it's coming from the US, so it's not going to just arrive the next no. day. It's going to take they a little while to get over They will be packaged up and yeah. posted out in the next day or two. Yeah. Maybe even today, because Heartfelt are really, really good at their dispatch. It is just that, obviously, we don't, can't guarantee on postage. Yeah, so. that's fair enough. But yeah. it is immediate dispatch from the US. Now, the other thing to point out, before we get into the, more into the nitty-gritty of what all these albums are about and what you've got with them, is this uh, free gift with purchase that you're getting. Now, this is amazing, because this is 24 designs. It's double-sided. It's the Floral Butterfly Collection. Here, here's the amazing bit. This is worth seventeen ninety nine normally. Is. That it's is free how with much this. we bring the paper pads to you oh. when we launch the just to prove it's on the bottom of the screen. Them. So you can buy this separately for seventeen ninety nine. If you like the look of this but you don't want to get the album, seventeen ninety nine for this. But if you buy the albums, you will get this completely free and thrown in. So you can start and off your album. And making. these are, and the heartfelt papers, I always say are more like a paper kit because they're not just giving you pattern papers. You've got your tags in there, you've got your matinees. I mean these are make you make easy quick cards with these. You've got your ribbon strips down the side. The colour palette of this I think is so pretty. Mm, really you've is, got your it? purples, your blues, you've got your teals in there as well. Yeah. As I say, there's your more six by sixes there, some smaller matte and layers. These are great, as I say, for your mini album because you're going to be able to incorporate them within those pages. Oh yes. Have a look at that. That is oh, lovely, that's a lovely colours, blue as well. They? Nice denim blue. And then you've got these. Now, because you're new to Heartfelt, mm -hmm. okay, I'll just talk you through it. Please and do. And I'm sure there's. Um, people out there may be watching and they haven't watched a heartfelt show yeah. so when we do when we bring a collection out we bring stamps and dies okay. to coordinate well the dies actually coordinate with those papers so ah. you can cut those out so you don't have to fussy cut these out if you did want the die and you didn't go for the full collection if you have a look on the website i'm sure we've probably got got the dies on the webs website but yeah perfect and so pretty for a mini album perfect I haven't even got halfway through this but there's 24 designs in total maybe I'll show you the other half a little yeah, bit but, later yeah, on well, you've only got you've got 12 there you've yeah. got another because you've got yeah. two of each design wow so I got halfway through that mm -hmm. now if you think about it you've got a, a 10 pound saving on this album here that's worth 17.99 so that's just shy of 28 pounds you're saving here with this yes. which is amazing 272.895 to get the album to be pop all this together we will go into this in more detail but let's draw your attention now to the 8x8 eight eight Insta album that you have here as well. Yes, we do have this, ha how it comes packaged to it. As you can see, very svelte, very sort of ergonomic. Comes like this. You've got all the instructions with it that you need to um, put well, so Basically, yeah. you've got all your measurements and everything on each page. Yeah. So, yeah, basically, it's self-explanatory. Right. And then it's up to you how you use those pages. 
because yeah. there's so many different ways that you could do it. Okay, and this is the one that's sold out in the first hour you did today, yes. and we brought it back. It's on extended delivery from the 20th of December mm -hmm. from the US. It is, yeah. So that's probably going to get to you shortly after Christmas. Yeah, before, just eventually. after Christmas, yeah, maybe. Not too bad. Yeah, okay. just in time to new start year. off your new your new hobby in the new, your new year. Hobby, and making an yeah, maybe you brought some of the new collections this year and you haven't used them and you're thinking, mm. wow. But you yeah, know what? Album time. making yeah. is something that immediately. If you said what time of the year is best for album making, I would say just as you like people get diaries, don't they? At the yes. Beginning of January. Yeah. And it's like looking back on the mm -hmm. year maybe, or like planning ahead and like I'm going to yeah. start a, a mm -hmm. journal or an album for the the year yeah. coming up. Maybe you've had a new baby this year in yeah. the family. You could use this as a new baby. Um, album. Maybe somebody got married. Yep. Maybe you was very, very lucky and got to go on holiday. Mm. And so, yeah, and the winter months, what a great time <laughs> to be able to if you're be an thinking MP, about maybe. the holidays that you haven't had, <laughs> yeah. that you would like, yes. but a holiday that maybe you had in the past. Absolutely. And already, so it's been brought back on extended delivery and already a third of the stock of the extended delivery lim uh, stock has gone, which is amazing. Now, what are you getting with it exactly? You can actually... Oh, look, you're getting a gift of purchase. should point that out. I was actually going to have a little look at this, but the gift of purchase... Oh, I get a chance to actually flip through the rest we of it do. now. Yes. Hurrah! There yeah. we go. You get this with it. £17.99. Here we go. You look surprised at that. Part two, coming right up. So, uh, okay. so yes, yeah, so it doesn't matter whether you get the 12x12 12 12 or the 8x8. 8 8, you will get your... You will still get your free... That's um, lovely. Floral, I forgot what it's called floral now. Floral butterfly, butterfly collection. collection. There we go. Oh, I like that. Yeah, this Purple. is a 2021 release as well. I think we brought this out around March, April time. So it's um, a fairly new paper pad, to be honest. And we were saying in the meeting, weren't we? That is a giveaway. It I is. I mean, 17.99. A I paper always, pad. I always think this is because I'm new. I always think it is a genuine giveaway when off air the guest goes, "That's good." That's yes. good, you know, yeah. because you because you're yeah. expected to say it. You're not thing, exactly going to turn up and say, "Oh, half the, creations." That's a bit. But when you say it off air, I always think, "Well, that that really is a good deal, then, it, right?" And it, and it is. And the thing is, with heartfelt, is they want to thank everyone out there for being part of. We call it the heartfelt family. Yeah. We've got social media, so you can find us all on social media. And yeah, it's just like a thank you. It really is. I'm just. I'm That's hoping a big thank you. Can I? Can I get it? It's a very big, a very generous thank you. I have to say. Again, that, there's another my, sheet there. That's great tags. for your mini album. Uh, yeah. Good, good for gift yeah. tags as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great for your mini album. I think. Have I made? I haven't made it all the way through yet. I will, I'm determined. I'm determined, Nikki, to get to the end here. I think. I think this, you're, I think, that's it. There we go. There you that's go. It. That's yes. it. Because I remember you saying about. We got there. The we got there. There you go. All of that, everything I showed you in those two parts, now 40% of the 8x8 album has gone. And of course, when you order that, you will be getting this Floral Butterfly collection with it as well, as well as with the 12x12. 12 12. It's an amazing free gift with your purchase today. 637693 uh, for the 8x8, and I can tell you right now, we have cues on the phone. I don't know what you're doing, Nikki, but it's something right, whatever it is. It's just the fact that heartfelt don't just bring us pretty mm. nice products. They bring us something that is useful yep. and easy to use. And the concept behind it, honestly, is even I could give you a paper pad yep. and say to you, there's an album, go ahead and go and make one. Even you yourself, and you're not a crafter. No, well, I'm assuming see, you're not a crafter. I don't know. No, I'm not. Maybe, no, I'm maybe, not. Maybe, maybe I'm you a, are. I'm willing and I'm, able. I, I'd like to learn, yeah. but I think. But as you say, this is the sort of thing I look at. Well, mm -hmm. I, with other crafts, I think, well, that looks a bit tricky. It's going to take yeah. me a while. This looks like something you could mm -hmm. you cut, cut the papers up. It's already done for you. Fold this around, and you, you're off and running, really, aren't yeah. you? Yes. Um, let's have a look at some magnets for you that we've also got on the site today. Have a look at these. <laughs> now, what? We'd be needing these to close yes, the album. Yes, you're yeah? probably thinking, what, what do we need the magnets for? <laughs> Why have we suddenly gone from album making to magnets? To magnets, yeah. yes. Yeah. Mm. So within the album, it's got place, places where you would put the magnets so they kind of shut. Yes. It's um, you, and Obviously that's dysfunctional and works really, really well. But I also think it just adds a little bit of... Um, a little bit of luxury to it, like a little bit of decadence. You know, yeah, the way they just yeah. snap it's, just, it's just nice, I isn't it? I don't know. It's just like one of them fun things. Satisfying, isn't it? Satisfying. Isn't it? satisfying that's like, that's it. the word. It's like it a is. satisfying very, very thing for it to close and snap shut properly, and it makes it very, very aesthetically pleasing. Um, 70% of the stock has gone for the magnets, I should point out. 839360, 12.99 down to 9.99, it's our special price today, on the magnets which you would probably be wanting to pop into your album here. Look, this is the album actually uh, laid, pulled out here. I didn't actually That's get to show it. That's the 8x8, but again, that isn't mm. completely laid out. We, if 
Just part if of I it. Asked, well, actually, I did ask them, and the director looked at me and said, you're kidding me, aren't right. you? That's going to take He says that every time I say anything If I'd have laid them all out, he would have, yeah, it was like, that's not going to work. So mm. I'm going to show you. Ooh, We're going to start with the 12 by 12. Let's do it. Um, just making sure I have got it the right way. Mm -hmm. I have, I think. There was a bit of writing on there. And it is quite difficult to actually... Um, see whether some of heartfelt paper pads are the right way so I've already started opening it up and we're going to go all oh, the way massive, isn't it? over there not finished yet oh <laughs> we're not we're not finished yet okay. honestly Richard it yeah. just keeps on going we've we got one of those um, IMAX cameras Look at that that. We've been, uh, 360 uh, Wow Wow but Huge. we're not finished that's oh. just that side right okay. we'll come over here can we can, should I come over here or shall I move the album let me move just move the, the album into the right, middle because okay. we're not going to see it. Okay. Whoops. So, then you've got these. I call them flippy flaps. I have no idea why. And flippy I'm sure they flaps. have a... It's as good a name as any, Nicky, <laughs> to be honest. They probably have a I've name. I've some names on this, uh, on this channel, but the, that's as good um, as any. And I can't remember what these are called, and I did have a show pockety, earlier, and I should know. Pockety things? Um, no, what are they called? Um, photograph, like, years ago we used to have them. This, like film, uh, film reels. Film... Film reels. Uh, no, hang on. Uh, Polaroid. Negatives. negatives. Polaroid. Yeah, negatives. I don't Film know. Stock. But you get these in here as well. I mm. think, if my memory serves me right, we get about t ten in total. Mm. Okay, so you get quite a lot of these, and you can stick them on whatever page you want. And th they're all die cut out ready for you. All these decorative mm. dies, if you're liking the look of these and you're thinking, well, how's Nikki done that? Mm -hmm. We have these on the show as well. Okay. So I will be going through those in a second but so these are what I've created just so you can get an idea well actually I'm gonna tell if my mum's watching she's probably saying that's getting well used I made it for my mum for I think it was Mother's Day right. going back a couple of years ago okay this one and, this I've particular bo one. and I borrowed it back over a year ago and I've still got it right uh, so, so yeah, yeah, I, I'm awkward. looking after it well, I am looking after it a little bit too much by but, the sounds of it as I say these are where you could put your photographs mm. then we've got more there Okay, and then you've got your tags and things, mm. and then we'll come over to this one. I love it. It's like we you haven't open finished. the garden gate and you you're kind of walking the, through the, the garden. You know, you said about that satisfying. Yeah, you I can love all hear that. the magnet. It's yeah. I don't know what it is. It's. Do you I know, thought it was just things on the internet like um, threads and stuff where people just post videos of things that are just oddly just, satisfying. Just, yeah. and that, this and would this count is as one, one of them. them. Yeah. This would definitely mm. be one of them. Mm. So we're going to bring that down. More um, pockets using your um, six by six panels. Mm. But so this is just a, a is small just... part of right, how it opens ready? up. Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. Oh my word. Oh wow. But do you know you can have more on there? Yeah. I've actually done an eight by eight one before and actually added more pockets in myself. But then it turns over. Oh. Nicky's now in studio too, that. by the way. Just you've <laughs> <on> the <laughs> yeah. worst part. you've well, got you've got more pockets yeah. in here. Yeah. As I say, using your paper pad. For this one, I would probably say paper pad and a half, depending on how mm. frugal you are and how you, how much you want it to kind of match in. This is super fun, isn't it? So you, with that gift of purchase, you've already got most of what you need to, to yes. put it all together. And everything Definitely. we're seeing here is in this 12 by 12 album. You don't have to add anything else to it. It's all, it's all there, the, it's, the, the, it the mechanism. All, it's all yeah. there. So right. when I show you the 8 by 8, what yeah. we'll do is I'll show you one that hasn't been decorated. Okay. So we can see all yeah. of the, the, the giz gizmos, the working behind it. Okay. But you can create something. Oh, there's my dice. It's got magnets on well. it. Out of <laughs> it can, and even good for storing your magnets. I have no idea where them ones came dice. from now, though, um, I think. That is incredible the way you folded that all out. It's, it's amazing it all closes back up together again. I've done it wrong. I've been yeah. missed. Where's that gone? Oh, I've done it wrong. Look, that fits in there. Yeah. That goes over. That comes down. You're going on a real journey when you and open that you up, go. aren't you? If you kind of like, there you know, you uh, let me take you back to wh when this time well, happened, and you sort of open at Beach Bit, and you can go off in different yes. directions, mm -hmm. and this is when we went off to this country, and this is what happened here, and... Yeah, yeah. exactly, and the thing is, you don't have to stick to one paper pad. Mm. You can use two or three different designs, completely up to you. Very nice. Oh, by the way, 12 by 12s, half the stock is gone now. Half the stock is gone. Okay. Details up on the screen right now, Twenty nine ninety nine. I think that's very good value, because look at what you're getting, especially since you don't really have to add much more to it, because you're getting that free gift of purchase. You're getting that amazing uh, floral butterfly collection uh, paper pad, and as Nikki says there, that's going to pretty much decorate, well, about a good two-thirds of your, of uh, your uh, album. Of the 12 by 12, of an 8 by 8, you could probably use one paper pad. It depends yeah. on how you want to decorate it up and 
and how you want to use it. Yeah. You've Loads got two and sheets of each, there. so so yeah, definitely. I mean, if you do like this, you can get this for seventeen ninety nine. But what about that for a free yeah. uh, gift there? I mean, a free gift on something that's only twenty nine ninety nine in the first place. I know. I mean, if someone was thinking of getting and this for seventeen ninety nine, there's already a ten pound saving on the album itself. Yeah. So, if you think about it, it's like yeah. getting this for seventeen ninety nine and then getting the album for tw for twelve quid, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Which is incredible, incredible value. So that's it the way is. you've got to look at it, isn't it? Two seven two eight nine five. Now the eight by eight. Right. Here so as this well. is about. where we can. This is where you, you're going to learn. When I said to you, it is really easy to create because you have your sizes on here. You can see I need to cut that piece of paper there three by eight. This one eight by eight. The one on the side one and a half by eight inches, and that goes throughout your album. That means I don't have to think about it. No. Don't have to get a ruler and just measure. I know no. obviously you do get the hang of, well, that's an 8x8 eight because eight, the back's 8x8, eight eight, so I yeah. know that's. But it just takes all that hard work out of it. Okay? But just look, it is one of them, again, that is just going to keep on going, keep on giving. Yeah. Okay? Keep now. on giving. <laughs> it's, and also, it's. Um, you add the extra bits onto it, it makes it thicker, doesn't it? Because at yes, the moment, it does. it, like, it looks that, pretty that flimsy. looked like cardboard, the way, yeah. like really thick cardboard. But you've got to think, each side of that yeah. is going to have a sheet of paper, which yeah. is, I think, around 116 GSM. So right. each side, that is quite yes. robust. Yes, okay. now, the, the big numbers in the middle, is that how you fold them right. in or something? Nope. So okay. the big numbers in the middle, that doesn't want to close, there we go. Yeah. These numbers yeah. are where you place your... Um, your magnets. Oh, okay. okay yeah. So you would put one going. Obviously, I'm not going to do it yet because we'll do it in the oh, demo. Three, then and then to obviously three. the negative, the positive. Right. You've got to make sure you get it the yes, right that way. That matches that one, and that means when we close it up. So first thing you will do when yeah. you get your album home is make a coffee, of course. Yeah, obviously. Um, or don't make a tea or a like I did. Wine. We discussed this earlier. It was a disaster. No, no, no. Not, a, not a tea. <laughs> not a tea drinker. No. And then just sit down, have a look at it. Mm -hmm. Put your magnets in place first before you do anything. Because if you're anything like me, I get carried away, forget the numbers are there, and yeah. then forget. To because put it doesn't matter. Because if you cover, you're, you're actually going to always cover the magnets with yes, the paper. Yes, you will you? not you see the magnets. The You've yeah. got a really nice thick spine on that front cover as well, mm. and then. All you need to do then is once you've chosen your papers mm -hmm. and where they're going to go, you're going to cut them out. I would suggest not sticking them down all in one go. Just mm -hmm. having a look because you really want to think about how it mixes. Definitely. And we'll do that when I go into the demo. Yeah. Um, I've decided what papers I'm going to use. I'm going to use the floral You're butterfly. You're going to use the, that's because it's a free. That's because it comes with a free. Freebie. Absolutely, don't have to pay any more money. I love that. Uh, 637-693 is the item number for that. It's 16.99 for the 8x8. It's a special price. You're getting £5 off. But think about this. 16.99 and normally the flower pad, the floral pad is 17.99. 17.99. So actually the app... That's that's incredible value, right? You are paying seventeen ninety nine, and you're getting the album practically free, aren't you? If you think about it, so that's is that right? Yeah. I'm thinking, it's it's the other way around, isn't it? Yeah, it I'll be honest with you, I blanked out there. I just Thanks. heard. <laughs> I think it is because there's the, because I, it's the same price. I said I'd help you out. It's, yeah, the same, it's the same price, isn't uh, it, as the uh, as, as the floral the, pad? Yeah, yes. same thing. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah six three right. seven six nine three is the item number for that. I think that makes sense. Yeah, they're about the same. They're about the same price. Now. Uh, let's have a little look at this again. This is our 8x8, eight eight, and this is how it all opens out here. There we go. We can see that. That's all the bits and pieces that we have there. And we have cues on the phone for this, for the 8x8. Eight eight. Dispatch is from the 20th of December, and it's sold out once already. Amazing. It's sold out once already, brought back on extended delivery, and already. How much of the stock has gone now? Over 60% of the stock has now gone on these 8x8 albums as well. 8x8 yeah, eight albums, is, is, is it because it's slightly cheaper that you think it's, um, it, it, it's more popular? I is it think because it's of the probably size? more mm. of a, a um, especially if you're new to crafting, a mm. more yeah, size, easy, manageable. Easier, mani that's mm. the word, that's Thank what I was you. looking for, more manageable. Yeah. But honestly, trust me, the 12x12 12 12 is um, just as easy to make. It's just bigger. And it's not actually going to take you that long, by the looks of it, you know, you're, you're folding it out, you're putting your magnets in, and then you're, you're, you're laying out your papers, and you're just cutting it all yeah. up, and then, and then ha and you're going to apply it using glue. Yes, I yeah. am, yeah. yeah. So I suggest you use a really good quality, thick PVA glue. 
if you are into using your double-sided tapes then yeah that's fine but I prefer my glue yeah I'll be honest with you you've got a little bit of wiggle room mm. 637 693 is the item number for that 70% of the stock has now gone on the 8x8 Heartfelt Creation album here and uh, just a lovely project to start off your new year with um, now we're going to have a little look at a demo from you, Nikki. What right, are you going to show us? Right, so I had already started my album before Heartfelt said to me, "Do you fancy doing some album shows?" And I was using the um, Burst of Spring, which is the Pansy collection that we launched a few few years ago. Yeah. And I thought, "Oh, that's such a shame because I want to finish that." But look what I'm using with it. I am using that free paper pad, the Floral Butterfly, yeah. because it works really well. It's got the purples in there, it's got the blues in there, it's got the pinks in there. And then I'm slowly, as I work my way through, hmm. going to incorporate some of the other colours okay. from the Butterfly paper pad. So yeah, you don't have to um, use just one paper collection. No. Now, as I said, go through yours, so don't do what I've done and just not put the um, magnets on yet. I've mm. put a few on, but I'm kind of working my way round, mm. okay? And also, don't be quick to stick your paper down, because the dies that I'm going to show you all work in different ways. So, I could put this down, which I will, because I'm not going to do it this way. And I quite like that, because it kind of, can you see how my thinking is? When that's yes. open up, that yeah. coordinates. Absolutely. Coordinates. So, so take your pads and just work out what colours go with what, and then have that as a whole section. When you, so yeah. I can see everything there, and that's all kind and of the, purples. But then when you turn everything out, you want to see it all change to a different scheme, don't you? Ex exactly. Yeah. And the thing with heartfelt paper pads is, you can choose a paper pad, and it's going to have an array of different colours in it, mm -hmm. but it's all going to coordinate. So yes. all the hard work's been done for you. Yeah. Now, you are going to get that nice edge around there. Yep. Okay. So the actual um, album... Oh, I've got glue on my face now. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> no idea what I'm doing there. Yeah. Um, I'll keep my hands away from my face. Yes, that's a good idea. So yeah. just bring that down. Um, do, you want to, do you want to come back for me? So you sort no, your... it's it's no, fine no. if you see me with stuff yeah. on my face. Yeah. It's clear and I've just done it again. <laughs> Stop doing it. <laughs> uh, three hours later, yes, Nikki's can hand I, can was. Can I just check the mirror, please? Pl please do. Thank I'll tell you, you what. I'll just I'll just go through this again. Nikki's currently got a hand actually stuck to her face. No, no, trying to like lift it all off like this. Now um, we've got some dies that we can show you that Nikki was talking about here. It's on the website right now. There they are. We've got cues on the phone, by the way, so do make sure you go to the website. Those are the dies there. You've got the all create Heartfelt Creations Pocket Frame and Accent Dies Collection. You've got 20 of them there, and you can get that on two flexi payments of $27.98 with a £24 saving. The item number 098486, and you're getting your Regal Frames, your Regal Pocket Accents as well. That's in there, your Adornit Pocket Accents. We're seeing all of these in the finished sample. Fancy Fold Pocket and Accents as well, that's in there. Every one of these, look at these, five, uh, five, six pieces in uh, a lot of these, each one of these uh, sets here. 20 dies in total, and you're getting a £24 saving, and there is a lot of interest in these right now, let me tell you. It's a uh, pocket frame and accent dies collection, 20 dies there, 098486. We've also got the decorative pockets as well. Um, another bundle here from Heartfelt, and um, this is uh, your dies, 22 of them, it's new today. Now normally 79.96 is your price. Look at the saving there, 24 quid off, 55.96 for that. Your petite pocket accents, your decorative pocket accents, your elegant pocket accents as well. Everything you need there just to pop onto your journal, your ornate pocket accents there, and uh, your elegant ones too. 22 dies in total, saving £24 in total. You're saving over a pound a die if you think about it like that. Available on Flexi, of course, as well. Two payments of £27.98, that £24 saving, and the item of 265637 for that. Now, what's happened? Nikki? Oh. I thought something had popped up there. We're good. Nothing to see. Right, off you right, go, Nikki. Nothing to see. Move on. Right, Are you sorting so yourself out now? <laughs> I've cleaned my face. Good. Good <laughs> to I'm know. I'm keeping my hands away from my face during the rest of the show. <laughs> right, so I'm using the Fancy Pocket Accents die. Yeah. This comes with 
three dies in total. I'm looking over here because my set's over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've already cut mine out. And you've also got, which I think must be stuck to the 8x8, eight eight. they are, look. Ah, uh, right, yeah. So, so they to... also come with some corners in there as well. And um, so, yeah, so that's the fancy fold. So what, what I've done is when you put it through your die-cutting machine, mm. you are going to get the score lines, okay? okay? But just to make them a lot crisper, I'm using my scoreboard. Well, that's clever. So the, so the die cutting machines can actually create score lines. They well, can, I actually yeah. Know that. Just this office got a sort of Yeah, they're not impression. just for cutting. They go. Yeah. yeah, they can emboss as well. So they've I embossed the die cutting. So I'm just coming over here a little bit because I can't quite see whether. Mm. Well, because you've got glue in your eye. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm. Um, isn't that a condition, a medical condition, glue? I'm pretty, glue, I'm pretty sure it, it is. is. I don't think it's Which? because crafters actually like squirt oh, glue don't. into their face. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm just clumsy. <laughs> right. So I'm just using that, going down all. Um, I can't see it. There it is. Okay. Just to crispen that up a bit, and then you can create your pocket with this one. Yeah. Okay, now I'm using all white cardstock, but you can use whatever colour you like. You can use coloured cardstock to create your pockets, or you can use craft card, which would work really well, or a mixture of both. You, you know, it's completely up to you. You are you're you're the designer. You're the one that's going to be making your own individual. Okay. Pocket. Dies up on okay. your screen right now that you can get. That, so uh, what I'm looking at, using. and I'm looking at that, and I'm thinking, right, I mm. like that. But before I put it down, I'm going to go through my paper pad. So I love it because it's not so just a pocket, is it? It's actually, it's almost like um, a so picture. It's like this, um, you're walking onto the onto a patio, like a not a patio. Oh, um, um, you mean like a veranda? A veranda, thank you. Veranda, like balcony, you're onto a, veranda, a like posh you, balcony. Yes, balcony. That's the word. So I'm the thing for. is, it, mm. these are for card making as well because if you wanted it just as a decorative die, you would just cut it up. Mm. You just take those bits off. Now what I'm looking at is, I want to put a panel there. Now the nice thing about the paper pads. Yeah is if i can get it and this is always the way i'm going to oh there we go perfect i was gonna, i thought i was going to be there for a while i was when i went through them <laughs> so yeah. i'm actually going to go with mm. this one i think okay yeah that looks um nice. normally i would cut it out with a paper trimmer because i really am not very good with the scissors mm. but because it's straight Live lines, on though, I suppose air. it's fairly straightforward, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It's all there ready for you to do, but the matting and layering has been done for me. Mm. So obviously you're new to crafting. Do you know what matting and layering is? I know what layering got, is. Yeah, same kind Just, of thing. You're layering different different colours up to... Um, that's the matting part. What's the matting that's part? That's the mat, mat and layering. Uh, Mm. Oh, it's the sort same of like thing, matting, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I just it, we just call it mat and layering. Mm. So, but what I want to do is I'm just going to take some white card. Yeah. And I'm just going to because I'm being very picky because I know this is a demo, but I'm. Sh and yeah, what are you marking out there? What's the I want to just thing? cut this yeah. because I'm going to mat it on some white, else it's going to be too purple. Okay, so I'm kind of looking uh, so and thinking, an right, I want to, to bring yeah. a bit more colour in. Yeah. Okay. I'm with you. And I should have done it before we went on air. So, so purple on purple is not going to look as good as like it's so going a bit to be of a, a white yeah, it needs something it. just to bring that out. Just to, just to pop it out. Okay. There we go. So I'm just going to glue that onto that white piece of card mm -hmm. and then once I've got this in place I can actually work out I can actually work out where that pocket is going to go okay so I'm going to kind of sit that there then I'm going to bring my pocket over I actually think down the bottom would be good. Now the thing is, it's just, this is kind of really just to pretty my album up, okay, because Oof. we can Wow. Uh, we're just hearing there are seven minute queues on the phone for these products. That is unbelievable. So please do go to the website if you can, because all the app, of course, 
because you're going to get uh, pretty much straight through on that and be able to uh, to pop all the things into your basket there. If you uh, if you want to insist on using the phone, that's fine. That's up to you. But it will be up to seven or eight minute queues uh, to to be served there. So uh, probably best to go for the website or app. I would say at this stage. Uh, 637693 there for uh, 8 by 8 which is proven to be incredibly popular. Had a sell out, it's come back, it's on its way to selling out again at this rate, at this rate. <laughs> so I've just, I would normally use my red liner tape for this, but I'm going to use my tape there. And the reason I'm doing it with the tape is purely because it's going to go off in seconds. It's literally, I can sit it down. Now, you just have to be... Yeah, so you've got to get this right first time, Got right? to get it right the first yeah. time. But it's pretty easy. It's not It's not rocket science, apart from the... Well, it is rocket science, if you like me, and <laughs> didn't put the tape in the right place. Again, because there's different ways that you could yeah. do it. I can cut that off and have it thinner, but you, you can have it as sort of like as wide... As you like. I guess like a, it's, it's like your, your balcony, it's like a picture on the wall then, of a, you imagine a little shelf now in front of it. Yeah. I can put little tickets in there, yeah. I've got any more here, yeah, let's put another one there. Look, photographs, yeah. whatever you want. And as yeah. I say, you just cut these down mm. depending on how wide you want it. So that but does was that using... squish down though, when you close the book up? Is that a problem? Or is yeah. this, it's, It'll just squish down then a bit. It could be and that's why it's concertinaed. Yeah. Right, okay. But when you've got that filled with stuff anyway, mm. I mean, to be honest, this could be a present, that could be a bar of chocolate in there, mm. I don't know. But it's obviously, it's built, it's built into the way that the whole thing is constructed, that you yeah. do have room to fill it and it mm -hmm. would still all close up, because you've got the magnets as well, haven't you, that will you have. pull it together. Yeah. So, looking through, if I just bring this back over here, so we'll go on to this middle page here. So, this one here, I actually cut the die from out of the paper right okay so let me just let's do the same on maybe this one okay so let me find my sheet and this is why I say don't glue them all down because you might kind of mess your design up because on this one I can actually cut a pocket into so I'm going to have it there which one should we have we'll go for this one so I'm going to not stick that paper down yet. So do you say that there? Because I want that around there. Okay. So we just tape that down. Yeah. That, was that pre-cut that paper? Uh, the I did. You, I've, yeah. I pre-cut it. I've. Yeah, yeah. No. I've gone through yeah. and I've cut Worked out the sizes lots of different go, papers, and yes. then I can work it out now, yeah. and I can kind of think, mm-hmm, I like that one there, or yeah. no, I'll have that one. Si there's sizes that repeat. Obviously, it's the eight by eight. Yeah, and, then and the six other by sixes. Sizes, yeah. So you just kind yeah. of get get the gist of it, and yeah. then I just sort of like do a, a bit of it, mm. and as I say. Don't Definitely glue them worth all down. going through your whole book and kind of planning it out before committing with glue, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> maybe not the whole thing, but certainly like sections. When, like, when yeah. I did the twelve by twelve, the peony one, obviously that was a present for a very very special person. Mm. So I actually had two paper pads in front of me, and I think I used about a pad and a half, roughly. Mm. That's only a rough guide because obviously it depends on how you're going to do yours. Yeah. But if you just want to make a pretty album like I'm doing now, mm. I'm basically just using what I've got. Mm. So it's not using a huge amount, yeah. amount of paper. So for this 8x8, yeah, you can, you could get away with one. If, you've, if anyone's watching and you've, you've had a go at these and you've bought them in the past, email in and let us know. How many yeah, paper pads did them. you use? Did you get away with using one or...? Better yeah, still, send uh, some pictures in as well. Oh, pictures would be if amazing. You've, uh, if you've decorated them. This, this is for, for somebody so special that you kept hold of it yourself for the last couple of years. I did. Outrageous, Nikki. Give it back. She can have it back eventually. Yeah. She may get an 8x8 as well because I might get round to finishing yeah. an 8x8 eight eight as well. I think, I think that would count as interest, doesn't it? I think that has to be like, you know, you've, you've had, you borrowed it from and now you're going to give it yeah, back to Yeah, for a reason, so yeah. I could do something that coordinates with it. Uh, so now, yeah. I've got my pocket. So I didn't glue, did you notice, I only glued around the edge. Yeah. I didn't glue there. Right. So now you can this swap. is, oh, now okay. the, 
thing is, make sure you get this the right way round because earlier I didn't do it. Right. So this one is from your Regal Pocket Accents. Right, perfect. You have got... Bring that up now on the screen for you. You have got... All right, I've got to work this out. That's quite, if it's wrong, I can do another one because <laughs> I can't work it out and the brain's not working. Um, you've got six dies in total in this collection. Yep. So you've got lots of different... If I just grab these, yeah. you've got different like inserts, sort of like where the... Um, I don't know what you call it, the mouth of the... Yeah, the, OK, the, where, the bit where you slot it in. Yeah, yeah so you can choose cabin. which one yeah. you're going to have. OK. OK, so where did I decide? Because now I've completely forgot where that... I'm sure it's that way. So that would be that way. Right. We'll go for it. I'm just going to go for it. Go for it. If it's wrong, it's wrong. I'll just so that, use It's on okay, a different so one. It sort of kind of reinforces the, 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 the gap, if you like, the hole. It's like the, the die yes. goes... Okay. So it's the, 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 the pocket is actually going to be within my paper right. on this one. OK. So just... I'm just going to move that over. So just bring that back. Now, because they are really pretty decorative dies, I am going through four times, OK? So I'm going yeah. forwards, back, forwards, back. While you do that, you can see the uh, dies up on your screen there. That's the, the full 20 dies collection there and the Regal, uh, po the regal Pockets, wasn't it? There you go. That's, that's, uh, that's included one. in it. That is an amazing uh, yes, so uh, saving on that, 24 quid off. So you're getting one of the larger decorative dies, which is mm. what I'm using here. Then you've got the different inserts. Yeah. And I did it the wrong way round. Did you? Oh, no, I didn't. No, no I didn't. Oh, well done. No, uh, you see, you've got to just have faith in yourself there. <laughs> I mean, it was a 50 50 call. It was, wasn't it? I, I know. I did uh, it wrong earlier. This mm. was why I was like, mm, I'd make sure I get it right. And then uh, you just need to make sure you take all them little bits out. Yeah. All the dies on the show all coordinate together. So they've all got this really pretty hmm. sort of lattice work, lace work. If you see that part there, look, it's very similar to that one. They all mix and match together. Hmm. Okay, you know, so your, your little pokey thing you use there to put the yes. pink. Can you use the, um, the, you, the, the flower? The heartfelt one. Yeah, you the can. flower one that you use to sort of like curl up the flowers yeah, so in the kit. Can you use it for that as well? So you have yeah. got the pokey tool in the deluxe flower shaping kit. Yeah. Got it here in front of me, actually. It's very exciting. Del Deluxe flower shaping kit. Have a look at this. I really like the box. This is another thing that's got, like, magnets in it, like it the has, box itself. Yeah. It comes, it's really, really sort of luxurious. And mm -hmm. inside, you've got, the, you've got the mat here that you pull out. Really like that. I do get excited about magnets. I really do. Um, it was yesterday's full moons I was getting excited about. We had those on some cars, and I realised I was a bit of a full moon... Uh, uh, sort of avid person, whatever you want to call that. I don't know what that would come out as. Uh, then you've got here, look, you've got your little uh, your pen here, and then you've got interchangeable nibs here. And this is used for, um, you can use it to pierce as well, but you, you primarily use it to press your, your flowers, don't you, Yeah, uh, so Nikki? you um, use it to shape your flowers. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And Sorry, I was just looking here. for some paper. Okay, no, that's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm, I'm showing this while you're doing that. Look, you can you sort of use the ball here, and then you sort of use it to, to make that's a bit it, of dimension yeah. to your yeah, flowers, so right? Yes, so if we get to work together. Yeah. I'm trying to think what show. Yeah. I've got a show on the 2nd of January. Okay. You'll be able to see that in action. I'll probably have a hangover then. <laughs> I, I know. It's, no, it's, 2nd it's of a bit January. Close to, I know. No, I, 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 might be in, I might be in. I'll have a little look. Right. Now, there you go. That's so, your flower shaping kit there. I've got my tags here, and I'm thinking, oh, that pocket is perfect mm. to put one of these in. Now, again, we do have dies that coordinate with these. Yeah. But if you don't have them, it's just mm. the little tiny bits. Yes, I'm gonna. I'm going to put photos on. Okay, yeah. but you can cut these out by hand mm. if you haven't got the dies. They they're pretty quick to. They, I mean, look, they don't look too fiddly to not, cut those out. No, no, they're not. You know, unless you're taking your time. Mm. Um, they're not too fiddly, but you're not going to get that sort of like perfect cut mm. but then you're going to pop things in there you see and I could pop another one in I, I'm not going to yeah because oh I don't know I'm going well, to go on. I'm going go on. to while we're there while we're there and um, this is the fun that you are going to have you've got your paper pad you've got all the elements in there yeah do you do you just have it like that or do you add something on top oh, of that I like would photo be, on top I of would, the... but you could put photos on here you yeah. could write a little bit of journaling uh, on there yeah you're going to pop that in there I'm just hoping it will not going to mm. go down, but I'll tell you what, I can trim it down because else it won't close. 
okay right yeah. so just pop that in there you can put photos in there as i say it depends what you are going to use your album for yes whether or not you're giving it as a present and it's going to be done so maybe you're going to have all the photos in there already right or you're handing and, it to someone and and saying this is for you and this is like to, can, to fill up with your yeah. own memories and yeah so if i just go through this one and show you what i've done so that's obviously that so we'll just right there so i haven't finished it by no means. See, this one I've just put on top mm. of the paper. It's not cut within. You can put a photograph there. Um, then this one, use one of the six by sixes. And then I've just added some elements. These are all elements from the. Um, so that one mm. is from the regal frames. Yeah. And then I've got my corners here. So what my thinking was th with this, mm. oh, I've glued them down. So no, that wasn't my thinking. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you can pop a photograph in there. Okay. And they are going to hold your photograph. I, I suppose to some extent the, 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 some, the, yeah, the background papers kind of dictate the theme of the yes. album. So if you so, were a traveller, you would get something that had a little bit more kind of like, uh, maybe, you know, like maybe yeah. suitcases and stuff like that on it. I know, mm -hmm. but something like this, it's like, you know, it's quite sort of floral, isn't Summery, it? So maybe weddings. Florally, and, weddings. You know, uh, memories of a summer or a, a baby that was born you know that. yeah I mean heartfelt have got a lot of other paper pads yeah but as I say for the price what we've got on these today we've got the climbing clematis we've mm. got the floral shop we've got the wild rose and of course we have the freebie yes, I the like free, freebies the, the floral butterfly paper pad collection well, free is, with the 8x8 and 12x12s amazing the thing is with it obviously I've just cut this so we'll pop this down but the thing is, make sure there isn't a magnet going there. Nope. Um, so I don't want to spoil that. I want to have some of the pretty papers coming through. Mm. So I could put a, something on the side there, I'm thinking. I'm not sure what that was, just fell on the floor. Um, I think it was your pokey thing. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, that's fine. So so I, was I'm going to glue this now. I was reaching a little bit earlier about, what, about how to, to say that to us, that 8 by 8 you get the free gift of it. I've just worked out the free gift is actually worth more than the actual price you're paying on the 8 by 8 So you're paying 16.99, but the free gift is worth 17.99. So I think in the, for the first time in the in the history of of, of, you're getting of mankind, more than you buy. you're getting actually yeah. more in a free gift than you're than you're paying out on the original purchase, which is amazing. The thing is, as well, yeah, you know when you see free gift, yeah. You automatically assume it's going to be uh, something I don't want, something I'm not going to use. Like, it's it's not going really to be a yeah, couple of pounds. You're not, you don't buy that. Not, it's actually it genuinely is 17.99 on the website. So, so it's it's not a case of like this is what we just got lying around and we're just going to throw it in there. It's, it's, this is an actual have, item. This yeah. is a full yeah. 12 by 12 paper pad that you are going to get. There it is. There you go. Because all the details there. 500 440. So if you want, you could just purchase this 17.99. And you are getting 24 uh, different designs because it's double sided here, and you're getting all these things. We've seen the Nikki use uh, quite a few of them already uh, just today there. But you can see how it all coordinates there. Is that the one that you used? It might be. Um, I think it might be. Uh, there's the green there be. as well. So, so I mean, these are all sort of jumbled into a random order here, but you can see how they, uh, they go together there. We've got the greens, and then you can pick out your fussy cut out your butterflies there as well. You've got some foliage and uh, pop these all around and, and the, there is a theme running throughout of floral and butterflies as well as the name suggests so everything pretty much goes with any paper even like something as crazy as the yellows uh, the greens when you pop them together they do all still work don't they uh, now I just need to tell you about the 12 by 12 because this is something that you are getting with that 12 by 12 album uh, so obviously this is our 12 by 12 paper pad 12 by 12 album here it doesn't come like this this is what you this is the sort of thing you can do when you actually unfold it and start putting it all together but you are getting everything you need to to put this together and it is absolutely massive this is just a part of it we Nikki uh, if you just join us Nikki sort of unfolded hers a little earlier and it went on forever she's still coming back from that experience she's about three miles down the road and uh, is making her way back to the studio it is massive we were going out this way we we're going out that way there's lots and lots of different uh, depths to it there's lots of different layers as well 
you pop your magnets in and you can uh, close it all up and it really is pretty and of course you are getting that 12 by 12 paper pad with it so you're already well on your way to being able to actually decorate it which is fantastic so that's your 12 by 12 272 895 is your item number on that 29.99 is your price it's a 10 pound saving and it's we are now approaching 60% of the stock now gone. This is on immediate dispatch from the US, so you will get it in short order, but just bear in mind that it will have to come uh, travel across the Atlantic to get here, but it will be immediately dispatched. Uh, so just bear that in mind. We'll, we'll probably turn up very, very shortly after Christmas. Um, now, back to you, Nikki. Right, so whilst you've been sort of chatting and doing you all the- You were gonna say waffling then, weren't you? No, not at all. Fine, carry but on. I was just looking at this and I thought, yeah. Actually, I could put. I've got this panel here, so it needs to be needs to go on before you put your paper on the underside. Yeah. But I'm just thinking, how pretty would that yes, look? So I'm going nice. to use that as a border. Where's that from then? That, that one? one is from the petite pocket accents. Petite pocket accents. Oh. And this is actually one of my go-to dies, mm. but the actual die set that all four of these are. Um, that I use in my card making as well. Right, all part of that full bundle there, 22 dies. You've got the petite pocket accents in there. So I'm actually just using that as a border. Okay. Yeah. So now that's on there. I'm going to, before okay, I like forget. It's a garden trellis, trellis, isn't it, over the flowers? Yeah. It's just it sort of go, go, coordinates with it all, doesn't it? Yes. So I'm taking, and I can't get the magnets off because they are so strong. It's, it's just. There we go. Go. Evoking some uh, another object because of course you could have borders on there, but they would just be uh, they'd just be shapes, they'd be decorations. Mm -hmm. But these things actually look like balconies. They look like trellises. They look. It's creating the illusion that you're walking into a garden, basically. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, I don't know. It just all works mm. together. So I need to cut that one. Won't go. So I'm going to grab my paper, and again. Because I'm kind of walking you, you through it the same as you would be working through yours if you was in your own craft room. Okay. Okay, so we're going to take the paper pad. Now, bear in mind, I have your, got the pansy collection. So I kind of, that front needs to be a little bit purple there because I've used that on the front. So all these gorgeous papers, all these die cut out, as I say, if you didn't buy the full collection but you're thinking I want that paper pad and I want to be able to die cut those elements out I do I do believe we're looking for a purple background yeah have you got one? Oh, I found one, got one I found one. Oh, oh fine don't, don't use so, mine there it's no, st stood here the so whole time it, whole it tells me there what yeah. size it is but I've obviously covered yeah. it up but I can see on this one three by eight okay joking, so I'm going to bring <laughs> So it time. needs to be eight across, and that's not big enough. So now I have to. That's not big it. enough. Look, <laughs> look at what I've got here. Look, just look. look no, no, the, the paper's big enough. The trimmer wasn't big enough. Oh, right, no, right, you, right. I'm, I'm kind of with you on that. It's definitely big enough. So three. Now, what I tend to do is, if you want a slightly bigger border around the edge, just go slightly in. Yeah. And that's going to give you a slightly bigger border. Okay. Okay, I'm getting in a right mess here though. You can imagine what my, you can imagine what my craft room looks like, can't you? <laughs> so, I'm going to bring that over and I'm going to glue that on now. Yeah. There. So I'm going to glue around the edge of, well, actually we'll do the paper, not the, because I can make sure I completely get around the edge of that. So as you can see, it's double-sided as well, Richard. It is mm. a really lovely way of using these paper pads because yeah. you've got a choice. Okay, put that on there. You're going over that um, magnet. Yep. Yeah. And there you have. I've hidden that. Obviously, the magnet order. doesn't lose too much of its strength, does it? Go no, through not at all. Two or three lots um, of I will or struggle or. because I forgot yeah. to put it on here. Right. But what I am going to do is mm. because I forgot to put my magnet on. Yeah. What you need to do is take the other magnet. Mm -hmm. So if you do this and you forget to put the magnet on, yeah. You don't need to cry about it or think, <laughs> what have I done? Because there's ways around it, and I can't get this apart. <laughs> 
Because you've got really nice long nails. It's absolutely typical. Yeah. Do you want me to have a go? Yeah, you have yeah. a go on that. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going oh, to man. bring a strip in so it coordinates. I need long nails. And then I can add something else. <laughs> oh, my word. These things are strong, aren't they? They are very strong. Yeah. I need like a... Okay, mm. so I don't need that to be quite that big. So I'm going to do about an inch and a half. There. I'm going to have to admit things to just imagine that at the a second. Bottom. We can take it over to a, a lab. So it's still not break. apart. Oh, no, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. Oh, no, I haven't. It's gone back. Hang on, no, no, almost done it. Yeah, I've done it, I've done it. Ah, I've right, got right. some more somewhere, but... Oh, we almost had it. Hang on. <laughs> keep, so, keep about three... Done. Done. Three right. years later, we managed yeah. right. You give me one, just There's one. There's one, there's one. one. I'll stand way, right. way so back. Right, so that's going to go there. Yeah. Right, so... There. So what I'm going to do is just, as I say, you wouldn't need to do this, mm. but I do because I forgot to put my magnet on. But I'm going to stick that down there. And it should, and it's not, it's not going to do it because it's that strong. Yeah. Just make sure you do it the right way, that way there, that's going to go there, that's going to go there. And that's it. Right, I'm happy with that. Then I'm going to put that strip on. Okay. So, again, just right around the edge. There. So I haven't gone over where the magnet is. Yeah. And that's going to cover that magnet. And then you've got those really pretty border strips. I'm actually going to now again. I'm not Everything probably goes really well, doesn't it? You just pick out little bits of other papers and I'm pop it straight in. Two different uh, uh, paper pads for you up on your screen right now. I would normally use the paper trimmer for this. And it needs to be about. I'll end up probably cutting it too short. So I'll just go a little bit too big. And that will glue down in a second. Yep. And then that from the paper pad can go there. That's nice. And then I will add some lace or maybe even some more of the decorative dies. Mm. So just trim that. And I can now attest that uh, the magnets will definitely cut through all of those different layers because uh, it took me half an hour to separate these two. So they are so super, strong. Super, super, duper strong. There we go. <laughs> and then yeah. that's glued. But then you've got that beautiful decorative edge, and that is from the petite pocket act. No, it wasn't the pocket accents. It mm. was the decorative pocket decorative. Actions, but all that part of yeah. the of the the die bundle that we have and that's the eight by eight pockets. but you would do yeah. think you would do the 12 by 12 um yeah the 12 by 12 in exactly the same way mm. but you're just using larger papers yeah brilliant really enjoy it I'm still, I'm still holding the magnet <laughs> here which <laughs> oh, one to do I'll that take, i'll take the magnet all right, so you be careful thank stand you. well back because you can suddenly like fling yourself at the uh, at the book there so yeah okay, very good thank you very much uh nikki um let's have a little look now, at what we have in front of us here, this is the 12 by 12 uh, Insta album we've been looking at. It's been incredibly popular, as has the 8 by 8 today from Heartfelt Creations. We've got huge queues on the phones, so make sure you do go to the website and use the app as well. 272895 is your item number for your 12 by 12 You are getting, of course, that uh, that uh, paper pad, your free gift worth 17.99. You're getting all of these papers here. I'm just going to flip through a little bit quicker this time look there you go every single one of these is double-sided you are getting lots and lots of different uh, different designs here 24 different designs the 12 by 12 is on immediate dispatch from the US so that should make its way over to you uh, definitely uh, in the new year uh, very very shortly I would have thought straight after Christmas uh, so you do have that and you've got the 8 by 8 of course as well which is even more popular than the 12 by 12 I guess because a little bit more affordable and also a bit more manageable especially if you're starting out for the first time but of course it's up to you you might think the 12 by 12 is a bit more to your taste there's your 8 by 8 16.99 the free gift of course worth more than that worth 17.99 you're once again getting that floral uh, butterfly pad with that 8 by 8 so it's a 16.99 purchase with 
a free gift worth 1799. You do the maths. That's also extended. That's from the 20th of December uh, from US from the US. Now, Nikki, thank you so much. Thank you. Hope to work with you again soon. You will. I am sure of that. But it won't be till the new year, will it? So Merry Christmas to you. Oh no, I'm actually back on Christmas Eve. See you there. Oh See no, you no, Christmas I'm not Eve. In. I forgot to tell you. Oh, that you're as on Christmas well. Eve. Twenty oh. fourth. Yeah. Okay. Oh, obviously it's the twenty fourth. We will yeah. see. We will see you there. If nothing else, thank you so much, Nikki. I will see you a little bit later this afternoon. Plenty more to come, though. Hayley and Julia are standing by to make some card making essentials. It's the one day special. Then we got our sewing essentials by sewing online, and then it's more sewing essentials after that. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orange Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orland Create shows. Hi, I'm Jo and I have the pleasure of demonstrating for That's Crafty. That's Crafty are a family run business that started online in 2005. I hope I can inspire you by bringing along my experience together with the That's Crafty products. So make sure you don't miss the That's Crafty shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hello there and welcome back. Well, can you believe it? We're around to four in, in the afternoon, which means it's final call with your one day special. This is an amazing deal that was launched last night. And of course, lovely Julia was here last night with this one as well. She has been home in between. <laughs> well, I haven't <laughs> well, not home, 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 but yes. <laughs> I haven't been to sleep. <laughs> you have. Now, this is a brilliant deal. We've got lots to share with you. First of all, we've got the one day special, which is a featured set of four dies. We've got a bumper bundle that we're going to tell you about in a few moments. But very useful set of dies these for. Yeah, so um, Studio Light are well known for their, uh, a lot of dies actually, but for their card making shapes. Yes. So they're, um, what are they called? Uh, they're not kinetics, are they? Uh, concept cards. Yes. Um, so uh, that we've got four really different ones in the one day special. Um, 
and uh, the three that have got edges all the edges are different um, they're not mix and match they okay. are standalone but if you think uh, look at them and think what on earth does that make the packaging is really helpful it's so true I mean we've got some brilliant finished samples to share with you but just very quickly just explain to you obviously you've got your cards that kind of got us concepted and they've all got their own personality yes they have Judy, uh, Judy quite rightly says that when you actually come to your packaging there's lots of information on the packaging to help you along the way all the measuring has been done that's the key thing with yes. these can you imagine cutting that out by hand and getting yes. it right you know you, if you were using a craft knife you might slip just on the last and, it, and they're, they're circles as well and cutting circles out is so difficult yeah, it is. and um, it's knowing where all the folds need yeah, to go and everything yeah so that kind of gives you an idea or a feel for what your one day special is but what you've actually got is a series of four dies each one of them being their own little bundle so there's lots of elements within each one which of course can be used independently but when they're used together you get that fabulous result of a concept style of card so what else have we got in here so we have got a bumper bundle now they are all available individually just so as you can see at the bottom of your screen as well but what you'll find is you'll get all four of these across the top here right the way across to this one over here which when you look at it I mean it looks very very clever to me I must say I'm gonna hold it up because the first one and I called it this one I said it's like the spaceship yeah yeah yeah. It's like a rocker, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a rocker create. card, yeah. yeah. So it could be a spaceship, it could be a slice of melon with a, an oh, avocado on top, according to, um, <laughs> it's according to Kim, I thought it was an egg. But yeah, so <laughs> it's it could a be a fried egg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could be anything you want it to be, really. But, <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So that's your one day special, made up a series of four dies, as you can see along the top here. Then we're going to show you, uh, should I show you the others as well? Since I've done those two, I might as well show you the others. Completely out of order, but does it really matter? It keeps us on our toes. Yeah. <laughs> sorry about that so this one again look at the depth and dimension in that yeah, one yeah and that one's quite cool if you turn the packaging so it's it's the other way so the the, the Ooh, yeah so way. it looks like a room does it or it stage, like a stage that you're looking yeah. Into. yeah it really plays with your head that one <laughs> <laughs> i love it but when you actually cut the pieces out and it's not just cutting out the base because you might think oh that's lovely i've got a die that will mm. allow me to do like a concept card yeah but does it allow you to do all the mats and layers yeah, mats that and layers, all, yeah. all of these are exactly the same separation on yeah. every single one that's not an easy thing to achieve no it really isn't and of course it's up to you you don't have to use all three layers you can just use two layers Good if you point. want to or just use the one so now it looks like an armchair it, or a throne it, it's or something really like cool that, isn't it, it? yeah Very really clever. cool obviously all of these can be used at any time of year for any celebration you know the the, the first one we looked at the circle one that could have photographs in the circle point, so yeah you can do lots and lots of things with them next one's a perfect one as well for doing things like your photo yes because you've got too. those two almost like framed areas yeah. in the middle there yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely that and one. again another different edge to it so yeah that's a big armchair it is one. a big armchair <laughs> <laughs> that's my armchair that is <laughs> you can get everybody on that chair now this is nice because when it actually cuts the card base out again it's going to give you your base so all your folds everything is included mm. in there but then it's giving you all of the mats the layers for all the different pieces yeah. again and even that edge. little tiny thin um uh little oh, mat down there. Is, yeah 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 even that yeah wow. Wow, gosh, that's a... And I'm thinking as well, because this one round here is a really tricky one to cut out because, OK, you might get the outside rectangle, but then you've got to get the inner rectangle yeah. and you've got to get it all right and, and you don't have to worry. Yeah, With but then the you've dies, got the edges as well, you know, yeah. so, yeah. There's a lot in there. Each one has got a lot of die content in there. So, mm. of course, you can use them together to create your concept cards, but, of course, then you've got lots of different ways of using those. Might be using some of them for things like your sentiments as well. Really useful set. And if you are new to die cutting, then this is death or card making especially this one is a brilliant set to go for so that is your one day special details of which you can see on your screen they get 54 dies in total so there's a lot of dies in there a lot of possible um, possibilities for two flexi buys of 39 pounds and 98 pence but it forms part of a larger collection and this is where we've got a fabulous saving so this is included in the bigger bundle which lots of you've been going for so let me explain what else you are going to get within this bundle and bring the details up on the screen for the next set that we've got for you which are at the bottom here now this is a brilliant set because you are getting a lot of dies now this is where I really do need to show you the packaging because when you look at all of those there's a lot of dies in there but it doesn't necessarily make sense straight no, away to look at them no it doesn't so they're all part of the um, the essential range but they're journal dies so they're gonna make di di journals and they're all different shapes so this one makes a square journal Lovely. and uh, you'll make um, two sig uh, three signatures on this one 
Fabulous. if you want to. Or you can pull the elements out and just use them on a card. Everything can be used on cards. Okie dokie. Yeah. yeah. Bear with me just a second. We haven't got one of those. Oh, that, that's uh, I'm going to do one, one uh, in a minute. Oh, okay. Now, the next one you've got. Now, this is brilliant because it's a long, tall, slender yeah. piece. Now, I have got one of these that I can share with you because you can see they're good sizes, these. Yeah, then. but this one's a little bit different because it's, it's like a two-in-one. It's a single signature album, but you can actually make it so you've got full pages. Okay. So you can, you can do a full page one, or you can do like this uh, sample, where you've got three individual little mini albums within it. Oh, that's clever. When I say mini albums, you can use those mini albums separately out of the it, yeah. album and, and, and just use the app. You can do whatever you want to. You know, it, it's and such a cool concept. And I suppose if you've got a piece of elastic in there, you can kind of slip them in and out in as, and out, you, want as, them, as yeah. you want to. And of course, because it's only Baker's Twine anyway that I've used, you can just snip them out and swap them, swap them if it's you really want to. Really good point. I it love is, that idea. So and of course they're dyes, so you've got them forever and you can mm. use them in different shapes, different colours, different materials, for different purposes, you know. Love you, it. Yeah, it's a tool. Love it. Absolutely yep. amazing. Now this next one here, I'm going to put this one on its side because it's quite a large image to share with you. But again, you've kind of got the concept, you've got your holes there for your signatures to go in place. Really good size with this, this one as well. This is a wrap around one. So that's this one with the little heart yeah, on it. Yeah, that's a wrap around one. So this one takes will take two signatures. Okay. And uh, it's it's not got many extra dies in it. It's got like a gusset po pocket in it. It's got uh, some words in it. There is actually just the, the actual die to make the side parts of a pocket so a gusset pocket so you can have whatever size um, uh, card or paper that with it lovely. if you want to really pretty edge on that one as well with all those yeah, gorgeous little hearts, hearts. So of course you've got all nice. the drop away hearts from there that's as well. a really good point yeah you have indeed so that one is another one of those uh, in there I'm trying to keep up I think that's the right one there and I think is that it no there's one more one? which one another am I missing tall one. that one I've done that one or how about those? that one I think it's that one. Have I'm I shown you that one? <laughs> no, that, that's the third one. Was that the third one? Yeah. Is it this one then? I think that what's thrown me is because we've got the blue. No, yeah, the blue one we've seen, it's yeah. the other one uh, that's different. Now you're on it, you're on it, you're on it. Oh, that is the one. Yeah, not the blue one, the other one. That one? Yes. Oh, that's, that's the last one. <laughs> Get That's the last one. I thought I held that one up when I showed no, you the no, blue no, you one. Didn't. Right, okay, yeah, no, you didn't. Then. So you have got one of those. Yeah, it is tucked away, isn't it? I'm not sure. Is that many different? That's yeah. the one. Yeah, there so that, that's a double signature one again, but it's a tall one. And this one, you make your front and back cover and then you add your spine to it. Oh, yeah, fancy. that's a sep that's separate dies to do that. Um, and obviously you put as many uh, pages in, this, in your signatures as you want to. And you've got loads of tags Love in it. there. You've got um, uh, some squares in there. You've got some words in there. You've also got some edger dies in there. There's loads in there. Yeah, but there's loads in all of them, to be honest. And when mm. I've made the samples with the journal so far, I've actually made it just with that journal die set. Right. So obviously if you move across all four of them within yeah. this bundle, you've got a lot of mix and matchability, or so, however yeah, you want to say it. Um, uh, and obviously you can use it with existing journal dies or any journal dies that you're going to buy in the future. But they are, it's a really good set this because they're all very different. I love it. Now with regard to these ones you've got savings across the board um, which means you're actually saving £28. So it's a brilliant saving with regard to this one. So 109 dies, there's a lot of dies in there. Um, and of course I haven't mentioned extended delivery, let me just mention that as well because with regard to this one, 23rd of uh, December. So you're not going to receive this in time for Christmas, but oh my goodness, what a, what a joy to play with these come mm, the new year. Mm. Maybe with all the photographs that you'd be taking Absolutely. over um, Christmas as well. Yeah, a, a perfect for using the little tiny um, yeah. uh, printers that you've got Definitely. from oh, your mobile brilliant. phone. Yeah, oh, I've got one of those, I love it. Yeah. Um, that reminds me, I need to get some more paper for it. <laughs> so if you're wanting to get hold of yours, the details are on this screen. That's going to give you those sets at the bottom, but whole fire if you're liking everything so far. I just need to show you a couple of other die sets that you potentially you're going to want to go with everything then I've got the perfect way for you to get hold of them so the top set that we've got these are brilliant because you've got your um, uppercase alphabet with regards to this one and you've got little kind of tabs on them as yeah, well so, you, so they, they, they've got you know a little hole either side of the yes. letter so you can actually make a, a banner out of them because you can just join all the holes together whether you string them together or whether you um, put pearls in between or if you just uh, glue them together whichever. you've also got you can see there you've got pennants uh, 
the letters won't fit on the pennants because they're a little bit wide for that, but they will fit on the flag. Oh, okay. Yeah. So You've also got another um, kind of pennant there with a heart on it. So if you run that through and then uh, you can ink through and you'll see the heart come out as well. Nice idea. There you go. Yeah. Love it. There you go. So that is that set. 14.99, 34 dies featuring on that one. But as I say, if you like the look of that one alongside everything else and hold fire just a few moments. Then we've got another alphabet to set, um, set to share with you. So this one hasn't got the little connective holes in it, but it's quite a large alphabet. This it's one. quite a large alphabet. Mm. It, it, you've got, you've got your, 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 your letter and then you've got your shadow. But they're really cool, actually, because um, the, a lot of the letters, like, well, the, like the O, the Q, the mm -hmm. A, the D, they're, they're very blocky, so they yes. don't have the detail cut into the inside die. So you could put a stencil through them if you want to. You could um, put a photograph in the O or the Q that would like oh, look really nice cute, idea, cool. Yeah. You could actually cut the two dies together, and that would give you another look, a very slim die yes, yeah. if you wanted to. Very true. So, you know, there's a lot of possibilities with it. I love it. There you go. So, if you like the look of those, all well, the details are on your screen. 52 dies coming together for £19.99. But what about if you want it all? And this is the way that lots of you have been getting hold of this one because you've got an additional saving on everything that we've been chatting about. So, the details are up on your screen. As you can see, everybody is saving an additional amount on this one. But Freedom members, you are saving even more. Look at that. Now, you're actually saving £89.49 overall. So, the saving that you can see on your screen is an in addition to all the other savings that we've been talking about. But when you consider the dies that we were looking at at the bottom of our counter, as you can see, those journaling dies, you'd normally pay £89.96p for those. So there's a difference of 50 pence. So in effect, it's saying that if you're wanting everything, then for just that additional 50p, you are getting those four large die sets at the bottom where you're getting 109 dies. Mm. That is why this is the kind of deal that if you're not a Freedom member already, you certainly need to become a Freedom member because you'll be saving on your post and packing as well. And, of course, you'll have a whole month's worth of your Freedom membership to take advantage of. If you decide that you don't want to continue with it, then fair enough. But please, if you are considering this whole bundle, then make sure you do become a Freedom member, even if it's just for this one item. 0555 if you're wanting to get hold of that bumper bundle. But as I mentioned, everything is available individually, and the website's probably the best place for you to go shopping because you'll find all the different things that we've been speaking of different bundles you can pop things into your baskets and then of course you can have a little look at the total you can spread the cost as well might be that you're wanting to look at some of those fabulous stencils we've got a bumper bundle with regards to stencils also when you come to check out your order keep an eye on those end of call items especially if it is those stencils that you're looking at because some of them are available individually so you um, can shop accordingly to what you require that's the beauty of the way that you can shop on our website and of course if you aren't shopping online but you're speaking to our call centre then your call operator will be able to help you with everything including those gorgeous papers and the slimline paper pads as well I've not seen those before oh and do check out that leather those leather sheets sorry i'm getting a bit carried away now those leather sheets are incredible and there's so many different colors to choose from and you're going to pick any three of those for just 11.99 oh we've got some cracking things on the mm. show julia sport for choices to watch right with. what do you expect I mean, <laughs> now we had uh, i was going to start off because we had a question in the previous hour hour about okay. the uh, leather she sheets and um, whether you could die cut with them and uh, because I didn't have any um, I've got some now uh, but because I didn't have any at the time I hadn't tried them so oh, okay. I have tried them now right how did you get on um, now this is the I'm using the um, the Kuchi Creations Go Power machine and this is the um, the kind of outer die of the square journal, which we're going to look at first of all in the demonstration. So um, to cut a cover, you want to use the outer die, and so that your signatures are going to fit, you need to pop this die in the centre there and run it through. Zzz, there's the, the running through noise for you. I like that. It's a lot quieter what, than what the actual if you've machine. What you've got a manual machine? <laughs> Fair enough. There you go. <laughs> You need a bit of oil on your manual machine, I think, Julia. I need a lot of oil. A lot of oil. <laughs> right, so, so uh, and I, I did pot it, uh, I have got the um, the metal shim in the machine as well, and I did pop it through twice, but you can see it's cut absolutely fine, uh, no problem. It's nice, simple outline, that one. like it. Yeah, yeah, so it's a plain die, so it, it's cool. Then I had a go at cutting the wraparound uh, Ooh, okay. for the... Oh, OK, this is quite the, an intricate design. The, yeah, so this is quite... So, so obviously, this is... Um, 
this die set um, from the, um, the the bundle. Right. Um, and now this was a little bit more of a challenge. Um, a few times I put it through. Uh, you can see my signature is absolutely fine. My signature holes, but. Uh, because this is quite intricate and quite fine, I found that one section was absolutely fine and cut and cut out, but then w some of the fibres caught here. So everything was kind of started to cut, so I just had to get in there with my scissors to finish oh, okay, it off. Yeah. I mean, I've still got all, you can see, I've still got all these little hearts mm -hmm. that I can use if I wanted to glue onto projects and things. So um it does work but with the more intricate dies you're gonna have to do some extra work with scissors as well so that's, that's not uncommon though is no, it if that's you've got not a weightier uncommon. card stock no. yeah, if yeah. you'd got uh, one of the other wraparound dies um which didn't have such intricate detail some of them have just got a plain flap on them okay then that would be absolutely fine but Perfect. you can see that is quite intricate i mean even with craft card i need to pop it through twice yes yeah. um there's a lot so, of cut points so there. i don't want you to say Julia says, and then it didn't work. I've told you honestly my experience of it. So, uh, but I mean, it is a beautiful cover for you to have for your wraparound journal. It's worth taking um, that few it, moments just to snip those last absolutely, pieces. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Beautiful. So give it a go. Thank you, Julia. Thank you for testing that ad, and thank you whoever asked the question. Um, those leather sheets, incidentally, they're leather look sheets with regards to these as well. You're going to get two A4 sheets, or there or thereabouts. Um, I think they might be the American. Oh, I don't know actually. No, what I think they are proper they A4, A4, yeah. A4. They seem yeah. to fit on the, the plates oh, really well, perfect. yeah. Uh, it's pick and mix, so you get to choose. So you've got loads and loads of different ideas and designs. Got two sheets in each one of these, but you're going to choose three packs. So are you going to go down that kind of winter route with those, or are you going to go for some very traditional style ones? Some of these will make some fabulous journal covers. Or maybe you are kind of hankering for that sunshine and those spring days where you can see you've got all of these elements. Now, of course, they're perfect for you to create your wraparounds, but equally so, if you've got dyes that you're wanting to cut embellishments to work with these, then potentially you could be using those as well. Yeah, as long as they're not too too intricate. That's, Don't go for very detailed nice flowers. flowers yeah. But, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I know that in the past I've seen when Lou's used them, uh, they will go through in, in your embossing folders, so you can emboss with them. Ooh, You'll okay. also be able to emboss through your stencils. Um, you can use inks, but I would use um, permanent inks rather than water-based inks. Um, and also you can use your paints on them as well so oh. you can use quite a, a few things with them but water based so on with them as well and you can stitch through them yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. Yeah. love it yeah. thank you julia okay. so what's the plan okay so we're gonna uh, i did this yesterday uh, in the launch hour but we're just gonna because we haven't touched on this one since then we're going to just run through the square style journal wonderful so uh, the, the first kind of leather um uh folder that I showed you uh, we, we, we're going through this one um, sorry words words fail me by last call my brain's puddled and um, yeah bear with so uh, I've used craft card for, for mine I do like doing covers in craft card and this is the sentimentally yours 350 GSM double-sided one so just like I explained to you with the leather uh, cover that I did we just cut the um, the, the outside of the journal with my uh, signature um, hole panel here. So that says that I can have um, three signatures within here. And signatures are a collection of papers that go together to form one section of the book. That's what signature means, just okay. in case you're wondering. It's good sometimes we get to mention that. So yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes I forget the word completely. <laughs> uh, so then you've also got, within the set, you've also got um, this die here. And this die will cut on around the outside, but it just scores there. So this is what you get. So this is your page to go in your journal. That's so you a nice cut. little card. It is a nice little card. Yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So it measures, if you want to know, it measures uh, just under four by four inches. So it is a really yeah. nice, and you can get your envelopes that size thank you as well. And things like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, everything that you, if you love your little square cards, everything within this particular die set is perfect to use with your square cards. So you, cu you cut as many of these as you want to use um, uh, in, in your journal. Then within this section, we've got a whole bunch of different things. So um, you've got another square die here, and that's going to cut you a mat. Perfect for your card making if that's what you're doing, but if that's not what you're doing, 
it could be the front of our album. Now, you've got your dies on a magnetic sheet there, Absolutely. Judith. They don't come on the magnetic sheet, no. though, but this is worth getting hold this, of, a magnetic this, I, sheet. I do this with all of the Studio Light dies. I do it with all my dies, full stop, nowadays, anyway, because I've got all the information I want on my packaging. I know what, what die number it is for future shows, Perfect. but I've got my inspiration there, so if I forget what I'm doing, I, I can re re oh, refer yeah. to that. That one die set, you've got 36 dies it's in incredible. there, so you don't want to lose any of those. No, you do don't you? want to lose any of them. It's incredible. So so we've got our, 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 our piece here that we can either use as a mat, so it can either go on here, you see that, it, I know that's the same colour, mm -hmm. but it would either go on there or we can have it on the front of our journal like that. So say we're going to decorate the front of our journal, say. Okay, so that's going to go on there. We've also got this die here, which is, is, is almost like a bit of a petal shape to me, although there's yeah. only four pieces. So that cuts this out here. And I know that those that know will look at that and think, hang on a minute, I know what that does. It's not for the front of a card or for the front of an album at all. You're absolutely right, but it doesn't mean to say you can't use it that way. So it has got score lines here, but to me, that's just detail. That's just detail. Do, would they fold up to make a little envelope? Mm -hmm. They do. Nice. Absolutely, they do. But you can still use them on the front of your card. <laughs> then you've got a whole series of squares here. And they could be for mats and layers. So we could have coordinating with our craft card and our chocolate bliss, bliss and our hot pink, all from Mr. M's Sentimentally Yours. We could have a couple of mats and layers. Nice. We've got loads of circles on here as well. We've also got some words. We've got uh, wonderful things inside. Ah. So we can cut our things inside into one of the circles and that could be the front of our what journal. Brilliant idea. Okay. But as you rightly said, as you rightly said, moving away from that for a minute, just reinforce, if you're cutting out of card, just reinforce your score lines with a, uh, a scoring tool and a scoreboard. Okay. Then you can fold that up into a little envelope. Oh, Absolutely. Cute. And I'm just oh, I forgot to mention. I've just noticed that twenty four ninety nine for that die set is brilliant value for money well, by itself. Well, thirty quid brilliant yeah. value. Oh, Full gosh, price yeah. is brilliant value. Exactly, yeah. This is the thing. Which, I mean, obviously, we're talking about a considerable purchase with everything, which is yeah. brilliant because but of the you saving. don't have to buy all of them exactly. if you don't want them all. Exactly. If you like the idea of making your small square, or your, not particularly small, but your square albums, then do consider going for the dies by themselves. You've not got the savings that we're talking about on the larger scale, but you've still got an amazing set of dies for twenty four ninety nine. Yeah, so you're, yeah. Still, you're still saving yeah. a fiver, oh, aren't you? Yeah. So yeah, it's so I having. forgot to tell you about these. There are there are four of these as well. Okay. So these are like corner dies. So obviously these. These will fit in here because that's what they do on the dot on the actual um, packaging. They'll yes. fit there, so they give you uh, an extra little um, embellishment on there, which makes it. But they, you can also have them fitting onto your flap of your oh, envelope, which good. is rather lovely. Yeah. Yeah. So if you were actually wanting to include this in your album, you could do, or you could have a little kind of thank you or something in there. So we could actually Are bring they identical in. those triangles, so the same yes. detail. So that's the yellow. Like that because yeah. you can just put one pass, you cut all four. Exactly. Sometimes yeah. I like that. Sometimes uh, people think if you've got more of one die, it's it's just a waste of money because that's basically going to be a different die. For for, for me, yeah. if you want to cut multiples, yeah. I want more than Most one time die. You would need four of those, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So especially when they're putting it with this outside yes, die anyway. Yeah. So um, if I include the word wonderful, I can cut into one of my squares and oh. I put a little bit of tape on the back. It's yeah. actually low tack at the moment. But you can see that um, when you actually cut them and leave them in, you can still read them. So oh. you could have a little envelope there and inside there could be like, will you marry me? <gasps> oh, I don't you. know. I'm already engaged. <laughs> You know, would you say, <laughs> know but you. you know, David could have given you that or oh, something. Oh no, he never thought no, of no. that. No, no, <laughs> but, but you know, uh, or um, or um, I know, it come out, a uh, it, come out uh, a free dinner or something yeah. like that. Or you it know, could be a little treasure trail or something. Yeah, yeah, it, it could be. Key. So you could have loads of these dotted around the house or, or something, couldn't just you? Just a little envelope with a little kind. Of, sometimes with the kids, I used to do that. If I knew they'd had a bad day at yeah. school, then the yeah. next day in their lunchbox, I put a little card. Yeah, or you could have like blowing yeah. a kiss or something. Like exactly. that, you know, anything, yeah. but it's just a really sweet little envelope. So, so right off the bat, there's two at least.
least two uses there that you've seen mm -hmm. with this that die there so it's so cool but you can include that in your album if you wanted to so on our pages as well so if we actually think right we've done the front cover but we haven't we haven't stopped we've got some really cool dies in here so we've got let's have a look i love this set i know it's Fabulous. absolutely tremendous we've got this here which can be a pocket oh okay right. so imagine that that's on that could be on the front or on the inside imagine that's a pocket so if you just seal it on there and there you can slide loads of things in it or we've got loads of circle dies here and then mats and layers but we've got this one here but it's it's like flat there and it's also not got a cut edge That's so okay, well. you can cut that into anything oh, like and a make window. yourself a little peepee -pee oh, hole oh that could be like a little spaceship or a porthole yeah. or a little, something like that you know, if you wrote it around, oh i'm just thinking now our little rocker card with our spaceship on there you could almost have that yeah. sitting on top of that but you could also you? go in the circles yeah. as, uh, uh, maybe as well so i mean we could we could grab um, I love it. and each hour you've been concentrating on one set of dice yes you? i mean you've hardly scratched the surface oh of no what you i can haven't do with these. i haven't it's just not time it yeah. does take a while to cut everything i will actually tell you that but look, so you can actually have, say, uh, perhaps put a little butterfly in there, perhaps. Yeah. And you can bring in, um, I don't know, bring that and you can bring that in there, perhaps do a real mat and layer so you've got things inside. So some, could, whoever opens it knows that they've I'm got to open like that. And like a scrapbook page because you could cut four you could of have those, a photograph. have them as segments and have a little photograph yeah, in each yeah, one. Yeah, so, so that means look inside, you know, oh. and then you've got, you've also got, um, uh, little flowers as well that you can bring in uh, to decorate it so that could be a whole page that's on your book and it's interactive isn't interactive it? That's yeah, yeah. So, it. so that's one one of the page ideas that you can have there's, there's so much there's so much there's also oh okay within right. the square so again another page using using a different color though you've also got one of your squares if you look closely I'll find it where is it there it is it catches you out this sort of thing you think you, you're cutting a mat and layer and you're not um this one doesn't have a cut edge there oh i see so again you could make little peepholes to go oh. in here as well so we've also got so i suppose you could put like a little uh, um maybe a permanent marker pen or something like that to indicate if there's not all cut lines on them but to be honest you could you yeah. could but you get to know your dies yeah it's only, it's only the first time that you won't realize yeah. after that you'll be looking for it so we can put because we've got all of our mats and layers we can put all our mats and layers together and we can pop things <laughs> i like these things inside things inside so you could put some things in there you could bring in and those i suppose it depends on where you want the hinge it could be opening like a um, left kind to of, right yeah. whichever yeah 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 you can oh, do whatever you want right. to with it and you can decorate these sections here as well you know oh, that I sort of thing sets. it's really cool isn't it yeah. so so that's another idea for a page also within this set which we haven't talked about you've got uh, some edges so if oh, you um there's four of them mm -hmm. so if you use this one which is the biggest one you can actually change the edge of your album so that it's a decal edge okay yeah you can also use um this next size down this size which is the same shape to cut the edge of your pages so you cut your page first yeah. because obviously it's not going to fit on top of the die and then you have to run it again through again if you want to do both sides just with that on and then you've got a decal edge to it and if you're going for the bumper bundle there's quite a few different edge dies so i'm guessing that some of them will cross pollinate you can kind of play around you might have to snip off little bits or yeah. whatever but yeah yeah, yeah. you okay. can play around with it so, so so you can get that you can oh you've also got uh, some other different ones as well so i've got a few that i've cut for kind of inside but i'll do it on the outside um no we'll do it on the inside let's do a plain one let's pop it on here so i've used uh, these are the slimline pads the the fades i ones. love these because they kind of got gradients of color in yeah, them, aren't they? yeah yeah so so because we, we've got two other edge dies we've got um this one which cuts like a moroccan feel to oh, it yes, yeah. which i've cut those bottom two of and then this one here 
which is um, it's almost like little fingers or something. I don't know what it is. Or aliens they look like or something. Flowers. I think they look like half a flower. Or Pac-Man or something. I don't know what it is, but it looks it looks different, doesn't other it? Video so, games are available. Yeah, I must admit, I was looking at the bottom one and thinking about a video game. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> so uh, anyway, so. Um, so again, you can you can kind of um, cut bits and pieces to pop inside there. So um, you, we could perhaps have that. Uh, we've also got um, this little die here, which okay. is this kind of stacker one here, uh, and. Um, I've taped it with all the little bits and pieces in there, so because I thought we could paper piece if we wanted to. But if we just take it out of there, oh, that's nice. Like you can deco. have this. Uh, yeah, it's quite Art Deco, but mm. it's got kind of different bits that you can you can kind of uh, stick them over. So you could oh, pop them like yes. that, or you can go like that, so, yes. or, or, or like we, a fancy paper clip. Yeah, it, it is yeah. like a fancy paper clip, or it can just be an embellishment, yeah. uh, or you can be pointing to something. But you know, if you stick these down so that you leave the insides empty, mm -hmm. so you could you'd actually, you'd be able to slide it in. And use it as a pocket. So nice, yeah. I don't know. I haven't got many uh, tags left. Actually, there's not ta there's not tags in this one. Um, there is a banner though. So, but you could put you can imagine, can't you? Putting tickets and things all over the place, just to you know yeah. slot in there yeah. as something interesting to have with it. Um, with the banner, with the banners as well. You've also got. Um, this one. I don't know whether I've not got one. That's Those right are the colour. words that you were showing us before fit on the banners as well. Uh, yeah, they fit on this oh, banner. Okay. They fit on that banner there. So, nice. so we could have on the outside. You could have wonderful things inside in, instead of how we did before. Yes, yeah. or, um, uh, or you could just have, you know, wonderful just down the bottom there oh. like that. So, so there's lots and lots of different permutations that you can do with all the all the things that are in here. Obviously, I've never stuck one of these together yet because I keep on thinking having too much fun playing. Having too much fun playing. But also, as well, it turns your scraps into usable pieces because yes. uh, you often have kind of odd shaped scraps don't you or you don't, just a little bit at the end of a pad or something you like don't that know, you, you want to kind of trim it off to make it neat yeah but yeah at the same time you don't want to trim it off because you might need that sticky out bit at some point but no, with something but like this you're turning it into a usable piece that you can put into your little pots and your little containers and then you just go straight to them when you exactly, need them exactly yeah and yeah. things like the reinforcers that are always in all yes, of the kits yeah. as well i mean look at this this is just the other side of that that's so that was a page. Yeah. So so that and then that became the bottom. So think about yes. perhaps how you're cutting things. Yeah. Because you could you because normally you'd perhaps cut it and think, oh, that that's it, that's that's waste. But yes. you can actually use them all up. I mean, to me, the Th th this is just it's just lovely and every single bit that I've used you can use on the front of a card yes. or you can use them within the other journals that you've got yeah. or you, you, you can pop them in your happy planner you yes, know you can yeah. do all these sorts yeah. of things with whatever paper crafting that you do anyway I love it Julia thank you oh I could have watched that flowers it's like a little <laughs> it's like one of those things that you start opening the flaps and you open it open it open it and before you know it it's covered the whole of your table because there's so <laughs> much content in there um, and I love it demonstrations like that are just so useful but I think it kind of shows how just one of those die sets can go so far with the different possibilities that's why so many of you have been going for the bumper bundle because obviously we're looking at square with regards to that particular one but then you've got lots of other scope so of course the die that Julie was working with was one of the sets that's down at the bottom and they are included within the bumper bundle that we've got now they are available by themselves when I say by themselves as a set of four as you can see for 89 pounds and 96 pence they are available individually but that price at the bottom of your screen has got a saving attached to it so if you like the idea of all four of those then that's possibly the best way to go for it but when you're looking at the bigger bundle that we've got here and the freedom membership discount the saving that you're actually getting is nearly 89 pounds and 96 pence it's just 50 pence shy which means that when you're going for everything as a freedom member in effect for those four dies that you can see at the bottom there you are paying just 50 pence 109 dies you're looking at there for 50p. Okay, Julie, it's my job. I don't think you can get that better <laughs> anywhere, can you? I need you? the money. I don't, you can't get it.
any, anywhere though, can you? Can't, you, can't, you can't, I mean, if we were to say to you, one die for 50p, that is brilliant value yeah, for yeah, money, absolutely. isn't it? absolutely. Not 109 die, 109 die. <laughs> now, with regards to this set, uh, if you're wanting to get hold of it, then it's so, so simple. You just take the details that are on your screen, jump onto the website, place your order. If you're not a Freedom member, to get that discount that we've been talking about, you need to check the box as you're checking out your order. What you'll see is the savings appear and your post and packing will disappear because, of course, that is included as part of your Freedom membership. And then you have the ability to spread the cost as well. Now, coming up over the weekend, we've got some amazing events um, starting. You've probably seen some of our, our trailers for it. So so it's going to be a week, well, a week, should I say. Well, is it right the way through until the end of the year? It's, it's running for quite a while, this event. But what it means is you'll be seeing lots of different shows with some incredible savings, and you won't want to be paying the post and packing. So be, by becoming a Freedom member now, you're maximising the opportunity of saving all of those deals that we've got coming up over the next term, a few days. So please do take advantage. This is a deal that is going to go up in price, and you are going to miss out on a huge saving. So please do make sure you get involved as soon as you possibly can. Now, of course, Julia's been working with lots of other things, so very, very quickly, I'm just going to be explaining some of the other things that Julia's worked with on some of the previous shows, including the most incredible stencils, and these are beautiful. Stencils, masks, some people call them, I mean, they are entitled masks, but with regard to these, you kind of got that stencil capability, but it's equally it's protecting an area at the same time, isn't it? So with these, you're going to get all four of them with an incredible saving of a fiver. Now, as I mentioned, you can get hold of these when you're checking out your order, you'll see that you will be presented with the opportunity to get them individually. So if you're looking at these and thinking, oh yeah, I, I love the whole set, but I can't stand swans, then that's fair enough, that's okay. Well, you have got the ability of getting the others, but do bear in mind, your saving of a fiver might mean that that extra uh, mask that you've got, you could gift to somebody. So on the website, you'll see five pounds and 49 pence each. So as I say, when you come to check out your bumper bundle, or your paper pad, or whatever it is that you're purchasing during this hour, you can add these items in at the end of the show, including that fabulous snow effect meeting as well so you can add those in at the end of your um, you're checking out your baskets and our call operators can help you with that if you're not shopping online there's actually loads there that you can check out so that's as simple as that add to your basket and then check out in one go but the four of them coming together you're saving five pounds with regards to these and these are brilliant because you've got the ability to create some really pretty finishes love I love a mask like this one where you've got lots of content in there. This one's what I call a value for money one because you've got so many different designs, Julia. Yeah, I mean, they, they, I keep on saying in every ad, remember that these these masks are actually A5. Yeah. So they yeah. are huge That's masks. That's true, actually. You forget about that, don't Yeah, because on the telly you can't tell whether That's they're true. A6 or A5, can yeah. you? This but, one's a nice one. It's a useful one for building up your And scenes. they don't have edge, proper edges. They've got, got solid edges to them, yeah. so you can move them up and down your paper and obviously your clouds will kind of reflect the where you put them on the paper. It's like making a scene just from yeah. that one, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. And, and the hearts, I mean, this is lovely. Um, I mean, obviously, you've got the swans there, which are really cute. I love this. It's almost like a beaded curtain that you've got You've almost got, there. got three there because you've got your That's top true, section, yeah. you've got the swans, and you've yeah. got the bottom section. Again, the bottom section is not a, is not, um, a solid line. Yes. So, again, you know, you, you've got the heart kind of inference on the bottom. Or what, what the word is, yeah. It's almost like it's raindrops and they're gathering isn't on the ground. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, really pretty. This one's a nice one because yeah. this one, oh my goodness, look at building up that scene mm -hmm. from that. Yeah. That looks amazing. See, I would use that with all my fairy hog stamps. Yes, yeah, perfect. Mm. Absolutely perfect. So there you go. All of those come into you for £16.96. But as I mentioned, if you want to shop for them individually, have a little look as you're checking out your order. You can do. But don't forget, you're saving a fiver. So it's like you're buying three of them, and the fourth one's being given to you as a bonus review, isn't it? So do make sure you do your maths before you check out your basket. Something else you might like to add into your basket is this lovely bundle that we've got here. And it's a really pretty design. Now, obviously, as we mentioned, it's not going to get to you in time for Christmas, so we're not talking Christmas cards with this one. But, of course, we've been talking a lot about memory albums, photo albums. Those photos you will have ready to print off in the new year when these papers arrive. So that's why it's a brilliant idea to add these into your basket because, of course, if you're going for the bumper bundle and you're going to be making your albums, you could be creating your pages and your embellishments with these. And they're brilliant because you've got, obviously, your embellishments that you can fussy cut on one side and then you flip it over and you've got your fabulous scrapbook paper on the other. So you decide which of the size that you're wanting to work with. Um, or you could go for a couple of sets of these and that way you'll have all of those different pages there and you don't have to worry about them. They're only £9.99. Oh, look at these.
Oh, don't they look at it? You can almost imagine looking through a patio window, can't you? you know what she... Leonie was like when she saw that one. Oh, gosh, yeah. She's going to <laughs> melt down, isn't she? Absolutely adorable. Um, and again, the colours. I mean, very traditional with your reds Remember and greens. Remember, they're double-sided as well. That's right, they yeah. are, yeah. 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 So, so, so the, the hearts that we saw on the yeah, pencil. Yeah, so the previous one has got uh, a little dog you've seen on over. the back as well. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't flip that one over, did I? Beautiful. Are they good? They're, they are, they just, are just because I can I'll show you that one again. They're, they're, they're really good weight to them they as are, well. Yeah. Um, yeah. And these are all oh, that's a nice similar one. colour family. Yeah, so remember, it's a scrapbook paper. It's 12 by 12, but you cut that into four, you've got four six by six cards. And you've got an area to write on as well with yeah. the lines, haven't you? Or, yeah. of course, you can use them with your concept cards. That's and true. with your journals. Yeah. So, it, you know, it's never ending as to what you can do with them. And all those little pockets you're going to be creating. You've got some fabulous little cards yeah. that you could be popping in there as you, well. And you can fussy cut. Uh, uh, and, uh, there is a fussy cut page somewhere as well. Um, Oh, that might be on the. Oh, is that the first one? That particular one? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Perfect. so yeah, you can put cut elements out with that. Wonderful. There you go. Now you're going to get all of those for just nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Of course, as I said, if you do want to double up, then you can do two nine seven seven one one being the item number, as you can see there. But of course, Julie was working with those fabulous kind of gradient colour pads. Now we've seen these before. I've not seen them as a slim line before. I've seen them as more of your A five size. But I love the idea of these because sometimes you don't necessarily need a full A5 sheet so this no. is just what you need and of course some uh, some dies are um, slim line now yes so yeah. you need them a little bit taller mm -hmm. um, I mean I have got both the smaller size and the slim line with me so you can oh, see okay, the difference the in the height oh, okay, um, so, so sometimes the, the the smaller ones just aren't good enough for your um, slim line dies that's a good point actually and I love these because they go from the gradient yeah um, through to your the solid white color gradient one I just it's it's absolutely stunning Gorgeous, you can see from the lightest tone there, right the way through to the deeper concentration of the And they colours. are double sided and you've got a different mm. colour on each side. Don't throw this bit away either because that's a useful bit to it have. It is a useful bit. Isn't it? Look at that. Doesn't that look fabulous? Absolutely gorgeous. That natural graduation for the most intense colours right the way through to your lighter tone. Now you've got, um, there's four different choices with regards to these. You choose any two, but £11.49, I'd be tempted to go for all of them, to be honest, because you've got all sorts of um, kind of eventualities. You've got your pa pastel tones with these, you can see there. You've got your gorgeous kind of vibrant tones that we were just looking at. You've got your floral colours with regards to these as well. Um, and then you've got your, what's, what's the one there at the front there? I can't remember. Oh, that was your floral. There's one that I've missed. Is it that one? That's your pastels. What have we got? Oh, your white faded. Yes, yeah. white faded. Yeah. And then you've got your pastel radiant, um, gradient as well there. So, all oh, beautiful. Left pounds and 49 pence. Um, 341027. So, Julie, you've got your paper pads there. Yeah, I've got my paper pads here just so you can see the difference in the sizes. So, um, I don't oh, want to move those over too big. as well. Yes, yeah, yeah, well, so, I didn't realise. Um, yes, yeah, so you can see. Um, they are slightly longer and that just that tiny little bit makes such a difference it's only a little bit but such a difference but they are a narrower um, so you can see they're that much narrower okay uh, it does actually say the sizes on them so um, in real money inches we've got 5.8 by 8.3 on this one and we've got 4.5 by 8.7 on this one so it's 0.4 of an inch longer okay Wonderful, thank you. Thank yep. you for that, Julia. So there you go. If you went for the previous ones, it gives you a good comparison with those. And Julia quite rightly says sometimes those longer slender dies, you need that extra length on your A5, don't you? So there you go. Um, at 341027, you're going to choose any two of those. But if you want to go for all of them, then you can do. Just go back in and add your final two options, and then you've got all of them. So, Julia, what are we doing next? Right, we're doing this um, circle card uh, before. Uh, uh, again, we did. I did one of these last night at eight o'clock with okay. Richard. So, um, uh, but we're going to use stencils this time. So, um, the largest die in the set is the one that's going to cut your outside piece, as with all of the concept um, dies, and they all cut out of an A5 piece of card. Okay. Uh, so that means that obviously when they fold up, they're roughly an A6, or they fit in an A6 envelope, which is I quite like. Well, it's quite nice to be able to work, work on a smaller 
smaller piece rather than having to use an A4. Of course, that means uh, if you've got an A5 machine, these are going to work through no problem. In okay. fact, all the dies that are on the show will go through an A5 machine. The only exception is the uh, the large die for for this this, and you can do it by just hanging your die out of your A5 plate and then t shimming it along after it's been through once and then pass it through a second time. Wouldn't so you can it? still um, do it on an A5 uh, machine. I just mentioned we've changed the details on your screen, but of course if you've gone for the complete bundle then don't worry, the die that Julia's working with you will get in that complete bundle. But it is part of the one day special as well, the details of which were on your screen. So there's two ways, well there's actually several ways you can get hold of the die that Julia's working with. Um, the um, one day special, which is the details that are popping up on your screen, of course you've only got till six o'clock to take advantage of the saving there and that's for these four dies that you've got at the top here but then we have got that complete bundle at the bottom of the screen we're going to switch the details around because it still includes this set that we're looking at here and still includes that die that Julie is working with but it also includes everything else and don't forget this is where you get the biggest saving especially if you're a freedom member but equally so if you want to shop for individuals maybe that one by itself then do jump onto the website because you can get hold of that one for £22.99 and these are all considerations so if you do want to shop individually then by all means you can do it gives you all those different possibilities it's good to have so many different options there's just, nothing yeah. more annoying yeah. than seeing a bundle and you don't want you only want one of those in yeah. the bundle there's nothing more annoying than that but yeah it is a good value though the big bundle so you can see that they're all going to cut out of a5 cards so i'm using sentimentally yours um card which is 270 gsm i believe lovely um and I've gone ahead because I know that you guys have been watching me glue and stick and, and it can get a little bit boring. So I've cut the next, you can see on here, I've already cut the next set of dies so uh, the out of black. In. The right, next yeah. one in and then I've got my um my card go that blank going i mean you could have loads of these ready uh, for doing the top layer off yeah and i have reinforced again my uh, my fold lines with my score board and my scoring tool it's just so cool. You just want to do this all the time, <laughs> isn't it? It's it, just, it? I was expecting a little squeaky noise or something like that when you're doing it, Julia. That's my knees. That, that, that's my knees, that is. Right, so, okay. <laughs> so you. now we're going to decorate it. And we're going to decorate it with the stencil. But okay. um, I'm going to just show you a little kind of um, tip, I think. Or shall I just do this? Let's, do, let's just do this. Right, okay. So let's do, do the circles first of all. And this is from uh, the pastel uh, shades, not okay. the fades, the nice. pastel one. And um, we're going to use this uh, meadow uh, stencil. Oh, this is so pretty, this one. And we're going to use, I think, some of the colours from Studio Light. I think not metallic might work nicely. These are, uh, they're probably not available, but they have been on the craft store before. Okay. Um, but you can use your distress if you want to. Um, um, check out the brand section, you might find them. There might be know. some extra items added to the brand section. Um, so just going to pick some flowers really to, to pop on here. Nothing really complicated. I'm not going to bother doing greens as well, I'm just going to do it all in the same colour because it's quicker. So we've got, oh, look at that. Isn't it pretty? Really pretty. Very so we'll get, achievable as well. Yeah, very thing. achievable. Not, not tricky at all. Let's go for a, a bigger flower in the centre there, maybe. Now, these aren't self-adhesive, these masks, no, are they? No, no, no. See, no. that's good as well. Yeah. So this will probably go all over the place, but that's fine. Oh, it's moved. Little tinker. It's harder to do it when you're... Um, doing a small area if you're worried mm -hmm. like i did on the eight o'clock uh, six o'clock show yesterday yeah. you can actually kind of uh, tape them all together so that uh, you, you're dealing with a bigger area oh, so right. okay. um th there's a slight uh, sheen on this ink it's uh, a metallic ink so it's really quite cool so we've got one on the center there let's see if, let's turn this one over now because you can turn your stencil course, over yeah. and we'll have the same one was we've used before but we'll have it on the other side ah, so it's going in the, the other direction, direction yeah. yeah absolutely and hope that we don't get the ink from the other side on it because i didn't clean my stencil it's a really nice color this Put you on this one. Yeah, so there's our three bits and pieces. Wonderful. So um, then I think what we'll do on the bottom sections 
here, these mm -hmm. bits here, is we'll have a bit of the greenery going on at the oh, bottom. Yeah, good idea. Which would be quite nice. So I am going to just turn these over and figure out that's that way, like this, and grab some low tack tape. make my life easier <laughs> just doesn't have to be perfect you just need them to be ish, ish together more ish than that though <laughs> <laughs> there's ish and there's ish and that, wasn't ish, ish. Ish. that wasn't ish enough <laughs> just on the back and then we can take uh, a green let's have a darker green it might have a bit of blue on it, but that's fine. I'm not worried. And obviously this isn't wide enough because this is bigger than an A5, but we can easily um, kind of stop oh, it there and move it over. Right, yeah. okay, yeah. See, that's a useful little section on that one, isn't it, as it's, well? Yeah, it is. Loads of times. Yeah, so, so don't think of your stencil as a whole. Don't think, oh, I don't make A5 cards mm. or projects, so I don't, I don't need that. Um, because you just make sections work for you. I mean, I've just used circles, haven't I? So, yeah. you know. So then we just move it along because we've got that gap anyway. So nobody will know that it wasn't a complete piece, except it's moving again. It's a very windy day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the breeze is moving the grass an awful <laughs> lot. There we go. Oh, lovely. That works, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so that's all the inking will do. Obviously, you can do as much as you want. You can have extra little bits around the side, but I'm just giving you an idea more than anything. Okay. And now we can glue these in place. Glue. I'm not sure if the studio light glue is at the end of call as well, but um, that's what I'm using. Um, I'm not sure. There was a lot to look at when there we was checked a lot to look at. There's a lot of different things on there. Mm. It's always worth looking at end of call. Do you get some bargains you on do, there? You do get some bargains, yeah. but you don't pay. If you're not, obviously, if you're a freedom member, it doesn't matter. But sometimes you just can't buy those items, you know, elsewhere, right, can yeah. you? Very true. Just, especially when you, I mean, I know studio light are here quite a bit. But um, because they're a Dutch company, you know, you can only buy things really when the shows are on. That's right. Some of, some of the shows, it, the stock isn't left on the website. No. After time. I, mean, I, no. I don't mean that in a way that you've got to get it. You've got to get it now. No. Um, but sometimes it, you might have to wait until there's another studio light show before they're available. Or they again. might, yeah. Or they mm. might not be. They might not put it's those true, on. Yeah. You know, yeah. it depends. I'm not sure where. I think Lou's on next, but mm. I'm not sure what date Lou's here. So put that one in the middle. Yeah. It does dry quite quickly actually, this glue. That one's going on the one that side. Actually, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, sometimes you want it to grab quickly. Yeah. And then that one's going to go in that direction. Obviously you could ink around the edges as well if you wanted Good to. Point, yeah. And then grab these two sections here and my low tack tape is usable for something else if i wanted to it's brilliant stuff that, isn't it yeah Very it's getting, useful sometimes to have. it's quite hard to get hold of yeah. you know we do sometimes see it um on some of our i can't think who brings it to us uh, pink it's like a scotch frog, tape, is isn't it? it pink frog oh, yes it might well be yeah there. i think it's pink yeah. frog I mean, you could add, uh, we've got, you know, with the sun stencil, you could add in the top section, you could pick uh, uh, sections out from the um, the sun stencil, you know, just to go around the oh, top. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. Some clouds and those and little stuff. dies that have cut out those different segments, I mean, that's so useful with yeah. just your general card making for your sentiments. Yeah, and I mean, obviously these, this, th you've got your circles and you've got your, um, your rectangles here that are good for your mats and layers. Mm. I might need to put some more glue on that one circle because it. I'm gluing them to save time, but then they're drying on me. <laughs> about three minutes or so left. So. Okay, I'm nearly finished because we're just going to put a few letters on there. Oh yeah, because of course you get the alphabets in the set the as well, don't you? Yeah. yeah. We get two sets of alphabet, let's say. But they're very different, aren't mm, they? Yes. Let's put another, another little bit of glue under there. Because I'm quite frugal with my glue. So I have got, from the banner ones, I've cut some flags and I've got 
the letters M, U and M. Because we are actually heading towards Mother's Day, aren't I know. we? Is it so March next year? Pardon? Is it March next year? Normally. So I think but rather than card making work, if you're making and selling your cards, now. You, you'll, yeah, you'll be doing it now. now yeah. So rather than cover up my beautiful flowers, I think I'm going to put them in this bottom section here because you can. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to add some. Do you, I mean, if you need to do a recap, I can just add the um, sure. glue. Well, we've only got a couple of minutes, yeah. so it's going to be you a very speedy one. But I mean, do, you do that then? Julia's quite right. I mean, we are coming to the end of the, uh, the last hour, really, that we're going to be seeing these live. So come 6 o'clock, the prices are all going to change because, of course, that's when we'll be introducing a brand new one-day special. So this one will draw to a close. That's why you need to get involved as soon as you possibly can. You'll have up until 6 o'clock. But don't forget, sometimes you can kind of get mis mis distracted and different things. Often I've seen a show and I thought, yeah, I'll come back and order that and then like it's kind of 8 30 or something oh my goodness i didn't order it did i and it's either a case that you miss out because it's sold out or it has gone up in price and as a freedom member i would not want to be missing out on this saving i mean this is a phenomenal saving with the biggest bundle you are saving it's pretty much the equivalent of the set of those um, fabulous dies down at the front there um, it's a brilliant one 89 pounds and 49 pence so in effect you're paying 50 pence those are the details at the bottom of the screen for that set of four dies not obviously the alphabet set but please don't use it because if you're going for the bumper bundle and let's face it even if you're spreading the cost over two payments on this one you're still going to be paying what you were expecting to pay we've got two or three flexi buys on this one I think it's two, isn't it? So, yeah, if you wanted to get hold of this one, um, so it's £161.91. pence. But, oh, it's three flexi buys as well. So that makes it even better, doesn't it? So even if you're only going to go for a couple of sets of those dies at £24.99, you might as well go for the whole set because you're going to get those dies you were planning on getting and so much more. Now, 30 seconds, Julia, and she's done it. Look there at that. There you go. What a beautiful card. Oh! Sorry. There you go. Sorry. Perfect. Oh, we're so cute. <laughs> Julia, when are you next back again? Uh, Saturday. Fabulous. I'm doing the last two hours for Sentimental Yours. Oh, yes, Phil's got a new one. Monday special, special yes. Yeah. On Friday oh, we'll to Saturday, to that. yeah. Oh, bless you. Well, I might not see you because I'm not in at the weekend. So oh, so happy Christmas, Christmas to you. And, uh, yes, I'll see you uh, after the big event. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you soon. Um, check out your basket. Take advantage while you can. And we'll see you a little bit later on. Bye-bye. Now, we've got Rich coming up after the break. He's going to enlighten you. You'll see what I mean in a moment. Then I'm back with a lovely Jenny Raymond and one day special before Leone's in the building. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons, and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. I'm Kathy and I'm Mel and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs. All of our products are manufactured in the UK and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products.
Hi, I'm Julie. And I'm Paula. And together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship, after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. Evening, hello, it's five o'clock, it's Richard here on the Craft Store. It's time for some sewing essentials, and to provide sewing essentials, we need sewing online, specifically Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Hello, hello. Right. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, cool. Um, very exciting. We are going to be making our way down this counter here, but we are going to be keeping socially distanced. <laughs> that's, the, that's what I was told, anyway. I've got a feeling it was just you didn't want to stand too close to me. <laughs> uh, we are going to make our way down and then back up again, and we've got lots and lots to look at. But uh, make, so make sure you shop ahead uh, on, the, on the website, of course, because we do have lots of great, great uh, prices for you there. Here's a quick uh, sneaky peek. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert, look, oh dear, we've ruined the ending, look. Oh no, that's season four, look, season five, that's what happens. We're going to get to the end of the show, and oh, that's the murderer, oh no. We've ruined the whole surprise now, haven't we? <laughs> Everyone knows what's happening. Okay, that's a sneaky peek, okay, but we are going to look at it all in more detail as we go along. So shop ahead. Now, uh, just before we start, I just have got to quickly ask you, um, sewing online, what's, what's the company about and how does this all work okay so we're an online um, company that um, designs and sources um, haberdashery and sewing essentials really so it could be storage it could be furniture lighting anything that you really need when you're crafting on sewing okay so we keep our eyes open in the market we design anything that we feel that's missing we have customer forums where we get feedback on how things are working not working how we can tweak them and hmm. um, so we really sort of listen to the customers and keep an eye on the market to see if there's a gap in the market because it's amazing when you actually start to look at how many knickknacks you, you you either really need or could do with you know I've got quite handy and help you out because yeah. there's me thinking well yeah sew machine and maybe something to put your bits and pieces in but I mean just starting off here for example I didn't even think for a second you'd be you'd, you'd have lamps yeah uh, as part yeah. of your range but of course it makes sense yeah it makes sense because obviously especially at this time of year the light you lose the light it's darker and um, not just for crafters either though it could be we get a lot of beauty therapists use them so mm. if they're doing beauticians lashes nails crafting it may be you do jigsaws um, you do cross stitch but, you know you've got a big use for them it might just be you want to do them use them to do your crossword at night yeah um, and instead of a lamp you want a lamp that you can direct over what you're doing at the time I love these I mean you might like me if you're a bit strange just want to keep fiddling with them and sort of like repositioning them moving back because wherever you put it it sticks doesn't it, it which does. is yeah. really really useful and it's kind of full 360 you can put yeah. it wherever you want yeah you can move it it's completely flexible arm so you can move it exactly where you want it yeah. has four levels of brightness okay. so it's got um, a touch um, switch here on this one and you just press it once and you get one level oh let's get let's bring the lights yeah, down it's always exciting when the lights yeah. come down um, and then you go twice and it yeah. goes up again up again and then you're on your full so the, so the first one's kind of like a dimmer light, yes. a dimmer setting, if you yes. like. And then the bright, the fourth is the absolute brightest that yes. you can go. Yeah. And how you, bright does it go? Is it like super bright? It is yeah. super bright, yes. Yeah. And it's a nice white light as well, mm. so it's not like an artificial light. Um, and the good thing is, um, you can see it's got, you can see the glow in the light. It's got quite a long direction of light, mm. but you can position it over your work or over your jigsaw, over your book that you're reading so it may be that you're reading but you don't want the main light on um, so yeah you can you know position it over there and you can see the light that it sheds out it's a really really um, long light on there as well I just love so. it when we bring the lights down it makes it Christmassy all of a sudden doesn't, doesn't it, it? Yeah. <laughs> can, we just, can we just do the whole show like, look at the Christmas tree lights across the studio oh it's lovely I wish you could see that um, that's that's great I love these lamps and um, what about the bulbs as well are they, do they do you have to replace them quite a lot no that you can't replace them so they're LED bulbs, yeah. so they're completely enclosed, but for each lamp you get around 25,000 hours worth of light. So yeah, I, I worked... That's, that's going to cover you, isn't it? I yeah, think. well I worked out on seven hours a day, it's nearly 10, 10 years. Yeah. So... I think yeah. I've done 25,000 hours on the craft store this week, oh, so, yeah. so actually <laughs> yeah. that could have been quite useful. 
<laughs> so they've got a really yeah. long lifespan as well. So, yeah. so if you're going to use it constantly, seven hours a day, you've got nearly ten years it's worth of life. Yeah, that's going to last yeah. you absolutely ages, isn't it? And now you've got, and with that particular version, you've got three different types of that particular version's got an organizer with it, yeah. Yeah, so great if you've got it on your desk. So you might want to put pens, scissors, paintbrushes. Uh, again, if you do beauty, you might want to put makeup brushes, things mm. like that, or even if it's for tools, screwdrivers, anything like that. So it's got really good, like two compartment there that you can put all, you know, your bits and bobs in there. That's fantastic, and it's, it's mains operated, of yeah. course, as well. They're, which we're going to yeah, they're fully mains operated. Yeah. So it comes with the, obviously the cable and the adapter with it as well. Um, mm. So yeah, they're all completely mains operated. That's great, love that, and uh, so that is uh, five nine seven five five six. That's the so stylish. So that's that's the sewing uh, sewing online's own brand, if yes, you like. So yeah. So stylish is our, our own brand. Right, yes. perfect. So stylish is LED lamp with an organizer there. Twenty four ninety nine. Let's talk about the price. There, it's normally uh, just shy of forty quid. It's fifteen pounds off. That's quite a decent yeah, saving, isn't it? it? Is, and yeah. it yeah, it's it's a good price for a good lamp, isn't it? Yeah. So. And as, as you say, it's, yes, of course, the sewers out there will have tuned in for the, for our sewing essentials. But anyone who watches the watches the craft store that's into paper crafting and and beyond, anyone who's kind of watching it because someone in the household is watching the craft store might go. I need that in my room for my office. I need that to, to read at night. Yep. That's perfect. I'd love that by my bedside. Yeah. My bedside lamp. I can pop all my bits and pieces and put my glasses in, my reading glasses in the organizer. Yep. Yeah. Or if you're a student in a flat because yep. you don't take a lot of room up. So, you know, they're multi purpose, multi use. Really good. And repositional as well. Now, that's so that's the one with the organizer. And then the, the one next to it is the one that doesn't have the organizer, right? Yep, yep. yep. So, this again, it's all very ergonomic. So, we've got this lovely curved base. Again, we've got the flexible arm. So, it flexes all the way down round and again it's got the four different light settings so exactly the same mm. it's touch sensitive so you've got one two three four so you <laughs> literally just touch the little dimple at the front right so now we're looking at this problem I don't think that's the quite the same design I know they haven't got the organizer but that looks like a different lamp as well yeah it, well it's the same lamp it's just got yeah. a slightly different head yes. so it's got more of a square head whereas yeah. the other one had um, a rounded head so it's got more of a square design of head okay. and then obviously it's got the lovely curved base and they've got a weight to them as well they've got a nice weight oh yeah they have. so yeah, there's no chance of knocking it knocking over, them yeah. over toppling over or anything like that so they've got a really really nice it's weight like, it looks to like them a, like a swan, doesn't it? It's it a does it's like a swan's head. neck. Yeah, really yeah, like that. yeah, it's really nice. Okay, so that's the flexible neck. And once again, you say it's got the four different settings on it, the four yep. different light settings. Uh, 000, 000 708 for that one. Uh, that's normally 34.99, but you can get it today on the craft store for 24 99 for that one there so you've got all sorts of different options here for you different price points with these lamps now we're gonna have to do a little bit of um jiggery poker here because we, we need to plug this one in don't we so i'll take shall i take this one out yeah and, and plug this one in because we've only got two plugs here uh, to plug into there we go we're going to change up the details right this is the third one here so this one shall i operate this one yep. here so just click this yeah so again there one there we go one two Three. Well, it does get bright, doesn't it? Yeah. Four. Oh wow! Look at that. And that one's got a built-in magnifier. So if oh, you lift yeah. up the little thing, okay, um, it's actually got a magnifier in there as well. So it's got a three times magnifier and a five times magnifier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so fantastic if you do cross stitch or needlepoint or anything like oh, that. I was going to see. Oh, I've got a knockoff watch on now. <laughs> Am I getting too close? <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Look at that. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. So, that, so how much is the magnifying, did you say, three you, times? Three times and five times. So three times is your normal magnifying, and yeah. five times is the little section in uh, the middle. Oh, there's a little tiny section. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's really good, especially for sewers, as you say, and anyone who's just doing anything fiddly, like with paper crafting as well, anything that just involves uh, thre threading a needle, threading I suppose, is the needle. absolute perfect yeah. one for that, isn't it? Yeah, it could yeah. be that you paint models, things, anything that you've got mm. intricate detail and you need to see. Yeah, I really, really like that. So, so stylish. She's magnifying LED desk lamp there. Again, it's got the flexible neck and it's got the dimmer on it again. It's got the four settings on it too. Looks the business. And then, of course, it's got this fantastic magnifying lamp on it uh, too. Right. So, there we go. Those are your three lamps. Let's move along now. I'm going to move along a little bit so you can, uh, that's it. You're going to look at this uh, back here. And I'm going to walk off to the other side of the studio. I'm here. Uh, <laughs> over to you, Michelle. What have we got? Okay, so we've got a desktop tote bag. So if you do craft, you can never have enough storage bags, enough organization. Um, so these ones are great. So 
first of all, it collapses down, so it arrives to you flat packed, um, mm. and the way it does that is the corners fold in. Oh, that's cool. So the corners fold in, all four, and yeah. then the base you just remove out. Okay. And then it just folds completely flat. Oh, that's flat. brilliant. So it arrives flat packed. Yeah. So if ever you decide that you're not going to use it, which is probably not very Never. often, no. but um, there is the option to fold it down. Mm. And then when it arrives, all you have to do is pop the base in. And then you have the option if if you want the bag where it's just one big opening, yeah. so you can do that. Or you can decide that you want a couple of corners and one big opening, so mm. you can do that. Or you can do the four corners and the opening in the middle. So it is quite versatile depending on what you want to use it for. Yeah. It's now, what, in, in terms of haberdashery, what would you use that for there? What would you put in which compartment? Um, it depends. It depends if you're doing knitting, if mm. you're doing sewing, so you can fit fat quarters, you can get templates in there. I mean, we have got one here ready filled just to show you exactly they hold a lot. Mm. So that's got absolutely everything in. We've oh, got wow. scissors, we've got pins, we've got tape measures, we've got pencils, and then if you look inside, we've got pins, fat quarters, zips, everything. So it holds a lot. So it may be that you do different projects, and you use one for your whole project. So you mm. go to a sewing group and you take it to the group with everything that you need in there. Yeah, I'm just going to move this out of the way so we we'll see it a little better. You've got the, uh, on the side here as well, you've got all these little knickknacks, all these little pockets and yep. bits and pieces all around it. So again, storage is key if you do yeah. any crafting. So we've got all the little pockets on the side. So we've got a little Velcro pocket. We've got the two pockets here. At the back, we've got a really large handy zip pocket here. So you could fit a small ruler, you could fit paintbrushes, things like that in there, even your scissors. Um, and then on the other side, we've got, again, more pockets in both sections. And then onto the front again, we've got the Velcro compartment hmm. to there and then also to above as well. So lots and lots of storage. Again, everything um, about it is designed obviously for stability. So we've got the lovely rivets holding the handles. Sorry, don't um, mind me, I'm just having a little look <laughs> while you're doing that. So we've got yeah. the rivets which hold the handles in place so you know that when you're taking it out it's sturdy. Hmm. Obviously we've got the base in the bottom as well so it doesn't sag at the bottom when it's full. Um, and again, it's um, a nice sort of wipe clean material so mm. you can wipe it clean as well beautiful 29.99 that's a 10 pound saving on that and these handles are, are, are strong enough to hold quite a lot of weight I, yeah. I'm, I'm sensing here yeah and they're padded yeah. as well so it's nice on your hand if you're carrying it anywhere yeah. um, it doesn't cut into your hand as well also it looks quite nice as well doesn't it, it? Does. I mean just apart from the fact that you've got the storage space it's just quite a nice pleasing design isn't it I think yeah. and, it's, and when you've got everything's kind of sticking out like that you sort of, you, you, you're almost kind of a you're showing off your collection almost in a way as well. And you know where it is as well because it's open, you can see it, so you're yes. not having to open up a box and rummage around. It's open there so you can see everything out and you know where it is. Oh, I really like that. Oh, yeah, and once again, are these your fat quarters here you yeah. managed to pop yeah. into the... Into, yeah. yeah, so they fit fat quarters in there yeah. as well. You can Perfect. get wool in there, you can get needles in there. Lovely. All right, I'm going to pop that there. That's really nice. 899-928 is the item number for that one. That's our Blue Heather Deluxe Store Tote Caddy Desk Spacecraft Organizer. Wow, that's a mouthful. That's a, that's a lot of wordage, isn't it? Um, it's a bag, basically, uh, to store all your bits and pieces in. Uh, 39 down to 29 and a lovely bag it is too. Now, we do have more storage options for you here on the craft store because uh, next up, Michelle, you've got this little case here, haven't you? Oh, yes, we have, Ooh. yeah. yeah. Um, so this is um, the traditional sewing box, as you know it. So, um, so Oh, is this the same bag? Yeah, oh, that's the same bag. That's apologies, why I looked apologies. at you. There you go. There you yeah. go. Do you want apologies. to do this one first? Or? Is that my fault? Is that my fault? It's always my fault, isn't it? <laughs> That's no problem. You know, I didn't move that, did I, actually? Did I move that? Yeah, you did. Oh, I'm don't... sorry. I'm Thank sorry. You just <laughs> sold me. You just sold me down the river there. <laughs> so you're supposed to say no. Okay, carry sorry. on. <laughs> um, so we have a different colourway from the grey and the blue. So this one doesn't collapse. So this comes as is, and you can't move the compartments about. But again, you've got it in a lovely navy um, design here. So again, we've got lots of pockets. So on the front and the sides and again this really good zip pocket on the back mm -hmm. and again they can hold so much things so this one is aimed a bit more maybe if you're a knitter 
Um, so you can see we've got lots of wool in there. We've got needles yes. here as well. So we've okay. got your knitting needles in the front and we've got scissors, we've got crochet hooks. Um, so again, lots and lots of storage in there. Um, yeah, so knitting needles are good because you've got that whole length, haven't you, to yeah. sort of uh, to, to, to have them either sticking yeah. out a little bit or lay them down yeah, flat. Yeah, so, I mean, that's quite a good size needle. Yeah. And they just literally stick out there as well. Yeah, and plenty of uh, space for your wall too. And then again, strong handles and yeah. lots of bits and pieces and everything can be seen all at the same time and you can pick all your... But I just like the fact it's all like little nooks and crannies and there's lots of different places you can place little different yeah. ob size objects. Yeah, exactly. There's a yeah. pocket for everything. You'll find a use for every single pocket and something will just pop in there. So. Yeah, oh, I really like that. 104758 is the item number for that one. That's the blue white desktop craft organizer. That one's a lot easier to say, I have to say. Uh, 39.99 normally. 29.99 is the price on the craft store today if you'd like that particular organizer. Right, now we can move on to the basket. Let's talk about our sewing box right now. Yep, Very so exciting. we've got um, a more traditional sewing box. So um, you can probably remember, I know my grandma had something very similar to yeah, this. Yeah, this, is, you this know. feels quite old school, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, so yeah, something a little bit more traditional, but yeah. again, really useful. Yeah. So we've got this um, cream and red polka dot design, so very mm -hmm. festive, very apt for this time of year, yeah. um, with the wicker effect handle and the wicker detailing along the edges as well. You've got a magnetic clasp closure so if you pick the box up or you tipped it up or you dropped it it wouldn't come open we do we, we ascertained earlier i have a little bit of a fetish for magnets i kind of i didn't realize until i started doing this i quite quite enjoy magnets. <laughs> that's not creepy um I, I i really enjoy magnets like ma magnet closure is just like a really nice little touch isn't it it yeah. makes everything sort of like snap shut yeah. perfectly yeah. yeah so yeah magnetic mm. closure and then and we attraction for magnets, that's what I should have said. There you go. Do you like that? Attraction for magnets. Okay, carry on. And then we open it up, and on the inside again, we've got um, a lovely satin um, lining with this really nice lace trim, like crochet lace trim on the edge. We've got a pin cushion on the lid, and then we've got the little elasticated pocket so you can put small items in. It might be your um, stitch ripper, it could be buttons, pins, things. Yeah. And then we've also got, let me just move the label out of the way. We've also got this plastic tray. So again, you can put smaller items in. It could be your tape measure, it could be pins, um, needles, thread on there, anything that you sort of use on a daily basis. Right. Um, and that lifts off. So if you're wanting just to get take the few items to your desk with you, you can lift that off. And then inside, we've got quite a deep storage compartment there mm. to put your large items in What's as well. What's the material at the bottom there? Is it kind of like a plush? I'm trying to, I'm it's trying a, to it's yeah. like a cotton. Felt. It's, oh, it's cotton, a cotton, yeah. 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 It's 100% uh, cotton. Yeah. Um, so it's all really nicely lined and everything in there. Yeah. So I say plenty of storage and I say that sits nicely in there so it's flush in there. Yeah, I like the detail yeah. on that. I like all the edging and uh, yeah, it's really, really nice, isn't it? The padding on it too. Yeah. Nice Nice handle, really, really pretty that. Uh, and eight one six, sorry, go on. And it also comes with a sewing kit. Oh. So we, so it, it's great for a gift or if you're a first time sewer. So it comes with an essential sewing kit. So it comes, it's a medium kit and it has absolutely everything in. Well, you're getting so both those boxes. You get a box and then you get this as well. Right, wow. Yeah, so this has really everything. You might want to use it as a emergency kit. You might want to put it in the drawer at work. Mm. Um, so it's got everything in there. You've got safety pins. You've got a needle threader. Mm. You've got a thimble. You've got a pin cushion that goes on your wrist. So it's like one of those snap bands. It just literally snaps on your wrist there. Oh, that's good, yep. Yep. You've got um, hand sewing needles, so a selection mm -hmm. of different sizes, and then your core sewing threads that you'll need, so obviously your blacks, your greys and your whites, and then some sort of fashion colours there. A tape measure, you can never have too many tape measures. <laughs> um, a seam ripper, yep. a pair of small thread scissors, so great for cutting thread ends. And then a selection of pins. So you've got the pearl head pins, mm -hmm. you've got the long metal pins, and then some more pearl I've head got pins. There, yes. so, is there anything that's not in there? I don't, so, no, I don't think there is. So yeah. it's great just to maybe, you know, you know someone that's just started sewing. Yeah. And lovely it, lovely uh, gift, isn't it, for yeah, Christmas? Really now, nice would that gift. all fit inside yeah, the, the whole thing as it is, the, the actual yeah. container? Yeah, if you didn't want to mm. empty it out, yeah. you can, she says, that will pop in oh, there. Oh, very nice. There we go. 
I'd be tempted to go. do that. Well, that's everything, isn't it? You see, I actually I was looking at the price and thinking, well, nineteen ninety nine, and that's from thirty five odd pounds there. That's a really, really good saving. But I didn't even realise it came with the sewing kit. I thought I thought that was just for the uh, for the basket. No, no, yeah. it comes complete with the sewing kit. So that's yeah, that's great. Yeah, really, really nice. I and think that is exceptional value. That is really, really good. Nineteen ninety nine eight one six five zero four is the item number for that. Now we're going to have a little look at a thread case next as I shuffle along. Respectfully okay. into the end. I'm going to drop off the screen now. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so we've got these really nice quilted cases. Um, so it's available in a blue and a black. So the blue one has got this really nice grey um, binding detail around the edge and it's got the Velcro clasp. And these are great for storing all your sewing threads in one place. So here's one. I mean, it's amazing how many it holds. So here's one. Filled. So if you look how many threads are in there, you've got oh, absolutely wow. loads. And the good thing about it is you can take them off. So they're on Velcro and you can take them off. So for example, you're working with those colours, you can take them off, um, un-Velcro them and pop them back on again. So, I mean, it holds so many threads. Yeah, it's so, unbelievable, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so great for keeping you organised, yeah. um, so you don't lose your threads. So, I mean, you don't have to use it for threads again. Paintbrushes would nicely fit in here. Mm. Um, so you've got paintbrushes, things like that. Even makeup brushes would um, work in and here also, as I mean, well. just general stationery as yeah. well. Perhaps you know, giving it to a student or, or or you know, a teenager. Like you could put your pencils, your, your, your pencil sharpeners, all that kind of business pens, felt yeah. tips. Yeah, all exactly. So, ex yeah. say they just velcro up, yeah. and then you've got everything in one place. So, as I say, they're available in the black and also in the oh, blue. Oh, that's the blue. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, is it like? Yeah, it's a, well, we've got it down as blue, but you're saying it's a kind of bluey grey. Well, it's blue and it's got the grey trim. Yes. It's, it's not really a true blue, is it? Really? No. So, no. I but, yeah. Okay. So that's the, that's the two options. Options that you've got there, two colour options, 152271 for that. Normally 1499. There's a two pound discount on that on the craft store today. It's 1299 your price there. Shop online to the craftstore.com and keep looking up. Now, you might be thinking, hang on, I thought he was over there. I walked around the back of the cameras and I'm, I'm back here now. So we are still have I just ruined the magic, sorry. Uh, well, otherwise, people are going to think, how did he do that? That's weird. Um, now, we're back. I'm back here at the lamps, but we have more to show you down that end of the counter with Michelle. We've got a lucky dip now, haven't we? We have. So we've got a lucky dip ribbon selection. So the ribbons will be chosen at random out of a huge selection that we've got. Um, but here are some of them, obviously, some of the ideas that we have. So we've got organza ribbons. So we've got different widths. That's a really wide um, organza ribbon. Um, you might use it in cake making, mm. card making, wrapping presents, anything like that. We've got satin ribbons, so different colours, different widths, so your double-faced satin ribbons. We've got printed ribbons, so this one's a lovely black and cream design with butterflies on. Again, different designs of printed ribbons. Um, laces, so really nice crochet cotton laces. Um, we've also got the lovely gingham, so traditional gingham ribbons, and I think we do these in pinks, reds, greens. Um, and then we've got, um, also we have got metallics. Yeah. So, oh, she's going to lose, they're all going to roll off now. So metallic ribbons, again, in different thicknesses. Um, and then we've got printed satin ribbons. We've got like a grow grain. So we've got a selection of all different types of ribbons. So great just to put in your sewing box, craft box, if you're card making, because mm. you could always find s something to use on them. So, so you don't know exactly what you're going to get, but that's a very good indicator of the kind of thing yeah. you're going to get, and you're going to get 20 of them. And yeah, it could so be assorted widths and sizes. And yeah, so 20 types. assorted widths and sizes, mm. um, all really good qualities to say. It could be a mixture of organzas, satins, metallics, mm. printed and planes. Um, so yeah, just bundled together. When you say picks by random. Is that someone throwing a like blindfold? Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's like a tail on the donkey, or is it a or is it a lottery machine where they sort of bubble up? It's like number five. <laughs> no, <laughs> we like, just blindfold the p people in the warehouse and they'll just pick them and bag them. The, the most obvious natural yeah. way to do it, of course. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Right, uh, nine four five seven five four is the <laughs> is the item number for that. And oh, it's nine ninety nine, nine ninety nine for twenty ribbons. Oh, that's about fifty p a ribbon, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's not so. bad. Right, let's do some more haberdashery. What we got next, Michelle? Okay, so we've got a haberdashery bundle. So again, all your key haberdashery items here. So we've got a bundle of different things. Um, 
So if we start off with this one, again, we've got a seam ripper, we've got some threads and a needle, and we've got the thread scissors. So that's one of the items in the bundle. Okay. Um, and then we have tape measures. So we've got a retract retractable tape measure and another tape measure, but really good size letters on numbers on there so you can see them. Mm -hmm. So we've got a folding tape measure and a retractable tape measure. Yep. And then we have elastic. So elastic hanks, so it might be that you, if you're in sewing, you can use them on bags, waistbands, things like that. So a selection of different thicknesses of elastic. Then we have sewing needles. So we have 70 needles. So any size head that you want, we've got the large heads, we've got small heads, so different lengths, different sizes. So we've got 70 different sewing needles. And then we have, oh, well, that's fallen off. We have press studs, oh, okay. and so yeah. it's a selection of fasteners, basically. Let me just grab those. So we've got um, press studs. We've got like little hook and eyes that you find on your belt, and then we've got the small hook and eyes that you put on tops and small items like that. A mixture of silver and black. So most colours that you use on most things. So we haven't even got to the end yet. This is, all of this is just all of this is just one bundle. Right. Yeah. That's that is decent. And then for your sewing machine, so we've mm. got the sewing machine bobbins and then we've got the sewing machine needle. So universal needles to be used on the sewing machine. So we've got a selection there for your sewing machine. Wow, it's packing a lot in here for 9 99 And then we've got a selection of hand sewing threads with a needle threader and three needles as well. So different colours in there with your needle threader and I think you've got three needles. And then the last item, really useful item, is the magnetic pin dish so fantastic for putting your pins in but also if you drop your pins mm. just move it along the carpet oh. and they'll stick to it so you pick it, see the way of picking them all up yeah, before, if yeah forever you've dropped them and you're like oh it'll take me ages to pick them up if you just move it along all the pins will be attracted yeah. to the not dish not just to be able to pick it up because it's fiddly but also if you can't see them and you can just actually just you know yeah blindly put it out and then they'll just be attracted to the yes That's good. so yeah really good to have at the side mm. when you're sewing but also you know, if you do drop your pins, it'll help you pick them all up as well. You do get a lot there for nine ninety nine, don't yep. you? I was just thinking, like maybe two or three of those I would expect to pay nine ninety nine for, but the whole bundle there seven three five six nine six uh, eight different sets, isn't it? Eight different sets there, about one pound twenty five a set. We think, wow, seven three five six nine six is the item number for that. That is new today as well from Sewing Online. We've got another essential for you down the counter. Finally, right down the other end of the counter, what do we got, Michelle? Dressmaking shears Ooh. or scissors. So. Everyone needs a really good pair of dressmaking scissors that are just for fabric. Um, these come in a really nice gift case as well. So you've got this lovely black gift, gift case that zips all the way around, so keeps them safe and secure. Um, and they're a really nice weight um, for using. They're not too heavy, but they've got enough of a weight to them to be good scissors. Yeah. Um, really nice silver chrome um, dressmaking scissors. So, um, can you lift them up a little bit higher, just so we can see them a second, Michelle? That's oh, perfect. Sorry. Yeah, lovely. Um, oh, those are those are really uh, quite grand looking, aren't they? Quite, yeah. Uh, yeah, really, yeah. I'd say really, really nice. And they have yeah. got a little bit of a weight, but not too much of a weight, and um, that makes it uncomfortable if you're mm. using them for long periods of time. They almost look antique like uh, Victorian, something yes. like that from yesteryear. Yes, yeah. Uh, that is really, really pretty, I think. Um, so, and as you say, that you, so, you use those for cutting all of your fabrics, yeah? Yes, yeah. Well, I mean, dressmaking shears, fabric only. Never mm. mix the two together because obviously it will blunt in your scissors if you use paper and fabric. Yeah. So, always have scissors dedicated for paper and scissors dedicated for fabric. So. That makes a lot of sense. So that is sixteen ninety nine. So it's normally twenty four ninety nine. There you go. You can see it now. And with its case as well, you get the full case with it, and you get the the scissors. Uh, twenty four ninety nine. It's down to sixteen ninety nine. Uh, here on the craft store today, six six zero nine six three. Now, of course, don't forget you can pop more than sixty pounds into your basket. You qualify for our flexi basket, which means you can split it up into equal payments. So.
For example, you put 60 pounds into your basket, you can split it up into two lots of 30. And that is how Flexi works. Um, and obviously anything beyond that as well, you can split it up uh, half and half. So it just makes things a little bit more manageable. It makes it a little easier to sort of swallow as you sort of you know, move through the, uh, the weeks. You can sort of make it uh, a little bit more affordable uh, in the short term. So it's perfect for that. Um, we've got a little BT to show you. Have a look at this. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Thanks very much, Catherine. Yes, uh, flexi order makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? So do that. Make sure that you, uh, if you're spending more than 60, you can split it up into to equal payments. Now, Michelle, I enjoyed that first half an hour so much so I'd quite like to do it exactly like that all over again. How okay. about that? For, for anyone just joining us and just to sort of recap on the things that we've seen here. Should we go down the counter again? Yeah, that's fine. Why yeah. not? So the first items we've got are these LED lamps so great for crafting or any hobbies really or reading or jigsaws mm. um, so they're very ergonomically designed we've got a flexible head so mm -hmm. it can move 360 degrees it can move wherever you want up down um, this one has got a, a handy um, storage pot in it so it's got two very deep compartments there so we've got the two compartments that you can store pens, scissors, paintbrushes, anything you want, you can store in there. They're LED and it has four different brightnesses. So we've got a lovely um, simple touch button here that you just touch. Um, so the first one is the, the lowest brightness. And then again, takes it up one, one more level. And then third level. And then the fourth is the brightest level that it does. And it's got a really wide direction of light. You can see that it's it's putting out a big glow, so it's got a good direction of light. I bet that lights up your room a treat, doesn't it? If you, if you, if you went pitch black in here and, you, and you've got a small room and you switch that on, that would probably yeah. be a really good light full stop, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would. Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah, there we, there we go. There we go. We're pitch wow. black. So, um, so, yeah, you can see the light. And as I say, you can see you can direct it. So if you wanted to direct it wherever, you can see you can direct it exactly where you want to. <laughs> so it may be that you're reading in bed yeah. and um, your partner doesn't want the big light on. No. <laughs> so you can direct that oh, over yeah, there. Of course, so, you've got a really, really yeah. bright light, but it's only, it's only shining in your direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know when we, with the lights down there whether I felt cosy and Christmassy or just really scared. It all got a bit, ooh, boy, <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's all dark. Um, that is... Um, that's really good. I yeah. really, really like the lamp there. And that's the one that comes with the organiser, doesn't it? Yep, yep. Yeah. So the mains operated, so you don't have to worry about batteries or anything like that. The mains operated. LED, you can't um, replace the bulbs. But um, as I said earlier on, it's something yeah. like 25,000 hours, which seven hours a day is just under 10 years yeah. of a lifespan. So. I just, you're not, I mean, let's be realistic. You're not going to replace one well, because you don't need to, will you? No. I mean, by the time you get, you're going to get 10 years of that, well, it's going to be longer than 10 years, isn't it? Because who's going to have that switched on yeah. seven hours a day for 10 years no. running? You're not, are you? So and it's probably going to last you much longer than that. Yeah, and the good thing about LEDs, they don't get hot either. So oh, really? you haven't yeah. got a hot lamp either. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, they don't get hot um, and it lasts, you know, it lasts for. for that's years, good. You can't burn years. yourself on the no. bulb or anything like no, that, because like, no. that's, that's always a worry with, with kids, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, if you've like, got kids around, you know what yeah. they like. They're attracted to light. They try and touch things. <laughs> like moths. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but they won't burn themselves. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Ah, really and then right. to turn it off again, yeah. you just 
and off it goes. And so there's quite a nice little weight to them, isn't it? They don't, they're not quite, they're not flimsy, are they? No, they so they over, won't top topple over. over. So <laughs> if you knock the table that it's on, they won't topple over. Mm. Um, so yeah, they've got a nice, nice weight to them. Beautiful. Okay. And then the next one hasn't got the organizer. We've got this lovely curved base. Um, we've got a slightly different shaped head, as you mentioned earlier on. So this one's more of a square paddle, whereas the other one was more rounded. Again, we've got the lovely flexible neck, but it is a slightly longer neck than the other one. Hmm. Um, and again, you've got the same adjustments of the lamp. So we've got one, two, three. Those lights coming down again. And Look at your Christmas jumper behind that. Oh, I'm, that's lovely. I'm glittering. <laughs> I'm like the that's Christmas tree. Nice effect tree. that is. <laughs> so yeah, so you can see, you can see the rays, how much light um, mm. it lets off there. So again, you can just direct it to exactly where you want to do. It could be you're doing some needlework at night. Um, so you can just direct it over your needlework. As I say, crosswords, um, jigsaws. Mm. Yeah. That's really impressive, actually, because yeah. I've, I've, I've seen many a lamp in my time where I think, oh, I really like the look of that. And then you, you get home, you switch it on, and it just fills the whole room with light. It's not necessarily what you wanted. You know, you want to just have it sort of very concentrated, don't you, in just a, a yeah. small area and uh, to, to not bother other people around you. And it's a nice white light, not a yellow artificial light. So it could be that if you're an artist and you're colour matching and things like that, mm. it's good um, for colour matching in as well because oh, yeah. it's not giving you an artificial light. Okay, yeah, so, so it's keeping everything natural and you can see, see all your different colours there as well. Uh, love that. That's twenty four ninety nine. So that's a ten pound saving that you're getting on our. Uh, that's our, that, that's the sort of more flexible. That's the longer neck, isn't it? And the square, the square yes. top. But it hasn't yeah. got the organizer with it. No. It's uh, it's but it's the straightforward lamp now. It's twenty four ninety nine. So it's like a little bit cheaper. And then we've got uh, one with an extra feature on it, haven't we? We Which have. Is this one plugged in, or do I? No, have to... no. That's that's that needs to be plugged in. We'll bring the details in on that one. Let me just. And swap uh, yeah, you have a little. So I would help, but I'm not allowed to. No, that's that's uh, absolutely fine. You, um, so we've got magnifying glass yeah. on this one, haven't we? So this one, I say, great for cross stitch. So again, we've got the flexible head on here. Um, we have the different light settings again. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Yep. But this one hidden yeah. in the head. Um, if you lift up here, you have the magnifier. So you have a three and a five times magnifier. That's a heck of a light on that, isn't yeah. it? I mean, that really does yeah. shine some illumination onto whatever you're looking at. And then you've got the actual magnifier. So threading your needles, um, applying uh, layers onto your, your cards, like little fiddly bits, you know, with tweezers that people put on, glue pens, uh, any of your fabrics. Yeah. Even uh, just so reading, you know, if, reading, if, yes. if you're struggling. Um, yeah. But yeah, any other hobbies like I don't know, applying stamps to stamped albums or whatever it might be, anything that involves, uh, you know, making jewellery. Yep. Anything, anything intricate, intricate, mm. and intricate. Detail. Yeah, that's that's the word. Isn't it funny that intricates are quite a hard word? <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, so you've got the option. You don't have to have the magnifier. You mm. can close it up and just use it as a normal lamp if you want. Mm. Or you've got the option of the magnifying section as well. So yeah. yeah. That's really nice. 174342. Just those lamps are fantastic. It's just a case of which, you know, with all, they're all good, but uh, which one do you like the look of? You know, do you like the one that's uh, got the organiser in it, perhaps the more straightforward one? It depends what you're using it for and in what room you've got it, uh, of course. Or you might need the magnifying glass because you might need to sort of really get in there and be able to do some very, very fine, uh, sorry, very uh, finickety work. And you might be able to just want to have to uh, illuminate that and be able to see it as well. So lots of choices there, lots of different price points on that one. Uh, that's from So Stylish. That's 1741342, the item number of that, if you want to look on the website there to get the one with the magnifying glass. So we're going to move away from lamps right now and we're going to move on to storage. Okay. Storage, starting off with this. Yep. Wow. Yep, so we've got a desktop tote. So great for crafting, great to keep on your desktop. Um, they look good as well mm. as they are really, really practical. The first one here is in this lovely like grey mole with the blue um, trim on. This one's collapsible, so it arrives to you flat, so don't worry if it arrives all flat in a package. Mm. So I'll show you, it arrives to you like that, so folded up, completely flat. So if you're not using it all of the time, you can store it away flat, um, so it's great for um, space saving. Um, so when you get it, all you need to do is open it out, mm -hmm. um, 
pop the base in the bottom and then each corner's got um, a collapsible compartment that you can pull out. The good thing about this is you can choose how much space you want. So you might right. decide, I just want to use it as is, like that. Or if you just pop the corners out, you might decide that you just want a corner out mm. or two corners and a large space. Or you might decide to pop them all out, which gives you the four corners and then the long space in the middle. So you can decide depending on what you're storing in it. Oh, how so you many could actually get things in the long space in the middle. You could get like knitting needles in there as well and just slot that down the middle. Yeah, yeah. small rulers, yes. um, patchwork templates, things like that you can get in there. You could even get a rotary cutter. Right. Um, so you can get quite a lot in that middle panel. That's good the way that all folds away, doesn't it, as well? Yeah. You've got, you've got options then. It's just a different way of storing, isn't it? You can kind of like, for the, for the first few months, maybe I'm using it to put one big thing in and then actually yeah. I've changed my mind. I'm going to use it for this and I'm going to make it into small compartments. Yeah, and it's yeah. good because it's open so you can get to everything straight away and you mm. can see where everything is we've also got lots of storage compartments on all sides so a mixture of velcro pockets open pockets so different sizes so great for scissors um, pins anything like that and then the back again we've got a long zipped pocket so if you've got anything that you don't want to fall out and then again the other side we've got more pockets so lots and lots of storage use there as I say, the one that we have filled will show you exactly how much you can store in it. So you can get quite a lot in there. We've got fat oh, quarters. Work, yeah. We've got everything in there. Wow. It's, you can, yeah, look at that. You've got the scissors at the front there. Yeah, just we've got scissors. The... We've got seam rippers. We've got zips, anti-static spray. So everything. So it may be you've got one craft project on at the moment mm. that you put everything in and you use that until you finish that that craft project and then move on to something else. Got you. And, and it's a, you say it's a tote bag, is that that's a particular style of bag, is it a tote bag? I'm not... No, I'm it's, it's just um, a storage bag really. You is don't, that what it's called, yeah, a tote bag? A yeah. tote bag, yeah. I mean, yeah. you don't even have to use it for crafting, as I say. You mm. could use it for beauty, hairbrushes. Um, you, it's got lots of uses. It doesn't necessarily have to be a craft bag. It's just really a handy yeah, storage crafting bag. crafting or non-crafting, just a storage bag and uh, a very nice one too. A, a simple, elegant, um, unlike the name that I'm about to read out now, Blue Heather Deluxe Store Tote Caddy Desk Spacecraft Organizer. <laughs> That's wow. a mouthful. <laughs> that is, uh, that's a heck of a title, isn't it? But it is a heck of a bag. Twenty-nine ninety-nine, £10 off we've got there. And it is eight nine 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 two eight. your item number for that one. Spacecraft Organizer makes it sound like something from a, a sci-fi film, does, isn't it? It does, doesn't it? Very uh, right, now, future. moving on, we've got more storage for you right now. Yep. And we've got so this. We've got a similar bag in a different design. Mm -hmm. So we've got this lovely navy, um, navy and white design. So similar bag. This one doesn't collapse, so it arrives fully out like this. Um, you can't move the compartments on this one and um, but again you've got that really nice long compartment in the middle and then you've got four smaller compartments there similar to the other bag you've got lots of pockets on the outside so lots of storage and then again you've got the zip one at the back we've got padded handles so foam padded handles so when you're carrying it it's comfortable to carry and we've got quite a sturdy base on there as well so again, as you can see with this one, which is aimed more if you do knitting, um, you can get quite a lot in there. So we've got balls of wool, we've got knitting needles in the middle, so you've got your knitting needles in there. We've got scissors, we've got crochet hooks, so again, they hold a lot of things. Um, and they're sturdy as well, so you don't mm. have to worry about the weight um, causing the handles to rip or tear. Do you think you get quite a lot into that and, quite, and pack it with quite a lot of weight? Oh yes, yeah. definitely, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I say they're nice because they are shower proof, so they are wipe clean. So if you're using it and you get paint on it or you get something on it, you can wipe it clean as well. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. Okay, yes, because you're not going to throw it in the washing machine, are you? But like, it's good. you can wipe it down. Yeah, that's yeah great. you can Perfect. wipe it down. Because obviously with crafting and things like that, maybe not so much with soft crafting, but with other crafting, you might get a few spillages yes. and a few uh, splatters. Yeah. Uh, 29 99 for that one. That's a £10 saving there. That's 104758, your item number uh, for that. Now, more storage coming your way here from uh, Sewing Online. How about this? Yep, so now we've got more of a traditional sewing basket. Um, so you've got your traditional sewing basket in this lovely um, red and cream polka dot design. So 
quite nice. Most mm. people like a polka dot. Yeah. Um, quite um, a generic design. I think that would appeal to most people's tastes as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. Young, old. You know, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, it's quite timeless, isn't it, a polka yeah. dot? And then we've got this wicker effect handle, so really sturdy handle. Mm. Um, and then the wicker detail is mirrored around the top and the base. We've got a magnetic closure, so really nice magnetic closure. So if you dropped it, you wouldn't lose all your items. Yep. And then inside, again, we've got everything you need. So you've got a handy pin cushion on the top. So we've got the pin cushion on the top and then this elasticated small pocket here to put small items in. That looks nice as well, doesn't it? So it adds a little bit of a yeah, you know, it's you know, luxury all, touch. Yeah, and it's all fully lined in, in a matching red cotton. Hmm. And then we've also got a clear Perspex removable tray. Yeah. So again, great for putting scissors, needles, anything that you use on a daily basis because you can access it straight away or you can take it out and pop it on the side so you've got it at the side of you and you don't need the hmm. whole box. Sorry, Michelle, have you, have you mentioned what's at the top left, the top uh, top right of our screen there, the, uh, on, on here, the little the, the thing there? Is that a pin cushion? That's a pin oh, cushion. Yeah, okay. so that's a pin well, cushion. So that's handy to put all your pins in and everything. So, yeah, yeah. you've got a pin cushion on there so you don't have to put a separate one yeah, in the box. That, yeah. 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 Um, and then we've got, um, with the um, actual sewing box, we have a sewing kit. This is amazing because I just didn't think you'd get this as well for 19.99. So this is like your essential starter, everything you should need sewing kit. So again, this comes in its own handy box. Mm. So you can choose to store it in here or use it somewhere else. So again, this locks and you open it up and it's just got absolutely everything in there. So we've got... Um, safety pins in a variety of gold and silver. We've got a really handle, handy needle threader, so if you can't see it helps you thread your needles. We've got another pin cushion, so we've got a lovely wrist pin cushion there. So if you're doing something, and it's handy to have if you're doing dressmaking or something like that. Thimble. Yeah. Um, we've got Hand sewing needles as well, so you've got four hand sewing needles. Oh, word. So, much. so all I'm hearing you saying to me at the moment is Christmas gift, Christmas gift, Christmas gift, Christmas yeah. gift. Just, it, I'm looking yeah. at it thinking, £20, that is the perfect amount of money to spend on somebody for a really nice Christmas gift that looks like you've spent even more money, yeah. and you're getting this fantastic storage box, and then you're getting the starter kit with it and everything. It just looks like there's a lot more money spent yeah, on that. Yeah, definitely. As I yeah. say, you've got threads, you've got tape measure, seam ripper, scissors and then you've got the lovely pearl headed dressmaking pins and then the normal um, long steel pins as well so you have got absolutely everything it might be that you you've got children that have just started sewing and mm. um, it'd be a great gift um, for that or, or for anyone really that does any sewing or I mean you could break it up and think well I, I'll, I'll have the sewing bits but I'll give the the the, the box or the, the the bag the case to somebody else yeah. you know like is that doesn't have to be a sewing case does it no. it can be used for anything can't Not it? At all. Or, or it may be that you put the bits in here and you use that as a storage box for beads or something like that so you can sort of mix around and, and have different uses. Make, make quite a nice little lunch uh, lunch box, a little lunch bag that you take a, you know, you take your, your bits to school in, <laughs> yeah. put it all in there. I think you could use it for anything, all sorts, you know, you use your imagination. You could put, pop that anywhere around in your house or use it to take uh, things out and about but what a fantastic mm -hmm. gift idea to put it all together there. It's normally $35.99 and I'm not surprised. That that feels more like what it should be, but we've got it at $19.99. So I would say that is well worth the $19.99 because that definitely, to me, looks like a £40, £50 uh, item there. If, I, if we were playing the prices right, that's what I would have gone in on that. I would have said £40, £50, and I'd have been out. Uh, $19.99 for that one. Now, uh, we've got some more cases to show you right now, right next to that, Michelle. And these are our thread cases. Yep, so these are our handy thread cases. So, I don't know, um, whenever I'm looking for a thread, I can't find it. You can't find the one you want, or they're knotted up, and you're going through them all. Um, so, these are the quilted. So you've got two different colours, you've got a black design with the quilting or you've got this blue with the grey piping and the grey fastener. So if you open them out, you've got the velcro fastening and you've got these lovely 
compartments in there to hold all your threads or what other items you want. These are good as well. We love Velcro. So they come off so you can take them wherever you want. So mm. it may be it's got threads in and you take them next to your sewing machine. It could have pens and pencils in. It could have paintbrushes in. So these unvelcro off as well, which is great. Um, but it holds so much. So when it comes to threads, you won't believe how many threads it can hold. I mean, it has absolutely loads and I loads just, and loads. I can't get my head around that. Yeah, it could be that you organise them, um, unlike what I've done. Have, and you done have, have you done a count there, Michelle, how many threads are in there? We're, like a rough count? Oh, like, I haven't. Do you want hmm. me to do that? Yeah, go on then. What do, you, what do you reckon? What's your best guess? I mean, it could get a bit boring if we just literally count them all out, but what's your... I'd say about 50. 50? Okay. Wow. Maybe more. Good call. 50, 60, something yeah. like that, depending on the size of the threads. Yeah. I mean, you could be really organised and have tones of pink, tones of blue. Right, put them all into put in all order. Yeah. Yeah, 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 which I haven't done. But yeah, yeah, you can see it holds so much stuff. And then it's great because it just velcros up. Mm -hmm. um, handy if you need to take it out anywhere and handy for storage as well. Brilliant. So yeah, yeah really, really, really handy that, item. And what, what material is that, that on, on the top there? Is it kind of like a water, you know, yeah. it's easy to clean? Yeah, and again, it's like a shower proof, almost mm. like a nylon fabric. So again, yeah. you can wipe clean. Um, so if you do get anything on it, they both do wipe clean. Okay, and it comes in two different colours, you say? Yep, so yeah. it comes in the black. So if you just want the black yeah. colour. And then it comes with the blue, which has got the con contrast grey on it as well. Two options for you there. 152271 is the item number there. Uh, 1499 is the price uh, normally, but at the moment it's 1299 So that's a £2 saving that you can have on thecraftstore.com today. Now, we've got a lucky dip for you next. Roll up, roll up for the lucky dip because you've got 20 20 assorted ribbons chosen, as Michelle says, by random. They put blindfolds on and wander around the warehouse <laughs> and just pick them up. And this is what this is the sort of thing that somebody who went round with a blindfold picked up. And I think it's quite good. Yeah, so it is. We've got all different sizes. So you might have different widths and we've got different types of ribbons. So really anything you can think of. So we've got organzas. So we've got lovely organzas. We've got gingham. Um, they comes in reds, pinks, greens. We've got the double face satin, which is your main traditional ribbon. Again, different widths and different colours. And then we've also got quite a lot of printed designs. So these are nice. These are the cotton, almost calico effect printed. So that one's a black and white butterfly design. We've got rabbits and we've got buttons. We've also got printed satins. So again, we've got polka dots, different designs. So again, we've got butterflies, stars, and then some that celebrate occasions, so that will some that say best wishes, some right. that say celebration, some okay. that say happy birthday. Um, we've got grow grains, we've got um, lurex, so metallic threads as well, and we've also got lovely cotton trims as well. So you've got a huge selection um, in various different colours, different sizes and different designs. And there was me thinking ribbons are ribbons, you just no. get like a few different <laughs> colours few different sizes but there's so many different once you start getting into it there's so many different types isn't there oh yes definitely yeah. and they're yeah. handy to have because if you do a lot of card making or crafting you can always find a use for one of the ribbons could be cake decorating yeah i use them if i'm wrapping presents so gift wrapping for yeah, christmas gift, of yeah. course perfect yeah, uh, anything like that it shows that extra special touch doesn't it when you're when you're handing over a gift wrap present to someone you put a ribbon on it it makes you look as though you've really yeah. kind of like yeah. taking your time on it yeah exactly okay. uh, that is nine four five seven five four for your assortment of ribbons you'll get something very very similar to that uh, chosen uh, randomly you'll get all sorts of shapes and sizes but you see the general thing you're going to get you're definitely going to get 20 of them though uh, so that's on the craftstore.com and so's our next item here as well our haberdashery assorted bundle have a look at this yep so this you get eight different cards all with different essential haberdashery items on there so all, all different. So the first one here, you've got a seam ripper, you've mm -hmm. got some little scissors, and then you've got your threads and your needle and cotton. So really good, you know, for sewing. Um, so that's your first one. And then we move on to the second item, which is a double tape measure. So you've got the retractable tape measure, and then we've got the folded tape measure. Oh, okay. And yeah, it's got the large numbers on as well because yeah. you know sometimes tape measures have quite small numbers on yeah, and yeah, you yeah. can't read them very well. Does it have centimetres on the other side? Yeah, centimetres yeah. on one side yeah. and inches on the other. Okay. So you've got your double tape measure 
and then if we move on to the next item we've got the elastic hanks so we've got I think there's three different widths of elastics, so great for all crafting. It could be do if you're doing a little um, like drawstring bag. Mm. Um, it could be for waist elastics, um, anything like that. So you've got the the white elastic, and then the next one is your hand sewing needles. I don't think you'd ever need any more. We've got 70 on there, so <laughs> different eye holes. So you've got your larger ones right down to your really small ones, but you've got 70 different lengths, different eye holes of needles. Nickel so, plated as well, it yeah, says there. Yeah, yeah so great, because I always tend to lo lose needles, so mm. I don't think you'd ever need any more again if you bought that one. No. And then the bottom one, we've got a fastener selection. So it's press studs, and then we've got the hook and eyes, and then we've got the belt fasteners, and um, the waistband fasteners in there as well. And they're great because they're in silver and black, so they'll go on most items. Um, so we've got a selection there. And then we move on to the next one, which is based for your sewing machine. So we've got the bobbins, mm -hmm. so for underneath your sewing machine. So you've got three replacement bobbins, and then you've got two packs of sewing machine needles, which are universal for the sewing machines. Okay, they'll work on pretty much any yes. sewing machine, yeah? Yeah. Um, and then over to your threads, so we've got an essential thread pack, so core colours with a needle threader and hand sewing needles as well. So we've got lots of sewing thread there, so maybe if you just need it if your button falls off or you've got a hole or you need to do a hem and um, that's a great little pack there and then the last item which is this handy magnetic sewing dish so really good for just putting your pins in as you're going along and unpinning things and you said you lose needles all the time so perfect for picking yeah. them all up and locating yeah. them yeah or i just stick them in places and then i can't find them as well and this yeah. is quite good because with it being magnetic you can pop it over the surface it may be you've dropped them on your carpet or on your craft table and then you just move it along and it'll be tracked to, to the magnet and they'll all stick to the dish Now, I well. would say, myself, that three, you take any three of those random packs and I would say that would make 9 99 that would be a very good uh, value. But actually, it's all of them for 9 99 one pound twenty-five a pack there. Seven three five six nine six for the haberdashery assortment bundle. We have one more item to look at. And just uh, one minute left on the show, so this is perfect. We've okay. got the uh, scissors. Yep. So we've got these lovely, lovely dressmaker scissors. So really nice um, silver chrome dressmaker scissors, and they come in this really nice um, gift pack. So if it is a gift, it's a really nice pack. Um, it zips up as well, so you don't lose your scissors, or um, or if it's just storage for yourself as well. But really nice weight of scissors as well. So not too heavy, but you've got enough weight to know that it's a good quality fabric shears. That is a so. decent pair, isn't it? Of scissors. Yeah. They, they, they look quality. You can feel the quality there. I mean, I, I, I can tell by the way you're holding them that they've got some weight to them. Yeah, they yeah. have. They've got enough weight, but it doesn't give your arm ache. So. That's brilliant. Thank you so much indeed, Thank Michelle, you. for showing, taking us down the counter. Not once, but twice. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Uh, I'm back over here now as well, but through the magic of TV. Uh, check out your baskets, why don't you? Because I know a lot of you have got many of these items in your basket, but if you don't check out, you won't get those prices. So do make sure you check them out. And thank you very much for joining me and Michelle here on this hour of Sewing Essentials. But don't forget, there's plenty more to come from the craft store today. In just a moment, we've got some more sewing essentials of our one-day special, and then it's stamping with Stamptagious, and then the one-day special continues after that. Did you know you can continue watching The Craft Store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand, whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. 
Select this to open and then type thecraftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite TV shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Our products are all hand drawn, that makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. Make sure you tune in for the Dolly Dimple shows and have some fun. Hello, my name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate. Um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. I hope to see you soon. Hello there and welcome, well it's six o'clock so you know what that means, it is time to launch a brand new one day special and I love it because we're in my happy place, we're in the sewing corner and this is brilliant because you've got a show full of essentials and your one day special is definitely one of those, now it's an amazing deal, I'll take you through it in a few moments but what you have got is what's on the screen there, you've got an amazing bundle of three cans of your 505 adhesive spray now this is something that i just mentioned to you with regards to this one it comes to you it's going to come via your courier because of um, kind of the the way that um, aerosols can be transmitted around the country should we say transported so just bear that in mind with this one but you don't have to worry about that all you need to worry about the details are on your screen and that fabulous price and of course i'm not here by myself I've got the fabulous jenny raymond to take us hey, through everything yes, yes we've got the spray we we have yes. and we've got it in abundance which is brilliant because I've got a can of this somewhere right not quite sure whereabouts it is you mean it isn't actually out on your working surface because you cons don't use it every day well I do use it when I'm doing recording but, I do, but because I've moved around I can't remember where I've put it but you having three cans I'm kind of minimizing it and, and, and these are the 500 ones they're, they're they not are. not the small ones That's that right. I've got which is <laughs> half the size this is twice the size of that so you've got three 500 cans of 505 and if you're a quilter and you want to base your quilts stack them together easily big ones little ones this is very useful it is indeed I think you've made a fair point there because it's one of those things that you really need out all the time so as you use it yes because you forget that you've got it and then you go through that oh gosh that period of putting pins in place using clips all sorts of different bits and pieces but this is such a time saver and the beauty is you're getting those larger canisters that we spoke of there so it's your 500 ml you are getting it's kind of like a litre and a half isn't it when you look at that it is indeed there's a lot yes, there but um, it's not kind of it is a litre and indeed, a half it is indeed yes it is <laughs> Uh, so 503286 if you're wanting to get involved with this you can do now you can see the bottom of your screen we have got a price of 14 pounds and 50 pence that is per can and you can buy it individually so if you want to by all means please do so but when you're going for it via the one day special that price comes down to just 11 pounds and 83 pence and that's on each three of those cans so you can see why it's such a cost-effective way of getting hold of these in fact if you're thinking oh well, get uh, get one and I'll get a spare then you're looking at the bottom of your screen 20 £29. So for an extra £6 there or thereabouts, £5.50, and fifty pence, then you can see it is definitely worth going for your one day special. This is something that we use over and over again when we're so 
it, and not just when quilting. No, it's just, you can use it for doing all sorts of things. In fact, I've been using it for doing something called broderie purse, where you literally put it on the back of a flower, say on some other fabric, yeah. cut the flower out, and you can use it to temporarily bond it in place. Okay. Now, it will slightly wash away when you when you wash things, right. um, which is really good. Should you spill it on anything, overspray, then soap and water gets it off. But then if you really, really spill it, spray it on anything, then something like acetone, nail varnish remover will get it off as well. So if you've got, if anyone picks it up and does it by accident, sprays vigorously everywhere, soap and water first. If not that, you can try any one of the other things that remove an adhesive, like acetone, like vodka. Did you know vodka removes Ooh, adhesive? Yes, it does. Well, Rubbing vodka. alcohol. <laughs> um, I use a little bit of white spirit. So you needn't worry if it gets in places where you didn't want it to get off. It is removable. It is cleanable. Um, it is non-toxic. It's advisable to do it in a well-ventilated room, but it's completely and utterly non-toxic. Obviously, you're not going to eat it or do anything like that, but it is non-toxic. It dries quickly, it's easy to use, and 500, well, a litre and a half, it will last you some time. Well, but this is where you get to it. Um, the fabulous thing with this one is it, it's almost like you've got your pins in a can. Spray, yes. spray yes. pins, if you want a better phrase. Now, I know lots of you guys out there will be using it. I know lots of you stocking up on this one as we speak. So if you have been using it in the past, I'd love to know how how you use it. Do you use it for your quilting? Do you use it if you think like you're a plique? Um, do you use it in a paper crafting environment? Have you bought it for your sewing but then found that you use it in other areas, even around the home? It might be that you're using it almost as a quick fix sometimes with regards to different projects that you've got. But the beauty is you've got three cans of this on. And because the usability of it, it could be that you're keeping a couple in your sewing room, third one maybe going into your garage or maybe into your craft drawer um, for your paper crafting. It doesn't matter how you use this, but the fact that you are saving eight pounds on this trio is the key thing it is your one day special it is designed to run for a whole period of 24 hours but already 10 percent of the stock has gone we're only five minutes into the hour this is one of those ones Can, dare i say it and i'm gonna say it go on it's not particularly sexy it is the least sexy thing out. Um, I mean, you really cannot describe a can of spray aerosol as being sexy. But it's what but you it's can desirable. do with it. If you it just... want it, it is so desirable. You've got to have it because you can spray and you can stick things down. You can stick your paper down. You can stick your things, bond them down. You can stick your quilts down. Just think, no more having to worry about getting your quilts flat because one of the huge problems if you are quilting is getting it flat. And I have had trouble, I know when I lecture I make everyone laugh because I have a quilt with a label in the middle on the back oh. and that's because I didn't bother to tack it up properly okay. and in the quilting I sort of had more on the top than I did on the back right so the only way to flatten it was slit the back <laughs> and put the label of this is what I made on this particular time over the hole so with this it won't happen because you will work from the center smooth it all out and it stays stuck and it will stay stuck for quite some considerable time you haven't got to do it immediately you can baste your quilt and leave it i love it and you're quite right i mean when you put pins in place of certain things there can be movement when you're sewing Correct. pins can and move they go rusty yeah they can, can go rusty really lean up years. like you say you don't always stitch straight away do you, you can have things that are set up but and it could be months years even before you get to it but the thing is and sometimes when you've got um, a pin in place it's almost like um, a, a, a break point so when you're sewing up to that point the fabric sometimes can gather and then you get to the yes. pin and you've got to kind of go over the hump Correct. Go over Correct. the pin. You've got a little kind of pleat yes. in there. Yes. You've got messiness yes. there. And with this, you haven't. With, when you are free motioning, if you're not, you don't notice the pin. You then hit the pin. Yes. Yeah. And there's your needle gone. Yeah. And sometimes the pin's stuck. So, and the machine will not mind going through this. So you don't worry about it. You're okay. not going to get the needle stuck down in the fabric. But well, it's was... designed to be used with sewing machines, isn't it? Yes. So it's not like a, a paper crafting adhesive that's been designed to use with paper. I mean, one of the added advantages, you can use it with your paper, but first and foremost, it's designed to work with fabric. Yes, it is. And in fact, just before the show happened, I temporarily have used 505 to stick this motif onto that fabric and then I've just sat and stitched round the edge of it um, and the only reason for the piece of paper being on the back is if ever you do satin stitching to a thin layer of fabric it will buckle unless you put some stabilizer on the back and the piece of paper works remarkably well and that's held it nicely for me to go all the way around and Perfect. it's not so stuck as it would be if you used a fusible web it's yes. that much lighter yes and the machine didn't mind and I really increased the satin stitch 
actually it was stitching so 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 close so that needle going punching through it and it didn't mind in the slightest That's an issue at all brilliant now of course your one day special just launching at six o'clock this evening but it's not the only bargain that we've got for you during this hour oh no we have got happy hours for you as well and you'll find these on the website now there's a selection of different happy hours for you to take advantage of phenomenal savings but whereas your one day special has 24 hours before it goes up in price not with these you only have an hour to take advantage some brilliant um, cantilever say, um, kind of storage that you can see they're traditional style always beautiful to look at and some amazing gifts there as well now with regards to these if you are thinking about buying these as a gift for a sewing um, friend do bear in mind with dispatch of these they're not likely to well we say not likely we don't know it is on immediate dispatch so they will leave us straight away but of course once they've left us we're in the hands of other kind of organizations to get them to your front door so we can't guarantee that they will arrive in time for Christmas we have got some phenomenal savings with regards to UK facet as well as you can see there whether it's your half meters your fat quarters these are phenomenal savings so again any of these items can be added into your basket as well and because they're on flexi buy it does mean that anything else you add in including your one day special you can spread over two payments as well and of course Jenny's going to be inspiring us throughout with some fabulous quilting templates um, or rulers should I say and we've also got some fabulous books of hers that are going to help you and you can see they're five star reviews with regards to these everybody loves these books the tuition and the ideas in this are phenomenal so if you've not gone for one of Jenny's books before take advantage of one of those savings that you can see there with regards to this and I have to say that book that you can see there Patchwork Pazaz you've probably already spied this amazing quilt that we've got over here and this is featuring some front cover it is indeed yes it's yes. a brilliant um, quilt. Now tell us about this one, um, Jenny. Right, well that features nine different blocks and they're all either new ideas that I've thought up or they're a new interpretation of an old block. Uh, so I have actually used the flying geese, but the textured flying geese around the edge and curved the edges back to get that wavy edge. You've got various things on it. I mean the right hand block actually is the Catherine wheel which I've used on the scrappy. I love that Catherine wheel. That's your yeah. triangles. We've got a triangle, a ruler on the show. So all of those. And then of course when it comes to put layering it up, the 504 is great because you've got lumps and bumps in the texture yes. you can literally smooth it down as you go you stick and spread the quilt in place on top of the wadding perfect the quilt to the side of it as well I mean this is what it's a very three-dimensional quilt so again your 505 is going to be perfect for um, the, the quilt that we've got hanging with the, almost like the sunflowers to the yes, side that of that from one creative again and that's going to need yes, it, um, it does yeah it needs that tender yeah. getting up oh. because if you try to sort of tack it down it's got too many lumps and bumps in it <laughs> Nobody noticed that at all. So this is this a different book, this yes. particular one that we've yes. got? So that's Creative Tucks and Textures. Creative Tucks and Textures. Sorry, it's just I was moving the, the box lid there for you. So if you like the idea of your textures, and this is where your one day special is going to come into its own, when you've got those layers, when you can't necessarily hold things down with pins and clips, then you do need that spray. We are going to see it in action, though. So if you want to get your books, by all means, please do so. But of course, make sure you are adding in that spray. So rapidly approaching 20% of the stock has gone this is the kind of product that you know about already you're probably already using it if you are do let me know how you are using it but Jenny for anybody that has not come across um, this before can you show us how yes, we would use it do. right well first of all bear in mind that this is the 20 250 gram you are actually getting a considerably larger one so that is the size that you are getting twice the size right I will pass that back and it will get sanitized Thank in you. between so there we go <laughs> Um, right, you literally do nothing more complicated than shake it, okay? If you're going to do a small sample, now there are two ways of looking at this. If I'm going to do a small sample, I will start off with my quilt top, and we'll call this the quilt top, on its wadding. I won't have the backing in place then. If I'm doing a bigger quilt, I'll do it the other way around, but I will explain. So first of all, make sure you've got more wadding than your quilt top because the quilt top has a habit of growing as you smooth it out. The nice thing about using the glue is you can do what's known as block it and block it basically means straighten it up a bit because sometimes as you stretch it out you have to give it a little bit of a pull to get it to lie a bit flatter. That's that, technically that's what's known as we blocking. We knitting and crochet yes. as well don't we? So could we use this spray in those environments do you think? I don't see any reason why you couldn't. Okay. Uh, right, you would start in the middle. So you literally lay your top onto the wadding, fold it back 
and you just do a bit at a time. So you spray the wadding and then you lay the quilt down and you smooth it out. So give it so a good shake. it's always the wadding, you don't spray the fabric. No, you don't spray the fabric. So literally just a quick squirt and then take the quilt top and smooth it out and it will begin to stick. Keep it folded back a little bit and give it another quick squirt. Now, if you're concerned about it going, say, on a table, well, why not put some newspaper or something underneath That's it? But you can point, yeah. remove it. Sometimes and I've got a separate cutting mat that I use for, for these scenarios. And it will smooth right Look the way up. Then Beautiful. you go to the other side and you deal with the other side in exactly the same way. I'm loving the way that you're breaking this down because if somebody is thinking, well, I'm led, I've just made my first ever block yep. or my first blocks to go in the quilt, breaking it down like this makes it so easy because some people might think, oh, I've got my square, I'll just give it a good spray mm -hmm. and then come back in afterwards. Do it in bits. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to do that bit now because I want to explain how you would do it the other way if you've got a very big piece of work. Okay. When you've done this, then you can turn it over, Look lay the it's backing all laid up on the perfect. top, back on the there we are. Make sure you've got the backing, of course, obviously this will be the right side. And do the same thing. Fold the backing back, spray the wadding, smooth it out. Fold From it back, to the edge. smooth it, fold it out. Now, fold it back. So that's how I would do a small panel. Okay. If it were a very big quilt, I'd do it the other way around. So I would start off with the backing. Okay. Now, if you find the backing fabric is so enormous and is ruckling up, then there's no reason why you can't stick it down with something like masking tape or better still painter's tape. That's that blue tape because okay. that doesn't have any residue whatsoever. So you could adhere it. Now, if you can't get on the floor, which not all of us can do, there's no reason why you couldn't deal with half of the quilt, say, on a table. And this time you would take the wadding, so I'll have to detach it from the other piece, <laughs> lay the wadding on top, roll the wadding back, spray the wadding and smooth it down. Okay. Spray the wadding and smooth it down and then you do exactly the same thing on the other side. And if it's very big, you do a little bit at a time and you smooth it. If you're working on a table, I would complete this half and then pull that to the other side of the table, smooth the backing out and do the same thing with that. And then you take the quilt top, lay it on top there and repeat the same thing. So a big quilt I would do backing, wadding, top. A small panel I do top, wadding, backing. Now it's talk about wadding, I mean there you're using a, um, 80 20. I'm using 80 20, um, yes. If you're using like a polyester is that okay it as well? It works exactly the same on all of them. In fact I, I brought some real, the real polyester fluff yes, with me. You know, yeah, the, the, yeah. Um, We've, no, we've actually um, got a lot of people who have found our 8020 wadding as well. And we've got a variety of different sizes. This one is your twin. It's all down to the size of the actual piece with regards to these ones. So this one, um, you're looking at 72 inches by 90 inches. So really good size with regards to this one. We have got other sizes as well. Uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're making a quilt, that needs to be a little larger than your actual fabric pieces that you've been putting together. So if you've got a quilt in progress, then brilliant. Make sure that it measures up. But if this is too small, then do check on the website because we will have others to work with you. Now 80-20 means 80% 80 of it is made of cotton. So of course we regularly hear that 100% cotton with our, regards to our fabrics. But with your wadding you've got that little bit of polyester in there which helps with its durability as well. And it's really soft. I mean it's, it's almost like a felt light feel. Um, it's going to rustle if I take it out of the bag. I'll take it out in a few moments maybe and I will show you. But it's kind of, it makes a difference doesn't oh, it? Oh it makes a huge difference. It, it's a really, and it drapes well. So it's a lovely to work for. It's, it's splendid to needle through, whether you're hand sewing or whether you're machine sewing. It drapes beautifully. Um, it, it has longevity in it. I think the nice thing about it is once you've quilted it and put it on the bed, it just adds that solid dress to it. And I must admit, when, when I um, got involved with quilting, because when I think of quilts, I think of duvets. Yes. You know, like your 13 and a half tog. Yep. And then I was looking at my, my quilt and I was thinking, right, okay, 13 and a half tog. And then I've got this quilt here and I'm not... I'm kind of being disrespectful, but I looked at it and thought, well, how's that going to keep me warm? But it's amazing it how it does it. Because yes. it does look, I yes. mean, it looks very, almost like wafer-like in comparison. But it is so, so it's warm exactly and cozy. Um, I had a, a thinnish duvet on the bed. It gets colder in the winter. So I got my quilt out, uh, which I made, ooh, some, mm, mm, <laughs> 
put it on there, and even though it's really thin because it's on that sort it's of like stuff, magical. It, it's magic. Well, of course, you've got layers, and That's the whole true, yes. thing to keep yeah. warm is, is the layers. air between the layers. Yes. They say that, don't they, with your clothing to put layers on rather than have something that's big and bulky. We're very, very busy with regards to your wadding as well. So don't forget, as we mentioned, if you are new to quilting, maybe this year or the next year, should I say, 2020 is um, 2022 is going to be the year that you tackle quilting if you think it's tackling. But no, it's a lot easier than you think. But it is a get back the, the quality of the products and the elements that you use. So this is what goes between the back of your quilt, as Jenny's explained and then you've got your quilt top on top and because it's it's such a, a well, it is a thinner layer but it does the job it needs to do but because if it's if it's too bulky you can struggle sewing it yeah, you'll never get on that all yeah. the quilts the one that you looked at over there was on the front of the book uh that is five foot by five foot so it's 60 by 60 and you would have used something similar to this I would one use exactly that wow. inside it and i got it underneath a domestic sewing machine yes. and i have a fairly ancient domestic that hasn't got the enormous um hole between the needle and the yes, actual body yeah. of the machine and it's easy because you start in the center and you work out yeah yeah and, and that means you can roll it up as well roll it up yeah and squeeze it underneath the machine and work in the centre and you've only got to really go from the centre to one side and then you turn and, it round. And as we're talking about it, that's another reason why you don't want pins because if you're rolling it up, you're <laughs> going to get your <laughs> fing <laughs> fingers, the pins in your fingers, aren't you? Yes, yes. Yeah. and you see, if you use anything else, if you use quilt tags, yeah. which is another way of doing it, and equally good at sometimes, the trouble is the tags have to be cut as you get to them. Yes. The bottom of the tag will fall into the body of the machine true. and that really can jam yeah. it up. So you could do the old-fashioned way of hand tacking it. If you wish to go down on your hands and knees and hand do that, that's fine by me. But I must confess that 505 will do the trick. It will adhere your quilt top to the fluff and you can adhere the backing to the wadding as well, very simply. I love it. There you go. So you can see why we're so passionate about this. It's something that's going to be so time-saving. So it's going to look after you as well, as we've mentioned. If ever you've been quilting, you've been sewing, quite often you're concentrating on the sewing. You're making sure that you've got that seam, those stitches in the right place. You don't necessarily notice those pins. Now, there's two things that can happen with pins. One, you can kind of get them in your fingers as you're working. And of course, if you do yourself an injury, then you can end up with the consequences of that. But the other consequence is that you might find that your sewing machine finds those pins before you do and of course the last thing that you want to do is to find that your needle is hitting a pin that's in your project you can knock the timing out on your sewing machine it can be a very costly affair that's why using something like a spray adhesive is such a brilliant idea because it takes away all of that it means that you can concentrate on your sewing so whether it's your seams that you're putting together your foundation sewing or as Jenny said they're your free motion work I mean I do not like using pins when I do free motion work because no, that it's busy concentrating yes, then yes. you can easily catch your yes. fingers on so either can, or if you're using safety pins, yes. you just don't oh, see the safety keep pin. Stopping. You keep stopping taking them out, and mm. you can't always get them out. Yeah. Or you just think, I'll just do that bit, and you don't see it because, of course, it's behind the foot. Yes. You then hit the head of the safety pin, yes. and your needle goes kapunk, and exactly. it's the last 60 or 70 that you had, and you are stuck. Yeah, and it's a frustration. Um, what was the update? Sorry, Kim. Over a quarter of the stock has gone, my goodness, we're only about 20 minutes into the hour. This is a one day special that's designed to last 24 I think hours. You need to buy yours and I need to buy mine. I know a we bit need to stock up on them. We could miss that. <laughs> do, do you realise that we could miss out on this, Jenny, if everybody, everybody else is ordering it? We're telling them how brilliant it is yes, and we're I'm, the last one to get it. I've got a small little one. <laughs> <laughs> now, normally, with regards to this one, and you can do your research elsewhere, but we think we're very keenly priced, not only, well, with the one day special, obviously, but the individual cans as well. Because the individual cans are available at £14.50. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, I've never used this before. Do I really want to get three cans together? Which is a valid question. Well, you could go for them individually at £14.50, but if you are going for them with your one-day special, then the price is coming down to £11.87, was it? 83 pence, sorry, um, per can. So you're saving straight away, and you're doing that saving three times with this. You might think, oh, well, I'll get, I'll get one and I'll get a spare. Well, that's £30 worth, isn't it? £28, £29. So why not go that extra mile with regards to these and get a hold of all three? There isn't an expiry date with this. It's not like you're going to put it on your shelf and in two or three years' time you think, oh gosh, I'm going to have to throw it out because I haven't used it. You will be able to use it and you will be able to use it not just with your um, your soft crafts, with your sewing, with your dressmaking, with your um, laying out patterns as well because well, you can lay patterns out with this, And it you? does remain slightly tacky. Uh, where's the bit that I did? 
Th that is still slightly yeah. tacky. But it's not, it's not like a permanent spray, is no, it? It's a temporary spray. So it's a temporary. if you're dressmaking, and again, this is it, the tissue paper patterns, they are so delicate. You put a pin in there and straight away you kind of damage the pattern. Yep. With this, you can use your temporary spray adhesive on there. You can lay those pieces out. Sometimes, and I know a lot of people do like to actually cut their dressmaking patterns with rotary cutters now. Yes. So again, that makes it easy if it's it kind of completely nice flat. Because yeah. if you were to take your, your dressmaking pattern down with masking tape, oh, or yes, you're trying you to take masking tape off, you just yeah. I've totally ruined the pattern. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, so great, and it's great for paper crafting because you could temporarily adhere that thing in place. And in fact, if with paper, it's going to stay there. Certainly for your applique. In fact, if we look at the cushion I give with the See, case. See, this is another thing, um, applique, like you say, applique. I mean, this is so apps. Oh, look at this cushion. Um, oh, my goodness, we are so, so busy. Was that 30% of the stock has gone now? Wow, okay. So this is um, calf facets, or cave facets, call him what you will. One of the fabrics that we've got on the show, and I literally cut the flowers out and laid them onto the fabric using the temporary spray adhesive and then sat and stitched around the edge. It's something called brodery purse. We'll explain that perhaps later. But his fabrics are absolutely superb. And just very briefly while I'm standing in front of there, there is hit the cushion. And then the back of the That's cushion, beautiful. I used another of the fabrics on the back. Oh, wow. And that then, again, that same fabric features here. And this is a box from the Sew Pieces. And there oh, is the inside okay. of your box there using another one of his designs. This little thing here, again using Kate, is the famous casserole cover. You might have well seen this on a show before, but that's the fabric that's inside it. And that's the fabric on the outside that of it. That is fabulous. And this is like so the simple. Two squares, spray them with your 505 stitch them together, put a binding on them if you want, or use the bag method, put D-rings on two corners and a strap, and then you just thread the strap through the D-rings, and you have a casserole cover or a play mat. It. Such a brilliant idea. Now, don't forget, we have got your K-facet fabric in a variety of different sizes and guises, so whether it's your half meters, whether it's your uh, fat quarters that you want, there's loads of different ways. Now, we've got a brilliant deal with regards to your half meters, so you're going to choose any two of these for just £15.98. So if you've got the idea you're going to be doing some applique, then do check out Things like those um, fabulous leaves that you've got there. I mean, those are something that you could fussy cut out. You don't have to worry about putting anything onto the back of them, um, which is going to add to the kind of um, the, the nature of the fabric, gives it an extra layer in there. You might not necessarily want that. You might still want the fluidity. That's why that fabulous spray is the perfect way for you to actually work with these. So those ones are your half meters. You're going to choose any two of those for just £15.98. And, and they could be two repeats of the same fabric as well. Now, um, these, you quite often, I would say to you, okay, fast. That's it we've got extended delivery with these. No, we haven't. We have got these ready to ship straight away. So if you want to get hold of yours, it will be immediate dispatch and at £15.98, brilliant value for money as well. Jenny, is it okay if we come back over to you and have yes. a little chat about more of the ways that we could actually work with this? Because we were talking about the quilt. Now, did, uh, you'll have to forgive me because we di I digressed. Did you cover everything that you wanted to cover with regard to the quilt block and using your spray with your quilt block? I think so. Um... But really just running through it again in case people have joined us. They can the do great, that, The yeah. great thing to do is to... Let's... Take so you can see that it's kind of... It's got enough of a tack not to fall off, but equally so... It will just... Uh, yeah, you can pull it, it away. Place. Yeah. So let's go through this, and this could be anything. Right, this is any fabric you like. There is your wadding. It could be the polyester, it could be poly down, it could be anything you like. Okay. So the trick is, give the can a good shake. And then lightly spray. So what? Don't overspray. There is no need to. Now it's non-toxic, but please do it in a well-ventilated room. Having sprayed either all of it, which I could do because only a small piece, or just part of it, fold the quilt back and just smooth it in place. And you're smoothing it with your hand from the centre out. Now, if it's got any little ruckles in it because you didn't sew it quite straight, this is where you can do what's basically known as blocking it, straighten the ruckles out. So smooth it down, fold another bit back, spray more on the wadding, fold it down again. Now, should you go horribly wrong, it is perfectly possible to peel it off and put it back on again. It is mm -hmm. a temporary adhesive. Okay. So if you have, like I have in my zeal to get it on there, slightly misfired on my fluff, then I can peel it off. And when you've done one half, you do the other half, fold it back. And that's when I would turn it over 
and do the other side. Now, should you get inadvertently get spray where you don't want spray, it will wipe off with soapy water, and I would use one of those washing up liquids. If you get too much that you can't clean off, you can clean it off with things like, I find white spirits very good for getting rid of sticky glue. Uh, vodka apparently is very good for it, but I can think of another better reason for that. Rubbing <laughs> alcohol, acetone, i.e. nail varnish remover are all good if somebody has been very heavy handed and sprayed all over something you didn't want it sprayed over. So when it comes to putting the back on, same thing, fold the backing back, spray and stick and spread and fold it back and you can see can you oh see yes, if I pull it yes, out? yeah look it is sticking yeah if you pulled it apart then naturally it would and pull you can apart, actually you can yeah, feel you can it, it so it will pull apart but it is going to hold it more than enough Jenny can I ask about other fabrics as well I mean are there any fabrics that we should avoid using this with I mean some fabrics can be quite delicate and you might not want to pin them things like your, your silks your satins well, your velvets things you like that to spray on the wooding right or possibly I would spray the backing fabric or maybe at the lining or also the, lining the main fabric spray, okay. yes so if you spray that and then you smooth the top fabric onto it mm -hmm. you've not you've got the you've not got the problem of Suppose if you sprayed the top fabric and it had a crease in it, yes. it would be difficult to get the crease out. Right. But if you've got the lining fabric and you spray that, you can actually, as you it's fold the top down, down hands, ease yeah. it out. Yeah. So I personally haven't tried it with anything else other than cotton no, fabrics that's because so, that's what yeah. I work with. You always do like a test reason. swatch, can't yes. you, just to make sure, yeah. But yeah. you see, we are working with... 20% cotton, 20% um, polyester, True, and, yeah. and it's happy on that. Yeah, very, very much so. I've had a question come in as well, asking about the kind of open time. So when you spray the adhesive, how long do you have to kind of position everything? Oh, you've got ages. Okay. L lots of time. It will, re re it will remain sticky yes. for quite some time. Fair enough. That's All lovely. Right. And apparently, according to, uh, if you watch, there's plenty of uh, information on the internet, if you Google it, uh, various quilters have left quilts for months. Okay. And they still stayed stuck, and they're still good to it's go. It's almost like a static really, isn't it? Yes. If you imagine static keeping two fabrics together, it's a bit like that. So if you held them together, they, they wouldn't fall apart. But if you pulled them, then they will still come apart. Jenny, I'm going to let you get ready for your next um, kind of information. It's kind of more about um, informative, this particular hour. But So we'll go back to Jenny in a few moments, because, of course, your one-day special details are on your screen, 503286. You might be adding that into your basket. I know lots of you have jumped ahead, and you're checking out things like, our happy hour deals but we've got other things on the show which I thought it might be worth a mention as well so we're moving on to your next product which is always a very popular one and lots of you have been getting hold of this one your Odie coat now your Odie coat is a perfect addition to your fabric to give it kind of like a, a water resistant feel to it something that you're going to paint onto your fabrics and you've actually got a little spreader here that you can use for your application 14 pounds and 99 pence and I'm right in that aren't I Jenny it yes. kind of changes the, the medium of your bo um, fabric right. This is a bag that I put eau de coat on the front of. Instant, you can also use eau de coat for, as a base for sticking fabrics on. Oh, okay. So for you, because it is basically a gel adhesive, right? So you could use it for your decoupage and things oh, like that. Okay, so right. you paint it on and yes. you stick the fabrics on on top. So it could be worked like that. Oh. So literally, you take your fabric and a brush or the spreader and you put it on, and it is. There's some water. Right, so there it is. Okay. You could possibly hear it. So yes, that's this it's side. Okay. I mean, you, you've pieced your fabrics there as well. So, I mean, yes. is it going to, to kind of protect the gap between your fabrics and between your stitches? Well, I would have thought so. There's no gap in the Odie coat at all. I suppose it fills it, doesn't it? Yeah. That you can probably hear. I think you can probably hear that. Almost sounds like sandpaper, but you can see they're totally yes. different with each that side. You can't. Yeah. So, on the Odie coat, if I took some water and spilt it on there, okay, it is just going to sit on the top. Perfect. Right, I've now got water on the top. <laughs> <laughs> you can see that it's not soaking. It's just running around. It's not around. going to go anywhere. It's not soaked in. Whereas I do the same thing on the back. It's yeah. just going to soak into fabric. It's just going to soak into yeah. the fabric, which oh, you will yeah. in a minute. <laughs> but there's a lot of water you've got no, on there, Jenny. No, I've got Jenny. lots of water there. <laughs> oh, bless you. Um, but yeah, right. it's one of those situations I where we regularly, regularly see it um, uh, on the craft store. It's always a popular item. Um, it doesn't add any colour to your fabric as well, although it's kind of got that kind of uh, opaque look to it. It's kind of like a translucent look to it, so it's a cloudiness to it. But what you do is you just paint it on. It's not going to change your, your colour of your fabrics at all. Sometimes it almost intensifies the colours. But what you've actually got with this one, if you've got the ability to 
to paint that on. Now, it depends on what you're working on, depends on how many coats you might want to apply to it, and depends how kind of waterproof you want it to be, or water resistant, should I say. But you can stitch through it as well. So if you do find yourself actually putting this onto your fabric and then stitching, that's okay. But bear in mind, you will still have gaps in that seam because of the way that it works. So just go over your seams. You can also use it on existing projects that you've made up. So if you've made up little wash bags, but you haven't been able to kind of give them that finish, to give them that white clean um, kind of uh, coating on there, you can go in. And again, you can go into your clothing as well. So if you've got a coat that at one point was shower proof, and it seems to have lost the ability to keep a shower away from you, then you can actually paint this onto your clothing as well. Um, so yeah, um, I think that's pretty much everything with that doesn't notice you don't get a funny sheen no um so it, it is as it was the only difference is that this now the water doesn't come water through resistance on. i'm um, thinking things like um, picnic um yes, rugs yes, and things like that things like that. So the sponge yeah. bags, it's an excellent idea yeah. and a brilliant idea that when you if you do the fabric first make it up yes. then go over the seams because as the needles will exactly, appear yeah. with a bit more of it what an excellent That's idea it. there you go so if you fancy getting hold of yours then zero four two zero one two fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence it can go in alongside your one day special as i say it's always popular with regards to that one so do consider popping that one into your basket don't forget those happy hour deals as well um we're a little over halfway through the show so of course at the top of the hour they are going to be going back up in price so make sure you don't miss out on those and if you are new to quilting or it's on your list of things to do for 2022 well we've got the perfect opportunity for you to get yourself ready not only with your adhesives but also with your rules now your rules are going to save you time with regards to cutting your fabrics because of course with quilting taking it right back to basics there's a lot of maths involved you need to take into accommodation um, into well, accommodate should I say for the seam allowance so when you're creating a square, you might want it finishing as four inches, but it doesn't start life as a four inch square because of course a little bit gets taken up with those seam allowances. That's why rulers are so good because these rules will allow you to cut your pattern pieces to accommodate for it. And this is a very useful one. It's one that you use regularly within your books. It's the one that I have, again, it's like it's a go-to one. Yes. It's on the top because it does half square triangles and it includes a seam allowance. It goes up to seven and a half inches, so you can use it for any time you want half a square. Uh, triangle, which is, as it says it is, it's half a square as a triangle divided down the middle on the diagonal. I love it, and you'll notice with this one, hopefully, if I take the bit of card behind, I don't know how much you'll be able to see of it, but you've actually got two colours on this one. So in the bottom corners, you'll notice over this side, you've got a red corner, and if I move that over to the opposite side, you'll see um, you've kind of got like a, a squared off corner with this one. So um, I was getting myself confused, because one of them's got, I thought it was the one with the black <laughs> corner on it, but it's on the black card. That's what that was about. But it kind of distinguishes which corner you're needing for different it opportunities. It does indeed, because doesn't it? in actual fact, the red corner is safe giving you three-eighths of an inch fabric on every single piece it you cut indeed. out. So that corner actually is extremely useful and I will show you in a moment how it works. I love do you that. want to explain about the other three rulers? Because I'm going yeah, to use we'll all come three of them. Because to be honest, they do, they, I mean that's a perfect way of getting hold of them because as Jenny said there, when you're using one rule, you quite often will use other rulers in, in kind of alongside it. So that is a brilliant one to get hold of to start with. But the next one that we've got is your six and a half inch square ruler. Now this is brilliant because that half an inch extra because you might think oh six inch square that's what you would normally get that's what we would get with paper crafting but there's no seam allowance with your paper crafting so that extra half inch that you've got is to accommodate for a quarter inch seam around all sides of this so your finished square with this one will be six inches but of course if you're creating things like your half square triangles then you need to look elsewhere because you need a different measurement but Jenny will explain all of that in a few moments you've got your angles on there as well but again Jenny will explain that but for the time being if you're wanting to get hold of this one ten pounds and ninety nine pence very affordable. Now the next one that you've got, you'll notice is similar with regards to the one that we've just looked at widthwise, but is longer. And this is because it's taken into accommodation and using it for well, a variety of different ways. So it's still six and a half inches wide, but it's actually 12 inches long. So of course this is taken into accommodation if you were taking two of these, because if you were taking two of your squares and sewing them together, because you're losing that seam allowance, it would actually finish up as being your 12 um, inches length. So you can see that's why all the maths has been done you don't have to worry about it but it's a really nice size to pop into your sewing bag just to get started 12.99 three brilliant rulers to get you on your journey
journey of um, um, kind of doing your quilting. Add in one of those books from Jenny and you're well on your way. So 313273 if you're wanting to get hold of those. Very quickly, I'm just going to take you through some fabrics as well because we've got the most amazing cave facet fabrics for you. These ones are uh, fat quarters um, and you've got so many choices with regards to these beautiful fabrics. Absolutely gorgeous. Riot of colour as you can see. Now you've got your cools, which are the ones that we've had on this side and then you've got your hots, which are those bright cerise pinks and purples feature in there. And you can see if you are looking at your one day special for your spray, pieces like this one where you've got those large pieces that you might well want to applique, then you need in that um, one day special spray to enable you to actually put that in place so as you can actually stitch it down in place afterwards. Now with these you are going to get 25 of your fat quarters. Now I've unfolded that, I've got to find the seams to put it back together. And I don't think I've done it properly. Maddie I'll talk will be to furious. I know. My, my dad used to, we used to be one of the things when we were, when you, in the good old days, when you had to read a map to get anywhere, we always had to fold it back on the creases because he'd be very cross with us if we didn't. But there you go. Look at this. How amazing do these fat quarters look? Now you're going to get 25 of them in your choice, whether you're going for your hot or your cool. Two flexi buys are 45 pounds and 49 pence. As Jenny's already shown us, some of those feature fabrics, absolutely perfect for your PK. 448 and 9 now you're hot oh my goodness these hot pinks they are beautiful so again you've got your hot pinks in here but you've also got some of those fabrics where you've got a good solid backdrop with them as well with the deeper darker tones and again some of them cross pollinate you've got blues and purples in here so they would work alongside the cools as well so you may well have seen these previously maybe you went for the cool set last time um, and now it might be that you want to top up your collection with the hot well you can see there are two flexi buys are 45 pounds and 49 pence we'll get them on on their way to you. 448 939 and they are absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Oh, I do like K-Facet fabric. Do you, Jenny? I've absolutely, you know, I've just, it's just so wonderful to use. I was just thinking, if you've got 25 fat quarters mm -hmm. for 90 pounds, that's not that much a fat quarter. Well, especially for this type of fabric. I, I mean, this is the key thing, that, isn't it? That fabric gives can be very, no, very expensive. I think we're looking at american size fat quarters, if I remember rightly. So they, they are slightly different. But it works out at three pounds of what, sorry? Three pounds and sixty-four pence. Wow. That is I mean, that's good less than fabric. sixteen pounds. Yes, that's for the whole meter, yeah. Yes. That's right, yeah. That is brilliant price, yeah. Mmm. Yeah, different chilling. Hey, we need so, a Christmas treat, don't we? Yeah. And in fact, I think it, if you do the comparison, when you look at these alongside, you, you pick a mix of your half meters. I think this is a more of an economical way of getting hold of it. Because with your pick a mix, you're looking at £15.98 pence per uh, meter because you're getting your two half meter pieces. So with this one, I think it works out a little bit cheaper. But you do your maths. You, you figure out. And obviously shop accordingly to your budget and uh, what you require. So, Jenny, you right. have your yes, rotary cutter the, in your I hand. I have indeed. And the three rulers. Uh, briefly to explain to you, the 12 inch by six and a half inch ruler has on it the lines that Haley mentioned. Now these rulers don't just cut strips, they also cut angles. And you've got a 60 degree angle, a 45 degree angle and a 30 degree angle. And these angles will be very useful to you in the patchwork and quilting world, indeed in any world where you will require shapes, various different shapes of triangles. If you're going to use the ruler to cut a strip, I would fold my fabric in half and if necessary, fold it in half again, put the ruler on the edge of the fabric, guard off your rotary cutter, and we've got the rotary cutters on the show, and cut along the edge of it. Then you simply use it, and I'm right-handed, by bringing the ruler in from the left-hand side. And I remember that because ruler's got an L in the middle of it, L for left, and fabric's got an R in the middle of it, R for right. And the ruler eats its way on. So suppose I wanted a two and a half inch strip, there's two and a half if I wanted three, there's three if I wanted three and a half, etc., etc. And then I simply cut. So I'm just going to cut a three inch strip just for the pleasure of doing it. Wonderful. And I'll show you how to do the angles. Now, if you're left-handed, this ruler works equally well. So if you were left-handed, you would fold the fabric up, lay the ruler on the top, using the straight edge. I can't cut with my left hand. I'm not strong enough. You will cut along there. Having cut along there, you simply put that nice edge of the fabric and the ruler will work in from the right hand side and it's kindly carefully labeled so that you can work with one end or the other so if i want my three inch strip there it is covering up three inches if i only wanted a two inch strip 
and then I would cut up there. So this works for left-handed or right-handed people. Like if this. I wish to cut angles, then you take your strip, open it out, choose the angle. So if I want to cut a 60-degree angle, I simply place the ruler so the 60-degree line runs along the edge of the fabric. It's running along the edge there. Cut up the side there. Now, if I happen to want a 60-degree diamond, because I'm doing something like tumbling blocks, being right-handed, I'll flip the fabric round. I happen to remember that this is three inches. All I do then is bring the ruler in and measure three inches from that cut edge, and there is my 60-degree diamond underneath the ruler. I can do the same thing with 45 and have 45-degree diamonds. I can indeed use the 30 and cut different shaped diamonds and or triangles. So this ruler is multi-purposeful. Now, if you've got somebody that's completely new to quilting and yes. they're looking at, uh, at quilt rules can be a bit of a minefield, what would you suggest being their first choice of rule? Would you I go would for this go for one? six and a half inch yeah, one. Me too, yeah. um, I do like the 24 inch one, yeah. the big one, but I appreciate it's a long ruler. Yes. And again, if you're starting, you may think, oh, I don't want such a long ruler. This would be a good size to use. It's another thing that sits out on the top of my working surface because it's, it's handy. It does all the measurements up to six and a half inches and it does the all important eighth of an inch because quite a lot of times you will need an eighth of an inch. I like it because it doesn't matter which way round I'm working from, I can work from either side because it goes one to six this way and one to six the other yes, way. So it's, yeah. it works either way around. And it's, it's one that's been stripped back, simplicity, you haven't got your eighths in the, or your sixteenths and your no. thirty seconds in no, there, you, you which can clutter it up. Correct, yeah. totally and absolutely, so simple to use. The square works on exactly the same way, this does your squares. And if you're going to do squares, then the simple way to do a square, and very briefly let's do that, is decide obviously on the size of your square, open your fabric out, now I'm going to do a three inch square. Bring your ruler to the corner of the fabric and make sure you've cut a right angle, um, let's bring it in a bit and then I can cut a right angle, that's slightly bigger than your desired measurement. And it's perfectly acceptable to go across the front of you because if I slip, I'm going that away. Okay. I will not hurt myself in any way, shape or form. Cut a bit off. So having cut myself a right angle, a little bit more than my desired size of square, flip it round and have the right angle on your right. And the ruler will then eat its way in from the <laughs> left. And when it's covered up a three inch square, you cut up here and along there. So same rule is fabric will be on the right and the ruler eats its way in from the left. <laughs> Left-handed people, you just do it the other way round cut your angle, put it like that, I'll have to think about this one, and left-handed people will have it in coming the in the edge. other way round, this way, there we are, three inches there, three inches, and cut up there and along there. Okay. That's great. But last rule that we've got is the triangle, and where's the triangle? This one. Now, Haley mentioned the red piece here. Now, that's particularly good because that's going to save you some fabric. So, if I'm going to do half square triangles to make up a whole load of squares to do something like the bear's paw, and the bear's paw is this design we have here. There we are, bear paw, or bear's paw. And this is made up of a series of half square triangles. You're going to have to make 16 of them. Believe you me, you don't want to do any cutting out other than this way. So that's a half square triangle. Easiest way to do it is to take your two fabrics you're going to be working with, put them right sides together, so I've got a two and a half inch strip. I'm going to put them right sides together. Trim off any selvage. I would always trim the selvage off before cutting, but not just cut it off at the beginning of the fabric, because you can't always tell which is the warp and which is the weft. The warp runs down the edge of the fabric. So I'm just going to trim that rubbish off the end there. I've got a nice neat end. Fabric goes on the right. When you come to cutting your fabrics, I'm just thinking that, that could you actually spray your fabrics? Because sometimes you're having to flip and turn your fabrics. I mean, could you spray your fabrics with the spray, the one day special spray, to keep them together to stop any movement? Or would you tend to just leave them I as would they tend are? To just leave them. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It's just something um, not watching you move with fabric. I just didn't know if quite maybe. an interesting. That's an interesting point. That if you were concerned about them shifting. If you cut the strips and then gently press them, okay. very often the heat of the arm will help to slightly adhere the okay. fabrics together. 
But what you could do, if you were worried about holding them, of course, is use some of the quilt clips. That's true. Which again, we've got on the show. These mm -hmm. giant quilt clips. Which They're good really long ones, those ones, aren't they? Yeah. Right, I have a two and a half inch strip, so with this particular tool, it has a whole series of measurements running up it. And here is the two and a half inch coming to here. Place the ruler so the two and a half inch line is on the edge of the fabric. And don't worry about the fact there's a bit hanging out there, that doesn't matter. But there is two and a half there, there is two and a half down there. Okay. And cut up the side. That's the measurements that. on here will be your cutting sizes. The finished measurements will be half an inch less. Okay. So if I'm cutting a two and a half inch strip, I'm going to end up with a two inch square when okay. I've sewn all the sides. You're always cutting half an inch bigger than you're going to end up with. Okay. Having cut that pair, you simply take the template, flip it over, realign the two and a half inch line, and you'll now find the red bit hangs off the bottom. Ah, okay. Uh -huh, because if I now cut up here, this section is identical to that one. Right. And this is where you've saved a little ear. Yes. You haven't got to cut that ear off. And you've saved three-eighths of an inch. Because technically, if I didn't have that, I'd have had to cut a three and seven-eighths inch strip. That's right. Two you have to get a longer strip. Yeah. Not a wider strip. Uh, a wider strip. strip. Yeah. If you do them in sets of two, then they're all good to go, and all you've got to do is so literally so down the diagonal using your quarter of an inch seam allowance, and that will come out as a two and a half inch square, Perfect. which when you've sewn round all of the sides will be a two inch square. I love it. So oh, really simple to use. Those, those tools are absolutely great, and I'll show them how to put the bear's paw together perhaps on the next hour. Wonderful. There you go. So you can see each of those rules um, very, very much versatile in their own right. But to be honest, very affordable if you choose to go for all three together. So nine ninety nine. That is the last of the rulers that we were talking about. So if you wanted to get hold of those, please do so. And of course, these are all perfect for you to actually complete your blocks because, of course, you're cutting up your fabric, you're sewing them together, making fabulous blocks like the blocks you'll see in the quilt behind. Me. But of course, one of the stages is putting everything together, and that's why your one day special is such a useful item to have in your sewing room. It's like your spray pins. So rather than you actually having to pin the top layer to your wadding, to your backing, then this is going to keep everything in place. It's a temporary adhesive, so it's not permanent, but when you are able to use is you'll be able to, to kind of leave it there for months and months and months and come back to it. Can't necessarily do that with pins because they can rust over time. And also the problem that you've got with pins is you can quite easily catch your, fab, um, your fingers on them when you're working with your, your fabrics as well. Now you can use it in loads of different ways. It's not just for doing your layers of your quilts if you're doing things like applique you can use it as a temporary adhesive to put those pieces in place sometimes you don't want to necessarily put your um, kind of your, your heat and bond on the back and iron it in place because you might change your mind it might be that you're putting down the flower and you suddenly think oh i forgot to put the leaf underneath well this will allow you to spray those pieces put them down it's a temporary adhesive but permanent enough for them to stop in place until you're ready to sew them so it's almost like making those pieces magnetic and you're working on a magnetic board you can lay out your pieces make sure you have happy with your finished results and then stitch them in place to keep them in place but it's not just for your fabric so you can use it in your paper crafting environment as well really useful one to have and of course some fabrics don't like you using things like pins things like your um, your oil cloth things like your faux leather things like your real leather as well pins and little markers um, ripstock's another one again sometimes it's quite a thick fabric to get pins into in the first place sometimes quilt clips even can leave an impression on your fabrics that's why having a spray adhesive as an alternate way of putting your layers together is a brilliant one to have and these are big size cans these are 500 mil so you've got a litre and a half of adhesive within these the, um, the can that Jenny's got is half the size of this one which is one of the sizes that is readily available but when you're looking at these when they are available we're bringing you them at 14.99 a can but not when you're going for your one day special so it's 14 pounds and 50 pence per can but when you're going for those individuals which you can do it's an item it's got a number you can get Get hold of it by all means but do consider that if you're going for a couple of these and it's a, it's something that you can use it's not like it's going to suddenly magically refill like the magic 
porridge pot or whatever the story was <laughs> it's not going to suddenly come back and refill when you come back to you it's something that you will use over time it'll take you a good while to get through it granted but having those additional sprays in there because if you're working on a long quilt the last thing that you want or a large quilt is to find that you've run out halfway through because you will need it so that's why paying just 11 pounds and 83 pence per can is the most affordable way of getting hold of this one with your one day special and of course it's one of those ones again you might be thinking well, i don't know if i need all three cans team up with a couple of mates rather than paying 14 pounds and 50 pence each for each of you to get a can split the cost between you um, you guys and, and take advantage of it that way as well um, so it's one of those ones you can stock up on it doesn't have an expiry date on it so it can be on your shelf for many years to come and it will still be an active adhesive when you do come to use it five zero three two eight six now of course lots of you've been adding in things like your wadding your 80 20 wadding we've got a variety of different sizes for you this is your twin so this one 72 inches by 90 was it I think there you go um, 72 by 90 if you're looking at your imperial obviously your metrics on your screen there oh got a little bit of fluff there it's a beautifully soft wadding it's that mix of 80% cotton 20% polyester and please if you are new to quilting don't think oh well, how's that, that going to keep me warm my, my quilt's 13 and a half tog um, this makes an incredible amount of it. It's kind of like the science between the three different layers that you have within your, your quilt. And of course the practical ability is you don't want it to be too lofty, too thick, because you want to be able to sew it on your regular sewing machine. So 900455. If you want different sizes, we have got different sizes available to you, but for 19.99, that is a really affordable one to go for. And it's a nice size if you're working on smaller projects as well, because of course you can cut it up um, to do your quilt as you go and all other things if you wanted to. So there you go, details on that.